Gerbil, Merry Stinky Wary to all. Merry Stinky Wary to you. It, Merry Stinky Wary to you. Oh, Merry Stinky Wary to you. Merry Stinky Wary to you. We're here for the Stinky Wary stream. We're going to play Dungeons and Dragons for eight hours and 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> that just hit how long that is. Uh, there it is. No, 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 seven, seven, seven hours. Seven hours and 15 minutes. That's oh, right. Eight okay. hours and 50 minutes. Seven hours Gus and 50 minutes. Canon. No, no. Um, hello, everyone. I am your dungeon master, Gustavo Sarola, from the podcast Tales from the Stinky Dragon. I'm joined with our four players today, who I will not be hitting with an arrow. What? Uh, for, for you. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Barbara Dunkelman. I don't know which camera to look at yet. This one for there now. You are, in the wide. <laughs> uh, I play Bart in the Infinite Campaign and Elga von Brath in the Groteth Campaign. Blurble Gerbil to you, my friend. Uh, Thank you for being here. And I'm John Reisinger, and I play Mud Bramblecrack or Matty Confucius. All the dice. All the dice. <laughs> and I'm Chris Damaris, and I play Gum Gum, the wizard. <laughs> oh, he had the glasses. Is that what the whole That's bit what was? The He's been wearing the glasses since he walked in this morning. He's been banging yeah. into things. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and Barney in the uh, Grotesque campaign. Barney Farney. Barney. And I'm Blaine Gibson, and I play Kyborg from Infinites and uh, Chip Haney. <laughs> he had to look. <laughs> I was like, what is my name? From, from Gertef. Um, we want to thank everyone for joining us for this live stream. We're going to be really pushing to gain first memberships over at Rooster Teeth, and your memberships will affect the campaign. Uh, in fact, we're starting the day with 2063. You can see the lovely graphic Yay! right there, wow. which means that the party, instead of starting at level one, will be starting at level three. We're going to be running a special one shot today. <laughs> um, things are going to be interesting, things will be a little weird. Yay! So a little different can than our normal. You elaborate on how people can affect oh, that number. Thank you. If you sign up for a first membership at stinkydragonpod.com slash first, or if you purchase merchandise at stinkydragonpod.com slash store, the aggregate total uh, builds up and makes that number go higher. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see what our current goal is. I can't read it from here, but it's probably something like once we get to oh, 2100, I imagine is yeah. what it says. 2100, I think, is a nice goal. At yeah. At I also want to point out an important note. If you get a one year first membership, that counts for 12 yes. points. So it's, oh. it's like months of yeah. first. So if you really want to affect that number, get a year subscription, it'll mm -hmm. give us 12 give points. Discount, and you can get uh, at the roosterteeth.com slash store. Stinkydragonpod.com slash store. Sorry, that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, we have a special limited edition uh, merch like signed posters of both the Infinite and Grotesque campaign. They're off camera. They're off camera. <laughs> he, was just, he was just pointing. That's where we hold the posters, yeah. over in that uh, room. And then also stuff like uh, video custom video messages and audio messages. And From these little guys, perhaps. Mm. Also, thank Who's you, that? Olivia. Ooh. Olivia May Julius. Olivia May thank Julius. You, Olivia. Uh, I, and I do want to give a quick thank you. We have an overhead camera as well. I forgot to do this before we got started. A quick thank you to eh, Jessica, who last night made a uh, purchase that uh, pushed us over the 2,000 oh. and allowed you all to thank start. Thank you. Oh, no. Ah. I knew it. 
That's actually their name in, in runes is what it looks Akisage. like. <laughs> I, I was dreaming about this game last night. Were you? I'm, I'm excited because I think I, I dreamed about out. it too. I think I figured out what this is. How did you, is. you haven't been told anything. I know. And I, my, my brain was like, oh, dungeons, dexterity, d20. And I think I cracked it. We'll see. So yeah, we've already broken. We already broke your dungeon. All right. Well, uh, that's the stream. I guess uh, these guys figured it out. They won. You've been conquered. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we have a lot of moving parts here. So you're gonna normally when the podcast comes out, it's very polished, very edited. You know, lots of stuffs cut out. So you can get a, a little peek behind the stinky screen. Uh, yeah, of how unpolished we are in person. Yeah. yeah oh, and I, I do. Speaking of screens, I want to give a special thank you to Fruit Bat, who uh, from the community, who made uh, this DM screen screen for me, which normally you don't get to see, we don't get to use because you know it's an audio podcast. But now that we're here doing video, I thought with well, the perfect opportunity to display it. And it's got it's level so beautiful. SD stinky dragon on the side over here. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, so big thank you to Fruit Bat. She really got the stink lines on the dragon. It's perfect. It's very mm. important. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, like I said, uh, we started at 2,000, so everyone is level three. You have your infinite characters in front of you. And, uh, I'm a lady. <laughs> oh, you have, that's right, you have the puppets. <laughs> um, so cute. Uh, okay, so before you is a low, flat-topped hill, about 200 yards wide, 300 yards long, 60 feet high. Only ugly weeds and thorns and briars grow upon the steep sides and ball top of the mound. There are black rocks upon the top of the hill. Uh, what are those dimensions of the hill you said? 20 wide. It's a big hill. Long. 200 yards wide. <laughs> 200 wide. 300 yards long. That's two. Long. That's that's three football fields. 60 feet high. <laughs> I've drawn a map for you, Barbara. Wait, you use yards and feet in the same. <laughs> oh, uh, in that case, 20 yards high. 20 <laughs> yards, yeah, yeah. Did I was you gonna convert say, it? I converted that. You can no, see that. I don't know. Uh, three feet <laughs> equals one yard. <laughs> you're not quite sure what you're doing here. You feel that like your your memories of arriving here are vague and muddied. You believe you were in search of in search of treasure, in search of someone named Pestoso. 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 Yeah. The Spanish for stinky. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> but aren't all your memories, buddy? <laughs> Inspiration die for Chris. That's for yeah. that early on. That's it. <laughs> that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Um, so, bef so the the hill lies out in front of you to your north. To the north. Uh, do we recognize this land? Such as have any effect make, on the game? Make a wisdom check. Okay. Uh, let me see. Also, want to point out we have our Tales from Sneaky Dragon Ooh. dice. This is the um, I w today. I will be rolling with the. Grotesque campaign dice. Oh, Ooh. sneak peek! Those are coming soon. Those are, those are not in the story. They will be available very soon. Genuinely surprised. I didn't know you had those back there. Like, uh, I rolled. Rolled. That's what the screen is good for. <laughs> right? from them. I rolled an 11 plus one. I'm just imagining you're flipping the bird behind that screen at me at all times. Uh, 12. You think. 12. Uh, it's a. It, it does not seem familiar. It seems like a very generic looking forest. But what is unusual to you is that despite how deep the woodland is everywhere, everything is uh, cleared out. And there are no large trees growing oh, around the area of this hill. hill. Right. Are, is this peak infinites? Are we like young or are we we're like older? Level three. Level three. Oh, oh, we're babies. Yeah, they're young. Got um, it. This is also a non canonical one yeah, shot. I do, I'd want to point that out. Um, Mud takes Gumbo and does a little move that they've been working on for reconnaissance and just takes Gumbo and throws Gumbo up as high as possible. And then catches Gumbo and asks him if he saw it. And then Kyborg instinctively <laughs> shoots at Gumbo. <laughs> um, and Mud murders Kyborg. Kyborg End the stream. Do me, <laughs> do me Kyborg. Make a strength check to see how high wait, wait. you can toss no, gum, gum, Gumbo in the air. Gum, gum. Strength. <laughs> All right. Gum Gum, do me. Uh, get the Gumbo. Six plus uh, one, seven. So not a high badger. Yeah, you toss Gumbo about. 10, 15 feet in the air. Now make a dexterity check to see if you catch him. That's five yards. Oh, God. What if you don't catch him? Uh, he's he's only flat. Or Badgers feet. bounce. Yeah, he's a very uh, st sturdy badger. Um, save. Check. Check. Can I, can I lend a hand? Can I dive oh, in? That's a six. Places? That's a six. That's a six. You want to lend a hand? You yeah, can I'll a lend a hand. Check. Uh, hey, okay, buddy. <laughs> What'd you roll? <laughs> That is a six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you toss Gumbo up into the air to get a bird's eye view. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which sound was that? That is that we hit 100. That means you all get a hint slash curse. I'm going to write that down, actually. Oh, okay. yeah. Curse. At every, every 100, you'll do that. Uh, so every 50. 50. Every yeah. 50. Every 50, you get to hear that beautiful noise. 
<laughs> 50 subs. So every 50 subs, you'll get a Oh, it's, hit. we got a little, nice little uh, info on yeah, the curse. Yeah. Oh, every 62, we do a 60-second dungeon. And then every 100, there'll be a uh, player character swap. Oh, in fact, the first swap just hit. Uh, Bart uh, uh. and Mud disappear. You toss Gumbo into the air. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you disappear. And where Bart was standing instead is a young girl wearing a cloak. And Hello. where Mud was standing is an Eric Hochran. Uh, when Mud disappears, so Kyborg, it's really confusing for you because you see Gumbo up in the air, uh -huh. and uh, he's falling to the ground. You see Mud's not going to catch him, so you dive out to catch Gumbo. Okay. But Gumbo never lands. <gasps> you look up, and Gumbo's gone. It's a really good throw. And in fact, Mud's gone too. Uh, what can there, I there's do? an Aarakocran Aarak Aarak where Mud was was standing. Then when I do, when I land that dive, I barrel roll out of it with my bow drawn, and I say, "Who are you?" Can I burn? How close is he? Uh, I would say pretty close because he was dying for gumbo. I would say we're only within like. I want to kick that, that bow out of his hand. <laughs> that would be what Matide would do immediately if someone. Okay, if, all right, do it. If Matide appeared. I want to pose that kick. Matide wanna... would go <laughs> for a kick. So you would do like an unarmed strike or an unlegged strike, I guess? I need Matide's uh, ca He's character sheet. Thank now. you. Look at this beautiful little stop, puppet. Stop. I love Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just roll me that d20. D20 uh, with what modifier? Uh, you're going to do your proficiency blown bonus plus strength. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, what's your armor class? My, my AC is 14. Yeah, so you make a solid connection on the bow and just knock it aside. Uh, Kyborg, make a strength check. Okay. That is a 13. Yeah, you, the bow gets knocked aside. You manage to keep your, your grasp on it. Okay. You're no longer aiming at hey. the bird, at Big Bird. Gum Gum sees him attack Kyborg and attacks the bird, despite not wanting to. He mm. didn't attack Kyborg, technically. I well, kicked the bow out of his hand that he was hand. rearing it. Do you okay. guys think we should be looking at this mountain or anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. who, what? Well, who, who are these people? Where did our friends go? We had a smaller, small person here, and now you are a different small person. Listen, that is very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I am height challenged. <laughs> yeah, she is just. Where did you go? Oh, Bart. Where is he? I don't know who Bart is. Where is he? Stop yelling at me, please. <laughs> I don't know how I got here, but I know there's a mountain ahead of us, and I would like to maybe check it out. Okay. Uh, so we would see the same thing. We're, we're, we're appearing and we're Cor seeing correct, this. Correct, yeah. correct. You mean Matita Were you yes. describing that like there is, a, we're at uh, some point on this kind of flat area and we're looking at like a hill that goes up? Correct. Okay. And uh, I also need to very quickly, sorry to interrupt you. What you got? Uh, we need to roll for your curse. Is that a... a so I got a D100, D100? that we're going to oh be rolling God. for that. That's, That's like a, a fatty. Look at that That's just going to oh! go for a while. That is a... 55. 55? 55, please. Yeah, 55. Oh my god, this 55. is... 55. It's Dracula. heavy. It's heavy, man. Whoa. And who does it affect? It is... One, two, three, four. Two. Uh, Matid. <laughs> you got it so fast, you almost Yeah, forgot. I was like, I don't know what number I was. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Matid is cursed. Matid, the next time you see an inanimate object, you will loudly proclaim that you... Kiss it. If you kiss it, it will become a prince. Okay. Uh, however, you also do get a hint, and uh, you think that there is something on the northern end of this hill. Um, yeah, I, um, I do not know why we are here, and I don't know why you pointed a bow. I mean, I'd advise not to do that again, possibly. Uh, but uh, it seems that maybe we could find some answers that way. That, in at that inanimate hill? <laughs> Is that, is that what you call hills? Inanimate objects? Just saying, it's just a big old inanimate <laughs> object. I'm just pointing at this hill that we're both staring at. That thing? Well, what are we waiting for, everyone? No I, offense. I don't understand anything. Hey, uh, what is your name? I'm Gum Gum. Hi. Gum Gum. My name is Elgum on Brass. Hi, you want to be friends? Yeah, okay. you know, I, I, some people might be a little taken aback by my strength, but you look pretty strong yourself, too. Oh, they're both barbarians. No, I'm a wizard. <laughs> oh, I can tell by your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Could I borrow it? Can you take I don't think it comes up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm the. Hello. I'm Kyborg, leader of the Infinites. <laughs> okay. Follow me, Bright Gum Gum. Wait, 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 wait. 
that's that's a lie. You can make a deception check, and if you want Matid, you can make an insight check. Well, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there's ever. There isn't a de facto. <laughs> right. That's why it's a deception. I think check. you might. I think you might get this. Yeah. Would, yeah. What'd you get? Eight. Mm. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give it to you. I was like, I rolled low. He would have got I rolled so. a two minus one. Uh, uh, I, 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 I turned to Elga. like, I, I do not think that man is in charge at all. Hello. No, it sounds like whoever they're referring to as this Bart fellow might I, be that's the leader. Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Gum Gum. I am the leader of the Infinite Interns. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Make a deception check with that, advantage that is, because I think... Gum Gum, that's not... He thinks that. That's why I'm giving you advantage. You get a, you get a plus one to advantage. Chris was ready to argue yeah. you while you were giving, giving you advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because he knows he's constantly fighting you on the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just part of his, like, his... his I was going to say now. maybe it's persuasion because he believes that. Mm. Mm. I also love... <laughs> See? That there that it is. Yeah. There it is. I, I still got advantage. He's still going to make Just roll it. on your new stinky dragon dice tree. I did. Oh, no. Is it available now? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's available now. <laughs> Stinkydragonpod.com slash store. Come on, Chris. Oh, you can read it. What all. number is that? Am I the only yeah, one two. here who doesn't need like glasses to help? <laughs> and a thirteen. That's Twelve plus my one. Why'd you roll twice? He got it back. I got it back. Thirteen. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. He thinks he is. I think you got this. Without so thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, I rolled a nine. Okay, yeah. You, you, Matid believes ten. Sorry, that. Ten. Matid believes that uh, this uh, so-called wizard is apparently the leader I, of the Infinite. So does he. I think the wizard might be in charge, but that, that's not boding well for them, if that who's in charge. <laughs> well, I don't know. Wizards are pretty smart, are they not? Yes, they are. Okay, I, I trust them with my life. Let's go. Kyborg frowns deeply and moves to the north side of the... the northern side. The northern know. side of the hill. <laughs> Matid moves faster. <laughs> and then I start walking faster. Because my flight speed is faster than your walking speed. <laughs> well, I run really hard. <laughs> I think this is exactly how Mateen and Kyborg would interact in an immediate contest of physical prowess. Immediately. Oh. <laughs> you all uh, move to the northern end of the hill, and the northern face of the hill... I like the idea that you move faster and you trigger the traps faster. That does <laughs> have <the> way. <laughs> the northern... Or was that? Blah, blah, blah. The northern side of the hill has a crumbling cliff of sand and gravel. Okay. About 20 feet high... Um, in the middle of the entire thing. Uh, a low stone ledge overhangs this, this eroded area and shrubs and bushes obscure it from observation at a distance. Uh, and in fact, I'm going, this is, I will now start drawing on the battle map. I will now start drawing. And I'm gonna draw on that far side over there where your stuff is, I think, Blaine. I okay. noticed some runes that say, Jessica. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just dicey. I don't know how to read. Oh, no. Can you teach me, guys? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, aren't, aren't, aren't you like 180 years old or something like Mateed that? Matid doesn't know that. <laughs> I do. I know you're a vampire. That is something Matid knows. Do you need a better marker? My marker's not good. I'm going to get another one. Do you, you want one? a blue one? Uh, you guys have those? I have a whole tub of them over here. Hello. We have little pieces. This is new. This yeah, is we just want little oh, yeah. visual markers. Yeah. Uh, let's see if this was any better. You know those guys that like, come to like a wine tasting with their own little glass? <laughs> uh, oh, did you bring your own little figure? Uh, I brought my own. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> Is that just an army guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you break off one of his arms real quick? That's a really funny gag. <laughs> okay, so we can't really see too well on the screen, but you just put a kind of squiggly line at the bottom. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we're not going to spend very much time on that. So, okay. Not, not so a big deal. We approached it, and, and uh, could you remind us? My one secret more time? notes. What you saw? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Said sand and gravel about 20 feet up. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Okay. The north side of the hill has a crumbling cliff of sand and gravel about 20 feet high in the middle of the hole. A cliff. Um, bu -bu -bu. The low stone edge overhangs this er eroded area, and shrubs and bushes uh, cover the entire thing. Cover the cliff? Or cover the face here. Oh, okay. Just so we can't see down. over the cliff? Is that what you're saying? You've walked around to the front, so it would be in front of you. Like, you, oh. no, no one actually climbed up on top a cliff of the hill. Up. Right. It's oh. like you're at the base of it, We're and it goes 20 feet up. Oh. Uh, so, for, for frame of reference, you all would be standing, using the army guy, you would be standing here at the face, facing it, and then this goes up 20 feet. Oh, okay. Got it. And, and, is, and this is a cave, or this is just a sheer cliff? It's just a cliff. Okay. It, it appears to be crumbling. Could, uh, could. Matid, uh, 
uh, perceive if there's any anything dangerous for them to, to go up this clip to see any more information? Um, like holes or barbed wire? Let's call it a or, survival check. I don't want to do survival check. Interesting. Checks. Um, all right. Survival check. I got a plus one. Fourteen. Nice. Uh, Fourteen. You feel like... There's nothing inherently dangerous about it. There are just a lot of briars and brambles and thorns. You know, not, nothing that... What about cracks? <laughs> uh, no, no bramble cracks. Uh, the bramble cracks disappeared. <laughs> okay. Um, um, yeah, it's just a lot, of, a lot of dense thorns, like a thorn briar at this cliff face. Can I... Did uh, the barbarians follow? Yeah, okay. we all came up. Could I attempt to use my axe to kind of clear... Oh, no, the poster! Clear some of the, like, shrubs and... Yeah, Greenery? in fact, uh, it'll take you a little while. You start making uh, some pretty good progress on it. Smart. But it can, takes a little while. Why don't you show Gum me help? on the map where you want to clear? Where I want to clear? Yeah, and if Gum Gum wants to assist Elga in the same spot, you can, do, or... Do you have any sort of axe? I have three. Three axes? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Three little ones and a big one. Do you want to maybe divide and conquer on where we try to clear the shrubbery? Yeah, let's get it! <laughs> okay. I will take from this area... To this area. And Gum Gum will do from this area to this area. So we <laughs> <laughs> hopefully this little spot. So why don't, why don't, why don't, why don't, take that. Why don't you all draw me arrows showing which side you're starting from and which side you're going to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that was a 60 second, 60 dungeon. second dungeon. I'm going to write that down. Yeah. We're going to bank up 60 second dungeon and do a few at We'll a do time. them at the top and of the if hour. If someone isn't familiar with what 60 second dungeon is, it is... Uh, a wizard, not not Gum Gum, but uh, he looks resembles like nobody. He's a nobody. magical wizard that's going to appear every hour he's on the own, hour. He's his own guy. I mean, it, he he will uh, uh, take people through exciting adventures in just sixty seconds. In sixty seconds or less, and that'll be every sixty second, sixty two. Uh, subscriber. So not or, confusing at all. Yeah, no, it's it makes sense when you pitch it uh, to the group. <laughs> All right, so we've put group. <laughs> um, okay, so they're they're hacking and slashing. I'll I'll take these. Kyborg will take these yeah, two give me little some, ones. Sorry, just one second for me to add up some numbers here. Good. Gus just needs to finish his wordle for the day. And <laughs> cool. Shout out to Farts. Rosette X, who's got her got a stinky puppet shirt on, watching with friends. Woohoo! Yay! Ro are, Rose, are your Rose friends, 8X. Are your friends real friends, or are they just dolls that are next to you? Either, <laughs> either answer. Why don't we take your miniatures and put them where you're clearing, just so I can have a, a better idea. Oh, miniature. I was about to put my puppet down there. probably move this cup. Right there, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh, man down! <laughs> <laughs> and Kyborg's taking that part right there. There he is. And Matid's all the way up here. <laughs> they just flew. Yeah. yeah what is, well, while uh, the other party members are clearing this, what does Matid want to do? Um, I was going to like fly up, but I'm a, I, I like the idea of them clearing just to have more information. Um, so I'm going to. Uh, uh, I guess I would help Elga. Elga, uh, Elga specifically? Okay. Yeah, the one that I like. Oh right, yeah. Um, What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I would just uh, I would kick at bushes as well with my talons. I'm going till here. So do you want to just help me, or do you want to start? Like, yeah, I'll go with you. We'll okay. we'll double we'll double the. You actually, Elga, you actually really appreciate the help because this is very strenuous work. Every every so every square on this map. Normally we don't play with maps. I realize, so I should explain. Every square is just like in you know when we visualize it or when we use D and D Beyond. Every square is five feet. Mm. Uh, okay. So every five foot square you clear do I, do I get anything for <laughs> no i just want to know uh in in like in game time would take about 10 minutes to clear. oh my god oh whoa it, it's really um it really takes a while which is why i asked where you were starting even from, with from, elga uh, and her strength and powerful acts mm -hmm. level three elga even with her strength <laughs> and... <laughs> most people who are clearing brush don't use an axe yeah, it's not, it, it's, while it is sharp, it is not necessarily the best tool for the job. Uh, uh, Kyborg gets tired after a bit, and then he backs up. Since Gum oh. Gum's over in this area, he kind of aims at this area, which would be... Tired from... 10 feet. Okay, I have my little 10 foot, 10 foot section. I shoot a bursting arrow at it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> um... That doesn't uh, sound good. You're the redneck that goes and fishes with dynamite. <laughs> Wee! You go, hey, we gotta clear some woods, and you pull out a yeah. shotgun. <laughs> I think Blaine's mullet is not Make, helping that. No, it's not. <laughs> Make an attack roll, uh, Kyborg. While you're doing that, don't forget, Matid, you have to kiss something. You have to profess that you're gonna fist. Oh, uh, uh, 
Elga, I will help. If I kiss this bush, it will turn into a frog immediately, and that will clear it. Oh, you should kiss that one right there in the center. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm helping Elga, so I'm going to kiss you the know, first one. So I right. kiss the first bush. What Adid, happens? I don't want to yuck anyone's yum, but you go for you, it. You take one point of thorn damage that to your a lips. very prickly kiss. I mm. rolled like a 16. Uh, uh, yeah. These guys are kind of weird. <laughs> I, I agree, bro. Uh, you're, so <laughs> you have middle. two squares in front of you, Kyborg. Would you want to <laughs> aim at the one closest to you or the one furthest from you, like looking at that map? Well, it says right. it affects a 10-foot oh, area. Oh, it does? So, oh, hold on, actually. Immediately after the arrow hits a creature, the target and all other creatures within 10 feet of it take 2d6 force damage. So if I shot right in the middle, middle. would that affect both? Uh, yeah, it would do the entire thing. So roll your damage. Okay, uh, that is... Uh, for the longbow itself would be 1d8. Sorry, I'm like, this is all physical dice now. This is Nate. That's not Nate. This is not D and D Beyond. You I know. It's one a, thing. actually like knowing which dice it's the diamond. is which. That but is a. I miss it. I used to, I played D and D this way, like pre D and D Beyond, pre. Yeah. It's kind of nice. So that's a seven piercing, and then the D six, which is just a regular old die, would be a three and a four. So that's seven. Seven. Is that and that was uh, da, da, da. okay? Seven. Yeah, you uh, your bursting arrow hits and does clear off a significant portion of the brush, beh revealing behind it only sand. Okay. Well, that's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, uh, Matita and Elka do have a little bit of success in the spot that they are clearing. Hey, yeah, that's hey, right. Hey, Go yeah. team us. You, uh, Elga and Matita, as you're clearing, you realize that uh, this brush, there is no sand behind this brush. There may be a passage behind here. And oh. you start to slowly clear it out. My we bursting arrow knocked some of it loose for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. What did you say your name was? Uh, cr cry boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Cowboy um, acts like he doesn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> he looks bravely off in the sunset. <laughs> it's going to take a little further time to, to continue clearing and op expose this, uh, okay. this passageway. Okay. Did Gum Gum find anything? Uh, Gum Gum's area, no. You continue to work, but there's just sand at that point. And I'm going to. Actually... Oh my goodness. I built it! Gum Gum, stop making sand castles! <laughs> Mr. I'm... Bum Bum, do you want to come help us over here? Okay. And I'm going to write sand and sand here, uh, just so you know. Gum Gum goes, goes, goes. goes to join uh, his new friend, Elga and the bird. Elga and the bird. <laughs> it's a great band. That's, That's a, a good great band. Elga <laughs> and the bird. Uh, yeah, it'll take... Um, I like how both Chris's characters can't remember Matisse's name. I don't think I've introduced myself. Well, yeah, I don't think, yeah. yeah I, don't th I don't think he... That's very gum. true. Uh, you think uh, it'll take about an hour, all told. Well, with the four of you, yeah, it'll take about an hour to clear out enough brush for you to uh, clear whatever passageway you may have Gross. found Good here. things, it doesn't seem like we're of any time constraint. None at all. No so, dangers <laughs> lie ahead. What do we want to do for the next 60 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, yeah, whoosh. Maybe take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we'll fast forward a little bit here. Okay. So we're, we have cleared through brush, and we have found a passage, but we're having to clear out a little bit of the passage? Correct, in order to, be, in order to be actually be okay. able to enter. I, I so we're, kind of, we're kind of mining our way into this cliff face. Yes, and I would say since it is just kind of monotonous labor, uh, Kyborg would tell the others about himself and ask questions about them so that we can kind of be familiar. There's a reason that we were all matched up. Yeah, should we take this time to get to know each other? Yeah, this is a, this is a great opportunity for that. Bye! No, Elga. <laughs> Elga. <laughs> he, he'll do that every five minutes. Sorry about that. Have you seen Bart? I don't know. Tell me about Bart. Bart looks like you, except... Bearded. Beard. With a beard. And, and Mud looks like you, but not a bird. He doesn't, they don't look anything like you guys. Okay. He's, he, he just sees shapes. I like how the only thing you tell us about your friends is what they look like, <laughs> not about their personality. That, that's what's most important, is what you see on the surface. <laughs> Nothing else beyond that. Do you guys have... Uh, uh, Gum Gum's actually very vapid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have uh, fellow party members? Clearly, we're very fond of ours, both Mud and Bart. No, I don't think so. Do we no? Know with anybody else? I, I, I know you. I like you, and I remember you. You yeah. know, you, typically we come in fours. Yeah, there's, uh, we have some like little sidekicks. Uh, uh, sidekicks. Follow us on occasion. Yeah, yes, a, yes, yes. We're a little bothered by them, it's, typically. It's weird. <laughs> they sleep too. They only kick so you on the side. Do they wet? 
On the kick you in the side, that's weird. Like kick us? Oh, side side kick. Oh, okay. He's a very simple wow. man. That's actually I'm a really wizard. Funny. <laughs> He's actually a boy, 16 years old. <laughs> Canonically. <laughs> <laughs> like 15. Right? I don't um, even remember. I was 16, oh, I think. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Yeah. He had a birthday. <laughs> he had a birthday. a birthday. Good job. Uh, uh, do, you, do you want more than that, or do you want to proceed forward? Uh, that's up to you guys. I'm, if you all want to keep going, I'm, I'm having fun. Uh, I'm just kidding. We do have some friends that do travel around with us from time to time. Yes. Uh, the one is a, is a, I think he's a power walker, is what he is. is yeah. What his is. And he and always says, my wife! <laughs> oh, Borat. Yes. Borat, yeah. <laughs> And uh, the other one is just uh, an old man that we found one day and, and hasn't left us. Yeah, very old man. Hey. <laughs> Definitely older than me. That's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, this no, no. We now. like this old man. Oh, okay. He's thank you. Thank man. you. I appreciate it. I like gardening. You like gardening? Where I like gardening. Where did that come from? We're gardening. Are we not gardening? Oh, right now? <laughs> oh, oh, you're just commenting on the activity we're yes. doing. Yeah, yeah. We're mining. We're in, we're not. We've, we're miners. Go, like you're actually a miner <laughs> and a miner now. I I think what he's described is that we're clearing out like a like almost like a mine pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But I thought it was bushes. We cleared the bushes and found a, a, a opening. Ah, oh, we garden so for rocks. This yes, that is that's better. I'm happy. It's to, like we're playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so is that the game you play? That's my favorite game. <laughs> yeah, that's a streamer. I forgot. He's a oh, Twitch yeah, streamer. Hey guys, hey guys welcome thank to my stream. Thank you for the subscription. Make sure you sign up. Stinkydragonpod.com/first. Shout out to that. That's Paralyte for subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> Two years. Wow. Um, so and yes, Smarsh is king. I did see that in chat. You know, the, you the, there's a little bit of daylight that's able to peek in. Uh, to this crawl space, but it, you can tell that it's a very unusual tunnel that lies ahead of you. Bright, brilliant colors are to be seen everywhere, the stones and pigments undimmed by the passage of decades. The floor of the corridor is a colorful mosaic of stone with a distinct winding path of red tiles about two feet wide sneaking its way south down the corridor. No stonework can be seen on the walls or the ceiling 20 feet above for some sort of cement or plaster has been smoothed over all of the these surfaces and then <laughs> illustrate it. <laughs> alarming every time. It's scary. <laughs> it's even worse when you're talking and then you come up. I'm just like, which one's Gus? I know. Oh. Broke that's my brain. Uh, another curse, I guess. That's uh, the 50. Yep. Uh, let me finish this reading and then we'll deal with the curse in the hand. Thank you Kay. for the subs. Thank you, guys. And Olivia got mud some coffee. Yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks, Olivia. <laughs> I was looking for the coffee. Like, I'd love, I'd love another cup of coffee. Thank the, you. The scenes show fields with kind grazing, a copse with several wolves in the background, Workers of various races and strange human animal mixtures. And this this is like hieroglyphs that we're seeing a little uh, bit? Kind of like it's like a painting. frescoes. Fresco. Uh, oh, on okay. The wall. Yeah. K painting. Uh, pig human, ape human, dog human going about various tasks. Certain of these frescoes show rooms of some building, a library filled with many books and scrolls, the door of a torture chamber, and a wizard's workroom. There are chairs, windows, boxes, bales, doors, chests, birds, bats, spiders, and all manner of things shown on the walls. They were red and yellow and blue <laughs> and gold and scarlet and all right, black that, that, and that's opal an inspiration and pink and I, ruby and diamond. And <laughs> can I perceive, are there like, I, I want to advance. Thank you. Uh, keep in mind, I have, I think everybody, hey, Dark Vision crew, raise your hand. Hey. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, good. We all have Dark Vision. Uh, oh, God. Alarming. Oh. It always just wants to go to Barbara. Uh, Try again. That is a 69. 69. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. 69. Uh, That's my favorite. Uh, and then we'll attach that to one of you. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. 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 That's Kyborg. Uh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> uh oh, cry boy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, this one's going to take a little while. Can we change the oh. work shirt to say that instead? Say Wait, away. like, I don't know when it's going to proc? I don't know. Well, do we, know, do we know what he got? No. Oh. And that was a direct result of people subscribing yes. and getting merch. Uh, StickyDragonPod.com. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. You, uh, so, uh, you also, you, you do have a curse which will reveal itself here in a bit. But, um, you, you, as far as a hint, you think that there may be... You wish you could follow the yellow brick road. Okay, I was going to ask that. So you got the, the the red tiles on, yeah. on the floor. Are they 
proceeding in just a straight line, or is there like a, a meandering pattern? To no, that? they kind of meander all over the place. Okay. This passageway, I drew it there, but I, I should explain. It's about 10 feet wide and just seems to go down for quite some distance uh, into the darkness ahead. And, and how far does your dark vision extend? 30 60 feet, 60 feet I think. Oh. If I. That's. Uh... I think 60 is mine as dark well. Dark vision is 60. Yeah, yeah, so you cannot see to the end of this passageway 60. with your dark vision. You described, though, that beyond the uh, frescoes, that the rest of the walls and ceiling were smooth. Frescoes delicious. <laughs> Correct. Like it's been. <laughs> you're inside, you know, a giant mound, a giant cave. You would think that it would be rough stone, but it's actually like all been plastered. Yeah, but over. there's like, there's no like holes, cracks, uh, anything like that. Not that you can see from. I assume. So why does everyone place themselves on that map up there, just so uh, I know where you all are? Uh, so we went down. My this birds way. there. Yeah, you got yeah. it. You can put, I'm gonna you be put gum gum. Do I? <laughs> Probably at the. I think front Elga is in next. Front. Elga. Yeah, um, I think what uh, Matid would do is ah! Matid would use a key point um, to use patient defense, um, and I think that would allow me to be able to. Uh, Proc the dodge action if needed. Oh, that's sure. cool. And I would uh, walk along those red tiles. Okay. He's drawing. Sorry, I'm just so uh, counting. What like color did you say the tiles were? Red. There's a red mosaic in the floor. Yeah. But no. Are, they're different from the rest of the floor. Okay, but no other color tiles, just red and kind of like stone. Correct. Okay. Uh, and what do you? Is there anything specific you're doing, or you're just walking down and following the? Path? You know what? I hover. Oh, that's oh, very over. smart. I'm a ghost. Can can uh, can Kyborg have like you know in our travels we've accumulated many things like leather satchels and bags. Can I take a bunch of sand from the entrance and then just kind of leave a trail? Sure, why not? Ooh. Make a survival You're check for that. You're gonna make a trail in the dirt with other dirt. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Kyborg, you're dumping your dirt. <laughs> I'm trying to make a like in case we need to double back. We've yeah. got a sand trail yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah. I'm gonna get a survival check that is a. Crappy survival check four. <laughs> <laughs> We're so low level. Our modifiers are poo poo. Yeah. Well, I'll just say this. bad rolls. I haven't rolled my dice Can't. once yet. <laughs> oh, you should get a, a roll in. We need to. We need to break in your uh, your very cool little. Gum gum uh, smarter dice in, trick. in this uh, uh, character sheet than he is in <laughs> the real game. You is know? it wrong? Oh, really? Yeah, well, uh, yeah. His intelligence is higher than it. <laughs> well, I didn't I actually think, roll that survival if, check into the tray, so maybe I should redo it. Yeah, you should absolutely redo it. This, I believe, your intelligence actually went down as we played the game, if I remember right. Uh, I don't remember. Did you start higher? I, I don't know if it went down, but uh, you might have modified it to go down at some point. No, I don't think it modified. I think it was again. It's like these non-canonical. Yep. Um, what was your role on that? Uh, in the dice tray, it was 15. Okay, yeah, you're leaving a trail of sand behind you. Okay. And Matid is following the red mosaic, uh, hovering. Hovering. Uh, Elga, what do you want to do? Um, Gonna do a roll. I am going to also follow the red mosaic, but I'm going to be walking on it. Okay. But I am very light, because I am tiny. Mm. So, I don't know, I'm going to walk very carefully. This is the one difference, one of the major differences between you and Bart. Bart is very heavy, yeah. uh, dense. Kyborg Thick. follows the little girl, giving her about five feet of space, anticipating seeing like her getting decapitated, just kind of like <laughs> rutting himself. From Only that. the penitent man may pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, like, Come on, Kyborg! <laughs> you uh, can do I just, it! I, it's Kyborg! <laughs> I just realized my map here that I have is missing one quick detail. I need to make a an adjustment to it. Let us know if you want us to draw anything for yeah, you, guys. Real quick, shout out to Gus for juggling maybe 50 a things billion. right now and is going to be the one who's going to be working the hardest this entire time. <laughs> also, oh, we get to be in. idiots. Cr we just roll dice for this entire time. And Kristen just texted me. She said, thanks for babysitting me. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but she says, I get an eight hour break now. Huh. And and at the same time, shout out to all of the crew that is uh, assisting Woo! behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. We got a lot of folks we back We got a lot there. of people I making this, sure this happens. I, I cannot, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a great thing to point out. I cannot stress enough how helpful the crew and there's so many behind the scenes people have been in order to, to make yeah. this stream happen. Thank you to all of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll get more specific in a specific. Hopefully, uh, bacon as, in as, chat if you like our on. support crew. Bacon, put mm, that bacon. Bacon. Okay. Uh, and then gum gum. Did you say specifically what you were gonna do? Uh, yeah. Gum, gum. I look for magic. Uh, gum gum wants to uh, pull out his uh, boomba and do. Uh, mm, show me the magic. <laughs> I and think Matid would look at that and turn to Elgis and goes, 
I think he's playing with poop. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a giant rock he has. It? It's uh, his boom. Just, just play along, guys. Do me the magic. And then, yeah, do magical awareness. As an action, you can open your awareness to the presence of concentrated magic. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. When you sense a spell, you can learn which school magic it belongs to. Okay. Um, and you are... St- I was back she, on the, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, should we just be moving up? We were, not, we, not, yeah, we were up at the front. Yeah, well, no, 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 we moved in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right at the front. That's, that's Kyborg. He's green. <laughs> it actually and, does make you really easy to see. And his helmet <laughs> is scraping the ceiling. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's twice the height of a team. I, I took one of those, uh, what's that, that mountain strength or size thing that you can get? Oh, uh, hill giant? Hill uh, yeah, I don't know. Giant I'm, potion? I'm like 20 feet tall now for some reason. Um, so you growth potion. cast detect magic from there. Follow the yet red. You mode. do not detect any magic uh, within the range of that spell. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to deal with Matid and Elga. So Elga, are you going to be like? So Matid's going to be hovering, going down the passageway. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be like right behind them? Yeah. And but, then, but walking on the. But walking and Kyborg, you're going to be right behind Elga. Y- yeah, yeah, preparing to watch her die. I think he said keeping a five foot. Keep in a five-foot space. Yeah. Right. And um, uh, Gum Gum, are you going to follow them, or what's your plan here? Yeah, I think you walk next to uh, Elga. Next to Elga. Next to me, because Kyborg's b- five feet behind me. Yeah. I imagine it's a pretty narrow... Yeah, how- it's about ten feet uh, wide. Okay, so enough yeah. width for two characters. But is there enough width for both me and Gum Gum to stay on the path? That's what he was saying. No. Oh, uh, the, the path isn't the ten path feet is, wide? The path is, the, the red mosaic tile is only about two feet wide. Okay, so, oh. you, so you'd, to be on the red, if Gum Gum's going to do it, he has to be in a line. Okay, then I guess I will follow the red. Uh, okay. So do you want, I hope it's there, there's this space here between Kyborg and Elga, or would you rather be behind Kyborg over here? Uh, I'll probably go behind uh, Elga. Okay. Okay. Matid, Elga, Gum Gum, Kyborg. You! That's the, that's the, the line. Mm-hmm. Okay. You all uh, begin slowly making your way down. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move Matid, okay. and then I'll, I'll move everyone behind it. Making your way down the, way the passageway, down. walking fast. Oh, and actually, right here. I, quickly, before you get to that, I saw someone in chat say, can you gift first subs? You actually can. If you go to stinkydragonpod.com slash store, there's the ability to Ooh. gift subscription. So you could buy a gift subscription and then give it to whoever you want. You could buy it and then put the code in chat uh, <laughs> for whoever wants it. So and go check that out. That's a, also a way to contribute to our total goal. Yeah, and uh, throughout the stream, I'll be giving away some, uh, some first memberships as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness, my dad just gave me $10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so... Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> gum gum. I haven't got, I haven't got to interact very much with the Matid doll yet because we just started doing stuff with it. I love this doll. This it's, is a fantastic it's doll. It's so poseable. It's so poseable. Uh, yeah, it's so beautiful. I, I, I've made their, their hands like do a little rawr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so like... <laughs> My mommy makes good things. That's right. Um, um, so you get to... <laughs> You've already reached your standing goal for the day, Gus. Yeah, no kidding. I just, saw, I, your, I just saw your thing <laughs> pop up. <laughs> Uh, do RT Store Stinky Dragon purchases count to help? Yes. They well, do. <laughs> if they're, if they're Tony in the chat. Really Tony in the chat. Yeah. I am old and learned how to find the Discord channel to drop some codes. Anyone can do it. Yay! I can confirm. <laughs> Tony's old. Yeah, if you become a first <laughs> member, you get access to our Discord where we hang out and chat about the show and everything stinky. So. Yeah, good times. Go in there. sign up for your Stinky Dragon membership. I just want to shout that out for Blaine's sake. So that Blaine can still find Disc- the Discord. <laughs> what? Disc- or- Discogs? Discogs. Um, El- so everyone's walking down at this point. Elga, make me, uh, we'll call it a dexterity saving throw. First saving roll of throw. Barbara. So I get a plus one to that. That's a d20. Oh, those are your, those are your bard dice. Oh, right. These are my bard dice. I have to use my Elga dice. Yes. Compliments of Miss Gaming. Mm, three plus one. So four. You should have rolled with your bar dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, I, mean, I used the wrong dice. Uh-huh. Uh, as you're walking along the oh, no. <laughs> the ground, the floor opens up beneath you, uh, <gasps> re- revealing a pit trap. 
Oh, oh this, God. Is, this is uh, Elga? Yeah, Elga. Where um, does that you, you didn't trigger it because you're hovering. It's where El I put Elga's okay. right here. Um, mark right there. Should we mark that? Are we able to mark yeah, it? Yeah, if you want to, you're more than welcome to mark it. Uh, Elga, you fall into a pit. Oh, oh, oh. oh. no saves? No, I can't reach oh, that. Was a save. She that made, was the roll. She made her, she made her oh. save. Oh, no. Or she failed her save. <laughs> Taking yep. 10 points of damage. Oh, oh that really hurts. <laughs> Why'd she Can't sound go? like the grape stomping lady? And are you still up? I'm still up. Yep. Okay, in that case, make me a constitution saving throw. Okay. Oh, gosh. I'm so, like, not used to using real dice. Uh, 18. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, you, 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 you survived the fall. There are spikes at the bottom, which uh, had impaled you, which is what caused the damage. Uh, are they wooden spikes? <laughs> oh, <are>. no. <laughs> By any chance? <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, everywhere except for the your heart. heart. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, they're poisoned. Uh, and you failed your poison saving throw there. I, did I? Poison? Yeah, your constitution save. I, 18? Yeah, Is that's a fail. fail. That's a <gasps> fail. Uh, oh no! Wait, you did, you did, you did make it. I'm sorry, uh, but you see, so you, you take half damage from the poison. Okay, so which, it was ten from the fall. Ten from the fall. I guess I should have gotten a pencil. To He's rolling a lot. He just I rolled just, several times. Yeah, you here. take twelve points of poison damage. Okay, so okay. How does a glass? Ten. One third full right now. <laughs> uh, Kyborg leans over and. and oh, I'm, uh, before you go, I think sure. uh, Gum Gum had, uh, wanted yeah. to do okay, something. Gum, Gum Gum tosses Kyborg. What? His rope. And end sentence. End sentence right tosses there. Tosses Kyborg <laughs> and end of his rope and jumps in to save to to help. Oh, <laughs> make a. That's gonna be a that yeah. Make a dexterity check. check. Oh my you, god. You grab it, uh, Kyborg. This is happening all very fast. Well, just call it a dexterity saving throw. A saving throw. Save I don't him. feel so good, Mr. Gum. <laughs> <laughs> Please get it. That's a 16 plus 3, 19. Okay, okay good. good. Uh, maybe you're used to working together. <laughs> you, you, you kind of anticipated this coming from Gum Gum. He tosses you a rope and then dives in. Kyberg doesn't even look and just smacks him away because he knows it's coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I look at so, Mateen and I'm like, you got to be on your toes around this one. <laughs> yeah. I have to ask, if Gum Gum's jumping in like this, how deep does he think the pit is? No, no response from well, over Well, he here. has dark vision, so he sees it. Right, but you kind of, oh, you look in and then jump in? Yeah, I mean, he saw the fall <laughs> and the hit. I like how Chris was like, I do this haphazard thing uh, cautiously. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I was going to say. He yeah. also was right behind me. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So. You, are, you are correct. He could, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the pit is only about 10 feet deep. Um, and so you dive in with your rope uh, and see Elga impaled on some, uh, some wooden yeah, spikes. Yeah, so try and, and scoop up Elga and get out. You could have just probably thrown the rope. Uh, yeah. uh, if, if you jumped in, how do you stop from falling on the spike? Kyborg. Oh, yeah, he, 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 said, he said, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Kyborg's bicep and tricep are just busting. You know that scene in, in, in Predator when they're building the traps? Is that a movie? <sighs> yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we, uh, should we do? So we have, I believe, what, one 60 second dungeon queued up? Oh, are we, yeah. Are we going to do that at 10? Or Soon, what yeah. are we going to do that? Four minutes. Whenever yeah. you want, man. You're the DD. I think we'd say we would do them at the top of the hour, so I'm just kind of uh, prepping you for that right you now. You tell me, Dungeon Daddy. All right. Um, so, yeah, you go down and you see Elga and you help her up and then come back out to the, uh, to the surface. Dang, Salsa Master. Bought three 12 month memberships for friends. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a true friend. And that'll be. 36. Man, 36. So oh, does, wow. is he have is he giving 36 30. friends one month memberships or three friends one year memberships? That's the question. It's three three, three 12, 12 month, month memberships. memberships. So three separate friends got Thank got, you, Salsa got Master. Oh, he doesn't right get here. to dish them out. It's like two <laughs> days for you. Salsa, <laughs> Salsa Master. Master. That's it's upside down. Sorry, again, I didn't mean to derail. That was just impressive yeah. to hear somebody did that. Um Okay, so yeah, you, uh, Elga, you're back up on the surface with, uh, with, with everyone else. Thank you for saving me. No problem. I'm glad you're not hurt. Why don't you put yourself back? <laughs> I'm a little, I'm Gum -gum. a little put, hurt. Uh, Elga Gum Gum is w looking <laughs> at a small girl with wooden spikes through her. Would, would we have like jumped past the cat? The well, you can pull yourself wherever you want. I would have pulled you he probably on this side, but okay. you know whatever. I, yeah. we'll that's a it. that's a ten foot gap. Five oh. foot. It's, it's ten feet down. One person hole, ten feet down. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. okay uh, hey, Mateed, can As you, you do not know my name yet? Hey, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you lightly press your foot down 
on the space below you and then like hover back up. Like we need, clearly this place is trapped and we need to be on our guard. So if you, I, could, you have the flying ability that we do not have. Uh, I'm looking to see what at level three. I don't think this is the point where Matite has the, the staff. Could Elga just keep walking? Yeah, move yourself. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, hold on to this rope. Okay. Now hold on to this rope. Is anyone have... holding on to the other end of it? Yes. Well, can, we, can, we, can we all hold the rope? Uh, yeah, but I'm going to have a loose grip on this rope. <laughs> 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 I, I lean into the bird in Elga and say, if he offers you friendship bracelets, just don't. Okay. That's not what you think it is. Just don't. <laughs> I don't think it would fit my wrists anyway. Very good point. Shrink, shrink. Instead of uh, stepping on what Kyborg was asking, mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't think I have my staff of baking yet. As Correct. Level three. So I'm going to instead take one of my muffins that I keep oh, in, my, yeah. in my little, my little uh, satchel. Mm. Um, and I'm going to drop it in front of me or I'll break it a piece and drop it okay do you think a, a like half an ounce of muffin is going to trigger a trap or I don't know okay all right cool uh, just checking I get to hover <laughs> as you all are having this discussion touching the ground is a you problem <laughs> kyborg your oh god the curse oh yeah your shadow suddenly seems to come alive <gasps> and lunges at you Quadrate. mega kyborg <laughs> Uh, it takes a swipe at you, hitting a C. Ooh, shadow boxing on a new level. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you see me going like, like one of those weirdos in a gym. <laughs> uh, AC I've seventeen. I've one of those weirdos at that is a hit. You shadow box? Yeah, it's actually a really good workout. Yeah, it is good cardio. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, I just don't know form, so I would just be moving during, fast. During pandemic, I was trying to mix it up any way I could to do yeah. something in Mixed my Mixed martial own. arts, right? Yeah. You take yeah, ten... I'm just <laughs> fighting myself in my living room. You take 10 points of necrotic Holy damage. Holy moly. Cool, thank you for that. And <laughs> thank you, Dungeon. Your sir. strength is reduced by four. Oh. <gasps> I'm glad. Uh, not, not a modifier, but number. Number four. Okay, so take your number and, and, and then. Okay. Strength. Cool. Uh, Top. Hey, guys. Uh, I just pooped my pants. I'm gonna put it out there. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't feel so good. I would say fecal is a little bit necrotic, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, why don't we uh, take a pause there so you can hit up the 60 second dungeon? Why don't you guys vamp for a and, bit so uh, that I can get set? So I, wanted, I do want to thank everyone who's joining us for the stinky stream. We're having uh, a lot of fun. We're in our first hour of playing. Uh, and we buy you like no problem. We've just entered the dungeon. <laughs> Woo! Um, uh, if you please support us by going to stinkydragonpod.com slash first. Uh, uh, and we're signing up for a first membership. That's what we're trying to drive for. What do you get with a first membership, Gus? You get ad, you can access ad-free episodes of the podcast on whatever platform you choose to listen, whether that's Rich Teeth, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever. Uh, you get a discount in the store, and you get access to uh, special member-only videos, such as Second Wind, behind um, Show Me the Magic. And also, you, there are special Discord channels. So anyone can join the Discord. It's available to the public. Yeah. But there are special channels set aside just for first members where you can interact with uh, cast and crew uh, from the show. For instance, we pull questions for Second Win from our first members our first and people members, on yeah. Discord. We also frequently name NPCs uh, we after do. Uh, people that interact with us on social media. Um, <laughs> That's a hint and a curse. Oh. oh, and that's also a character swap. I was going to say. Oh. We'll, we'll oh. Look at that in a second. <laughs> oh, you got to swap. So and uh, hey, uh, wherever Blaine is, uh, you're now Chip. You're going to be back. Chip. Well, you're Chip when you get back, Blaine. <laughs> you lucked out with that shadow disappeared then. Also, oh, as a first that. member, you also get access to all of the Rooster Teeth content. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on there. So, like, not even just Stinky Dragon, but yeah. everything we've ever made as a company. And, Ben, if you can hear me, if you can remind me how I can give away um, first... <gasps> Uh, memberships in chat, let me know because I forgot how to do that. <laughs> or Rodrigo, <laughs> if you're on. Uh, anyway, uh, so we've had uh, a couple of 60 second dungeons queue up, uh, I believe one anyway. So we're going to cut to the wizard for our 60 second dungeon. The wizard! Welcome to the 60 second dungeon! <laughs> Today I'm joined by Andrew. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, how did I get here? He oh, oh, oh my gosh, hello, good morning. You walk through a dark and misty forest, and you run across a man. Oh. He greets you and says, well, hello, friend. Uh, I say, why, hello there. Do, roll an insight check. Okay. 
Five. Very trustworthy, this man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Would you like uh, to learn no, a special know. magic trick? Uh, I would. Is this man a wallet inspector? I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing of the sort. Okay. I'm going to teach you wild shape. Does that sound good to you? I'd love to learn. Okay. Uh, he says, all right, now close your eyes and think of a big, hairy animal with big, big claws. Okay? Now roll an arcana check. Okay. All right, oh. you can bounce it back. A six, okay. Oh. You turn into a rabbit. He says, that's a great start, that's good. Okay. Uh, but let's turn you into something even bigger, okay? Okay. All right, no, no. You really clinch, really think about a big, big furry animal. All right, roll, roll another arcana. Okay, 16, oh. wow! You turn into a big bear. I love it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling powerful, I'm feeling strong, I crave honey. Oh, he says, that's fantastic, okay, now, uh, <laughs> uh, he says, now, go ahead and walk into those bushes over there, would you? Let's really feel out your bare body, shall we? Okay, yeah, I'm loving this. I need to get into character, okay? Like, feeling my, feeling myself, my new form. Okay, let me walk over into those bushes. Okay, now roll a dexterity saving throw. 18, okay. Um, he says, wow, you're doing great. Now, go ahead and take another lap out in those bushes, even further into those bushes, shall you? Okay, okay, uh, I'm using my, using my body weight to like move all these brambles around. Walk me through it, how are you feeling? Uh, maybe stretch your back against that tree? Oh, I'd do that anyway if I was human. Oh, this feels great. That's good, no, no, oh. maybe roll around a little bit. Oh yeah, no, this is good. Great, now roll another dexterity saving throw. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, 10, okay. Um, you hear a ka-chunk and uh, you are trapped uh, in a bear trap. No! And he says, thank God, I am so hungry. <laughs> And you put that on your hand, oh. and he says, I'm going to eat you for dinner and hang your head on my wall. Well, <laughs> I didn't have plans. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the 60 Second Dungeon. <laughs> wow. Who could have predicted that? That's it. We, 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 may, I think we may have another one queued up, actually, oh, right now. Oh, yeah, we, we do have another one oh, okay. that we need to get, get to right now. So. Quick. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> return to the visage. Uh, so don't go anywhere, wizard. Uh, we have, we're just making sure we get all of them because this is affected by you yes. people who are um, signing up for first memberships. Thank you so Chat. much. That's definitely 60 seconds. Why does he even have an actual bear trap? <laughs> <laughs> Also, yeah, we, we had some character swaps, so I'm going to be back to Bart when we come back. And oh. then Blaine is going to be playing as Chip. You're, we, you stay gum gum. You stay gum gum. Oh, wait, y'all yeah. swap back? You stay. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just random. on the bottom. I think it's random. It's, oh, it's it random. randomly chooses, yeah. Yep. Dum, bum, bum. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good, easy. You can stay. <laughs> and, oh, uh, if, you're, if you're in our Discord channel, uh, I am dropping uh, some free codes for first <gasps> memberships in there oh, right dang. now. So you can go to stinkydragonpod.com slash Discord for information on how to see that. Um, uh, wizard, are you good? We're back to the wizard. Welcome back to the 60 <laughs> Second Dungeon. Today, I am joined by Trevor. Hi. It's good to be back. Good to, good to see you here. I think I survived the last one. Uh, you didn't. Oh. Okay. You approach a monastery out in the brisk, cold winter. Yeah, you know, you're so hungry. Uh, make a, make a, make a, uh, it's like a survival check, like, for the winter, Gustavo. Uh, you can do survival. Why not survival? Right, survival, survival, survival check. Survival. Oh, oh, it's so cold. Okay. It's so cold for me, 13. Uh, uh, 13. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, the door creaks open to the monastery, and out steps a monk and says, Hello, my child. H how may I help you? It looks warm in there. May I come inside? Uh, but of course, we have uh, many beds for you to oh. stay. Uh, he, he says, uh, you know, we do have an opening. Would, would you be interested in perhaps uh, staying here as a monk yourself? Oh, maybe tomorrow morning. Maybe after a long night of sleep and lots of free food. Uh, oh, by the fire, we can talk okay, about it. Okay, roll a, um, uh, let's roll like a charisma check uh, of some I'm sort. Gonna riz them. Okay. Yes. 19. He says, you know what? I think we can make that work out, but, you know, I re we really could staff up this monastery, okay? Okay. Well, what, what job openings do you have? Well, it's great that you should ask that because we're looking for a historian. Oh. Yeah, we need a historian to track the histories of these magical lands. How does that sound? I can track so many lands for you. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, old deception check. Okay. Right. <laughs> 16. 16. He says, that's fantastic. You're going to do just great. Yeah. Uh, come on over here to this desk. 
Okay. Ooh. And now, uh, now, how much do you know about these lands? Can you give me a brief history? Oh, let me tell you about the land that I come from, Triumphia, the uh. land that's never lost a single battle, but it's also never gone to war. Wow, wow. Okay, he says, uh, that sounds incredible. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Ah, my wisdom is strong. Oh. Six, nine. Nine. He says, okay, now, if you can just go ahead and uh, give me like a... Book report on that. Oh! I would love to hear more about your native land. Uh, now roll a, a wisdom check. Roll a literacy check, even. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. He says that, that's great. And then you hear a clicking, and he has uh, shackled you to the desk. Oh! And he's given you a quill and several bottles of ink, and he says, uh, "Get to work, or else you won't eat." Do you have a matching plan with your 401k, or? <laughs> oh. No, I do not. Okay. Oh, God. Well, thanks for stopping by the 60-second dungeon. <laughs> One more. Oh, if I'm oh my God. Yeah. We're going to run out by the end of today. This is it. We have three. <laughs> Apologies. We'll do as many as we can. And yep, our, our, our next uh, victim is just uh, right around the corner over there. Thank you, there. Trevor. Also, I saw some shadows for Hugh Manor in chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Trevor is our Hugh Manor, Hugh Manor in the Infinite campaign. You'll be seeing lots of people who voice NPCs dropping in to uh, do 60 second dungeons throughout the day. Thank you so much for your support. It's uh, your, your first membership. Speaking of. Awesome. Speaking of voices, we got once they're ready, we, we will have a special they're, guest here. They're in the prop, uh, prop search. <laughs> some rattling going on. A lot of sounds going on. It, How many did he prepare for today? <laughs> he, he bored. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. We will we will burn through all of our six second dungeons uh, as, as long as you guys keep uh, uh, subscribing. Uh, yeah, we, we that we don't have enough infinite of those, but we do have enough game to be going for this yes. entire stream. We have plenty of game to go around still, so that's yeah. that's not a problem. The sixty second dungeon, he has to go volunteer at the local soup kitchen afterwards. I, I see uh, in chat Ari Ellie eighty nine is asking for the Discord link. If you just go to stinkydragonpod.com slash Discord, yep. you can uh, you can see it there. We got cheeky and, little and links if, for everything. And for people who sign up if they want ad free RSS feed. Stinky drag uh, stinkydragonpod.com slash RSS. RSS. Speaking of RSS, I believe the wizard is ready with uh, one of our other voices. Speaking of RSS <laughs> Welcome to the sixty second dungeon. Today I'm joined by Blizzbear. <laughs> How you doing? Feeling scared. This is my first one. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you walk down an icy Arctic trail. It's cold out. Uh, the blizzard hits you in the face. Uh, roll roll survival check. Well, I'm blizz, so like it should be like a twenty. You'd think so, but you rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs are getting launched at you. Okay. You see a tiny white <laughs> flying creature throwing snowballs, and it says, <laughs> What do you do? Can I punch it? Uh, roll an attack roll. Okay. 13. Uh, it gets hit, it sustains some damage, and now a bigger group of white snowing ice methods approach you, and they throw more <laughs> snowballs at you. Now, what do you do? Can I punch them? Okay, roll an attack okay. roll. Oh, 19. Okay. Oh. <laughs> In their dying breath, they throw their last bit of snow. Uh, they fall to the ground and die. And an adventurer comes up to you and says, My God, those are the last of the mice methods. You've killed them all. They're extinct. I was here to preserve them. Uh, global warming has won. Um, I'm going to say get good. Thanks for stopping by the 60 Second Dungeon. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Woo! That's Blizz, who's the voice of the Alchemist and Quadrant. Quadrant. Uh, Blizz for joining us. Um, and uh, sorry to spring those on you, Blaine. We had a last minute recal recalculation of our, our 60 Second Dungeon. You're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on back, come on Thank back. So much. Wait, three more. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. I like to think that Blaine saved that one for Blizz because he plays Quadrin and wanted <laughs> yeah. a little bit of revenge. I knew that the one that was going to involve throwing things was like, I'm going to save it for a special someone. <laughs> a special so we had someone. another character swap as well. So Elga has become back to Bart and Kyborg is gone and was replaced by Chip. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Where said, was, was uh, Elga, you said Elga was walking for it. Elga had come out of the pit. Yeah. yeah. And so Elga is still... Do you want to replace Elga with Bart? So they just replace where they are standing? Yes. Okay. So I need to replace my piece out then? Yes. Okay. Okay. And did El uh, uh, Elga... 
Uh, nice. Zoom in on that. He's purple. Um, purple Elga was proceeding forward on yeah. this path. Yeah. On the tile. Uh, hey guys. Uh, Bird! What I miss? Everything. Gum gum. Why am I? Why am I holding a rope? I don't know. Okay. You don't know. It's cool. There's there's a little girl named Elga, and we're friends now. And then there's a bird. Is she? Well, I see the bird. And then it. Bonjour. Ah, okay, boy. <laughs> Hey there! How are you doing? It's me! It's Chip Haney! No, you're Kyborg! No, 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 I'm Chip Haney. I'm going for a handshake. Hi. <laughs> you look... What happened? What'd you do with Kyborg? You look like the Riz of the group. Uh, that's what they call me in my party. I, I'm a bit of a rascal. I like, I like to, to, to meet friends. You seem like a friendly fella. Oh, I like friends. You would be friends? Let's be best friends. All right, let's do it. Hey, have, right. you, have you seen my, my wife? <laughs> no, I... Who's your wife? Oh, her name's Carol. Oh, I can tell you all about Carol. Right, good night, Mateen. Tell me all about Carol. I oh. am so confused right now. Mateen turns to the, the halfling and goes, I have a question. Are you the one in charge of this group? Uh, right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, my name's Chip Haney. Wait, uh, wait, tell me about Carol. She's my wife. She's gone missing, but oh, she's beautiful. No. She's a spy. She's an assassin. She's a part-time supermodel. Oh, oh, my goodness. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Love of my life. I understand why you, she is your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you are you looking for anybody in your life that's gone missing? Yes, I am. Really? I'm looking for my dad. No way. Yes. Wow. Do you think your dad knows it, my... It's what, just you, an infinite loop your, is what this is. It's an infinite this loop is, of content. I love it. Do you think your wife knows my dad? <laughs> You know, I I don't know. I could I could talk to my my pop pop. His name is Mike Haney. Oh, yeah, he's a good fella. Uh, Does he look like me? Guys, I, I couldn't help but overhear that you guys are saying you're best friends now. Uh, we're not best friends, Bart. Don't worry. Okay. No, we're the best what, friends. What, you're what, you're my best friend, and this is my new second best friend. Okay. I uh, Chip. But we're still best friends. Chip introduces himself to Bart. Hey. How are you doing? Uh, Chip Haney, pleasure to meet oh, you. Oh, good, sir. Yes, yeah, very nice to meet you. I'm Bartholomew Finn. Wow. The you, leader of the group. The le oh, I'm the leader of my group, too. Wow. Hey, wow, look at that. Mateen scowls at Kyborg. <laughs> two leaders. <laughs> Chip. I, I got Chip, sorry, I got Chip. Two, two leaders united in battle. So, uh, we need what, gallons here. What are, we, uh, what are we looking at here? What's going on? Well, I see a, I see a trail of sand leading out to this exit. Yeah, so, so uh, their their uh, their little uh, man with his sticks was leaving dirt behind us. I do not know why. Seems like a smart guy. Uh, he really wasn't. He <laughs> really was. He like he, 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 he probably isn't. <laughs> if we're talking about the same person, I think I know who you're referring um, to. I will catch you up on where we are. We um we have found ourselves in this strange situation where our friends keep disappearing and reappearing, and we are in a. Uh, we are trying to make our way down this passage, uh, and it seems that it is a bit booby trapped. Oh, okay. hey, booby. Gotta watch out for the boobies. <laughs> Um, uh, before you left, uh, my friend um, did injure themselves in a pit, um, so I would oh. walk cautiously. Um, they seem to be proceeding forward on this uh, red pathway. Okay, is it that thing behind us, that big opening in the ground? Uh, we. Oui. Okay, I will not go there. That's very good. Uh, uh, lead the way, uh, small, sturdy man. All right. So why don't you all realign yourselves or reassign yourself spots on there, just so right. I, I know where everyone is. Right. Just put me right behind uh, Bartholomew. Do right, you want to get behind me? There's... Do you want to be on the path? Yeah, uh, we're uh, 100%. Okay. Hovering still. But right, did you want to get behind me? I'll, I'll be right behind uh, Mateed. I'm already in front. Okay, be careful. Hold down to this rope. Okay. So, um... I got it. Uh, are, is uh, Chip and Bart, uh, Gum Gum, um, uh, have they crossed the pit? Uh, I mean, uh, based on where they are, uh, it uh, does not appear uh, so. I okay. will, I will, uh, Chip will jump across the pit. I assume he can. Is it long? Is it small enough to jump across? Yeah, it's five only feet. five feet. It's, okay. uh, you don't even have to roll that. Would we? It's would would enough. Bart and uh, Matid need to proceed forward a space to make room for that, since this is a two-foot wide tile? Yeah, I and mean, they would have to. Okay. You have to. You have to make sure you have a spot to land. Shall we? Can, okay. Can we imagine that Kyborg dropped his bag of sand, and Chip kind of figures out that there was a trail being left? Uh, so, sure. Sorry, I got to grab. The something. bag would have disappeared. The sand would have stayed. Comes. Okay. Uh, so all, all of our all of our loot is Did going you like jump this. over mm. the pit? Oh yeah, yeah, cuz I, I I I crawled out. I assumed yeah. I went around it. So I, made, I think that's where we're at now. I made a small boo boo. I'm going to correct on the map uh -oh. real quick as far as the the trail. Hey there, Matid. Can I borrow a couple of muffins? 
Pourquoi? You got nothing? Uh, because I want to leave a trail here. You know, the sand was left. Oh, that is much better than the, uh, the, that sand he was leaving. Um, you know, it just uh, yeah. any sort of method we have to, to, to cover our backs. I, uh, I tossed some, uh, some muffins. Okay. Yeah, the method. Uh, I've only got so many. I, I say, do you, do you uh, need one? As we walk, I, I say, okay. one for you, and I drop it on the ground. I say, one for you, and I throw a little I, bit of muffin into go. Gum Gum's mouth. <laughs> Smart. Gum, the Gum Gum has a, a really uncanny skill to catch any food in his mouth. <laughs> these are really good. These you're really, really good. Did you make these? He's trained a lot. Uh, we, wow. You're really good at this. I agree. I'm great at a lot of things. Mateen is uh, known as quite the baker in our land. You know, out there in Grotes, uh, Atro City. Oh, the best bakery around. You wouldn't believe it. Lines out the door. People, customers, as far as the eye can see. Most of them dead. <laughs> Our land is mostly dead people. <laughs> I hope my wife is not one of them. Okay. Uh, there was just an extra little turn in the red path there that I missed when I first drew it. Thank okay. you, Dungeon Mister. Just uh, adjusting it. Dungeon Mister. And then I erased a little too much wall. Boom. Thank you. Boom. Now that you're getting a little closer, you see that there's actually a little bit of an alcove up there. Oh. Turning off to the side. And at the end of the hallway, I'm going to get a different color to show this. I got green over here. I think that's exactly what I was looking for. Green. You see, like, a... <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you! Ah, I tricked totally you! Dry. Do you want a blue? Uh, I got another green over okay. here. Here, toss it. Let me see that one. I'll get rid of it. Thank you. We usually don't involve any sort of, like, visual, physical things. It's all theater play. of the mind for us. All theater of the mind. So today, we're, we're changing it up. I'm a bit of a theater kid myself. You see some green stonework there. Okay. Yeah. In Thank the middle, you. there is a wall. Oh. Uh, so uh, I just kind of, like, uh, teleported into this place. What are we actually, uh, what are you guys doing here? We're looking, we're looking for Bart. I'm, gum gum. Oh, we found him! I'm Bart. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yep. I, I, we honestly do not know why we are here. Um, now we're looking for Kyborg. Uh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, where's Kyborg? Tell He's me about blood. this legendary Kyborg. He sounds <laughs> quite fascinating. Kyborg. <laughs> Was he the brilliant mastermind that left a trail of sand? <laughs> you know, I think he, he must have been, right? Yes, he left sand everywhere. Mateen, one of my closest and oldest friends. <laughs> what can you tell me about Kyborg? Did you not have any friends before we met each other? Oh. Uh, Carol wouldn't miss it. <laughs> that was it. Actually, that tracks. Your, your dad would be the kind of dad that, like, they don't have friends. Like, our dads don't have yeah. friends. And so, yeah. like, yeah. it's just their wife. <laughs> All I need. Shall what we, was uh... the question again? Tell me about this kyborg, the legendary kyborg. Um, he tried to, as soon as I appeared here, he tried to attack me with his bow now, but I, uh, I immediately kicked it away and made him look very embarrassed. Yeah, I don't know. He sounds pretty quick witted. <laughs> <laughs> On his guard. I like this fella. Always prepared. And then when we were trying to clear some bushes, yeah. instead of using like actual sharp objects, yeah. he shot an arrow at the wall. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Did it, it do any damage? It like it it cleared some bushes. Wow, it dynamite! <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Anyways, shall we go on? <laughs> um, okay. So uh, we are proceeding forward. So since you're uh, the lead, what do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna keep walking forward on this path. Okay. 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 Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. <laughs> How far has it been? Bart wouldn't have learned from uh, Elga's mistakes, so that right tracks. Seven. Okay. Uh, the floor opens up below Bart <laughs> and no. falls into. <laughs> Wait, a right here? We got a rope. We got yeah. a rope. Oh, yeah, you are roped. Uh, who's he roped to? Uh, to you? Well, down the trail, but I would be next in line. Well, Elga was certainly roped and filled in on the rope no, situation. I, he did Bart. say he was also going to rope Bart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, Bart, the floor gives out below you. Uh, you don't catch yourself because you fail to save, but um, the rope goes taut. Make a strength check just, to, just, to, just for fun, uh, Gum Gum. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I see that. I see that number. Well, like you said, it does What'd go down. What'd you roll? What'd you roll? It's a one. There you go. No! It, it does go down. I think you said the next person also the next, had it, right? The, then Chip had it. So, Chip, make a strength uh, well, okay. would Chip have it if Kyborg had it? I, th I told him to have it. Because you all swapped at the same time. Okay. And then I told him to hold the rope. Yeah. This is, uh, I, does Kyborg, sorry, does Chip carry Kyborg's curse? No, that's gone. The, okay. the shadow, the shadow okay. is also gone. Ooh, uh, that is a two plus oh. one, three. Yeah, uh, you all rolls. were expecting Good Bart rolls. to fall, so the, uh, the rope gives you rope burn, falls out of your hand, Ow. and Bart falls uh, into the pit anyway. Hachi chachi. Uh, Bart, you take... <laughs> Gum gum, Bart's blood is on your hands. Um, 
in only your hands. No and one else's. It is this spot right here that I'm on the map. Yes, that correct. I okay. Uh, you take 15 points of piercing damage, Good Bart. Good lord. <laughs> Bart does Bart. not have a lot of HP. Bart. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, and they're oh, poison. Oh, no. Constitution. Do, do, do halflings have advantage against... They do. I can resist against uh, the poison? It's yeah. a 10. So you do roll it again. He is right. Uh, you are... Because I'm a halfling. Yeah, you have advantage on that. Resistance? Yeah. Uh, 15? That's actually the number you need. Oh. So you take half, and I think you are resistant, so you take half of that. So it's... So I'm going to roll your poison damage now. Okay. And it was 10 points that I took? Yes. Okay. That was 15. Yeah, it was 15. The fall. The fall was Oh, 15? was it? Yeah, you said 15, because mm. he, was, he was down below 10, I remember in my head. Okay. And then you take five points of poison damage. 20 total. Where are you at, Bart? <laughs> I got one. <laughs> oh. I got one HP left. Uh, Chip peeks his head over and says, Hey, little fella! Oh, what a bummer. You just fell quite a bit. Hey, hey you give me a hand. You, give, give me a hand. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on but, to that rope. But still does have the rope. You can pull him up. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll pull the rope. Chip pulls the rope. <laughs> can I? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to roll for this? Because this would be really sad if I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sure. make, a, make a strength check. Why not? I, I want to help. I want to help. Okay, you roll two. Uh, that's a 13 plus two, one. It's a 14. All right. It's a uh, 19 plus three. Yeah, you all are able to pull Bart up. No problem. Okay. Anybody want to go ahead? Uh, <laughs> Let me dust you out there, little fella, and then just. <laughs> well, at least at least I uncovered a, another pit. Hey, hey, way to way to go, way to think on your feet. Sounds yeah. like me and this Elga person are really helping y'all out there. <laughs> uh, Gum Gun was volunteering to go forward. Yes, I'll go first. Go okay, first. rearrange yourselves. Yeah, and so so, there's the this. Where is the pit in this? Uh, I'm. Uh, there's an X on it. Okay. Yeah, I just put an X. So so. The circle, the red line kind of like oval or goes out like this, right? Can I can I look around? You can, you can point. You can show me exactly oh, yeah. what you're talking about. Yes, yes. This I thing. drew it. Action surge. Ooh. Curves. Uh, curves is the word you're looking for. Oh, God. Is that Curves another? here and has like a little bowl. Can I, can I, can Gum Gum look around and see if he sees anything? Like why that might do that little. It's just, no, it's it's just, just the, it's the just tiles the, on the floor. Yeah. The pat the the purple is the is the hallway. No, running. I know, I know, okay. but like just why it's yeah. Make a investigation check. Investigation. What, What's tell, your modifier? Tell, make it make it a perception check for me. Okay. Perception. Sixteen plus two for perception. Plus two. Are you kidding me? Eighteen. You're not sure, but you discover there's a trap right there. Oh. Where? On that, that little square. straight edge. Yep. Can can, like, is it? Can I? Do I, do I see like how it's uh, set off? It's uh, a pressure plate. You, okay. you can tell from the other ones as well. It seems to be exactly the same as the other two you've encountered okay. already. Chip, Chip calls out, way to go there, Jim Jim. Thank you, Chippy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go here. And, and gum, gum. Actually, from where you are, <laughs> Chippy. you were close enough. You would discover there's another one right there as well. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. I found all the traps. Do not go here or here. And Gum Gum, I think, pokes them. Yeah, you, you guys, do poke them, that would trigger them, and they open up. So they're pits that open up. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys think that uh, maybe the red path is a bad path? <laughs> <laughs> that might be. That is an astute <laughs> observation at this point. Considering you how many traps are along this red path that I, we are walking I, on. I think the question you should be asking, how many traps are not on the red path? Oh, <laughs> which one's the better path? I, I lean over to Bart and say, what? This, this year, Gum Gum, he's a brave little fella. He, he must, uh, wow, what, the bravery and the guts on this guy. Gee whiz. Wizard. So lucky you have him. He is a wizard. He, is, he must be the leader he's of your team. He's not a wizard, but just make sure that you tell him he's a wizard. It's going to help. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Uh, do, do we want to move pieces yeah. up or you want to like move here? Where's Gum Gum going to move to? Can, I, I, can Gum Gum move around those traps and then look and peer down that hallway? Sure. Is anybody else joining him up I'm, there? I'm going to join up to this but point. I think Gum Gum would do like a... Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, what about Mateen uh, and Bart? Bart is also going to... Because I assume Gum Gum told us where those traps are. Mateen? Yeah. He, yeah. he said uh, he poked them and like activated. Okay. 
Yeah, right behind that one. Okay. Uh, and then Chip is also pretty close to that doorway, so he's also going to take a peek in. So, yeah. Okay, I'll describe the doorway here in a second. You're not going to want to peek, like you said. Uh, but when you all reach... <laughs> lopped off. <laughs> oh. When you all... Oh, one second, got to make a note. Mm -mm. Man, I hit Blizz really hard with that foam ball. You yeah, did. we heard it. Yeah. yeah, we heard the sound. Like it, le like it left like a white shock on his face when it hit him. It just went. <laughs> the best <laughs> part is the camera was on you and that. <laughs> we just heard it. Really? Yeah, it was. The second hit we saw second on hit we cam, saw. but the first one that we heard, yeah, it was just a shot of you. <laughs> What's up, guys? When you all reach that little fork at the end where Gum Gum is, yeah. you realize that hidden amongst the red mosaic tiles was a message this entire time. <gasps> Oh, and now goodness. that you've reached the end, you can piece it all together from uh, from the entrance to here. Oh, what what is it? What does it say? Pestoso congratulates you on your powers of observation. Pestoso. So, yeah. Uh, so make of this whatever you wish, for you will be mine in the end, no matter what. Pestoso go, must make a mean pizza. Go back to the tormentor, or through the arch, and the second great hall you'll discover. Shun green if you can, but the night's good color is for those of great valor. I can send this to you, Bob. I got, a, okay, thank you. I got maybe like a third of that. If shades of red stand for blood, <laughs> the wise will not need sacrifice aught, but a loop of magical metal. You're well along your march. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall, so check the wall. These keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will maul. If you find the false, you find the true, and into the columned hall you'll come. And there the throne that's key and keyed. The iron men of visage grim do more than meets the viewer eye. You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your souls will die. This is the strangest Italian restaurant I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> One star to pestosos on Yelp. I'm, I'm going to slack that to you. Is that okay, Barbara? Yes, please. Does anybody else want yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love that. to have that, is yeah. It? I just want to point out, he said left and left at the end. Is, is ah. It, oh. Ah. I think Paddington's uncle's name is Pestoso. So now I'm wondering if, like, his, pat, his, like, his uncle's name is, is named Stinky. Yeah, in, uh, in Spanish, Pestoso is, like, something that smells better. Because they, they live in Peru. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Deepest, darkest oh, Peru. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. May I, you kept saying Pestoso, and I'm like, I've heard that word before. It's one of my favorite Spanish I words. like that you sent it all italicized, too. It makes it more mysterious. <laughs> oh. um, so uh, I'll give you all a second if you're reading that. But, uh, yeah, you come up to the end here, and Thank so you. there's a little alcove and this green statue, which I'm going to give a little more information on. Shun green if you can. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Shades What's of red. Oh, if shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal. I don't know what that means, but I, shades of red is blood, so cuffs? maybe avoid the red. You're all, Ring. All, all your arch. Uh, what's a what's a color of valor? Um, what knight's good color is for those of great valor. Knight's good color was that blue, blue? And purple. Is it K N or Black? is it N? KN probably? Of, no, the knight that you're reading. Oh, it's oh, N. N. N I G. Knight. Oh. Yeah, knight's good color. Don't two, know. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So, mm. not all falls are bad falls. So, check the wall. Word up. <laughs> These keys are those, and those are most important of all. These keys and those pits, I guess? Are so, most uh, you were. Uh, Sorry, Gus was being prepared to describe this archway, though. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Uh, Kiwi is asking what happened to the curse. We did the curse, but it was a sh Kyborg shadow came alive and attacked him, but Kyborg disappeared, so the shadow disappeared. We may have to deal with that when Kyborg comes back. Maybe not. I'm sure he's fine. Thank uh, you, Dark Roses. So, uh, you know, Gum Gum, you said you saw you know this archway. You looked into it over uh -huh. here, and the stone archway before you is filled with a veil of thick vapors. The stones on either side of the base and the keystone protrude slightly from the stones around them. As you move to within touching distance, the left-hand base stone begins to glow yellow and the right-hand base stone orange, and the keystone seven feet above blue. Well, blue is the knight's good color. Do we think it is? For those yeah. of great valor. I'm just going to assume. Okay. So there's blue above us. Correct. And then what were the... The left-hand stone is yellow, yellow. and the right-hand stone is orange. And then they said something about left, yeah? 
Well, that's at the end. It says, you've left and left and found my tomb, and now your souls will die. That's well, the last we are one. taking a left here, though. And additionally, you also see down at the southern end of this, the, uh, the green stonework I was talking about. Yeah. Um, on the wall before you is a relief sculpture of a devil face formed of mosaic tiles. The face has a huge O of a mouth, inside of which the space is dead black. Can, can, can Chip go right up to it and then turn around with a big O on his face because he has horns and he looks like a devil and just goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the resemblance is uncanny. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I mean, that, Chip's going to stick his hand in. Left or right hand? Left hand. Chip sticks his left hand into the, um, the gaping mouth. <laughs> Open wide. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want to do anything? <laughs> no, I want to watch. Uh, I can, 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 can Gum Gum hold on to Chip? Yeah. You hold Is on. my like, patient defense like, going on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks for the hug there, Jim Jim. It's a hug. But also, it's a safety hug. Uh, all right. You pull. Uh, you don't feel anything. Nothing's in there. No. Okay. Do, uh, what does your hand look like? Pull I, it out. I scream in pain. No! I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding. Uh, you, you say that, but your left hand is missing. Oh! <laughs> uh, Wait, really? Why can't yeah, your characters your keep? Is, is it? Can I? Uh, can I feel it, or is no, it like? It's just gone. Is it a wound or just a, a just blank? It's blank. Okay. But I can't feel it. No. Uh, hey, team. <laughs> hey, I think that should probably be the last thing we stick in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else, everyone. Um. So, what happened to your hand? Um, now you're just like Kyborg. <laughs> Who, oh, the brave Kyborg? Yeah. Oh, I've heard of his legend. Sounds great. Uh, well, if we need to make something disappear, I found a great spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have we come across any things that we need to get rid of? Perhaps an active grenade? <laughs> no, I don't think we have any. Did anyone have a ring? Uh... I you know, I think maybe we should go through these arches. That that uh, is it, little is the, riddle we heard said. Uh, is the archway blocked or oh, open? It's it's open. It's just covered with vapors. It says go back to the tormentor around. through the arch. Really quick, two pits along the way will be found. Uh, oh my gosh, I just lost it. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So check the wall. The, what was that? Oh, can I? Then, <laughs> could um. I wasn't done. These keys and those are more, most important of all. And beware of trembling hands and what will maul. Sure. Trembling hands? Of what he just said. Mateed's back there. Uh, can Mateed look into the pit that um, Gum Gum triggered uh, in front of Mateed? Uh, yeah, make an um, investigation check. Ooh, that's a bad one. Uh, that's only a three. It's uh, hard to see down there. It just seems like it has wooden spikes that are coated in something at the bottom. Okay, okay. You know, speaking. <laughs> Is that a. That I believe. That's another curse. It's a, that's another curse, curse and another hint. One, two, three, four. It, Does anyone have a ring we could put in the hole? Oh, yeah, to see what it is. That is a 26. 26. That D100 is so intimidating. intimidating. Crazy looking. I love it. Because it says. It says need the, not sacrifice. Who it affects? That's a three. Three. That's a gum gum. Hello. I could go. Yeah, all right. Hint and a curse. Yeah, so I gotta look up your curse just so I make sure I have it. Oh no, I'm cursed with an extra hint. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, gum gum suddenly becomes magnetic. Yep. Uh, any. Um, He's got his axes. Yeah, your axe is like pinned up high. It's not super strong. Uh huh. But uh, you like all metal is or magnetic right. metal is now attracted. The to magic you. is in me. Gum gum, are you using your wizard ability? Yes, I'm a ma I, every. I, there's magic within me. It's pulling my axe into me. At, oh. that, at that stage, ship says, "I lost my hand, but I didn't lose my arm blade." Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and for your hint, I'm just double checking because there is a. This is amazing. Could I uh, take uh, out like a, a knife from my pocket and throw it at Gum Gum? Not, <laughs> not like, like to like. It. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just kind of like it. toss. You think it just like uh, attracts it attacks. Oh, well. I, I caught it with my cheek. <laughs> That's frightening. <laughs> like, um, sometimes the way forward is not right in front of you. Mm. So it's to the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, could, I, could Chip check this wall? Yeah, make a 
investigation check. Okay. Chip is checking the closed wall. I have a 13. Uh, it just seems to be uh, a fresco, not unlike the rest of the the walls. Found a fresco. There are uh, pictures of pig humans farming on this one. Pig humans farming. Okay. That was a waste of time. Pig humans. If, uh, 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 who's, who's right next to the, the vapor? Uh, I mean, that's, that's gum gum, gum and chip. chip. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Monsieur Gum Gum, um, what happens if you touch the vapor? The paper? Va vapor. The, 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 va the gas. Vapor. The gas. The, the air that looks thick. Gas. Yeah. Yeah, what happens uh, if you touch he, uh, it? Does he understand, Carmen? <laughs> Do I need to <laughs> <laughs> You usually, here, just speak through me and okay. I'll translate. Yeah. So wait, where's the vapor? If we touch the vapor's the through this hallway, through this arch. Correct. Uh, I'm curious. Touch it? I'm just curious. Uh, okay. Gum Gum, you could do it. Just gum go through. Uh, <laughs> can Gum Gum, just go, so, uh, can Gum Gum take his axe and kind of stick it through slowly? And through the vapor? Yeah. Into the vapor? Yeah. Sure. Does that axe come back and smack him in the face? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stick your axe and swirl around. It doesn't seem to hit anything. Uh, you know what, gang? I'm already down a paw. I'm going to just, uh... Ah, what the heck? I stick the rest of my left arm in through the vapor. That's the one that's missing a hand? Yes. yes. Uh, so you, you stick your nut. But through the, the, the vapor. arch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you stick it in and you can't really feel anything. Like... You don't encounter anything. It just seems like <laughs> yeah. well, this, this has happened before, and it came back with a missing yeah. arm. Is anything anything visible? No, you wrong? pull it out, and it seems fine. Hey, leave of faith. I'm gonna go through here. You know, see, so you guys don't have to do it. And yeah. Chip walks through. Bon chance. All right. Chip, Chip walks through. Chip walks through. Bart also walks through. Bart walks. Uh, gum gum follows. You don't want to wait until gum -gum I follows. go through here. Again. Ah, I have full trust in you. Okie dokie. Hey, it's well placed. I'm Chip Bainey. Could gum gum crawl? Into the like, archway? Like, yeah. Matisse, what are you going to do? <laughs> I think Matisse seems to be waiting to see what happens. Maybe, uh, like, some of us might should do. <laughs> bold, bold strategy. <laughs> All right, the three of you crawl in. Okay. What are you we just waiting, Matisse? Uh, 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 C'est la vie. Could, and could, I go into. Come on, Matisse, peer I, pressure. I go, th I go through. Okay. Why not? Let's see what happens. So do we have to come a little forward then? Uh, yeah. Okay. You all uh, walk through the vapors, and then they they dissipate, and you find yourself transported to another area. Oh. You're not sure where you are. This miserable crucible. Let me retake that. This miserable cubicle appears to have no, absolutely no means of egress. Three iron levers, each about one foot long, protrude from the south wall of the chamber. You're in a tiny five by five room. Oh, well, the old nine to five at the office, eh? Three levers. Cool. Yeah. Gum -gum. Long levers. Could I go on your shoulders? Long. It's a little tight in here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bart, for Bart. the four of you, it's a, it's a really tight fit. Gets on uh, gummy shoulders. Uppies. <laughs> Uppies, please. Could, uh, would someone uh, with perceptive eyes uh, check to see what might be going on with these levers? I look at you cross-eyed and say, don't look at me. Okay. Uh, oh. Maybe our new compatriots have yeah. something to do. I'll take a look. Yeah, me and Bart will look. There we yeah, go. Make a... New heads are better than... What, one. do you want to do, like an investigation check or something? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Wait. Let's do a perception check. Mm, show me the magic. Oh, interesting. Uh, you d try to detect magic, and you do not detect any magic in this area. I'm all out of show me the magic. I was going to say, how many times can you do that? Is that once per... Twice, twice. it seems. Twice per long rest. Oh. Um, so then you, you want to make your perception check? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Uh, 15. Not bad. Um, yeah, so it seems to you, it, upon examining the levers, like they can be moved in any direction, horizontally or vertically, either individually or in combination. They did say left and And how left. many there were there? Three. Sorry. And they're each about one foot long. At, at, what position are they in? Just straight out? They're just straight out, Kurt. Okay. And they're like in a line? Correct. So these are like kind of like big old joysticks from like an yeah. old yeah. game. Yeah. And you said yeah. they could go up, down, left, right? Correct. Can... can, can Look around and see if there's anything else in the room besides the lovers. Make an investigation check. <gasps> 12 plus minus 1. Mm -hmm. So 11. Absolutely nothing. 
Do, do, does it appear like anybody has touched these, or is it like you know any sort of uh, wear? Yeah, or or like dust that has been rubbed off, or anything like that. Oh, that's a good. Uh, we'll call that an investigation check with advantage. That's a. What do we got for investigation? Um, we got a plus zero. That's an eighteen and a fifteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, gum gum, it's hard for you to stay away from the levers because you're magnetic. You're oh. you're you're constantly being pulled to them. I um, want to touch. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kyborg, or not Kyborg, Chip. Uh, you don't even have that lever. <laughs> it, 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 it seems like this room has not been visited in decades, possibly centuries. It seems like the, the, everything has a layer of dust in here. Hachu! <laughs> are there any, uh, are there any drawings or, or imagery on the wall in here? Totally barren. Totally barren. Okay. Mm hmm Hmm. Um, I think we might have to uh, do something with these levers. I make a dust angel on the ground. <laughs> We're in a tiny There's room. Not There's not much room. room. <laughs> well, I do it anyways. <laughs> Gang, move out of the way. I'm making We're a dust stepping angel. on Chip. Do you think we should just uh, pull one? Let's pull some levers. Jack. What a rip. Oh, let's, okay, well, let's uh, yeah, let, let me draw them since there's three of them. Okay. That way we can make sure everyone's on the same page. Also, um, metagaming. Going back to this poem, it said... Uh, Basically, there's pits that are fortuitous. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I was curious about. Since there we, might have been some... And that it has to do with, like, we should look at the wall to help us figure out which ones. So maybe in the previous hallway, we... there's imagery on the wall that might determine which pit might be beneficial. Right, yeah. um, so those are the three levers all sticking straight out. Straight up. Yeah. It said out. there's two left. Yeah. Like, so it's you've nice. left and left and found my tomb. Correct. Okay. So... Hmm. Expo, huh? Uh, we, we Petite is getting impatient and wants to see what happens and takes the middle lever and pulls it down. Yeah. So this way? Yeah. yeah. Wrong lever. We'll, we'll say, let me rewrite. Okay. Uh, nothing seems to happen. Okay. And I'm going to indicate here that this is down and this is up. Uh, okay. Oh, right, because it's... <laughs> it could be uh, depending on... Oh, they, they kind of switched the thing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, how, how was that? Like the tactile feel of the lever? Did it feel good? Mechanical? It's. A, it, I would say it, it. It sticks a little bit, as if you know it hasn't been used in a long time. Sure. Uh, and, but you're able to to pull it down without too much fuss. Chip. Chip wants to take a crack at this. He'll reach for the left one with his left hand at first, and then he the red. shakes that off, and then he takes oh, it with his right hand. I'll tell you what, actually, <laughs> which let, direction? Left. Let me reread something real fast before okay. you do that. Bar Barber. I, I reached with it with my left hand. Thank you, Serenity. Oh, thank you, Serenity. Thank you. For the... Merci beaucoup. For the support. And thank you to everyone who's been getting first membership yeah. so far. Yeah. Uh, really, truly supports this show and for us to be able to make it more Stinky Dragon. The only way we can do this. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, all right, yeah, so uh, Chip, you moved this lever... To the left. To the left. Okay. Yeah, that just stays there. It sticks a little bit because it hasn't been used in a while. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Then I turn it. Yeah, are you, are you guys putting your lever back to the center? I left I, it down. I, I assume that's the position they're in. Okay. Yep, and so unless I say otherwise. Hey, Gum Gum, should we uh, take the right lever and do yeah. something? Yeah. How about up? Up. Uppies. We're a little bit of a devil make care group, me and Batid. We just, you know, pull levers and ask questions later, and they're right, Batid. I mean, I've died already, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing seems to happen. Nothing happens? No. This is cool. <laughs> um, I'll take the middle lever and put it up as well. Let's just see. Okay. Middle lever up. Boom. Okay. Nothing happens. Can I take the middle lever and turn it left? This one? Yes. So, so towards the red. So left and left. Left and left. Nothing happens. God. Uh, Can we... we put this one back to normal? Yeah. Neutral. We'll yeah. call it. Neutral. Yeah. Nothing happens. And then I turn that one left. Ooh, interesting. But nothing happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. Okay, all right. How do we figure this out? I'm going to review the... Quick, somebody sub so we can get a hint. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't think I'd have to ask for that. I thought it would just be it's something we'd figured out on our Are own. Are they colored at all, yes. the levers? Uh, no, they're just uh, iron. Iron levers, okay. Through the arch in the second great hall, you're just going to shun green if you can, but knights good colors. Those are the great valor. Shades, reds, and some blue. Does anyone know what the story is? I just got on. Yeah, happy to tell you. We, fa we found these four people that are in the bottom of the screen. We're all together inside of a weird dungeon. dungeon of some kind. We have been transported as we went through a like a Dark Souls wall into a five by five cubic room. We are looking at three levers, and we have no idea what to do with them. Correct. And, and you're caught up. Yeah. And our characters keep swapping. We magically keep swapping out. Yeah. And basically, if you become a first member, 
the amount of first members we get over the course of the stream will trigger different things. For example, character swaps every 100 subs. Correct. And then a 60 second dungeon every 62. Every 60 second sub. 60 second sub. <laughs> and then a hint or and, and a, a curse, curse every, every 50. 50. Yeah. So if I'm reading this, if Shades of Red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice aught but a loop of magical metal. Is this magical metal? Well, I guess you did the check for. Yeah, magic there's no magic. Nothing. God. Huh. Uh, you know, Chip is just going to start, like, Go going wild. Yeah. Go for it. I'm going, I'm going up. All three, boom, they're all up. That does something. Uh oh. <gasps> but let me reply to a message here before I get to you. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, so I hear clicking. <laughs> What's going on in there? Also, yes, Bart is still at one health point right now. Could, could, could Jungle strong. take, like, a. a, a Very uh, protective, I don't know, stance over Bart. I'm like, on your shoulders. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Um, yes. It's okay, Gum Gum. If I have to go, this is how it must be. <laughs> <laughs> on your shoulders. Chip just gives him a good old pat on the back. You're gonna be just fine, little guy. I don't want you just to go. one point of yeah. <laughs> you, I don't want you to go anywhere I can't go to. You move all three levers up, and a small trap door in the center of the ceiling opens up 10 feet above you. Ooh. Oh, Mateed! <laughs> do, we, do we know Mateed's name? They do. Bird. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Chip yeah. Haney, we're me and Mateed, we're best friends back in our land. Oh, I'll let you say that. Do you want to fly? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, uh, Chipmunk Special. Sure, I love the idea. Um, I grab Chip and without a care in the world, fly up at the top speed that Mateed can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I take the rope uh, and I leave the rest of it down for uh, Bart and Gum Gum. Yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a small crawl space up here. Uh, it's probably three feet square, so it's super tight. Just let us know what you guys see. Three feet tight, square, skull, skull square. <laughs> uh, it's a code. <laughs> <laughs> crawl space! <laughs> and it kind of goes around. I'm going to draw it for you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we didn't do all three down. Because then that would oh. be. <laughs> you should be really glad you didn't do all three down. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so funny because I was thinking like, oh, let's just pull them all. Yeah. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> Total party wipe. <laughs> Wee! Oh. You get a little bit of perspective on where you are now. Okay. So mm. the, the same might apply for, what, did we do all left and nothing opened up on the left side yep. though? Mm -hmm. So it might just be vertical then. Might be, the, well, okay. what, whatever available directions there are. My we, guess. We have tried two. My guess is there are multiple combinations that lead to multiple things. Maybe. We only uncovered one potential Now, hold on now. Outcome. I'm going to Alice in Borderlands this. How, okay. how tall was the, the floor that He's, we just left? Oh, that we were in with from, all the red? From, said, I think he said 20 feet. Yeah. 20 feet. So, okay. And then how tall is this crawl space? Uh, he hasn't gone over that yet. He's yeah. drawing it. It's three yeah, it's feet wide. It's about three feet. Three feet. Okay. I just erase this. So that's 23 feet. So then that means that there's the potential for a second floor above us if this is 20 yards tall. Wait, no, 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 60 feet. Never mind. We're, we're like halfway up this, this area. Does that make sense? I I'm see, just talking it. I see uh, Adam in Rooster Teeth chat saying it's good this is an eight hour stream. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to need it. Adam, I don't think we'll get very far even in eight hours. You, you all are doing pretty good. Okay, okay. This okay. is actually one eighth so, of the map. So, uh, as far as yeah. the map goes, we're entering this. Yeah, this is the, I put the three dots to indicate okay. this is the room with three levers. And then this kind of, kind of like slash through it because okay. this is like the crawl space. So, we're like all right here right now. Uh, so, like we've entered the crawl space, but the crawl space goes horizontal. It, it, yeah, it goes, so it goes, yeah, it turns and then goes. Okay. North. Are we here then? Then you know what? Uh, Matit has dark vision. Yeah. And so Matit is dragging uh, Chip. Chip. Yeah. And so I'm just going to, can we just uh, make our way through there? So, so, yeah. so, so, so are, are we going up? Well, we like imagine crawling up into like the oh, AC. Okay, okay. Yeah, like so now we're going. In, now we're going. The, the action movie trope where so you're like crawling around in an air vent. So oh, this we, essentially teleported us here. It would yes. seem that way. Yes. But if, 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 you're, okay. if you're dragging me, then it's going to sound like. <laughs> oh my god. I we just lost 300 so viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you guys are, are here or are you no, here? No, no, no. We should be. Or, uh, you, you, you move yourself wherever you want. Well, uh, you started. You know here, what? Right? Uh, Matid would be getting impatient. And okay. so Matid's going to just move, 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 move until you. Um, until, through that thing. Here? Until you tell me stop. And I got no choice because I'm being dragged. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. 
Um, yeah, if we uh, get to uh, a few more th 100 subs, we'll just kick Blaine off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> what about Take my shoes away. Gum Gum and Bart. They're uh, still in the room? Yeah. No, no, I think, well, well there's the rope. Well, because we were like, tell us what happens. Oh, it's yeah. only three feet tall up there, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, like, the, it's like, a, like in the movies, like crawling through an air duct, right? Like, it's only three feet around. So, so then you guys would still Did we here? follow? No, they, they, they were in the, the lever room. Oh, oh, yeah. so we got teleported this to the room, and then it just leads us yeah. back there. So now that we're here, me and Mateed, what can we see when we get back the into the hallway? There's a, there's a door. Oh, the yeah. handle? Uh, yeah. I reach for it with my left hand, and I go, God dang it. I think I'm in front. For my but, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, wait. Uh, can I, I'll, I'll check for a trap. Uh, make a investigation check. Uh, investigation. <laughs> Out of, uh, four? No, no, no trap. <laughs> it seems safe, Chip. I'm going to pull the handle. Okay. Um, <laughs> but instead, I kick the door. Okay, yeah. You kick it, it opens, and you're back in that big hallway. And right over the trap that Gum Gum triggered, so you have to be careful. What do you guys see? We're back to square one. Uh, we're in the hallway, not too far from the archway. Um... Why don't you guys pull some more levers? Don't pull down, though. Try it. Pull only down. Yeah, you know what? Pull down. Pull down. <laughs> Who knows what happens? Should we pull down, Gum Gum? Uh, whatever you think, Bart. <laughs> but but wait, we are holding on. Is that? Did y'all tie the rope to anything, or what's the deal with the rope? No, we don't you have You handed that. a rope. They, I they think flew they said, off. They dropped a rope down, didn't you? Yeah, you dropped a rope down. You did. Were you, were you like... It's a 60-foot rope, so how long is this? Count it up. These are fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So it's just a it's, little nub yeah. of rope hanging out of the uh, right. shaft. So I'm holding onto the rope. I, and Bart's on your shoulders. Yes. Yeah. What do we do? All right. Let's, uh, let's pull them all down. Okay. <laughs> Bart pulls all three down. You pull all three down, and the floor opens up, uh, <laughs> revealing a 100-foot deep pit below you. Wee! <laughs> We're holding on. I'm holding on yeah, to the so rope. Yeah, you're holding on to the rope, so you don't actually what, fall. What kind of what kind of rolls? Wait, do we but do? is Gum Gum holding on? To yeah, the rope? yeah, yeah. And I'm on your shoulders. You're on my yeah. shoulders. So you're all okay. We. We're doing. <laughs> should we roll or are we are we good? I'll say you're good. Okay, I'll, 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 give, I'll give it to you. <laughs> what did you find? Well, you would yeah, the rope would go. To... Yeah, it seems like you guys are moving. We're, we're... Uh, pull us up, please. Hold on. Could Gum Gum try and climb the rope yeah. up until he's get to the? Chip, yeah. I'll, I'll say you're able to to get up to the ledge where you're not. You know, pulling taut on the rope anymore. Good idea, the Bart. We found a hole. <laughs> wait, wait, before you guys go up, use your dark vision, uh, Gum Gum Jimbo, and uh, see if you can like see if there are any like. This is like a diehard situation where you could jump to a vent lower down. Is there anything down the hole? He said it was a hundred foot thing, so you could see your dark vision down it's 60, 60 feet? feet. It just, it's just like sheer wall. When, sheer when, wall. When we get to the uh, little crawl space, crawl space yeah. can I uh, use my uh, Whatever lighting thing, tinderbox, and light some like a something. Like what? So you let go of the a rope. A torch. Okay. And drop it down. Yeah. You drop it down and you watch it fall 100 feet and land on the bottom of the pit and it's just smooth all the way down. Did you drop the bar? I heard something fall. <laughs> There's the hole. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't put the levers all down if I were you, or go back in that room. Um. Uh, Mati jumps across the pit and uh, stands on the non-red tile next to that. Okay. Uh, 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 non -red north one. North tile. So, south. No, sorry. There. Right there. there? Okay. Uh, Chip, Chip, what about you? Chip, Chip moves up so, so that he can actually like pull these guys. Okay, the door closes uh, once Mati goes out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just uh, open it. Yeah. Our door's a problem with you people. Uh, hey, <laughs> uh, can, uh, put, put those levers back up. Pull the lever. But they're in the crawl space. You pulled us up, right? There's no yeah. floor. Yeah, but there's no floor, so I'm saying pull the lever so that they can have could floor. Could Bart try to... Because I'm so but, busy. But they, they can't get back down. They're in the crawl space. I mean, we could if we... Like, make a the row. If the, if do you still have your axe? Maybe you could, like, shove it down and push the levers back to neutral? Yeah, can I do that? Yes. Right. Um, a make a God. strength check to overcome your magnetic body. Okay. Twelve plus you're three. Yeah, you're able 15. to fight the magnetic fields and uh, return the, the, the levers to a neutral position. 
Can we but see if the floor stays open? The floor is still open. Oh, cool. Uh, cool, cool. Okay. Well, now that you guys are in the crawl space, which is over here, uh, I'm gonna like let go of the rope or, or bundle it back up, and uh, I'm gonna open the door. Yeah, you open the door and you see uh, Mateen standing out there. Okay, and then I move, I move back to the archway. You step out there and the door closes. Could uh, Bart crawl through all the way yeah. out yeah. to the hall? Yeah, there's a there's a door there. Okay, there. he opens the door. Yeah, you open the door and you see. Oh, yeah, and the door closes. Hey, gun mom went to. Oh, oh move yourself. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're here. Uh, yeah, and the door closes. And oh, okay. Wow. Now that you all are in this hallway, you you can't see that door at all. It's just totally flush, it's flush. with the wall. Okay. What the uh, magic? What is on the wall where the door was? Uh, there is a scene Isn't of that the pigs farming. Yeah, I believe that's what I see. Yeah, pigs farming. Uh, pig humans farming. Could I, uh, Bart, uh, look? Down the wall and see if there's any other pigs farming. Or pig uh, yeah, I mean it's it's all over. I'll read you the description one more time because it is a few different things. Okay. Um, yeah, you said it was uh, pig, ape, and dog humans. Yeah, there are the 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 scenes show fields with kind grazing, a copse with several wolves in the background, workers of various races and strange human animal mixtures, pig human, ape human, dog human going about various tasks. Certain of the frescoes show rooms of some building. A library filled with many books and scrolls, the door of a torture chamber, and a wizard's workroom. There are chairs, windows, boxes, bales, doors, chests, birds, bats, spiders, and all manner of things shown on the wall. It's a lot of information. A lot of information. A lot. A lot of wall stuff going so on. There is, it, is a, it is a busy wall. Archway has green uh, thing on top. No, it's uh, green, no, blue, it's, yellow. No, I think it was yellow, orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yellow. then I forget what color was at the top. Blue. It was blue at the top. Was it yeah. Blue, blue okay. at the top. And yellow, orange. I'm going to do a Simon Says situation. I'm going to slap the blue. You slap the blue. Slap of the blue. And yes, uh, someone asked in chat uh, is there a way to gift subs? Uh, yes. Uh, stinkydragonpod.com slash store. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you go to stinkydragonpod, you can purchase one and then you can, I think there's a code. Yes. And then you can either post that wherever you want. Um, like do it, the Discord? Like, yep. I've been giving some away in the Discord. There's a channel for that, or you could do it in chat here. Yep. A lot of people in there be happy to use it. And I'm sorry, which one did you say you slapped? I slapped the blue thing at uh, the top you, of the you arch. You have to jump because it is seven feet above, um, you know, at the, at the peak of that keystone. Yeah. Okay. But uh, you slap it and it glows. Cool. Ooh. I stepped through the doorway. Uh, you step through the misty doorway. In my head. And you're teleported back here. And you begin falling 100 feet. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's got a rope. We're holding on a rope. No, I bundled mm -hmm. it up. He bundled it up. You, oh. he, he specifically said he bundled it up. Well, from your all's perspective, Chip, uh, Chip disappears. Ah! Do we hear anything? Yeah, you all hear a very faint scream somewhere. Carol! What happened? <laughs> What does happen? You don't know. We don't know. Can does I, Chip know what happened? Side, I can't tell him because then it will spoil it for you guys. Oh. You spray it in my ear. Oh, uh, we're actually okay. Step over here. I guess he's well, alive. You're miked. Yeah, that's fine. You all can't, can't hear it. Uh, Should we just like... Late. Late. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey. Uh, Man, I... The, we've been... How long How long have we been doing this Oh, show? it's 11. Is it time for a 60-second dungeon? I think <laughs> it is. Okay. What what, what a, a great time to pause. I don't, how many do we have, Ben? If you could let me know how many. Huh? J just, just one 60-second oh, thank, thank you, Ben. Uh, I feel like we yes. have been doing this show for this long, and we should have progressed in being able to do puzzles better. However, we haven't progressed in being able to do puzzles better. <laughs> so, And yet, our dungeon mister and writer keep giving us puzzles. <laughs> this, this is eight hours of puzzles today. All yeah. puzzles. Which All is why I'm like, are we making good progress? Because I feel like we haven't really learned much, and we've gone like a total of 30 feet. <laughs> it's it, it's not bad. Okay. Um, I, I I think I thought you would be a little further ahead at this point, but you're making decent progress. I mean, okay. if you think about the things you've seen, this is all really confusing. I mean, especially the um, the devil face. That's like a big opportunity to, for death. Yeah. So the fact I, I honestly shocked you all haven't died yet. Though. And guys, remember if you buy a year. A first that counts for 12 subscriptions. So each month is a subscription. If you buy tw a year, it's 12. Adds the total. And Maybe then, we get a curse or a hint. Who knows? And the merch in uh, stinkydragonpod.com slash store also adds to that. to that number. What? And thank you. If, if you have already supported, please let us know. Uh, 
posts in chat. I've also I've seen some people in chat uh, wanting some Brink Tussler. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why they would want that. Which no, is, no one ever asked that. Which for. Which is it. weird. Um, while uh, uh, is he's still loading. Sixty seconds engine is loading, and we're in the loading screen. Do either of you have any theories on how to deal with this archway? Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be more secret doors and stuff hidden in the walls. Like the fresco, I, or is going to, or that you think there are more doors? Think, there could be more doors, but I also think we should go back and look for the pit. I don't know if we should go keep going back to the lever room necessarily. I do think some of us might just have to fall. I well, checked. I checked that pit right next that 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 is right below Matid. The only one we haven't like yeah. checked is the one behind Matid that we jumped over when we came through the, yeah. the flush door. I think we're ready for a 60 second dungeon. Okay. 60 second dungeon. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, hey, welcome to the 60 second dungeon. Today I'm joined by Eric and a sauce monkey. This is a sauce monkey. It's on sale now at store.roosterteeth.com. You disgust me. Uh, you walk into uh -huh. a dimly lit forest oh. at the uh, night-ish hours. Right, dimly lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. And you run across a beautiful maiden. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Hey, hi there. Oh my god. Hi there, beautiful tra oh. Hello oh, there, handsome was, traveler. How are you? Uh, uh, okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> roll for uh, like a charisma. Okay. That's a uh, 13. 13. Okay, 13. He says, Oh, aren't you so handsome, like, young traveler? I am. Okay. okay. Uh, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Oh, just trying to meet. Uh, Trying to uh, find someone to spend uh, my life with. Oh, well, you've come to the right place, but I must warn you. Okay. Uh, you, you, we cannot uh, be together past the break of full moon. Uh, roll, roll an insight check. <laughs> what is that? <clears throat> Eighteen. So I'll find out exactly why we cannot be past the break of full moon. <laughs> Stranger, please. I, I I know that we will have a love-filled life together, but we cannot be together on this full moon. Mm -hmm. I want to be together on the full moon. You do? I do so bad. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, give me a big kiss. Absolutely. Roll for. Uh, Roll for kiss. Roll for kiss. Roll for kiss. <laughs> That's it. 19. 19! Oh, yes! it's the most beautiful, yes! loving kiss. Yes! You embrace each other. Woo! A thousand years of yearning have led to this moment. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Uh, and, and she bites your lip. Uh, oh my God. Oh, you, you, oh my she, God. she draws I'm, blood. Oh my God, I might like that. As the moon crests above Whoa, the tree the, line. Guys, guys, the break of the full moon. <laughs> Roll a constitution saving throw. Constitution? Uh, she says, do you want to be with me for forever? I want to be with you forever, woman. Oh. I just met in a dimly lit forest at the break of the full moon, whose name I don't know. Uh, Cheryl Crow. Wow! If it makes me happy! <laughs> so, suddenly, she... Flexes out of her shirt, uh -huh. hair popping out of her arms, uh -huh. her chest, her face contorts into a wolf-like okay. uh, facade. Can I do a punch-up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Instead of a werewolf, she turns into a giant crow. She's like a were-crow. Were -crow. Cheryl crow. Yeah. So you want to take it, let's roll it back. Let's make it like thematic. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's roll it back. Her name is Cheryl Crow, and... She turns into a big, hairy crow. Whoa! She says... Do you still want to join me? On I this do! Journey? I do want to be with you, Cheryl Crow! Okay, she bites you. Okay. Uh, roll another constitution okay. saving throw. S nine? Nine! nine. nine. Uh, That's and medium. You feel a change coming over your body. Uh, it's like puberty 2.0. Yes. Hair, hair sprouting out of strange ah. places. And you turn into a werewolf. Put that on. Put that on. And now, <laughs> now you're with each other for forever. Now sing your favorite Sarah, Cheryl Crow song. Uh, a change, do you, do you good, a change, wait, 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 uh, no, what was the other one, uh, uh, oh, what was the one where, uh, it was her first song, um, so, so, what it got, what? no, that's not Cheryl Crow, <laughs> it's not, at all. It's not. Yeah, what, 
What? Uh, uh, that's no, that's soak up the sun. That's later, Cheryl Crow. Put your mask back on. Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, yeah. Santa Monica. Oh, you're changed no into a werewolf and you live out your were life with your were wife uh, for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the 60 second dungeon. Look at him. Wow. So natural. Buy Sauce Monkey. Sauce Bill. Monkey. Buy Sauce Monkey. Yeah. Store for Cheryl Crow. If it makes you happy. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was yeah. way longer than 60 seconds. Best 60 second dungeon ever. Which and is great because we got bath. We got better love story than Twilight. Yeah, yeah. people subscribing. The subscriptions got are through. So the many room. during if that. That doesn't make you subscribe. What will? <laughs> yeah, listen to Enma. Enma. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, if you become a first member, you have access to all the Rooster Teeth. Another guest yeah. Gus show. More Gus too. shows. Um, all right. Uh, so is Chip, is Chip kind of quiet at this moment? Yeah, Chip is a little quiet. Oh, okay, you, I'm gonna go get water. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, the blue is glowing, and nothing. And we uh, have and Chip yeah, went they through. Were, they were all glowing. Disappeared. Uh -huh. Just for uh, for clarity, I believe I said they were all glowing. Did I not? You said when you hit the blue, it started glowing. Yeah. But maybe I missed. I think it was already glowing. Let me clarify. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they already glow. When he tapped it, it just started like glowing more. Okay. Like oh, a little more right intensely. Me. Right, correct. Okay. Mm. Could uh, Bart kind of navigate around the room and uh, see if there's any other pigs, pig people on the walls? Or is it just like so much of uh, there, there are a lot. Yeah, it's just kind of all over the place and various animal-human hybrids. Could, could Gum Gum kind of look around? And see if there's any other traps, and also look in the pits down the hall. Uh, any... I mean, you have, you, you, we'd have to be a little more specific than that. I know normally we do that with the audio podcast, but here you have to like show me where do you want to look. So have we looked in? We looked in that pit. No, no I think we only fell down. Uh, these we fell down. Two. Looked at that one. Have not looked at one. You were just oh, pointing. No, wait, yeah. Can yeah. Gum look in this pit? See if there's anything. From where? Oh, they, they, they looked in that one. Mati looked oh. in that one. The oh. other one. I thought I, I thought I looked in the other one. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, whatever. Yeah. According to you, look in the one that we haven't looked Correct. at. Correct. Make a uh, perception check for me, uh, Gum Gum. Two. Okay. Plus two. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a pit. There's some wooden spikes down there. I want to look in it. Take, make a perception check. I will do that. Much better. Uh, perception is plus three. Fifteen. Nice. Uh, yeah, it just seems to be like the other, the other pits. So uh, nothing different about these pits. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Um... I will kick the other two colors on the arch. Uh, I think they said they he, started glowing. Well, yeah, the, the blue, blue, the blue was starting to glow brighter, okay. so there's the yellow and the orange. You, in what order do you hit them? Uh, orange, yellow. So you hit the orange and you hit the yellow. Uh, they begin glowing. The blue, uh, after, I should clarify, after Chip went through, the blue went back to like a normal oh, oh, glow brightness. Okay, then I would have gone blue, orange, yellow. Blue, orange, yellow. You hit blue, orange, yellow. They begin glowing and then reset to like their original. Oh, I try blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, orange. They begin glowing, kind of like a Simon Says, whoever made that noise. Yeah. Uh, but then reset to like a, their original intensity. There's only so many combinations, so I could just run through them. Yes, Those right. nine combinations, I believe. Yellow, orange, blue. Uh, yeah, it's yellow, orange, square, blue. Right? Yeah. Uh, yellow, orange, blue. They begin glowing and then reset into um, uh, how they were originally. Yellow, blue, orange. You hit yellow, blue, orange, and the vapors disappear. <gasps> oh. Bart, I did, I did Bart, it. Could Bart go through? Oh, wait. Yeah. Bart uh, goes through, and you are teleported somewhere else. Somewhere else. Gum Gum jumps in. Gum Gum jumps follows. in. All, right. All three of you are teleported elsewhere. Okay. Um, I'm going to put them there for now. Chip, like, I guess. Uh, we'll find you, Chip. <laughs> have a good life. Is they're, Chip they're not going after you. They're well, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, 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 sure. Can I, can I share with the class all the different combinations? I don't know how many you went through. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Well, I mean, well, the one we just did worked. Which one was that? Which was yellow, blue, orange? Yeah. Yellow, blue, orange. Right. Which ones did you try I wonder try if that's important failed? to note. Blue, uh, yellow, orange. All blue combinations at the front and yellow, orange, blue. Yellow, orange, blue did not work. Okay, so yeah. we still have orange, blue, yellow, orange, yellow, blue. Yes. At our disposal. Yes. But we went through this and we are teleported and Gus is loading. I'm loading stuff. Yeah. To catch people up, if you're joining late, uh, we are... In a dungeon, we woke up and found ourselves in a lot. 
entered it, and uh, it's right now. It's currently gum gum chip. <laughs> And we were outside. We saw a mountain. <laughs> we went to the mountain, cleared some br uh, bush and grass over time, and then found like essentially a big uh, and cave. And this is this is the cave that we're in, like yeah. a, a tunnel, essentially. Tunnel, yeah. And there's a guy named uh, Pestoso who's mocking us. Pestoso yeah. yeah. makes yeah. a delicious yeah. pie to pizza pie pasta <laughs> and, and randomly what is magically wrong with you today. What? <laughs> pie, ha, ha. So I'm you, chip you, you all are teleported. And this small room holds what appears to be a statue of a gargoyle, Ooh, eight feet tall with four arms. One of the arms is broken off and lies on the floor in front of the statue. Which, uh, which, arm, which arm is missing? The upper right arm. Could it, I... Gum gum. Enclosed, enclosed room? Uh, Another, no doors, no windows? There appears to be an... Ex so this room is five feet by ten feet. Okay. It does appear like there is uh, an exit in the southeast corner of this room. I don't want to draw yet because I don't want to show you okay. in relation to where it is on the map. Okay. So uh, but southeast, I will. Southeast, there seems to be an exit. Correct. Okay. Could Gum Gum pick up the arm and say, Hey, Mr. Gargoyle, do you want your arm? Yeah. Is, does it respond? No, you Gum Gum can do that. Okay. Why don't you uh, just try putting it back on? <laughs> I was waiting to see if the gargoyle was No, there, there is yeah. no response. Then Gum Gum puts the arm back on the gargoyle. Uh, yeah, you uh, you try to reattach it, but it doesn't reattach. No seal, yeah, no stick. Yeah. Oh. Um, could uh, I'll tell you what? Uh, just ooh. to kind of uh, push things along, what I'm going to say is, uh, Ben, why don't we go ahead and give everyone a level up? I'd like to see everyone ooh. hit level four. Oh, okay. Uh, that magic door leveled us up. Ooh. And, Even Chip. And I will say. Uh, uh, out of nowhere, Chip like pops into existence in the room with you guys. <laughs> hey there! I thought I died. <laughs> I fell to my death. Chip, how you feeling? Wait, wait. What did you see? Uh, I saw so, a ground fastly approaching, and then, and then nothing. And I, <laughs> and then I, I thought I'd see my wife, but I just saw burning fire. Someone named Sawyer yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, all of you here. Mm, well, I guess this might not make sense to some of you, but all you hear a voice inside of your heads. Oh! Voice inside my head. Interns, stop. Oh. oh. Dreamatorium experiment gone wrong. Stop. Ancient Demi Lich infected machine. Stop. Can only revive you so many times until Demi Lich takes over and you are trapped forever. Stop. Can't pull you out until you complete the dungeon and break his curse. Stop. Many glitches. We'll try and send you hints and items. Good luck. Stop. Hey, I'm Chip Haney. Go. <laughs> Do you think that was a Dr. Ahem? It, it sounded like so, uh, Dr. Ahem. Dr. Ahem, his guy that we know. Are you intense? Well, what made you think that? Well, That's what he, how he addressed you. We thought you were the heroes of these parts. Well, yes. well interns Can't in be. our world means heroes. Oh. Yes. It's yeah. one of them topsy-turvy worlds there, my team. Yeah. Interns are like the head of the pack. Oh, yeah. so like, like the CEOs. So the CEOs are like the bottom tier guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how yeah. would you know that it's flipped, you know, if this is normal for you? Well, you see. <laughs> I rolled a 19 on insight on this. <laughs> well, you see, don't believe it. I don't believe this at all. <laughs> An intern is someone who works for someone else. I do not think we should trust these individuals. They seem to be lying to us a lot. Normally, I'm a trustworthy guy. <laughs> I ain't buying none of this. Listen, boring. I was told if I got this internship, it would lead to opportunity. <laughs> hey, hey, does your world have a malarkey? Just curious. <laughs> yes. No malarkey. I've never met malarkey. Mm. Mm. So Demi, Demi Lich. Correct. Is what he kept saying. Ah, uh, Demi Lich Vado. I've heard of her. <laughs> and could you? Are you able to send that to us too? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we seem to be in a... So when we leveled up, do we oh, heal? He, he was oh, sorry. saying something. <laughs> it's the Chris way. Um, we have, according to that message, we are in some sort of, it sounds like a simulation. Um, uh, Chip, I believe you might have uh, uh, passed on, but, have, uh, but this uh, professor has been able to uh, revive you. Oh! Um, we should be careful on uh, using up these uh, revivications. You know, for a while there, I was at peace. You know, I was actually kind of happy. I oh. accepted that I'd moved on. Oh. You know, I knew I was going to pay some sort of price for all the death and murder that I've done in my time. So, uh... <laughs> anyways, what are we talking about? <laughs> that is a lot to unpack there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oversharing going on there. Um, okay. Could, uh, could Bart investigate the gargoyle? Do it. Yeah, make an investigation check. Okay. Investigation... No breathing. Uh, 17. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, it it seems like it's an ancient statue. It seems like it is something that's been carved and been sitting here for a long time. Uh, you notice that in each of the outstretched each of the outstretched hands of the statue is a little carved depression. Oh, that's sad. What's got what's you down, big fella? I have carved it's, ADHD. It's, it's actually only in the three <laughs> arms that are still attached to the statue. The fourth one that's broken off on the ground no. has no. So it's like a kind of like a indent. Yeah, so what's indentation. the like what is, is it? It's holding something. Like something's. Was like a there. hole, right? Yeah. Okay. D and just not above the... non, like just a circle. It's like worn out. Yeah, okay. worn down. Okay. But not in the arm that fell off. Correct. Does Chip have his hand back, or is he still missing it? Yeah, Chip's hand is back. Hey, oh, look at that! Like <laughs> when we leveled up, did we get? Was it like a yeah, reset? Was, to... Yeah, you you uh, you heal up. Okay. Long rest. Long yeah, rest. Long rest. Yeah. You think you think we should uh, put this arm back on this year? Uh, I already that tried that. Already tried. Oh, sorry. I just got back from death and still, <laughs> you know, unpacking that and you know. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but is, is there anything in the room, like on the ground, that might be like look like an object that would have been being held by the gargoyle? Make an investigation check. Okay. Uh, Bart. While you're doing that, I'm I'm like practicing Ooh, different 19. handshakes with it. What's up, Slick? <laughs> Just lots of uh, dust and dead insects. Okay, so no like gems or I, nothing like nothing like that. Okay. And in our world, we call them gims. Now that's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Why would someone do that? I place. J just for reference, this is not where this room is. I'm just going to draw it out over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go for um, it. Let's say it's like a five by ten room. Okay. So pretty small. The gargoyle statue is here, and there's a passageway out in this direction. Perhaps uh, we were able to uh, uh, decipher the last bit of a puzzle, just trial and error. So maybe we should put, uh, try putting uh, things in the palms of these hands that are still on the gargoyle. Can I hold hands? Uh, so I will say, since your, your check was so good, Bart. Oh. Because uh, you are Bart, right? Yeah. yeah. Since your check was so good, Bart, I will give you a little bit of information. Yay. It seems like the depression in each of the three hands is, is the right size that a large gem could fit into it. Gem. E each, each hand? Yeah, each of the three hands that are still on the statue, oh, okay. not the fourth one on the ground. Does anybody have gems in their inventory? Well, we did see gems on that archway. Uh, I don't know. Those might have been gems. It's just more like glowing stones. Okay. I, I, I know we're like getting into Who's real it's like, what is a gem <laughs> kind of thing, but okay. uh, I wouldn't call those gems. Do you gems. think maybe we should try to go out that door, that pathway, to maybe see if like it leads to a place that oh there was a door you're right yeah yeah, things. yeah. Since it doesn't seem to be anything else in this room no i'd be i'd be interested in going down that pathway yeah i don't have anything either also yeah. and we we don't know is this the approximate location where we're at we don't have any sort no, of no, you don't know where you are you, yeah you teleported so random got yeah. it okay uh uncut jam did you want to uh try the door or do you want someone else to I'll try the door. Oh, it's uh, the, the exit from this room? Yeah. It's not a door. It's just like a, a carved out open. passageway. Do we yeah, it's open. See anything down it? It kind of, it very quickly curves to the left. I always go left. There's a lot of lefts. Uh, if only I, we had Kyborg. Uh, if only. I, what a brave go. warrior. We'll go forward. Okay. Cautiously. Checking for traps on the floor. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna give you a little perspective on where you are now. A development is a very excellent. Jif, Jif, Jim, Jim. Me, 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 me. Also, I don't have one HP anymore. We leveled up, so I think I'm back to full HP. Oh yeah. I saw some. That's a good. That's a good thing to point out. Oh, you're looking better than ever there, Bart. So we are healthy. Full glasses. I truly thought more of us would be dead by now. I thought so too. I did too. And then it came back to life. Too bad uh, rope is a thing that we have. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The DM's greatest enemy. <laughs> All right, Gus is drawn. Perfect rope that never breaks. Mm. Okay, so that's the path. Yeah, you we're can head out. south, and like I said, it very quickly turns left, and it's it's an uneven path. It's, it seems like it's carved out of dirt and rock. Okay. okay. Do, uh, do you think that can we tell if this is something that was like? Designed into this like temple slash tomb, or was this like someone got trapped here and then this was like something that they dig dug themselves? <sighs> Make a wisdom check. Okay. Also, I just want to point out the message that Dr. Hemp sent us said that this thing is full of glitches. Six. 
So there might be like glitches in the wall that we could get through and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Glitches get stitches. Well, glitches <laughs> Roll get six on wisdom. Yeah, you're not sure. Uh, it seems to you like this is probably part of what was here originally, but can't be certain. Mm, fine craftsmanship. Did, well, I go for, did I find anything going? Uh, no, and you were looking, make a perception check for me. What are you looking for? He was looking walk, for traps. I rolled a one. Out. <laughs> oh, no, it's super safe. Okay, Gum Gum goes forward. Okay, yeah. B move yourself now that we know where you are. Put yeah. yourself over there. This one. Yeah. I guess all of us are in there, right? Sure. Okay. Goes, crawl, goes along. Yeah, you crawl along, and then eventually, um, this is similar to the other door you found over here, where it's like, it seems like there's a, a one way door you can get out of from here. Hmm. One way doors and like. Like this one here, that was a door we could walk through, but when we came out the other end, there was just a wall. Yeah, right. let, me, let me rephrase that just because I said a one way door here. This seems more like a secret door, I should say. Okay. Oh, like this a, one here? The one that Gum Gum's at right now? Okay, the one Like right now. this one, the one that you left previously, you couldn't go back in through. It okay. was one way. This one just seems like it's a hidden door that you can, you're on the, you're on the secret side of it. Oh. What you got, Gum Gum? A secret door. I say let her rip open that baby up. Can I, and before I, before I open the door, uh, can I check it for traps or any, anything? Yeah, make a perception check. Yes. Perception. I'm yeah. known for caution. Yep. <laughs> As he threw kyborgs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Ten? Ten. Ten. Wait, plus? Plus. Two. Twelve. Two. So twelve. So, yeah, you don't detect anything. I open the door. Okay, you go through, and this is another great hall similar to the, the big one you saw previously. Oh, cool. cool. I'll draw it out in a second. Um, the, the floor has had inlaid tiles, and the walls and ceilings are painted with figures of animals, strange signs, and glyphs. There's humans and human-like creatures posing with spheres of different colors. What kind of colors are we talking? I will describe all of those for you in great length in a moment. Let oh. me draw the, the hall first. So on we're the in a new hall. That looks like the one we were in before. It's just like a long, thin hall. That, okay. I think that's why it's, you know, it's, it's, I would say it's similar. Mm. Thin is in like. 10 feet wide, mm. just like this one. This is like playing Zelda and you're, we're just like, we're just unlocking the map. That's a yeah. really good way to think <laughs> of it. That's why I really wanted the battle map for, uh, for yeah, this. It's yeah. helping. Someone look for a compass. It'll help us know what treasures are. Yeah. <laughs> See people in chat saying, my brain hurts us too. <laughs> <laughs> Where you get through this. By the end of this game, we'll have a whole message spelt out in hallways that say, Gus rules. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Gus Eat your oval nuts. Eat your oval Eat nuts? Your oval nuts. <laughs> Has that episode come out yet? Yeah. 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 Oval love, nuts have, have now been nuts. canonized. Oh, good. Stinky lore. So glad for a couple weeks now. We need those gems. Uh, oh. Gus, would you say that this is actually a good representation of where it is adjacent to? Yes. Okay. I am, uh, I am giving you all a little more information here. I, I may have messed up the scale on this a bit. Some stuff is a little too close, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. To retcon anything though, so we've un we've we've we have found a new hallway. Yes, and there are, like I said, you were asking about the spheres. There are spheres everywhere. I'm going to draw them. Okay. Oh, on the walls. I just ripped out like five beard hairs. And are, <laughs> are they like? Drawings on the wall, or they're actually it's like the people, gems on the wall. It was people on the. Uh, oh, you mean like are the colored things just drawings, or are they? Or are they like physical inlaid gems? Yeah. Uh, I will. You'll probably have to ask on a case by case okay. basis. Interesting. I don't know if there's the top, a lot more I than I thought. I don't know off the top of my head. Gotcha. 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 There's a lot more than I thought. There are a lot. This is not good. More options wow. means <laughs> more answers we Trial need. By error. Oh no. Speed run it, gum gum. Lick every gem. <laughs> All right, I'll take the left, you take the right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. That's all of them. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, and Chip had asked uh, specifically about the colors and orientation. Yeah. I will go through that right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We leveled up because of story, I believe. Yeah, story, and uh, you know, we there are other things that can trigger it that we will get to in a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, subs would definitely subs, trigger that. Subs do help. I'm gonna load something here, and then I'm gonna describe all of those fears number. for you. What? Bart's in a little tube. He's just being stood up there. And we never did get to the bottom of what that 
gargoyle with the palm things is holding, so I still need to keep I, an eye out. For yeah, I feel like y'all came this way to try to make some headway into that. It, it, he he let us know it was like it looked like rooms for gems, and we don't have any, so yeah. Yeah, yeah and we're about to learn about some gems, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, so all of the, uh, some of you had asked some of these questions. I'm going to answer all of them. Okay. Uh, the globes or the the spheres are all two dimensional. Okay. Um, and they're all being held by humans and human-like creatures. They're posing with them, and they're all different colors. Um, would you like to know specifically what they all are? What is I mean, the, how about the, start off with the range of colors? Yeah, like what uh, are all the colors yeah. we're looking at? Gold, orange, purple, bronze, gray, bright blue, white, turquoise, scarlet, pale green, pale blue. Oh my god! Right, yeah, I'm just uh, stopping right. Stop right. On, uh, silver. If we can, we can like drill down and ask about it. Oh, those are literally representations for each of the right. colors. And you realize now, as you enter, gum gum. Put yourself in the Great Hall because you yeah. came through. Yeah. Uh, that you actually came out of a sphere. It was an illusion. What? What? That oh, sphere oh, was an illusion these... hiding the secret door. Oh. That you uh, you so, came like, out through. So like these spheres are pretty big. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're a good the one size. You came through. Yeah, yeah. The, and that one specifically is a gold sphere that's being held high over uh, oh, overhead. Now is this like a magical like he like teleported out or was it like a sphincter that went <laughs> No, it's just an illusion. It looks like now from Gum Gum's perspective in the hall, it looks like Think all of the other clipping through a game. Right. Oh, oh, oh. It's exactly like a bro like a broken Are there ball. any other gold spheres in the hallway? No. Well, uh, Chip's going to step out. I, I'm assuming if we want to look at these. Yeah, I would like happen. to come out as well. Yeah. It, okay. it doesn't seem, at a casual glance here, uh, maybe to get at what you're getting at, it doesn't seem like any of the colors are repeated. Okay. Oh, Girl, wow. Colors. Got yeah, uh, Mati, did you want to come out? Oui. Well, I'm going to out. Um, yeah, I, I, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Gum Gum will take a few steps forward and mm, show me the magic. Oh. Yes, oh, yeah, you got those back. You did your yeah. long rest, yeah. So I want to, like, go forward so I'm, like, like, 10 feet forward so I have a little better perimeter of... So I'll be, like... Like there? Yeah. Man, well, walking forward bravely, not even looking for traps. No, nope. do it! Um, so brave. Where'd this go? Where'd that note go? Where does... And what's the range on that? Uh, it is... 60 feet. You detect magic coming from the southern end of that's, the... That's like all the way. Yeah, of the hallway, at that little alcove that's, that's drawn on so there. So he doesn't detect magic at the sphere he just came out of? I guess it might not have to um, be. Yeah, actually, you do detect magic from that as well, and you detect magic at two other spots as well. Oh, can you Which... identify those two spots? Yeah. Uh, uh... Sir, can you identify those two spots? <laughs> <laughs> Indicate on the map where you saw those two spots. Actually, uh, Barb, can you give me that marker? Sir, which I can... spots assaulted yeah. you? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> and, and, well, what type of magic? Uh, illusion for the spheres, and then for the one down in the south. I will look at that in a second. There are illusion spells in the circles. These ones right here, just one second, I'm thinking. You're thinking, okay. Triangulating position. <laughs> you can actually roll an insight on that. Yeah. Uh, 23. So Mateen trusts you. Is it this one? Oh, I almost did a no-no. I almost looked at his paper. But I'm going to avoid on, on. averting my eyes. There's, there's one here. I forgot to draw, but it's just as well. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's um, illusionary. Okay. And then this one as well. Okay. And then uh, magic down here. Yeah, and then magic here as well. I'm just going to do that. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, you got the magic. Oh, also, I forgot to draw. Let me get my purple marker. There are two doors in this hallway. Oh. This is a very, very diverse hallway with lots of stuff going on. God. That was <laughs> so well hit. Sorry. sorry. I don't know if you guys could tell I just sneezed. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, really? Is a door. It's a door. Is a door. It's a door. That's it. So two doors, two spots that are magical, and a magical spot at the end of the hallway. Yeah. And, and we and could see those doors, correct? Yeah, they're just normal doors. Can Chip walk up to this one and go, knock, knock, and then knock on it? <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, I got one more question to answer for Gum Gum first, and then I'll, I'll deal with that. You're doing so good. Thank you. Have you. A, you have a backlog of questions. From yeah, us. that's fine. Yeah. I got, a, doing I got very, a lot to go good. through. Um, the archway at the south appears to be... What would that be? Transmutation magic. Transmutation. There's trans... 
mutation magic. Uh, Put chip, that Chris you, or gum gum uh, on the word. <laughs> you knock on the door and there's no response. Uh, I'm gonna open the door. You open the door. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, cool. Ooh, not cool. That's that a low number. Is a six. Six. Sell it. That is a six. <laughs> 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 no nuts. That could have been anybody. It's true. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, scared me. Oh that my god. A, oh, we had a character swap. We have Barney and Kyborg coming in. Oh. Okay. Oh, so is what about to happen going to happen to Kyborg? <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> yeah, kind of. So here's Barney. <laughs> Kyborg's about to reap what uh, Chip's. Uh, d d d dexterity roll. Uh, so right. Uh, hold on, let me swap out uh, my pieces. Skyborg. Here we go. Wow. Hello. Oh, where am I? Who's this old fart? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know what, uh, old man, I think you're better off just uh, going with the flow right now instead of <laughs> us explaining everything that's happened so far. Oh, so the door opens. Uh, Chip made a dexterity saving throw, failed it. Yeah. Um, a spear shot out. and uh, Just in time for Kyborg. Just in time for Kyborg <laughs> to appear there. <laughs> <laughs> Fails their check. Kyborg takes... Should I roll? Should Kyborg roll a check? No. No? No. no. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? <laughs> Kyborg takes 11 points of piercing damage. What's the AC on this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. And you're on your new t uh, level four sheet, right? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 So the spear shot out, and you can see that it's a false door. The door doesn't actually go anywhere. It's just a uh, in front of this like trap. Like a lever yeah. that pulls right. the it's, spear it's out. It's just for this trap. Uh, okay, Kyborg turns around, spear in uh, torso. And oh says, my goodness. Uh, uh, hey, uh, what did I miss? <laughs> also, am I fighting my shadow still? No, the shadow didn't reappear. I could tell you something you didn't miss. <laughs> the spear. The spear? Okay. <laughs> it flew out of the door <laughs> in your face. Uh, uh, may I introduce you to uh, my compatriot, Barney Farney? Hi, I'm Barney Farney. Hello. Oh, hello. Are you uh Hello, little boy. You, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, sure you're okay to, to adventure with us? Uh, oh, yeah. You're not going to break a hip or something? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> He's quite sturdy for some reason. <laughs> uh, it's, oh. it's, it's a mystery to me at it's, this point. So that's also a 60-second dungeon character swap and a curse and a hint. Oh, wow. dang. Wow. wow. Uh, all at once. So it, they all happened at once, and uh, we're getting really close to 2,500. I think uh, once we hit 2,500, we can do a level up. So if we can get uh, that number up to 2,500, uh, let's go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get there. Become the first that, member. That, that so please sign up over at stinkydragonpod.com slash first. Uh, all right. Curse you. Oh, oh my god. Oh. It is always scary. That is a 76. 76. Chris actually jumped. <laughs> How many trombones? And who does it hit? <laughs> I'm going to roll that next. Okay. Can I get the 100 uh, sided die back, please? Thank you. And it affects. Three. Three. Chris. Chris. Barney. Uh, oh. Barney is suddenly. The two up here. Hit with the spear. Curse. Yeah. <laughs> you are trapped in a, a giant glass ball. Kind of like a, like a big hamster ball. Oh. Oh, he's safe now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually feel better about this. Yes. Now. <laughs> you, can, you can keep it. You can move around like a hamster <laughs> did if you want, but you are now encased in a giant glass ball. Uh, Kyborg knocks on it and says, Old man, can you breathe? Can I breathe? <laughs> For now. I can't breathe. I like to imagine Barney immediately falls over in the ball and then can't get up like a turtle on its back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you might be running out of air in there, so don't panic. Don't try to breathe too fast like this. <laughs> um, and you also get a hint as well. Okay. Ooh. Oh, good. Um, Need one of those. In this dungeon, as uh, Chip and Kyber just saw it, Doors are not always what they seem, and they're not always the best way forward. Hmm. Okay. Um, could I take a turn at oh. trying something? Please. Um, the glowing, or the, uh, the, the, the magically defined uh, orb on the left. Um, that one or the, the one? one? Yeah, 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 that one. Okay. That one. Perfect. Thank you, Monsieur Gibson. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> That's my language. <laughs> that was so, so demure. Um, 
and kicks into the orb. This orb specifically is a black orb at the feet of a um, of a, a snake-like creature. Oh. You kick into it and your foot goes through, or your claw, your talon. Yeah, it yeah, goes through into the. And then comes back out yeah. and nothing. It's okay. just an illusion. Um, <laughs> rip, rip the puppet foot off of your <laughs> puppet. <laughs> no, <it's>, Sorry, <laughs> nothing Patty. Happened. Nothing happened. What are you seeing through there, Mateen? Uh, nothing happened when I kicked through, so maybe it might be safe. Stick your head in. Do it. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I don't think Kyborg telling Mateen to do anything would, would make Mateen want to do anything. <laughs> However, uh, Mateen glares at Kyborg and puts their head in. Uh, yeah, you look through <laughs> and it's a passage not unlike the one you went through by the gargoyle statue. It's like oh, carved out of dirt. C'est bon. It's a small, uh, a small passageway. Um, Wanna go see if you can find any gems in there? Oui. Um, Mateen would have to crawl through? Yeah, it's pretty small. I'd say it's like Three feet around. Um, yeah, Matiti goes through. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you begin crawling. Um, I'll, I'll put you on pause for a second since you, you're a little separated from the party. I don't know if anybody else wants to follow or if they want to do anything else in this yeah. room. And I, I'll follow. I also want to cast uh, uh, cure wounds on Kyborg. Oh, okay. Uh, it's one d8 plus my spell casting modifier. You rolling that for me? I I will say, if Barney's in the glass ball, he will not be able to follow Matid. Oh, he wouldn't fit into the right, hole. Right, you'd be too big. But he could still giz, do Cast? something to Kyborg? Yeah. Okay. Um, could this is, this is Bart, deep. while that's happening, just go to that gem, like right behind where Ooh, Matid went in? Nice. So it's Plus. not necessarily a gem. It's, a, it's, it's, the it's the like a, like a, paint, a painting. painted sphere. Just yeah. like right. Black sphere. Yeah. yeah I'll show up. My spell casting right. modifier. So, like right there. Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, I'm a teen. I'm right behind you. Just go ca -caw, if you need help. I, I, I won't need help. I'm, I'm quite capable of many things. Did you say capable? <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration dog. I was going to say, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Good. Very that's quick on her feet. That's pretty fun. Capable. Um, where is Bimmy I'm gonna, Dunks? I'm gonna put it ben, off the top of your head, do you know Barney's spell modifier? It should be. He's on it. I don't know where I would put an inspiration down on this character sheet, so I'm it's just right, It's right, it's yeah. right. Uh, Spell attack bonus? It's right there. No, oh, inspiration. Yeah. It should be like... Bing, bing, bing. My wisdom modifier, probably. It's probably your wisdom modifier plus your uh, proficiency bonus, most likely. Also, I don't know if you care, but the top-down camera could see your... Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. I'm not looking, but in case nobody in fine. chat wants to be spoiled. So... Plus six. Plus six. Okay. So seven you, plus six, that's 13 points of... Does any of that go to temp? It's just a no. loop. Okay. It goes, oh. it goes under. Uh, Barney healed Kyborg. I'm back to full health. Uh, I pulled the. I, I reached to grab the spear and say, like, "Oh, let me just take this out." And I go. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, Barney rolls his also to follow, but can't get through. <laughs> uh, I, you know, because you did that, uh, which, uh, Kyborg is gonna roll Barney. <laughs> let me help you here, old man. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. We're, we can't make it through the hole clearly, but I'm gonna just roll him down to the end of this hall, over here. So not the end of the hall, just just, just where you guys are. Okay. Well, Bart, Bart followed uh, Mati through the hole. Okay. Like right, right by it. Yeah. I think Bart didn't hasn't go gone in. in. Hasn't, yeah. hasn't gone in. Okay. Can you give me Mati? Ah! Mati's been following this whole passageway, right? And found their way. Yeah. So this passageway actually loops back. It goes under the big, the great hallway you all Ooh. were in, Lovely. and oh. it comes back around. And uh, I'll, I'll deal with what you see over there in a second. Bird. <laughs> we do it. Bird is the word. I don't think I'd be able to oh, hear you. Oh, we just had a, a, a big uh, sub jump. Thank you so much to Kiri for getting that tote bag, the two gift cards, Ooh. fine poster bundle, and the blurble gerbil tea. Kiri, I'm gonna yeah. 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 Thank Always you. Out. That's a lot. What was her name? Kiri. 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 Thank you, Kiri. Thank you so much. Kiri. What's Kiri that 80s song? Kiri. I think it goes just no like that. Yeah, that's it. God, come on, Gus. You're supposed to back me on <laughs> this. I'm here to recognize show tunes. Um, you do the rest. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you, Kiri, for your... For your contribution to helping us be stinky. Contribution? Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's two calls. I'm coming in. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, you probably wouldn't be able to hear at this point, Matid, because you, you've gone quite a ways down the passageway. Okay. I think the ones in the hall need to uh, resolve what they're going to do in the hall. Or Bart needs to decide what he's going to do or not. Well, I'm with uh, Barney. He can't fit in the hole, so we're just chilling for a bit. You could break the glass. Just FYI. It's glass. Yeah. I'm gonna, hey, hey, old man. Hey. 
Yes? Can we get you out of this hamster bubble? I don't know. I feel safe in it. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. Cyborg, we could just leave him. We don't really know this guy. Oh, but he's old. What happens to uh, old he's people? He's safe. Yeah. Uh, old man, no offense, but. <laughs> 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 you, kind of <laughs> you patrol this hallway while uh, me and Kyborg go in. Yeah, you stay on guard, old guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll follow. Could Bart go in the or where Matid went? Yeah. In? Okay. Uh, if I, if you all want to go all the way through, put yourself down by uh, Matid. You got it. <laughs> okay, so everybody has gone that way except, except for, for the Barney. Hamster. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, is there anything of note at the end of this hallway? There is, as always, I am perpetually loading. Loading, loading, loading. It sounded like the Iron Golem when you said that. I know, I, I realized Perpetually that. loading. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Fleshy Goblin. Have we gone through, uh, four 60-second dungeons? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wowie zowie. Wowie zowie. I'm like, I, I, I wrote up a few ideas yesterday. Oh, man, they're going fast. So you go all the way through this tunnel, and you reach the end there where Matid is, and you find uh, it dead ends into solid stone. Okay. Oh, so it's just a, a winding path that goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. And pressing upon the, the dead end does nothing? Uh, you press it, and it just seems to be solid. So there's nothing in here? Mm-mm. Uh, Maybe mm -hmm. what we have to eat. Here, I got an idea. Matid, Kyborg, you guys stay in here. I'm going to go back and maybe go through the other illusion and see if there's a way to, like, communicate. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, if well, you don't hear anything in two minutes, come back through. While well, Kyborg and Matid are just left alone together in this tight crawl space, I'm like, so, uh, what's, what's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, move yourself, please, Barbara. Do, do, do you interact with other individuals very often, or is this a new experience? Well, it all started when my family was brutally murdered by Cauldron and uh, trained my entire life to get revenge, so I stayed in the woods for roughly 15 to 18 years. I lost track. So it's just mostly been me. At any point, did you have you seen a therapist about this at all? What's a therapist? It's someone to talk to in order to deal with these complex emotions. Uh, I had this piece of wood that I carved a face <laughs> onto, and I called it my friend. Does that count? You know what? For the sake of this conversation, we will say we. Oh, okay. Hey. Is, are you having fun? Is that what you're saying? We. <laughs> <laughs> Matid phases through the dead end. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh! Uh, it's a ghost the whole time! It was in your imagination. Uh, Bart, you go through the illusion, and it cur eventually curves a little bit to the south like that, and is also a dead end. Also a dead end. Um, do I hear anything? Make a perception check. Oh, good, good question. Ten? Um, you don't hear anything, but you discover that the dead end is indeed actually a secret door. Okay. Uh -oh. I push on it? Or? Yeah, you, uh, you find the lever to activate it. Secret door. Secret door. It's working because I'm small. You, I, I really love the dynamics that are happening here. <laughs> so this is confusing because it's under the crawl space you went through before. Oh. Okay. But it comes out essentially like this. There's a... A room 15 beneath. by 15 room. Yeah, that and kind of crawl some, space. Okay. Is over, is, uh, and that's where I'm in right now? Yes. Go, you can go and put yourself in there. And in cool. fact, inside. <laughs> oh, my things. Bart, my boy. What are those? I'll describe those. Snakes. They're, they're squiggly lines. Snakes. <laughs> snakes. It's, it's snakes. always snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> you pretty good. Da, da, da. Detroit Baker. <laughs> So you open up the door and enter. My favorite Indiana Jones character. And you fall uh, ten feet to the floor below because it's a it's a tilting stone okay. that uh, that drops you into this room. That's not too bad. Do I take Shoot. any there, damage? Yeah, you take. It's not a lot. You just take five points of falling damage. Okay. You roll your ankle real bad. Uh, there are three large chests affixed to the floor. And that's what those three marks I put on there indicate. Neat. The western one is gold, the center one is silver, and the eastern one is oak bound with thick bronze bands. We want the gold, silver, and, and oak? Yeah, with oh. bronze bands. I'm just going to write G. 
Silver and oak. Um, I think, which, well, where, where's west? Is it towards, it, towards west? Yeah, you mean this yeah. is north? Uh, this no, is that's south. So yeah, you're right. That's gold. Yeah? Okay. Gold is to the west. Gold. And then silver and oak. Okay. Silver. Right? That's right? I think you got that swap. Well, gold. this is south. That's west. Let's see. I said, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, oh, we're facing south. Or the, this is south. The south. Okay. Gold, silver, bronze. That's Western right. one is gold. Center one is silver. Eastern one is oak with bronze bands. Okay. Oak slash bronze. OB. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. What you doing? Well, uh, got the puzzle. What's he going to do? Let me, uh, let me go for the oak one. They are barrels or chests? Chests. Chests. Chests chest. 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 fixed to the They're floor. To the floor. With, Last uh, crusade rules. Uh, 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 an opening that that Bart could finagle with? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Uh, so you try to open up the oak one? Yeah. You open up the oak chest and a giant skeleton is immediately teleported into the room and strikes at you with surprise. Oh. What is your AC, Bart? Oh my god. Uh, 14. Giant skeleton. It's low, but I guess I'm only level 4. I yeah. talk to the wall that Mateed phased through, knowing that you're probably on the other side and be like, I wonder what Bart's up to right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is a 20. It hits you critically. Oh! oh okay. With its scimitar. It swings its scimitar around, doing... Ouch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it's critical. We just, we just hear like 80 dice roll at once back there. <laughs> it just rolls the D100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 35 points of slashing oh. damage. Oh, he moved. Oh, he died. Oh, Bart's taking a nap. I am, uh, Here. dead? Bart is a bug now. Oh! oh. It is a little bug. Could, could Barney roll down to the end of the hallway? Yeah, let Barney do some stuff. Yeah. Now that, we've, so now that we have uh, concluded <laughs> Bart's adventure. That does look like Barney. <laughs> toward the alcove is? Yeah, yeah, towards the transmutation <laughs> magic thing. Yeah, not that Barney knows that. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Oh! It's okay, it's empty. That happens every D and D session. It would not be D and D if someone didn't knock oh, a cat knock or a drink, drink over. Oh, Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I am now a be Bartle. <laughs> oh, like beetle, but yeah, Bart. Bartle. Got it. Barney rolls down to the southern end of this room, and there is a giant stone archway. If he was here earlier, he would know it looks similar to a previous archway filled with mist and cloudy <laughs> vapors. Uh, uh, as you come close. Three stones in the archway in front of you begin to glow. Oh. The left-hand base stone shines with an olive hue. The one on the right grows cit glows citron. And the keystone seven feet overhead gives off russet light. Rusted? Russet. Russet. I don't know what that is. It's like a potato. It's like a dog, isn't Potatoes? it? Potatoes? Russet. Um, <laughs> I okay. like that you used all non uh, uh Plain color. <laughs> Citron. There are a what lot is this? A hundred I want, I, box? Let's, let's, are we going let's, through the. Let's, let's, like... there, there are a lot of colors in this dungeon, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you go, hey, through, Chris, go through a lot Citron? of them. What's Citron? Like yellowish? Greenish? I think Citron? Blaine's asking because he doesn't know. I think Blaine I, has no, a good I, guess. I had a guess. Blaine has a good guess. My guess is yellow. But I, want, I, but I, used, I, I wanted to conserve the, the, yeah. the truthfulness of the I used my SAT skills. Yellowish? I, if I had to describe, I would say probably yellowish orangish. Okay. Yeah. You did. It's, uh, yeah, citrus. Yeah. Think of citrus. Yeah. That's, yeah. The SAT skills. Um, Isn't that the name of also like a of a of a gem, like a precious gem? That's citrine. Okay, but then yeah. but same uh, Latin prefix. Yeah, probably, that kind of yeah. So yeah. Actually, in your land, you call them gims. <laughs> uh, Notice I'm talking in John's stupid Californian accent. <laughs> so, oh, you sound like me. <laughs> what do you want to do, so, Barney? So so there's the three switches. There's a the archway that is it. It's misty. misty yeah. Beyond it. Yeah. Um, is your arm okay? I heard a big old crack come from that oh. thing. <laughs> I'm John. He's, I, 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 he's I, method, I, okay? <laughs> um, can, uh, uh, can Barney go down the arch into the? I guess he, can he fit through the? Yeah, the archway. This archway is bigger than the other pass. Okay. He'll roll through it. Yeah. Barney rolls through the archway. Oh, so this is uh, similar to the archway that teleported us earlier. Yeah. Lovely. And guess what? What? It teleported. Teleport! Oh. Hey. Barney. Oh. oh, a Bart brand new place <laughs> I've never seen. <laughs> oh, no. Bar Barney. He's never seen that. Place. You're naked. Whoa. In the bubble? 
Yeah, you don't have anything. All he's of still, your possessions are gone. You can't even hide behind anything. Like either. he's still in a glass <laughs> he's yeah. bubble. He's just okay. a naked man by himself in a hallway in a glass bubble. Oh, well, this is just like the dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Can Barney just keep, roll down for it? Yeah. Uh, now I'm imagining if Barney like <clears throat> slips and falls into the glass, his like butt is gonna be squished up against the glass. <laughs> little, like saggy butt. I'm imagining yeah. he can't even the bubble can't even fit through the holes. He's just gonna get yeah. trapped. Yeah, and I mean you see that there are holes. And uh, who had whose blue marker was that? Oh, that was mine. Yeah, could like more. Barney yeah. see the holes and try and get enough there momentum to bounce? To like roll over. Well, them. I would say, yeah, and then on top of it, you're triggering other ones. There's another one here <laughs> that you trigger, Yeet! Uh, but you don't fall down. Barney is speed running the hallway. I like this. <laughs> is that the? Let me just double check this the right spot. No, that's actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, we appear and we're being chased by giant boulders. Yeah, yeah. Barney yeah. Going, I can't get trapped. It's actually that one. I'm going to erase the other one. This might be helpful in some way. Do you want me sure. To use my hand? Let's just say it if might be helpful. This one right here is yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. you. Uh, yeah, and you, tr you you know, you see that trap and uh, you trigger the one that I just pointed out and yeah, put yourself wherever you want to end up. I just want to keep going down the hall. He's just going to roll. Yeah, but where do you end up? You oh. got to stop. <laughs> yeah. There. Okay. Howdy yeah. And you see an archway like the one you just passed through there and then uh, a giant green like goblin map. Is, is the archway still missing its mist? It isn't correct. It is missing its mist. You okay. are, you are right. Hmm. Then no. Yeah, because you did the comment. Yeah. Ky Kyborg's been stuffed in this hole and Matid phased through because they didn't want to talk to Kyborg. Oh, I, I would say Matid tries to phase, but the system seems to be glitching. <laughs> oh, okay. You that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you try to phase and you. Wait, I'm, trapped. Like, I'm trapped. Doing? Why are you trying to. I'm trapped. With... <laughs> Why are you poking that wall? What are you doing? <laughs> Why do you just keep pressing against <laughs> this doing? wall? Hey. What are you doing? I do that too when I'm in uncomfortable situations. <laughs> yeah, I try. Everything okay? Hey, Matid. Hey, Matid. Hey, Mate, bird, bird. <laughs> I'm going to run back out. I possess Kyborg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to, can I go into where Bart went into that other doorway? Yeah, you go through and you see what appears to be like a, a secret door that's been opened. And you enter the room and there are three uh, treasure chests affixed to the room. And the a beetle. In front of you. There is and also beetle. the tin that dropped. Does that affect me at all? Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me about the damage you take. Yeah. You take... One point of damage. Oh, no! There is a golden chest to the west, a silver chest in the middle, and an oaken chest with bronze bands uh, with a beetle in front of it. Would the oak chest be open, though? It is closed again. Is there, like... Okay. Was a skeleton no, there? No skeleton. No skeleton. But I, there... I am in front of that chest, though. Yeah, there, yeah there, Bart's body is on the floor. Ew, gross! Bugs! And then I lift my leg. Is Bart's body there and a and bug? A, and, a, and a beetle. Uh, the beetle starts hopping. Oh, hey, hey, little guy. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> it's me! It's me, Bert! I love the Flintstones! Yabba dabba do! <laughs> Don't open this chest! Wow, I guess uh, no one's here but you, me, and Bart's dead body. I guess I'll loot him. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Bart would want. It's what Bart would want. What a nice way to treat your lifelong friend, Bart! <laughs> I can't hear anything except for you screeching, you weird cockroach. Uh, well, I guess... Uh, <laughs> I work steps on the cockroach. I'm a beetle! Beetle. <laughs> I do like gold. Because it's the color of my beautiful locks, my hair. I'm going to open the gold chest. You open up the gold chest, and <laughs> a swarm of poisonous snakes uh, all jump out and <laughs> begin, uh, begin biting at you and attacking you. Okay, what do I roll? Uh, well, they're going to roll to see if they attack, if they hit you. Could I scurry into the corner while that's happening? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Bug, help me! You're on your own! <laughs> <laughs> You butthole. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the snakes bite out, hitting a hitting AC ten. That's a miss. All right. Nice. They're uh, starting to swarm uh, all over you. Okay. They're like in your space. Uh, I'm gonna use a bursting arrow. I'm gonna aim for one of the snakes, but it's gonna impact any within a ten feet range. You okay. know what? This tracks. He'd be in an enclosed room and would shoot explosives. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, make your attack roll. Okay, uh, that would be longbow 15 plus 7, 22. That hits. Okay, and then I roll a d8 for piercing on lead snake. That's a 5 on the lead snake. Well, you, you, swarm, it's a You swarm. attack the swarm That's an in entity. Yeah. Oh, cool. Kind of like I'm how, gonna uh, roll. The mud mud could turn into a swarm of, of insects. Yeah. So I'll roll a 5, and then I'm going to roll 2d6 for the additional damage Four, so that's an additional four, that's eight, and five, that's 13 total points. 
The swarm is significantly damaged, but they are still writhing around. Action surge! Oh, no! Hey. We're going to blast them again! <laughs> I thought I was going to get to go. <laughs> Blake, you Blake can't misses see multiple actions. Yeah. Gus uh, just crosses his arm. Mm. Uh, I'm going to going to roll my <laughs> attack. Uh, that's a 19 plus 7. Uh, 16. That's that, not math. Yeah, that is not. 19 plus 7 19 is not. 19 plus 7 six. is 26. Six. Oh, uh, my brain. Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. The action surge hit so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I flipped he, my head he, really hard. He's moved past math. Also, I lost the, the wizard's glasses for the 60 second dungeon, so I'm using some of Kayla's prescription glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> my head was like, Ugh. Is it just different or worse than yours? Because yours are terrible. Well, well I but I have my contacts, contacts in. Oh, so I've seen okay. through. Uh, Why don't you grips. take out your contacts? Yeah. <laughs> and so you could only see when you do the 60 second yes. dungeon. Uh, okay, so that's uh, four Actions. points of piercing, and then I'm gonna roll my 2d6. So four piercing? Four piercing plus two, plus three, so nine. Nine total? Yes. That was correct math. The, the snakes are very damaged, but they are still writhing around. Uh, uh, uh. Do you need uh, any help? Uh. Beep, beep. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. Uh. <laughs> wait, at this point. Bang! Is that the sound that cock that beetles make in your home, Barbara? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I think you have a new invasive species. <laughs> in, this, this, in this world, they're beeples. At this oh. point, I don't have two attacks, do I? At a level uh, four? Uh, do, I don't. Was that a five? I think that was a level five. That's a, I think it's level it's five. five, yeah. Okay. Uh, level five is usually when like, those things proc. Uh, bring it! <laughs> All right, the, the snakes. Ooh, I think they're going to hit you this time. The snakes try to over overpower you. Hitting AC 19. That's it. They uh, begin. Wait, do I have lucky? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was a feat you added. Yeah, I got lucky. Roll again. Ugh. Oh no, nine. That's a miss, you dumb <laughs> snakes. You big stupid <laughs> ball of dumb snakes. Oh yeah, the snakes uh, bite their own tongue. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, okay. The chair's pretty comfy, uh, Beth Feld. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He's got the best uh, chair. I'm pretty happy to be in this chair. He's got the best chair. In the These house. chairs are pretty good. Yeah, no, no, we're good, but he's got a big old yeah. felt comfy chair. I am going to. We get the best chair to the dungeon, mister. Beep, beep. I'm gonna, uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna fire another arrow. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, Take the shot. That's a 19 plus 7 is 26. Again? Ooh, that hits. Wow. Uh, and then I'm going to do... Good math. Huh, thanks. <laughs> I'm a bit of a mathematician. Mathematician. That's a 7. That's a 7. I don't have any additional uh, that firepower. That is enough to dispatch the swarm of snakes that are... Woo! One, yeah, in, one on one combat. Okay, and then I'm going to go so quickly. Yeah. I'm going to fashion them into uh, to a belt, into a pair of boots. It's nice that you had a chance to fight back. Some leather gloves. <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton specifically says it has a surprise round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I adorned <laughs> Bart's dead body with snakes. Put, like, one on his face for, like, a mustache. Like, over the eyes? Yeah, yeah, one over his eyes. Snake eyes! Rest in peace, I put a couple down his pants. Snake eyes. <laughs> uh, is there anything else in the gold chest? No. Okay. Uh, then now I'm going to look into the silver chest. You open up the silver chest, and inside the silver chest, you see a clear crystal box. And inside of that box, you can see there is a ring. Oh, it's like Barney Ooh. with a ring. <laughs> uh, uh, we, need, we need a ring. Yeah. Yeah? Circle metal. Okay. You have to, like, get rid of it. There was something about a ring. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you have to, like, uh, uh, give it away. Maybe put it in the hole of the mouth. Where was that? I wonder if I should shatter it out of this crystal glass. Oh, cool. I'm going to tease you in karate. You think that this crystal box is very valuable. If you had to guess, you would think that the crystal box is probably worth a thousand gold. Oh, by itself. my goodness. Oh, good. It only, is very like, ornate. If only there was a g g store nearby. The box that, that the held, box inside that the, ring the chest. Had. Yeah. Oh. That, that is holding it. the ring. Yeah. Okay. A thousand gold pieces. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna... Before we, we deal with that, I would like to see if anybody else wants to do something just to kind of keep passing it around. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. I was gonna head back to the group and tell them what happened, but whatever. Okay, so in the hall we were in, um, the first door caused the spear. We got a hint that said maybe don't try doors. We tried the first color that had magic and that led to this dead end. The next color of magic led to the beetle room. Treasure chest room. Mm -hmm. um, and then the final end of the hallway that. Uh, Barney went through without touching any of the colors, right? 
Correct. He it went through and covered. Okay. And he was naked. Um, Mateed now, would. Now he's naked. Yeah, he is naked now. Mateed would head back to uh, the hallway, um, and there was uh, russet, citron, olive. Correct. Those were the over the archway. Okay. Um, are there any olive, russet, or citron orbs in oh. the on the the paintings? You said a lot. In fact, no, I don't think I wrote down you saying any of those ones yet, but no. I didn't write down every color you said. I know, it's no. a lot of colors. There are none. Mm -mm, none that are the same color. Um, okay, let's play the game again. Matid knows this game. I hit uh, Olive. Uh, you hit <laughs> Olive, and it briefly lights up, and then... Oh, yeah, it, it lights up. <laughs> yeah. uh, Russet? Yep, it lights up. And Citron? You, it lights up, and then they all kind of reset to their original default. I like the way you have Matid posed. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, olive, citron, russet. The same thing. Russet, citron, olive. Same thing. Russet, yeah, six, olive, six, citron. Six combinations. Nothing. Uh, uh, citron, russet, olive. No. Citron, olive, russet. Mm -mm. That's all of them. Somewhere, Did I try all of them? Someone's uh, secret agent powers are acting yeah, right like, now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I did olive in front, and I did russet in front, and I did citron in front. Maybe there's not a combination here. Um, hmm. Mm. What, do you, while you think about that, do you want to go get uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. prepped over there? Wait, it is 12 o'clock, which means we have uh, top of the hour, 60-second dungeon. 60 dungeon. Uh, and, and we activated that because people are signing up for first and getting... Uh, our merch at stinkydragonpod.com slash store and slash first dragonpod.com slash first. And what do you get for first if uh, you sign up? If you sign up for first, you get ad free, you get access to ad free versions of all of the episodes of the podcast on whatever platform you listen to, whether it's Rooster Tea, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, you name it. Uh, you get a discount in the store. You get access to members only video like Second Wind and Show Me the Magic. You get access to merch discounts. And we have a Discord as well. And anyone can join the Discord, but if you're a first member, you get access to special first-only Discord channels where and you can chat with uh, cast and crew. There's also exclusive merch, oh, right. merch only available to people. Uh, like our, our uh, we have a, a tote bag. Tote bag. Tote bag that is for only for first members. And we are currently at 2339 uh, months of first. If, when we hit 2500, we're going to go ahead and give everyone a level up. Uh, so if uh, that's that's our, our goal. And as we're contributing, as people are donating, uh, it activates hints and curses. It activates 60 second dungeon like we're about to show, and it also uh, does uh, character swaps, which is why you see an unusual pairing uh, yeah. grouping here. Uh, but speaking of 60 second dungeon, let's go check in with the wizard and see how that's going right now. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 60 Second Dungeon. Today I'm joined by Kai. Hi. Kai, you walk along a beautiful oceanside cliff. I love oceans. Several hundred feet off the ground. I don't like heights. Off in the distance you hear cries for help. Please help me. Help. Uh, I hear the cries for help and I follow them. Okay, uh, roll for perception. Perception. Uh, that's an 11. 11. Oh, oh, I'm down here! You hear the cries coming from a part of the cliff where some roots have grown over to the side. So I grab the roots and I try to slide my way down as if I'm Sly Cooper on a pole. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, roll for sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, right here. That's a 16. 16, That's okay, it. all right. Uh, next to you, while you're climbing down mm -hmm. these roots, mm -hmm. uh, you find a, a climber who looks very exhausted. And Kinda cute. Handsome as all Oh get my out. god, yes. Uh, okay. Or beautiful, <laughs> it's whoever, what gender is it? We have uh, all preference. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, they, very attractive. And they say, I've been stuck here for so long and I need your help, please, can you help me? Uh, I say, what do you have to offer? Um. My undying friendship, and uh, I can I can cook okay. Cook? What can you cook? Um, uh, I can cook noodles. Mm. I can cook uh, squash. Ooh. Uh, pumpkin pies. Ooh. Um, All together. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. So I grab their hand, and with one hand, one arm, them in one arm, me in the other, I. Uh, you know what? I climb back up. Why yeah. not? Okay, all right. Roll a strength throw or a strength, strength, strength check. Boom. Strength. It's not great. Seven. That's a seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a little heavier than I thought. You, you hear like a, like a, 
and then it, suddenly the the bearing the load on your arm yeah. is lightened Ooh. while you still hold on to the hand and you hear no oh! and uh the person uh, fell to, the, to their death and that's what you have left of the handsome it's traveler such a handsome hand yeah such a nice hand yep uh, they, nope. they died they died yeah. it's okay they didn't have money yeah yeah <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us at the 60-second dungeon. See you next time. <laughs> Can I have that hand? <laughs> That's a cool hand. Was it one 60-second dungeon, or did you have to do two? It was just thank one. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. We, we got another thank you. Also, shout out to Kai, producing the stream. Thank producing you so much, Stinky Kai. Dragon. Uh, we have a, a, a curse and a hint. I'll wait for uh, Blaine and Chris to come back for that. Uh, and don't forget, uh, this all is to try to drive first subscription. So go, please support us at stingydragonpod.com. First, it's kind of like a patronage system where your support directly uh, goes to the show and allows us to continue making it. I and think this is Chip's hand, by the way. They oh, haven't watched that gown, that costume, ever. <laughs> they I, meaning you? <laughs> no, it's like we have like uh, we, sometimes wardrobe will wardrobe you know r r r wash some things, but I feel like we just used it so often and we just store it, just it back. Never made yeah. its way. Never to, made like, it. I get smelled. It reeks of bo. It hasn't been in the system. You're the only one who wears that one though. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a handsome musk, if you I, must ask. So let me. Uh, I have let, let, I have. I want to try one more combination that I think I tried, but I want to make sure I tried this one combination because okay. I, I have a theory and I just want to delete the theory. Go for it. Um, uh, Mateed tries uh, russet potatoes, citron olive. Nothing happens. Uh, they <laughs> blow up and then they reset. Okay. Uh. It, was, it was. It was just trying to. Uh, I'm trying. I'll, I'll clear. Do you remember what the combination? I can't remember at this point. I think you wrote it down. What was the combination that the other one opened up for? That was uh, yellow, blue, blue orange. Okay, then I had that complete. Stick attack curse. Oh, oh God. Ah. Chris jumps every time. It's totally scary. It's a 23. Oh, God. Michael Jordan, MJ. Woo! Hey. Thanks for watching, MJ. Thanks for supporting us. And oh, then yeah. who does it affect? Can you get my D4 back, Chris? I think it's right in front of you. Or my D100. Oh, that, could, that hand could oh, be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's Eddie. It affects. Oh. Chris. Three. Chris. Chris. <laughs> oh. Bernie. He's naked. No. Naked in a glass bubble. Oh. Uh, can I get that D4 back? No, yeah, afraid. Oh my god. This is this is actually is this isn't really gonna affect Barney too much. <laughs> your cat your pup, puppet's naked. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, hey, that's what you said. Barney can no longer control the volume at which he speaks. Oh, okay! That's you roll, Chris. You Has roll, that anything changed? <laughs> <laughs> you roll a D6 every time your character speaks. Even rolls are a whisper, odd rolls are shouting. Okay. <laughs> Even rolls are whispers. Yeah, and Got odd it. rolls are shouting. shouting. Odd, or shouting. Um, odd, odd rolls are normal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to cut back to Kai, to Kaiborg real fast because you were opening up that silver chest and determining what to and do. And so nothing ended up happening with Mateed and those no. colors? Okay. Also, if someone asked in chat, if you're already a first member, can you? how can you support? Uh, there's lots of ways. You can... Uh, if you go to stinkydragonpod.com slash store, you can um, get merch. Uh, the merch helps support us and adds to the counter. And also, you can then, uh, you can also buy and gift subs uh, to yeah. people. So yep. You get a code and you can share it in chat or yeah, whoever you want. Code will get emailed to you after you buy uh, a first membership in the store. Ooh, another 60-second I've never minute. thought I'd hate my own voice as much as I do now. <laughs> Uh, Knowing that I'm going to have more work to do in an hour. <laughs> Ivan, Silas Ivan, yes, it is a D100. Um, okay, yeah, so you see that crystal box with a ring in the bottom of this chest. Cover. Yes, yes, and there's a ring inside, yes. Correct. Okay. Uh, can I... Uh, Wait, I got What's up? I have a question. Yeah? If Kyborg, like, pockets the ring, takes the ring, and then switches to Chip later, does... I guess we'll find out. I, okay. I guess items don't transfer. It to depends. Okay. The the system is very glitchy. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, Glitch. tiny little cockroach bug. Yeah. Uh, you 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 will come with me. You're letting him call you that now. I'm Bertle. Is, are, is he understanding this, or are we just playing? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll play along. Yeah, but it's, it's, yeah. it's me, it's me, Bert. Oh, oh! I thought you were dead. Well, I kind of am. I don't actually know. I thought your voice would be even higher somehow. I don't there it is. There it is. Uh, okay, get in. Uh, sit on my uh, shoulder. 
<laughs> we're we're going to climb out of here. I'm going to I'm going to try to get out from the 10 foot pit. Oh, so you don't want to just leaving the crystal box in there in the ring? No, I mean I was going to bring that. Oh, you didn't say that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll stash that. Oh, okay. uh, before I go, is there anything else in there that I can see? Yeah, there is something else. When you lift the crystal box, a bunch of darts fire out at you. As soon as he said, oh, you pick it up? He's like, <laughs> I was listening back for clips for puppetable moments, and there's a moment where clearly I'm falling into a trap, and Gus was like, oh, yeah, tell me more about that. Wait, what do we, you pick it up? Do you pull the lever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he wants to play it's, by the uh, rules. He, he, he telegraphs it. You do what you do, and he does what he does. I know. I should know this by now. Does a 22 hit you? <laughs> yes, it does, it does. Because that was my worst roll. That was your worst roll? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, three... Oh, wait. Those tart darts must have a high modifier on them. Tart darts. Tart darts. Tart darts. Tart darts. Mm. Tastes like poop. Oh, there's a few more. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ooh, just, that's critical. It's just Gus whistling. Okay. Uh, so darts, five of the darts fly out and hit you. Okay. Doing. This isn't looking so good. Uh oh. I, I protect Bartle in this moment. I'll cover him with my my uh, metal arm. I think I think, I think Gus is Bartle. Did you, did you hear that? I protect you with my metal arm. What'd you roll? I rolled five six six five five. Five six. On a D six, I only rolled fives wow. and sixes. Uh. Five, six, six, five. I, I had a 33 is what I had. Whatever. It, it added up to 33. 30, it was all five 33? Six. Hold on. Let me do some quick math. Okay, the one. You are dead. And, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Join me, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Barney <laughs> feels real safe Kybo, in his bowl. <laughs> it's glass ball. I'm going to stay in here forever. <laughs> Kyborg is, is a snake now? Whis. Yeah. Sup, Bart? <laughs> um, Barney or Matite, who wants to try to do something? I will, let, I will let Barney do a little bit of something. So does, wait, what is of the ring in the box now? Is it still the, in there? The, like, give say, me a Coke Zero. Okay. The chest closed back down. Like he reached in. Okay. Uh, it failed, and then the chest reseals. Gotcha. Uh, someone asked why Barney's not wearing clothes. We don't know. Yeah. We, uh, that was what happened when he went yeah. through the magical door and appeared back at the entrance of the first hallway. Yeah. And he's in a giant glass bubble. Uh, As of so, so curse, curse. Uh, no, he went. No, it was, why bubble? The bubble is a curse. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bubbles the curse. Bubbles curse. Uh, Barney will continue along uh, through there to the thing. You have to move me. You're sorry. right here. Sorry, sorry. Through this passage right here. Does that take him Which over Which takes here? no. Yes, it does. Actually. Yes, that was yeah. that was there. The gargoyle room. The gargoyle. Yeah, the, right. the gargoyle. Yeah, the statue with three arms on and one arm broken off. And so I see the gargoyle. Yeah. Uh, and then there's, I see this little passage over to the side. I yes. can't get through that in the glass bubble. Um, Hello, gargoyle. This, uh, is, just, uh, yeah, this is when, this is when you have, a, if you have a hamster as a pet, this is when the hamster is gauging where it can go yes. just by. Yeah, bumping <laughs> into, it's like a Roomba, basically. <laughs> it is. It's like a Roomba. Bumping into things. Uh, Do you think someone should take the arm? With Barney. He can't, he, can't, he, can't, he can't pick he it can't up. He can't interact sure. with anything except for his little bubble boy environment. He's, I can't, he's did, stuck in it, and he has no equipment. I think he's trapped here. I could maybe go... He could go back. Pace. Uh, How? Uh, he teleported here. Oh, it teleports. Yeah. Um, he's just... He's just he's stuck. Just, <laughs> I don't know why he did this. Um, Do you want to like, try to ram into a wall? Or yeah, something? but I, I, I want to... Did I... I can't remember. When I was gum gum, did I... I guess I wouldn't know this, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, I want to cast... Uh, um, it, it, so, Julia, it did take his walker, too. Just, uh, I don't think oh, we, can took, re we can't remove it from the... We oh, can't. Yeah. I can't. Oh, can't. Oh, okay. yeah, so I don't have... Rubber bands. You, okay. Yeah, it took all of your equipment. The Mama Thank Rai you. Thank you, Julia. customizes these quite a lot. And um, we're leaving on the underwear, obviously, because yeah. this is a kid ship. <laughs> it does come off, though? No. No, no I, think it's, I think it's stitched at his yeah. thighs. Yeah. Uh, I want to cast... I can't remember if I did this, but I'm going to cast uh, um, Detect Magic. <laughs> magic. Uh, you cast Detect Magic. At the gargoyle. <laughs> Elga has little underwear. <laughs> Elga does my mom's stitch. Little, little polka dot. Little undies. I couldn't remember if I did this before. Yeah. Go. You do not detect any magic. Don't say, okay. Uh, could I cast... I'm just burning through. I want to cast fine traps. But by the way, you cannot cast any spell that has a material component. Uh, <laughs> Ain't got no mats. So oh. you would be able to see here. 
It's anything. Oh! Okay. You can only do V and S. So M, you cannot. Okay. Barney sees this uh, gargoyle with a broken arm. Barney wants to try and get out of his glass bubble. Okay. Can, can Barney go back and then like run and run exactly. to try and exactly. break the glass? Into what? I, the gargoyle? I guess the gargoyle. I would okay. shoot into the wall, maybe, no? Well, the gargoyle seems like sharp, a little pointy, right? This one, yeah. yeah <laughs> do you want, but like, you might break off one of its arms, if that's OK. Do it! I'm doing it. OK, okay. into the gargoyle. Yes. Yeah, you go back, make a. Laissez faire. We'll call it a strength check. A strength check, OK. Yeah. Is that my D20? Yeah. I love well, that immediately Kyborg offered to help him out of it, and he declined. Well, like, he, and, he uh, worked when he was going down the traps. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Is Kyborg alive? Uh, rolling. No. No. Check out the new dice trays. Like Eleven. These. I also got you a cup. Of Thank you, sweet. Plus. Adorable garble. Appreciate that. Zah! That's twelve. Uh, yeah, we'll say that uh, you're able to shatter the, ah! the glass. I'm free. <laughs> but he's naked. All so right. how much damage does he take on his? <laughs> uh, now, Barney wants to pick up the gargoyle arm from the ground. Okay. And hold it up to the gargoyle and <laughs> cast mending. Uh, okay. And try and uh, reattach the arm. Yeah, you pick it up <laughs> and you cast mending and try to reattach the arm. And uh, when you let go, the arm again falls to the ground. Oh. All right, Mr. Gargoyle, I'm sorry I tried. And then I guess Bar uh, Barney would crawl through the hole now. Okay, show me where. Uh, yeah, so Barney would come, I guess, through here. Mm -hmm. And it would take him to here. Oh, it's back where I started. Yeah, it is. Uh, so now, uh, seeing don't forget when you talk as Barney, you need to roll a d6. Oh, yeah, back in here. <laughs> uh, would see, have seen where uh, I'm in there. Did you roll your d6? Oh, move yourself. You, you have to know if you're doing a oh, yeah. uh, or whisper. Where, where do you want? Uh, I'm at the the archway that that. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Barney's uh, behind you. Oh, the team! I found you. I'm, so, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in an hallway uh, with a screaming naked old man. Where, Barney where, runs up. How has my life brought me to this? Barney runs up. <laughs> if we get up to, so we're at 2376 subs right now. If you can bump us up to 2400, we'll bring um, uh, Kyborg and Bart back in right now. It's only uh, 24 short of that. Hey, Bart, do you hear a s screaming old man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand you. Uh, Barney runs up and finds Mateed and get, gives Mateed a hug. I haven't been naked. I don't know what happened or where everyone went. Move yourself. What's what's? That? I'm trying to figure out the, the puzzle of this archway. We had an archway like this before, and it, mm -hmm. it had colors, and we found a combination of the colors that opened the archway. I thought I tried every combination, but I was not keeping track of them, so I might have missed a certain combination. Mm -hmm. And I've thus far f not figured out what the puzzle is or the pattern in order to uh, figure it out. Hmm. Where are the others? I, I don't know, and frankly, I very much don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the nights are gone, and uh, the grotesque are still around. Are we, are we able to do anything as yeah, the snake yeah. beetle? Yeah, what do you want to do? Could I try opening that silver chest again? Sure. Um... Use your or, beetle strength. <laughs> yeah. I, I can help because I mean, I feel yeah, like with the two, you, you know, it's a struggle because it's, you know, it's very big for an insect, but we'll say yeah. you're able to open it. And I'm guessing as these beetle and snake, we don't have any of our like abilities or spells. Correct. Or mm. equipment. Just like observers. Okay. For the most part. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, let's just open the silver chest maybe. Yeah, you all pop it open and you see the little crystal box at the bottom with a ring inside of it. Since I am small, I'm a beetle, could I go into the chest and see if there's any like switches or levers or like you absolutely can. little things? Just disarming it so that we can get the glass. I'm going to have that. you roll me a perception check. Okay. Do I still get my modifiers? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perception is a plus three. Bart, what do you perceive? Christmas. <laughs> um, <laughs> It would be a nine, but I want to use my inspiration die. All right. Inspiration I think that's die. a good idea. Inspiration die. 13? Better. Yeah, you can tell that there's a pressure plate under the crystal box. Mm. So that okay. when the crystal box is lifted, darts shoot up. Is there anything I could do to, like, switch it off? I don't know, like... It's a pressure plate that would be held down, down by, the box. by the box? Correct. So is there a way that then the beetle could keep you it could, down? You could, like, jam it or something. Yeah, could I try to jam it? Yeah, we'll say you're able to, like, roll over, like, some sticks and rocks roll and, like, pebble. gum up the, the mechanism. Okay. So you disable the, the trap. I'm on the case! 
<laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> I, you would think I, you were cursed, but you're not. <laughs> this, this is me beseeching Gus. Because I wasn't keeping track. Did I try every combination and nothing happened, or did I miss something? <laughs> Just for the sake of, like, because what I could do right now is I go through yeah. them all again and keep track. You, you did go through all of them. I went through them all. And I just yeah. realized I gave you all the curse without giving you a hint. Oh. Oh, thank you. Go on. Um, you've already found one dead end with a secret door. We've already found one dead end with a secret door. So this might not be something that we can unlock, and this might be a go back to start spot no matter what. Well, what are the dead ends we've hit? We've hit the, you. You guys hit a dead end there, Chip and, and Mateen. Well, right? lever room, you could go up or down. We found the down is a dead end, like literally for Chip. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, there's that, that one. That was yeah. a dead yeah, end. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that Mateen. Then can I can I mark? Something? Then <laughs> since Mateen is is befuddled. Um, Mateed would then try the other path that they know nothing about, which would lead to the room with the chests. Oh, look. You... And Barney would follow? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Barney would follow Mateed so, at this point. Okay. This one? Yes. Okay. That so is the only path that Mateed hasn't tried. Correct. So then Mateed and would try that. Barney's there. You come into a room with three chests. Okay, can I can I make a quick note? Can Barney lead so that Mateed has to like look straight up his butt? When he's... <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, Mateed is very tall. <laughs> and Barney. It's a crawl space. Sorry, Mateed. Uh... Uh, where was it? You enter this uh, room, and there are three large chests affixed to the floor. The western one is gold. The center one is silver, and the eastern one is oak bound with. Thick bronze bands. And we see Kyborg and Bart's bodies. You see Kyborg and Bart's bodies, as well as a snake and a beetle huh. looking around with the silver. Well, chest. Would, by any chance, the co the coordinate the 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 uh, uh, orientation of the bodies uh, be that Kyborg is next to Kyborg's dead body is next to that the, the oak one, the silver one, and silver Bart's one is next Bart's to the oak one. Okay, <laughs> yeah. filled with arrows and darts. <laughs> filled with arrows. Yeah, but he also, does have a, a face full of darts. Would the silver one still be open since I was messing around in it? Yes, I would say it would be open. Okay. And so, so okay, um, so it's pried open a little bit. Uh, it's 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 wide open. It's been uh, oh wide open. open. Yeah. Can can Snake Kyborg uh, send a message? Can you try. Okay. Um, I, I contort my body into letters. Into the letters. You know, <laughs> and, and, one and, at a time. And, and, yeah, one at a time. And you can, see. Can Blaine do them? <laughs> on the floor? Uh, I'll do it with my arms. Yeah, don't say what they okay, are. Right, I, I right. want you. I want. I want Mateed, right. I want John to try to say so, what this so is. So looking at me. I already don't know what letter that is. Okay, uh, where is H? No, not you. Oh wait, you're there. You're Are there. you you're doing there. it mirrored or? No, no, no sounds from Blaine. Parallel lines. V. Y. S. <laughs> U. I love this. S. U. So much fun. C. <laughs> Matisse steps on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I was spelling succeed. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at spelling. I also like how you did an S, but to you. Yeah, that's so confusing. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so silver chest is wide open. It's open. Mateed would look into the chest. There is a crystal box with a ring inside of it. All right. Oh, let's look in there! <laughs> oh, look at that, a ring! Um, you know what? Because of what is happening in the room right now around Mateed, Mateed would just grab that box and just see what happens. Yeah, you grab it and pull it up and nothing happens. You're able to successfully pick up the crystal box and inside is a ring. Silver box worth a thousand gold pieces. Crystal box. Crystal box. Crystal box worth a thousand gold pieces. Yeah, it is. With a ring. It's very fine. Um, Barney? Yes. I have a theory. Would you like to join me on this theory? Yes! <laughs> Can we end it's this always curse? screams. I feel like this is more of a curse for us than it is for Barney. Yeah, truly. <laughs> um, perhaps, uh, according to uh, the, a, a riddle we found at the entrance of the first hallway, um, this ring might be of value. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, we should keep in. this ring and break. Oh, wait, they're dead. <laughs> Let's leave this place. Um, yeah. <laughs>
Oh, that's a 60 second dungeon and a character swap. The team was about to try something. It's about to oh. just progress the story. Bart is gone. Oh, Bart's body is gone. In place, a living Elga appears. Kybor, okay, yep, mud, and uh, I, yeah, I said I would bring him back to life at level four. Kyborg so or Ky Chip? Kyborg. Okay. Kyborg is back alive at 2400. Mm -hmm. That is a 60 second dungeon we're banking. Yay. And I believe that's also a curse and a hint. So we'll, we'll get rid of your previous curse, your, uh, your screaming. What about my clothes? Your clothes? That's not a curse. Oh. That was a, a result of that's going true. through the magic door. Yeah. Stick it back. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I, I do love everybody in chat getting excited about Mud. He's not been around for a while. Mud had, yeah, you had him for like a minute. I, I did, I did. Uh, and then Matisse since then. What is it? it it's kind of like leaned up up against this. So. Just uh, push it. Yeah. What is it? I can't see from here. Is that a 76? Maybe take the glasses off? No, it's, it's, it's like, where's top? That's, uh, that's part of the fun the of the 100 sided die. 76. 76. We already did 76, 76, so yeah, do it again. How did we get 76 twice? That is so weird. 90. 90. 90. 90. Ah. His name is. Thank you. Can I get that? Uh, Hello from Western Australia. Hey, it Thank you. throws me off how heavy that thing is. It is. No. Every time. <laughs> and who does it affect? That's for Kyborg! You loudly proclaim, uh-oh, stinky, whenever someone misses an attack or check. Okay. <laughs> For the rest uh, of the stream. <laughs> Guys, you wouldn't believe that I turned into a snake. A white snake. And okay. came up with such bardic melodies as, not here I really. go again. I turn into snakes all the Who's time. Who's this? And, and also, still of the night. That's a good one. Is this love? <laughs> These are all white snakes. Is that not a Def Leppard song? Well, it says White Snake. Oh, I was thought, I thought that was a song. Hello. That I'm feeling. Hi. I'm here too. I am. I don't know where my clothes have, are. Have you met Cryborg? <laughs> I don't even know if I've met these people yet. No, I haven't. What is your name? Uh, my name is Mud. Uh, uh, lovely to meet you. I'm Elga. Uh, it's, oh, uh, hello. Uh, Mud, is this Why your... doesn't he have clothes? I don't know. Make me a dexterity saving throw, Mud. <laughs> Would love to. What, have you been here this entire time, <laughs> I, was, I was at the beginning of this, I think. Oh, wow, um, so much has happened, This bud. is going to fail, so just, it's a uh, uh, three. Uh-oh, stinky! <laughs> <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> Gumbo falls down right in front of your face onto the floor. Oh! oh. Is that the result of the... Oh! <laughs> That's what I left! That's what I left! Oh, my God! That is awesome. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's the longest so, setup. Gumbo takes three points of damage. People who are just joining or joined late at the very beginning of this. And I threw, I, that was the only <laughs> amount of time Mud was in this <laughs> Mud thing. threw him up. That was three and a half hours ago. <laughs> Mud threw Gumbo up in the air to look to see for, uh, if there's anything up in the sky and then, never, and then disappeared. Yeah, then became a teed and now we just got Gumbo <laughs> back, and, or just got Mud back, so... Gumbo's back too. Mud, do you, uh, did I hear correctly that you could change into animals? Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of my many talents. Do you, could you change into a bat? I can uh, turn into a giant bat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> oh. Maybe it's best friend. Uh, I like you. It's, 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 most people get kind of freaked out when I turn into a bat. That's a different reaction than thank I you. Get. Thank Good you, Big G you. and Julia Doolittle. Yes, thank uh, you. Uh, yeah, you thank you for uh, all the stuff in chat. And uh, also, uh, I do. Uh, people keep asking about your wonderful uh, shirt. That is coming soon. Coming soon. We also um, have uh, the Kyborg shirt that Blaine yeah. is wearing right now, available at stinkydragonpod.com slash store, and the Gum Gum shirt gum that gum we shirt. don't physically have on set, but it also is in our store. Yeah, it just came out. We've got stuff coming out, and we just wanted to tease you guys with some of it before it's it's available to be in the store so we're right. show, we're showing it off we like we, do we like showing off what we got let's have a stinky dragon dice tray we got the somewhere. overhead cam can we do that oh. yeah beautiful and it's like a shiny gold in there wow nat 20s nothing but while you're rolling that thing not guaranteed no yeah, not this, at all not this at bart all. shirt is kind of like a band a tour a band tour shirt and so. great merch purchases count towards uh the counter sub count yeah mm -hmm. we do we have That's a conversion right. Conversion. Wait, um, what's our, but we love subs even more. Why is our goal 2418? Because we're about to hit it. 
I think that's it, it, the, uh, the 60, next 60 seconds. 62. We don't need off. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'm going to turn back to Mud. That was just showing off. Um, oh, man. So Mud is holding a crystal cube with a ring in it? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. nice. Okay. Careful with that thing. I died. <laughs> Does anybody know what we should be doing with this thing? Because I have not seen literally anything we've we, been going on. We have encountered a four-armed gargoyle, one of its arms missing, outstretched hand with a sphere-like thing. Could probably fit that ring in there. If I had to take a gander, take the, a guess. The ring, the hand is magically broken. One of the four. Yeah. I think Barney broke Sorry, it. that's John saying one of the four. Do you think maybe we should go get the hand and maybe use it for stuff that we do not want to touch? Was there huh. a place in here that you could stick a hand in and uh, you may <clears throat> not want to put your hand in there? Uh... Action surge! <laughs> 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 I once lost... He <laughs> looked a look on his face. No, it wasn't you, it was Chip. Oh. Did, did, wait, did anybody here... Witness that? What? What? Was the combination of Chip... Chip wasn't... Chip wasn't... This Chip is was there. Was That's what I'm arm. saying. Oh. Did anybody that was with El Chip witness that? Elga there. Yeah. Yes, Elga. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, I have information. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there was this open mouth. It kind of looked like my friend Chip's face. And he made the same face and then went, Ooh, I'm Chip. I'm this guy. And he sounds he, funny. I like that and guy. And then he stuck his arm in and his hand came out. No hand. Oh, just like me for real. Yeah. On so, God. I don't know. If <laughs> no cap. <laughs> On Daya. On Daya. No cap. Um, all right. So it sounds like you've got a couple of options to do with this uh, uh, ring. So maybe we can go try those out. Okay. Did I, I gave a, a hint with that last curse. Mm -hmm. About the, the there's a there, it's not the first magical dead end. Yeah. Was that for that? That was for the previous one because I, I hadn't given a hint with the previous. What's curse. the next? Oh, his curse. Right. His curse. You did not. I did not. No, you did not. That was for uh, Loudy Mick Whisper Face. Correct. <laughs> um. Uh, where are you all? Um, I, I, I I'm gonna run out of 60 second dungeon concept. <laughs> I'm like thinking. Everyone, keep, keep keep signing going. up. To I'm looking around the room. Torture like, blade. But but to be very clear, it's an incentive for in the moment. But uh, the reason why we're doing this this whole thing and we're doing this whole long stream and stinkyberry is to one, uh, m majoritively raise you know the our sub base in order to continue to the show and hopefully do more things. So even when 60 second dungeon runs out. That doesn't mean that the subs stop helping stuff happen. Oh, no, I'll keep going. If they're, if they're, <laughs> if they're contributing, I'm going to show some love by yeah. uh, improvising on the fly. I love it. And I'll do my it. best. Can you add some math in there? So it's improv plus... 26. <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever. Like, like, I love you. You're cute. 16. Never change. Um, all right, hint. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, of we get a hint. Yeah, what would be the most appropriate here? What are you all thinking right now? I mean, what uh, are you all thinking about well, going? I think we're going to take the crystal box back to the gargoyle thing with the forearm. Let's just say we do that. Okay. Um, just take all four. Just take all four. Was, where all four was of us. Hell? Where was that guy? Uh, just is go down the hall. Da -da. Down this way. Yeah, da -da -da. Da -da. Oh, you you hit it perfectly and erased the little dot. Uh, Chris. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, here, just put. I'm gonna put a little dot in the in that corner there. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that hint for a little while, if that's okay with you. Right. Was it was I, the I, dot in here? Yeah, I, I got it. Careful okay. With Careful with my. Sword. That's where the gargoyle is, right there. So, what would you like to do to this gargoyle with the crystal box and the ring? Can we uh, look once more and can you describe the gargoyle's hands for us? Absolutely. I would love to. I was hoping somebody would ask that. Why is he acting like this? What, that's just how Gus talks. What did you feed? This that's small just... room holds what appears to be a statue of a gargoyle, eight feet tall with four arms. One of the arms is broken off and lies on the floor in front of the statue. Okay. And what's up with their hands? Oh, right. I will... And the hands have depressions in them that yeah. seem to be where a gem And are they ready go. to catch these hands? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I guess that was okay. <laughs> Slightly different look. That's different. Yeah, um, just the same same idea, just a little uh, different look. Uh, and then the, as far as the depress the depressions in the hands, um, so I think I believe Bart found this and pointed it out to everyone who was there at the time because Bart had a good uh, um, check on it. But each of the three hands that are still attached to the statue have carved depressions in them. 
Uh, the broken off arm has no such concavity. Okay. Just to <laughs> just to negate options, Mud tries to put the crystal thing into the hand on the floor. The crystal box? Yeah. Yeah. Or the ring. Um, it's in the box. Yeah. Is the and the box is not an openable box. It is. It is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. I thought it might have been like a no, in case. You can thing. totally open it. All right. He's doing that thing again. He's like, yeah, you can open it. It's fine. Mud opens the box. No, Mud, no! <laughs> You let forth a ring. Oh, okay. The As in ring? the ring is available to grab. I grab yeah. the ring out. Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking all that? What happens if you put it on either your hand or the gargoyle's hand? <gasps> oh. I put it on my finger. With this good. ring. A fish guest? I had this good. Do, do, do can I pull off this look? Do we still see Mud? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is, it like a, <laughs> is it like a Bilbo thing? Yeah. yeah. Um, Precious. All right. It's a ring. And uh, we've got a box. Uh, I put a ring. I put the ring on the broken hand. Um, yeah, you try to slip it on. It can't quite fit. The the stone fingers are so thick. Mm. It doesn't fit over them. Me uh, could I try the little um, grooves in? Um, let's try the. I think you said it was the top right hand was broken. Show me depression. Perfect. The top right yeah, hand top is broken right. off. Try the top left hand. Can I put it in the depression? Um, Back forth. Uh, yeah, you, you stick it in the depression and nothing seems to happen. Bottom left hand? Nothing seems to happen. Bottom right hand? Nothing seems to okay. happen. Okay, can Mud just try to see if any of the, the fingers, like just imagine going through and. Trying all of them? All of them? Doesn't yeah, they're, 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 the fit. stone is just so thick. Doesn't yeah, fit. It's, it's much bigger. Plus, this statue, so the statue is like eight feet tall, mm -hmm. so it's much bigger than like a, a human. I have body. a feeling that the ring and the gargoyle are un. St not connected. And, and, and the, the arm doesn't fit the gargoyle that's missing the arm? He put it, in the, he it, put fit, it on, but it, it didn't, doesn't, yeah, it doesn't stay. Yeah. But what if we put the ring in the hand and then put the hand onto the gargoyle? The, the, the one that's doesn't, off doesn't yeah. have a depression. Not, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I whispered to the gargoyle, like, hey, bro, I know that feel. Missing an arm? It's like missing mm -hmm. part of yourself. I know that feel, bro. And then I, and then I <laughs> high five the. the what if you try to put your arm on then? I'll do Kyborg. He takes off his arm and puts it onto the gargoyle. It is a right arm, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, then I try to stick it on. Yeah, you try to stick it on. And uh, do you have like any strapping or any mechanism to make it attach? Uh, sometimes my loogies are sticky. Uh, could <laughs> Barney could try and mend it again. We, we have rope. Nah, I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> then I'm losing my arm for the rest of the stream. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, you put it up there. It doesn't stay. But I mean, you, you okay. can put it up there. Uh, for the hint, I will say. Uh, novel. Just to reinforce. Not every dead end is a dead end. Yeah. Not every dead we, end. There, so, a, wait. The hint a second ago was, I, I, you've experienced a dead end before. The next hint was, not every dead end is a dead end. Yep. Have we, I, you, yeah, yeah, does this room little turd. seem like a dead end, this well, room? there's a dead end over there that we haven't experienced. Right. We didn't there. give it much effort, yeah. yeah. Do we want to travel back to that area? Yeah. yeah what I'm happened? Because the other one was a, 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 was a dead end, but then... It's tra it's secret. Could, uh, before we leave, sorry, before we leave the room... Elga wants to pick up the arm and take it with her. Yeah. Okay. Do you do that? But yeah. Elga's Elga strong. Uh, Elga is strong. Elga's strong. Okay. F. We head back to that dead end. Mm -hmm. Mud puts on the ring and tries to push against the dead end. Oh. Yeah. You put on the ring and you push against the dead end and nothing seems to happen. Can, can... Could I try to push it with the arm that I'm holding? Yeah. You give it a push. <laughs> you know where we're at right now? We're at the point where you're playing Monkey Island. Yeah, and you are trying every combination possible yeah. because yeah. you are. Uh, you're looking through your inventory, like what is what was that thing again? Use this on that. Okay, no, use this. <laughs> on uh, you push up against the wall with the arm, and nothing seems to happen. Can Barney investigate, looking for any buttons or secret things? Make or... a either perception or investigation check, whichever. I, you I have a backup plan in case this doesn't go to plan. Backup plan. That's a nat plan. twenty yeah, plus six. Nice. Um, you, you know, poke and prod at the dead end, and you find a secret door hidden into in the Whoa. passage. Did we not Sorry, check? plus four. Wait, wait, how, how did that? He did a perception. Perception. perception check. Perception. And so, found a se se secret door in there? Yeah. yeah. That we just didn't see. Yeah. No, okay. no one had made a perception check. Gosh. And you love those perception checks. We gotta get to get another chip. We gotta I get think, it together, bros. I believe I found something. The, the door opens. Uh, you see what is obviously some form of temple area. There are scenes of normal life painted on the walls, but the people have rotting flesh, uh -oh. skeletal hands, worms eating them, and so forth. Yet there are also depicted various religious symbols of good alignment. There is a mosaic path leading between four rows of wooden pews that face the worship area. In front of the pews, a wooden railing divides the room. 
Uh, and I'm going to draw all of this for you. Okay. South of it is an altar in front of tiered dice on which sits a wooden chair. Mm. And I will draw this out because I know that is, and is that, yeah. a lot. And this is this is an extension off of the series. Correct. Four right? rows. It's not like a teleport. In some sort of chapel. Yeah. Correct. We'll move these and you said down. four rows of pews. Man, the the pictures of normal life, but people like rotting and. It sounds like yeah. zombies. Kind of gross, huh? Kind of gross. Oh, thank you. Zombies are people being emulsified. Mm. Yeah. My goodness. I go to Kybor. Vigilant blessing. What did you say and to me? <laughs> it gives you, it gives you uh, advantage on uh, um, guys, I initiative. I didn't sneeze. I just have to say, I don't know if I should be in this room. <laughs> uh, Is it there, hard for Elga to stand on the ground in are here? Are there any crosses that we could see? <laughs> hey, Elga, I just had garlic knots for breakfast. How's my breath smell? <laughs> <laughs> Elga takes one point of damage. <laughs> I th don't think we've canonized uh, Jesus Christ into grotesque, so I think you're okay. <laughs> okay. I don't he's, think that's a, that's a, a weakness of vampires. He's a cryptid in these lands. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, so the pew, pews. pew, 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 pew. The pews. Okay, pew, 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 pew. So Four are, rows of pews. And then there was a pews. dais and chair at the south There's end. like a wood, and there's also like a wooden fence here. Railing. Yeah, railing. Okay. This looks like more like a court than anything. I mean, yeah, it's a common Catholic They have a setup. similar look to them. Oh, there is. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. A mosaic path leading through here. A okay. Uh -huh. nope. A lot of judging. I have a question. And this is the dais that I mentioned. Was that your stomach? That was my stomach. I, I heard, heard your stomach yeah. from over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, World shaking. If oh. Gus had been sitting next to me, I would have thought it was Gus's because I would not have thought, I think Chris needs a snack. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a, a lunch almost here? Yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. here? Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. Maybe at uh, one, we'll uh, alternate some people out and take cool. a break. Um, question for you, Gus. Yes. Is the mosaic on the floor, is there any like yellow in there and yellow colored bricks? Oh, let me double check that. I don't think so, but let me double check for you, okay? Okay. I'm still remembering that first hint we got, which is follow, follow the yellow brick road or something of that nature. <laughs> I, think I, said, said that. I think what I said was, I wish I could follow the yellow brick road. I wish I could follow the yellow brick road. Um, okay. uh, da, da, da. So uh, I'm going to reread it now that I've drawn it on the map, just so you know. Okay. You see what is obviously some form of temple area. There are scenes of normal life painted on the walls, but the people have rotting flesh, skeletal hands, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> worms eating them, and so forth. Cur Kirsten hit. God, that was so scary. Kirsten oh, hit. Kirsten, okay. Yet there are also depicted various religious symbols of good alignment. Okay. There is a mosaic path leading between four rows of wooden pews that face the worship area. In front of the pews, a wooden railing divides the room. South of it is an altar in front of a tiered dais on which sits a wooden chair. So you see, um, this is the, the altar, and there should be a wooden chair. And then the tiered there. dais is kind of like a ra raised. Correct. And there's a wooden chair back here. Kaiwork says, I'm sleepy. I'm going to go take a rest. And he sits on the chair. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Bold move. Yeah, I barrel roll into the chair. Do I do a backflip into the chair? Oh, I do a backflip into the chair. That's Make necessary. an athletics check. That's necessary. Okay, <laughs> athletics. This is... Are we are we planning to eat some food on set? No, we can step out for a Fifteen. Okay. I just want to make sure everyone has time. Uh, yeah, you do a backflip and plant your butt firmly into the chair. As you are running up to do that, you do notice that the chair is nicely carved and padded, but seems fairly unremarkable. Mm. On either side of the dais are large, freestanding, large brass candelabras, each holding five white candles. And those are... We'll like, flanking the chair? Uh, oh, flanking the dais. Yeah, we'll say like Five there. candles on each Yeah. Man, okay. So many lit? details. Uh, yeah, they're lit, fam. They're not, sorry, I, I, you're I, the worst. I, I just, you're the worst. No. Be the jerk. Uh, they are not lit. Uh, in each corner of the southern wall is a large white pottery urn stoppered with a brass and wood plug. An urn that's plugged. Yeah. Okay. Like plugged. Like, like corked. Like a, yeah, like, like a cork. Oh, okay, so there's a liquid inside. Mm. Well, or something. Possibly. Uh, sprawled on the floor near the west wall is a human skeleton in black chain mail that is badly rusted and damaged. Ooh. Okay. The skeleton's outstretched arm points to a stone archway set in the wall. The opening is filled with opaque, bright orange vapors. So, skeleton right here? Like here, yeah, this is the alcove. And it's pointing. Yeah. And it's pointing. And there's, you said mist in there as well? It's another, another misty yeah. door. Orange mist. They're going to punch this uh, out with a little skull. Another from software door. Okay. Can Barney cast? And yeah, you you land into sorry, uh, you land into the chair and you sit in. Barney, can Barney ta cast detect magic? 
Yeah, you cast detect magic. I know a guy that can do detect magic. He has a funny thing that he says when he does it, though. Uh, detect magic! No, that ain't it. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, I can detect magic as well. You notice. Special. Wait, I can detect magic? I can. I said I can. Yeah, but you don't have like I a can. catchphrase. You need to make it into a thing that like you could put like on a shirt and sell it, you know? <laughs> like in, in, in Boulder Ray. Detect magic! <laughs> no, it's not it. No. no. Magic! I thought it had a nice ring to it. You, you can Thanks. sense transmutation coming from the vapory door. Or the vapory archway. With the one that's all the way back here, or there's another one? This one. Oh, Only, yeah. All we see is transmutation there. Oh, so yeah. the, the skeleton's pointing at an alcove. That's another vapor door? Yeah, another vapor door. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm orange gonna, vapor. I'm going to do like a... Correct. Orange, orange vapor. That is different than the other ones. Yeah. And this one, the stones are... There are no illuminated stones on it. Uh, well, we also a, have a curse and a hint. Oh, a curse and a hint. All right. Ah! God. It, I was, knew it was coming. That was a hard one. It's a 40... Is it? Is uh, it? Just go with 40. Yeah. Yeah, 40. It's all random. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The D D100 is literally a golf ball. I love ah, it. Yeah. Oh, man, can you imagine, like, swapping someone's golf ball oh. out for this? Uh, yeah, and yeah. who does it affect? No matter. Three. Chris. Three. <laughs> Chris, you have been yeah. really targeted lately. I'll take that back. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten a single curse yet. Um, a perpetually magical darkness surrounds Barney for 25 feet. So he is now He is now darkness. in 25 feet of darkness. Cool. So if you guys are still at the entrance, and then I just see you guys just go, whoosh. Well, no okay. one has to see me naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and for a hint. Um... I got to tinkle. You need to go? Go for it. I got to go potty. Go. We got this. I'll, wait, I'll listen to the hint first. Yeah. Uh, we'll say... Um... Vapor is not your friend. Vapor is not our friend. Don't vape, kids. All right. And that has vapor in it. Yeah, it's bad for your lungs. Nice. It's filled with carcinogens. Yeah, of course. What has vapor in it? The door. The door. Oh, yeah, the door. I thought you were yeah. pointing something off on that. Uh, mm. Do you want to? Yeah. yeah. Go tinkles. Uh, do, um, How do we want to do? Maybe and go tinkles and eat. Yeah. Okay. We got 13 minutes till 60 seconds. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'll go be for, quick. Go for, go for it. No, I'll be take, back, take everyone. Time. We're going to take, uh, Barbara's going to take a, a, a quick break. But, but we are going to figure out the puzzle of this temple. Yeah. yeah. So by the time Barb's back from her huge dump, we're going to have this solved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does, yeah. does one other person want to go and eat while Barb's out, and then the three of us can hold it down? I'm done what? for whatever. Chris, you, you had you're a grumbling. Think, think you're grumbling. Someone, okay. someone should go eat, right? Yeah. Now. All right. Well, yeah. Just to make it easier. You're grumbling. Down the road. And we got this. We got this. Ah, oh, the classic matchup. We got this. Kyborg in mud. <laughs> um, okay. So, and these aren't lit, fam? Correct. They're okay. not lit. I, Kyborg has something called... You would probably have this, but a better version of it. Well, I think I have some sort of like summoning thing that I can uh, create, like a small fire. I don't I, know if I've ever. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Want to light up these these candles? They've got a spell. It's called. Uh... Oh wait, is it prestidigitation? Prestidigi oh yeah, do that. Hey, you said it pretty good. Yeah, it went bad. It's been a while. Yeah, because that light that literally does light candles. I don't know if I have prestidigitation. Not he, gets that time. he gets one. Yeah, Arcane get shot, trance, fan, ancestry, keen sense, dark vision. Ben! Wait, do we? Do I press the digitation then? I think so. I think he does. I think you do. Okay. Yeah. I say, hey, mud, look at this. And then I, I hold my butt up to the candles. But then I use press the digitation to use it. But it appears as though I fart and the fire comes out. That's, that's very clever, my friend. You're going to go for the ones on the left. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Uh, yeah, you use pressure digitation and you make the uh, candles illuminate. Anything happen? Not that you can tell. Okay. And then I like scoot over, but first toward the other ones, and I say, "Oh, we're not done yet." <laughs> and then I press the digitation on that one too. Yeah. Uh, the candles illuminate. Make me a perception check. You got it. For the sake of. Actually, two, I'm sorry. Didn't make me two. One for here. First one is for here. Second one is for there. Got it. Uh, what was it? Press, per, perception? perception. For the second one. For the sake of the fact that uh, Barney is cursed, and has darkness cast around him, so I would not be able to see Kyborg. Mm -hmm. Can I shove Barney in that little hole? Yeah. Let's put Barney in the hole for so now. So Barney's not. Barney is a uh, is a uh, resting in yeah. there. Um, yeah. Uh, I rolled a five and an eleven. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You don't notice anything. Okay. All uh, clear. Could I? Do a, uh, uh, can I 
Do a check for the room as well, like a perception check. Is there anywhere specific you want to check? I want to start. Uh, can I? Can I? Uh, the mosaic on the floor. Mm -hmm. What color is it? What's it look like? Is there anything you me descriptive about Give it? Give me mud. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, mud looks cool. Yeah, he's just big old. I mean, I'm bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what? It just says. <laughs> 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 so the mosaic tile path you saw earlier was all red. This is just various colors. Okay. A rainbow of colors. Multicolored. Yep. So to be clear. Mud did not see that. Oh. <laughs> but we're just going to play with yeah. John's info at yeah. this point, just to proceed. So, and we also have the vases, if you want yeah, to. Urns, I believe urns. that's what I said. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I'd like to walk the mosaic path um, to the. How did you describe what was at the end this there? This is an altar here. It's an altar. And I'd like to, while I'm walking the path, look at things. And when I get to the altar, look at the altar. And Kyborg stands on the, the throne thing and says, Bow before me, peasant! Stands or sits on it? I'm still sitting. Okay. Bow before me, peasant! Uh, yeah, make me a... I'm not paying attention to Kyborg hey, at all. Hey, uh, God, 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 mud. <laughs> I'm a, a king! <laughs> make a perception check for the uh, mosaic path. Oh, I'm gonna use... Uh... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I use my inspiration what dice. Huh? What did you roll for both of them? Two ones. Oh. Good lord. So that was the role for the mosaic? The mosaic path. Okay. Yeah. yeah, nothing remarkable about it. Wow, two ones in a row. And you said you're also. Oh, I know what was wrong. It's using Matid's dice. Oh, oh yeah, wrong. you got to mix them up. You have to make sure you're using your proper dice. Yeah. This is Mud's dice. They're beautiful and green. And you said you're also going to look at the altar, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, make a perception check I for the I think he also said he's going to bow before Kyborg. Good lord. The, no, the, the dichotomy the, 20. Oh. Nat 20. Nat 20. Wow. See, see, the dice. It's, it's the dice matter. It's yep. because you were using the wrong ones. Uh, so that's 20 something. Um, nothing, 26. Nothing stands out. You, uh, now that you're looking at it, though, I will say it appears to be a strange material glowing with an inner light of opalescent blue. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what happens if I get on the altar? All right, go ahead and make me a uh, dexterity saving throw. Would gladly. That's that's a one. <laughs> what are you doing? You didn't do your thing. What thing? Uh oh, stinky! <laughs> there it is. I want it. Sorry, it was like I know, I know. That it was a lot. It's ago. a lot. We're layering here. We're we have layering. so much. Barney's naked and covered in darkness. <laughs> Stop it! Is that six seconds? That's six seconds. Blaine, come on. Okay. That's three. I think we're coming to... We've got seven minutes. Oh, yeah. Two, two. Yeah, two. upcoming two. Okay. Um, all right. So you touch... When you touch the altar, a lightning bolt streaks down from the secret door, follows the mosaic path, uh, and hits you directly. Oh. Uh, doing... <laughs> Is this going to be a Blaine solo show in a second? I can handle it. I got it. I'm a sturdy... I'm a sturdy fear bog. I'm um, maybe not that sturdy. Come on, dude. Stop, Stop rolling. Stop what are you? There's so many dice. Oh, my God. I'm going to flip this table. 37 points of lightning damage. How you doing? Do the math. That's a negative two on my HP. Oh, so. okay. The uh, lightning bolt impacts the altar, <laughs> and the altar turns color. It is now a fiery blue red. It was... Opalescent blue? It was an opalescent blue, blue before, and now Which it's a fiery blue red. A fiery yeah. blue red. So purple? Fiery blue red? Just a, the it's just like a swirling blue and red. I, I, I'm so distracted by the colors that I don't even notice a mud just died. What, I'm like, what little oh. animal do I get to be? Oh. I'll let you pick. Can you let me pick? Yeah. I'll be... Oh, this works. For mud. A little spoder. All right. Spoder mud. Welcome to the Kyborg Show, everybody. I know. Uh, I see my friend just get struck by lightning and die in front of me, and I'm like, oh, cool. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, cool. I, uh, I almost think that with Kyborg's intelligence, Mud falls over, but a spider's there, and Mud be like, is that? Or Kyborg be like, is that Mud? Is that, <laughs> <did> <laughs> mud he... turns into spiders sometimes. They're usually much bigger than this. Wild shape's different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it usually he's not sitting next to it. I call <laughs> it and say, hey, hello, Elgar, I think... Uh, Mud just died. If it's cool with you, I'm just going to go ahead and rob him. To, uh, say something if you think otherwise. <laughs> okay, yeah, Elga said nothing, so I'm going to go rob. I'm going to go loot. Rob. I like how the Freudian slip comes out. 
Uh, I think I take the ring because I think he was the possessor. Sure. Of the the yeah. ring in the crystal. Take box. the ring. And then now I'm going to go over here to the left and check out that uh, urn. vase, the urn. Yeah. Yeah, make me a, let's call it a perception check. A perception right. check. This is the Kyborg solo show. That we is wanted. a 10. Detective Kyborg. I'm on the case. Not to be mistaken with Detective Magic. <laughs> yeah, very, very different. Um, the urn seems fairly unremarkable. Um, like I said earlier, it is a white pottery urn stoppered with a brass and wood plug. White pottery urn, brass and wood plug. And what was that perception check you rolled again? That was a 10. Last, I, last we encountered brass and wood, it uh, made a skeleton appear. It did. It what are you did. doing? You do notice something. Oh. While you're looking at the urn. It's not on the urn itself, but over here on the wall. Das is das. Door? Not quite. What you see is you find a small slot with the letter O faintly traced above it. Okay. Okay. Um, what, what shape slot? It just says, uh, I think it just says slot. Uh, slot. Yeah, it's just a small slot with the letter O faintly traced above it. How big? Um, I mean, like that? What is okay. that? Like an inch? I'm going I'm I'm to take, take the ring and like put it up to the O. Put it up to the O. You put the ring up to the O and nothing seems to happen. Uh, I'm going to take a loose bowstring that Kyborg has from one of his bows, <laughs> tie it around. This is smart. This is, Looney Tunes okay, stuff. Yeah. This is smart. I'm going to tie it around the ring and then I'm going to slip it into the slot. Okay. But I don't let go of the string. He's like, how am I going to kill Blaine? <laughs> <laughs> you stick the, um, the ring into the slot and you hear like a mechanism activate. <gasps> and you hear stone slowly start sliding and grinding away and the string getting pulled further and further from your hands. I'll let it go. Yeah, you let it go and uh, it opens up a, a <laughs> secret passage with a door. I hear motors grinding because the string gets caught in some cogs. <laughs> uh, okay, so then that, that turns into a doorway then? Yes. Okay, cool. I am shocked you found this one. I thought for sure this was going to be like a... Got to give us something. We are never getting through this. This was going to be the source of a... a detective of a Kyborg, hint. he's on the case. Detective God. Kyborg. Detective Kyborg. So this is like a, a hidden passage that comes through this way. And that is a, another passage that appears to turn from your perspective to the right, and there's stairs going down. Uh, spot. Bring, bring the party with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I see. Uh, uh, Gather up the bodies. Spider mud. Can you go scout ahead for me? <laughs> Am I able to do that? What? OK, so. Uh, Have you been listening? Mud. Got no mud. Got murked. He turned into a spider because of what happened was spider mud. Be specific. Was mud tried to check the mosaic path? Nothing came of it because I rolled a one. Mud tried to check the altar. Um, figured out that it was like this bright opalescent thing. I touched it, failed on a deck save, and immediately died from lightning. Oh God! Traveling down the mosaic path and hitting the altar. So then Kyborg's been on his own. Kyborg found this little slot in the wall with an O above it. Put the ring in. Opened up a secret passage door, and now we have a door. Yeah. And the, the okay. thing that has an O above so it. So the ring did something. That's yeah. the ring. Also to make sure I didn't lose the ring, because I'm not irresponsible, I put a bowstring around it and slipped it in like I was going to like pull it out. But in I, case I just let it work. go. It worked. Yeah, it took the So thing. now we have a secret new passageway. Right? That is a stairway down. If you took the ring out of that, would the He let it go. He let I let it go because it was like pulling the string okay. and it felt right. So I was like, okay. It Meta game wise, it, it gets destroyed. It gets okay. got ground up and... Uh, also, no. I, I lit these candles. Nothing happened, but I did fail perception mm -hmm. check, so I don't know. Okay. And then we also have this other urn that we haven't touched yet. So oh, he, this he checked that one urn, and nothing came of it checking that. Oh, the no, check. This, this urn I haven't touched. No, no, yeah, I was saying, you checked that urn, and that's how you found the slot. So oh, yeah, while up. I was looking at the urn. I haven't opened I'm the urn. I'm dead, so please help Kyborg okay. through this secret passageway. Oh, also, if, if you... You're dead, and she's back. You want to go eat? Sure, why not? Oh, yeah. Uh, also, you gave me permission to rob Mud's body, so I just went ahead and did it. Of course I would give you permission to rob Mud's body. Yeah, I, I just said, Elga, stay quiet if you are okay with me uh, mugging him, and you just didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. So That sounds like Elga. She would do that. Uh, you wanna... could I, Yeah, could I move over to where Kyborg is? Yeah, of course. Are yeah. we Elborg or Kaiga? Ooh. Kaiba. It is almost time for a 60 second dungeon, just giving you a heads up. Oh, oh. it actually just turned. Uh, so you, we can determine what y'all are going to do here in a second. Barbara, it's just you and me over here. Okay, cool. He preps for a 60 second dungeon. Finally, the ideal D&D &D scenario. How, how was uh, 
How was lunch? Was it good? Lunch was really good. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat. Gus Hungy. Gus Hungy. Um, so we're at 2489. We're so close to 2500 subs. Whoop, Thank whoop, you so whoop, much. Whoop. If you can sign up at stingydragonpod.com slash first. Uh, first membership is what we are driving for today. If you become a first member, you get things like ad-free versions of the podcast. Wherever you listen to podcasts, whether it's Rooster Teeth, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, you get um, exclusive merch. You get merch discount. You get access to special first-only videos, like behind-the-scenes uh, things like uh, Show Me the Magic yep. and Second Wind. And Show uh, Me the Magic is the making of Stinky Dragon Adventures. Correct. And on top of that, uh, we also have a Discord. Anyone can join the Discord at stinkydragonpod.com slash Discord. And in that Discord, we have special first-only channels, and you can interact with cast and crew. I'm in there quite a bit uh, talking. I see Ben there all the time, and even the rest of the cast uh, pops in every now and then. Uh, and I think we have a 60 second dungeon ready to go. We sure do. I think we're doing three of them, right? All right, three 60 eating? second dungeons. Blaine I'm definitely, go yeah. Blaine definitely has creative for all of them in mind. He is prepared and he's ready. You say three. Three. <laughs> Welcome back to the 60 second dungeon. Holler! Today I'm joined by Larry. Woo! So you said if I finish this, you'll return my family, correct? You're the assistant of a powerful wizard. Your little boy, just helping this wizard out as he travels from town to town entertaining the masses. Uh, he says, hey, little boy, come bring me my chest of magic tricks. All right, let me try to grab this chest. Ooh, it's real, real heavy. The, wiz oh. the wizard says, why do you sound like that? What's going on with your voice? Well, you said I was a little boy. This is what little boys often sound like in, in dungeons and wizards. And D and D's. Okay. Uh, okay. So um, he says it's time for uh, the the fire spell. Are you ready for that, little boy? Well, I can barely hold this chest, so I certainly will do my best. Okay. Do a strength check, actually. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you rolled a one. You rolled a one. Uh, you drop the chest, and a fire starts. Oh, I didn't know the fire was inside the chest. Uh, roll a deception check. You should have known that. I think. 13. Oh, 13. He says, uh, I would normally fire you, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I get it. we need to put this fire out or else we'll kill all these people. Uh, so what will you do? Uh, well, I know in uh, other fantasy lands that uh, ground is uh, strong against fire, so I'm going to take the nearest dirt and put it on the fire chest. Oh, great. Do a survival check. Oh, we a three. Okay. Uh, while you try to pile on handfuls of dirt, uh, you trip and fall and uh, land on the flame. And uh, you're burning alive. Ah! What do you do? I, I, I stop, I drop, and I roll to okay. try to put myself and the chest out simultaneously. Okay. okay, now give me a survival check. All right. That's another three. That's another three. Okay. Uh, not only do you die from the burning fire, you happen to light the rest of the village on fire, and um, everybody dies. And that's, oh, that's all that remains of the village. They'll sing dirges of my horrible day. So I'll be, I'll definitely be remembered for the bad ways. Yes, that's right. Thank you for joining us in the 60 second dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. That was the worst rolls imaginable. I'm sorry that I killed the, Cut the entire Cut away! Planet. I'm not a wizard anymore! My <laughs> magic! Cut to me, I'm here on the set. All right, let's get batter up. All right. Oh, are we just gonna... Oh, we're gonna roll right through this. We're gonna roll in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the 60 Second Dungeon. Today, I'm joined by Griff. Are you gonna get me wet again? Yeah, what? Phrasing. Um, first of all, just go ahead and give us a perception check. Uh, yeah, you roll. Look cool. Oh, oh roll the... for perception. Yeah. I didn't know. No, you're good. A three. That was almost a Okay. Uh, you yeah. notice on the uh, handsome wizard across from you that he has uh, really nice glasses, yeah. but that's the only observation you make. Okay. Okay, moving right along. Um, <laughs> you approach a king in his castle. Uh, you're brought forth by two big burly guards who have you by each of your arms. Uh, they throw you to the floor, and he okay. says, Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I look, I'm talking to the king? You're talking to the king. I look him in the eye and I say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, roll for deception. Okay, that's a 12. Uh, he, he says, don't look me in the eye. Uh, look, look down. Yeah, that's, uh, that's naughty. Um, 
I think you're lying. Can't really tell, but uh, here's here's how it's gonna go. Okay, you're either gonna entertain me, become my gesture, or I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so what's it gonna be? I reach into my bag and I full, pull out the fool's cap that I keep on myself at all times. Oh, okay. Uh, roll for performance. This hasn't gone well in the past. It hasn't. Oh, two. Um, hmm. He says, uh, okay, well, we're off to a great start. Uh, because you have a fool's cap and I thought you were going to withdraw an instrument from your bag, we're going to provide you with instruments. So, uh, here you go. Uh, roll for performance. Okay. That's a 10. What does that sound like? Well, give me a little performance. Okay. Uh, not bad. The king, he kind of shrugs his shoulders, and then uh, they bring out uh, another instrument. Go ahead. There you go. And roll for performance. Okay. That's a 17. How does that sound? Wow. Oh, okay. All right. And then he says, that's good. I like that. So far, uh, you get your one and one. Let's see. Uh, let's break the tie. Uh, he pulls that out. It's that, that way first. There you go. And uh, roll for performance. Oh, boy. Yeah, there it is. And uh, 10. What does that sound like? Good question. Yeah, go ahead. After you. Okay, with your last breath coming through that flute, uh, you suddenly feel your head get lopped off. Uh, it rolls onto the ground. You're dead. The king wasn't impressed. That's the end of your life. Thank you for joining us at the 60 Second Dungeon. <laughs> I never survived. These are your glasses, by the way. I stole them from your desk. They looked familiar. Yeah, well. I was like, oh, you got those that I buy direct. That's where I shop. You failed your roll. Your hat. Your hat fell. Uh, what? Your hat fell. Oh, okay. Do I have another person, victim? Where'd Gus go? Gus, no. Ben? Ben, why don't you come over here? Oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> what, are, what is it? Okay. Uh, Magic. Hello, hello, and welcome to the 60 Second Dungeon. Today I'm joined by Sleek. Hey, how did I, what is going, how did I get here? What's going on? <laughs> Just gonna point that microphone down. Uh, no need, I have magic microphones. No, you don't. That's a, that's a piece of tinfoil connected to a toothpick. Um, okay, well, uh, Sleek, uh, you arrive at an inn. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any business there. Uh, as you open the door, uh, you find a bloody scene. What do you do? Oh, okay, okay. I've, I've been in this situation before. I've been told to vehemently deny any wrongdoing I just got here. That's interesting you should say that because as you're thinking these thoughts, the King's Guard appears and they start to question you. What are you doing here? Oh, oh God, uh, 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 I just walked in. It was like this when I got here. Okay, roll for deception. Okay, let me just summon my mage hand here. Actually, uh, roll for, not deception, because you're not necessarily lying. Uh, what would that be? Yeah, roll for charisma. Give me a charisma roll. A two. Okay. Uh, Hey, guy, you're, you're lying. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is not what actually happened. Uh, can you walk us through? Is there anything on the ground? Um, yeah, actually, you, you see a hammer on the ground. Uh, what do you decide to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so here's what happened. Yes. All right, I, I'm a big, big fan of telling the truth, right? Okay. Uh, my best friend and I were here drinking. Okay. Having a good time. Yeah. Having some fun. Yeah. These guys approached us. Uh huh. Made him mad. Uh huh. Uh, his name's Kyborg. Yep. He, uh, here's his ID. Here's a photo. Okay. Everything you need to know. All right. Uh, once again, best friend. Uh, he beat these guys up, and ran off. Okay. And he and they left and he left you here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, th th that hammer is is on the ground. Uh, what do you want to do with that? Uh, can I just? Uh, are they are they looking at me? Can I just kind of? Take that they, they, they kind of like look around. You have a moment where you could probably pick it up if you wanted to. Yeah, I know Kyborg's prints are definitely on that thing. Can I, uh, can I just kind of pocket that? That'd be okay, great. Okay, all right. Um, roll for sleight of hand as you all pocket right. that hammer. Mage hand one more time. Let me just... There ugh. you go. All right. That's a two. Okay, uh, the guards catch you in the middle of touching the murder weapon. Oh, oh. Uh, it's covered with the blood of all of the victims. Uh, they arrest you. You take it to the guillotine. Your felt head is cut off, and you are, uh, you know, tried for your crimes and, and, and unfortunately die. Oh, oh, well, that's that's re that's real unfortunate. So Kyberg's have something to say about that. Gonna rip off your head. No. Here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining us in the 60 Second Dungeon. Yeah. Uh.
cut away from me. Cut away. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. I'm here to tell you about some questions. My favorite question someone asked, what's been my favorite part of the stream so far? And I'll tell you what it was. It was when I met all my new friends. My friends, there's a little girl named Elga, then, then my friend Chip, and then there's a bird. I like the bird. Bird can fly. Uh, and that's, what, that's been my favorite part so far. And what I don't understand is, I don't know why we're disappearing and reappearing, but I do know that it's because of our other friends, the friends we can't see, who are supporting us via first membership. And I don't know what that is, but it's what someone told me to say. <laughs> Sleek. <laughs> Sleek. Mud. <laughs> Mud, oh no! Mud, are you okay? Mud, wake up! <laughs> hey, hey, gong gong, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Oh no. How are you doing? I'm good. We're just, so, so how, what, what happens when people s sign up for something, <laughs> for first? Oh, it's a lovely thing to become a first member. It's kind of like becoming an intern, but you pay to do it. Um, and so if you become a first member, uh, you can join in on the rest of the Fun and Sneaky Dragon. You can have a little bit of a special place in your heart that you know that you're, you're making this magic happen that's happening. You, you know a lot about magic there. I do, I'm a wizard. Yes, yes. But this magic is powered by people giving us just a little bit of money every month. <laughs> <laughs> the most powerful magic of all. <laughs> yes, um, you know, you've heard of transmutation. This is called capitalism oh. magic, is what it is. Um, but yes, and then you get access to all kinds of other good stuff. Like, you remember our, our adventures we had together that involved, like, dragons and yes. fighting a, a Cerberus and all that kind those of stuff? Those are all my adventures all the time. Yes, you can, you can watch all those adventures that we had together. A whole season of them. Remember when we were on set and filming and all yeah, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Yes, that's available if you become a first member. And you get Show Me the Magic. Yes, you get show me the magic. Which what happened to your leg? I, I'm, you know what? I'm having a day. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. Um, I think someone took my... Okay, good Lord. Um, it's fine. Um, how has your day been going, Gum Gum? It's been good. I've had a lot of fun. I love it. All my best friends are coming and hanging out. <laughs> Is, um, oh, did you have anything else? Is, I, I but someone wants to know if the wizard from 60 Second Dungeon becomes the next puppet. I don't know. I haven't met him yet. Who's the he's wizard? A he's already a kind of puppet in himself. Um, I think we'd have to ask this nice little lady in Georgia if she would do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she has the time. Um, I, I, but, uh, you know, I know she made your pants and your hat Ooh. and your shirt and among other parts of you. Uh, so maybe if, if that becomes a thing, we could ask her, you know. Yeah. I hear she's a very nice lady. I want to meet her. Makes great biscuits and gravy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those are my favorite types of biscuits. <laughs> um, and anything else from these lovely people we've been talking to in the magical world of the internet? Is, is the gum gum gumbo rivalry still going strong? Oh, you'd have to, you'd have to tell me that. Well, but What? Gumbo. Sometimes we don't get along. I know, I know, and I, it, it really does break my heart that you guys haven't become friends yet. Um, I wouldn't say we're not friends. Have you, tr have you tried doing something to make up for um, what maybe have transgressed Gumbo? Well, it's not so much that, but Gumbo took my name. <laughs> Just parts of it. I know, but it, I only have two parts. <laughs> yes, but don't you love sharing with people? Yes. Well, you're sharing your name with a nice little badger. I guess. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm sure someday that rivalry will be d resolved. Maybe today during the, uh, this non-canonical adventure we're having. Yeah. Do I, I like cheese. I'm sorry if I do not understand what connection you just made. Someone asked, do I like cheese? And I said, yes. Oh, okay. There's context. Context is king. I love it. Someone also asked what my favorite food is. And I guess it's cheese. <laughs> sure. That seems like something you would like a lot. I do like cheese. Yes. Um, I, like, I, like, I like dirt. Dirt's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know about dirt. Have you tried it? Yeah, I walk on it. 
<laughs> I don't like to eat it. It's it's got a great flavour to it, and the, every kind of dirt is different. You know, you go to places that where there's spicier dirt or saltier yeah. dirt. What about sand? Sand, yeah, sand's great. I love it. It's actually its own little like it's like a little seasoning you could put on your food. You put sand in your coffee. No, I put dirt in my coffee. I'm not crazy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Gum Gum, yeah. how long we got to stand here and do this? I think, I want to go back to the adventure. Yeah, let's go back to, the, to this and see how, how the adventure in our little dungeon's going to go, because I'd like to resolve that. <laughs> Me too. Okay, this I has been cheese. great. I, I love cheese as well. <laughs> Can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Round of applause for some live puppeting. Puppet theater. Um, John, was that your first time puppeting? For that long? Yeah. No, no, we did on Show Me the Magic, which is only available oh, for uh, Oh, yeah, that would have been longer. First members. Yeah. Uh, so that was the, uh, Show Me the Magic is the first exclusive show for Stinky Dragon Adventures. The making uh, of. It's about the making of Stinky Dragon Adventures. And what it is is uh, we watched a show with different crew who worked on it and a puppet guest. So... And every episode, one the, of the cast dude, of the show. The best Enjoy. episode is Hairless Hutch. I'm just yeah, throwing that out there. I, no bias. I was losing my mind when we had Sleek on the 60 Second Dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> because in the wide camera shot, you just see Ben's face. Yeah, yeah. I took, like I took a picture of it. I took a picture of it. It's just, it's the, the glamorous uh, view of a puppeteer at work. Do you think we should grab Sleek and then put him in the cup with Kyborg? <laughs> they so they, could, they like, miss hang each out? other so much. <laughs> they miss each other. Um, we've so, gotten some food in us. Yeah, we've got a few uh, people here. Let's. Blaine is still finishing yeah. up. So just to recap for those of you who weren't here, uh, Kyborg was poking around over here, uh -huh. uh, investigating, like lighting the candles on fire, or lighting the candles, I should say, investigating the urn. While investigating this urn, he found a slot in the wall here that had an O written above it. Uh, he stuck the ring into that slot, which opened up uh, a stone secret door passageway that comes across over here, and then there are stairs going down. And this, he has not proceeded yet. Uh, so, Elka came up to stand with him. Barney, they put you off over here because you're radiating <laughs> dark. <laughs> we stuck you in the hole. <laughs> oh, and before that, Mud jumped up on the altar, and when he did, a lightning bolt traveled down along the mosaic path and uh, struck him and uh, yeah, he killed died. him. But wait, wait, what, what did Mud do that was different than Touched Mud? it. He touched it. The altar? Yeah. Oh, because and Kyborg flipped. Kyborg jumped up on the chair. He like altars different than the dice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so initially the altar was an yeah, opalescent yes. blue color, and then after mud touched it, it is now a fiery blue red color. After you blue touched red? it, and changed the, color. Yes, that the was lightning one detail we didn't get over. So um, <laughs> no, it's no, like, it's like a swirl. It's, it's like a swirling blue and red together. So basically, this is now the Elga and possibly Barney show. If you guys want to proceed a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. Spider Mud, mm -hmm. I'm there. I'm You're there. Right. Well, I, I am what, curious. What you got, if we hit, I'll tell you what, when we hit 2,500, we'll go ahead and level everyone up and we'll bring uh, Mud back. So we're 11, uh, 11 memberships away. And do you, I get to get rid of my darkness? Um, we'll do that on the next, uh, we'll do that 2,500, sure, why not? Yes. Why not? Um, so from my recollection of what you guys said. Subs can be bought at stinkydragonpod.com slash store. Thank you. Yes. Um, they, uh, Kyborg did like a perception check and mm. didn't find anything there really. Uh, did like a candle or something like that? Correct. He, when he lit the candles, he did not find uh, anything with his perception checks. Could I do a perception check on the candles? Sure. Which one? The one closest the to you? The lit here? ones. Oh, they're both lit actually. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah, do a perception check. Okay. What's going on in there? <laughs> Barney! It's so you, dark! You just hang out there for a second, Barney. Whee! Uh, three. Uh, yeah, candles. Handles. Guys, I saved it. Solved every puzzle in the whole castle. You wouldn't believe it. I found a door, and I got rid of that ring. I also saw that there was candles. Um. Also, we haven't touched that uh, urn over there, and I have not gotten to the bottom of those candles. But you were, you said you were looking at those. I didn't yeah. find anything though. <laughs> I, my perception was worse. Mm. <laughs> I I would, if if Spider Mud could make a suggestion, I would say. Say it as a spider. I don't know how that sounds. Yeah, make it up. Just quieter. Okay, so the way that you, I think you should try the, the stairways that you found to the, the little doorway. I think the spider. <laughs> Kyborg's stopping on the spider. <laughs> I think the spider said something about stairways to heaven. Yeah, to hmm. clarify, these are stairs going down right here. Uh, 
Um, I mean, we might as well just look down that way. Make it a little. Oh, um, and it's going down, you said. Yeah. Okay. Old man, until we get <laughs> uh, some sort of mag magical intervention, you you're going to stay over uh, there because you're dark. 25 Purpose. feet back. Okay. Yeah. Let me know when you when I can proceed. Okay. Stop he's screaming. Just, he's just been by himself the majority of this stream. <laughs> oh yeah. He's in a, he the glass <laughs> ball by himself. <laughs> yep. And then also, purpose. Mutt finally came back. Immediately died. Immediately died. <laughs> well, and I failed to catch Gumbo. Ky Kyborg. So, yeah. <laughs> does Kyborg perceive anything Cacophony down this hallway? There. Any sort of traps? Uh, make a perception check. Okay. That's in eleven plus three fourteen. I'm getting faster at the physical, like the analog. You get, mode. You, you get used to it. It's yeah. fun. Uh, once, once you've done it a few times, it really, it's really fast. Well, uh, you don't detect, you don't find anything, and you don't find any traps. I should say that. Cowboy moves down. Okay, this I'm gonna draw a little more for you. Uh, fog of war is being lifted. I'm unshrouded. I like the it. Map. I like it. It's satisfying. Oh, are you following? I'm following yeah. Cyborg. So that's the Mentally. <laughs> this is actually the one situation where it's actually like scaled correctly. Yeah. I housed that lunch. That lunch was so it good. It was so good. Yeah. That's uh the hallway goes down and there's a door at the end there. We ate moon bowls, by the way, for <clears throat> someone I, I saw asking what we had for lunch. Moon Wait, bowl. You ate a moon ball? Moon bowl. Barbara, we had food. <laughs> what? I just ate that plastic <laughs> thing whole. Cardboard moves up to the door. We have food. Do we have any coffee? That's oh. a great question. Uh, I would love it. If we have it, I love it. If not, no big deal. Kyborg moves up to the door and tries to, before interacting with it, is this one of those archways? What it, do I see? It's just a, a door. It's a wooden door with uh, iron banding holding it together and hinges. Do I do I perceive anything? Any make, traps? Well, you have to make a perception check. Okay. Smarsh is king. Thank you, Robin Patterson. Thank Woo! you. Hell oh, yeah. That is a six plus three, nine. No, you don't detect any traps on it. Okay, I kick it open. Robin Pattinson you... is actually Rob Pattinson's like other <gasps> username he uses. <laughs> Knew you it. kick open the door, uh, and it opens up. There is. Right. Do you want to get out of your way? You're good. It's got those long limbs. And there's another door here. He's so tall. Okay. Hey, Elga, there's another door. Do you 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 want to turn? You, I want to see. I want to see your form on kicking open doors. Okay. Hey, Elga, you want to you want to proc this trap? <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. Here I go. Make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yeah. You have advantage because you're a barbarian. Do I? Uh, yeah. Is it only when raging? No, it is dangerous. Since yeah. 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 You do have advantage. Uh, okay. So it's, you said dexterity saving. Mm-hmm. Uh, as long as since Barney's not there blinding you. <laughs> <laughs> Only 10 more subs to get a. All right, so that's a 14. Get them leveled up. And a 3, so 14. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. With the blue, can I borrow yours? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to witness another death. Ilga falls into a pit trap. <laughs> oh, that spot. Um, I fall in? Yeah. What happens in there? Uh, let's find out. <laughs> Barbara has fallen in all of the well, traps. <laughs> some of them are supposed to be good. Right? This yeah. one's filled with puppies. Okay. <gasps> Barbara's just looking for the good stuff. Uh, I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's 2,500. Yay! So, 2,500 subs! Everyone, let's go ahead and level up to level five. Oh, okay. That being said, Elga's gone. It's Bart now. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened last time. <laughs> oh, and Chip is back. And too. Uh, Kyborg is gone. It's oh. Chip. All right, let's swap these guys out. Okay. Woo. Do we have level five character sheets? Uh, I believe Ben will be okay. flying those in. A pit full of ravioli. <laughs> That's funny. I feel uh, so bad that it's like such a waste of, like we printed these out for four and now we're not using. We'll throw them in recycling. Yeah, that's Barney. Yeah. Um, um, close off. So, oh. Elga falls into the pit trap and takes damage. We'll we, we'll resolve that later. Bart reappears at the bottom of this pit trap. Okay, what are we looking at here, fellas? Uh, Chip pokes his head down, and says, "Hey there, little guy. What are you doing? Hey, you're a." Uh, my old friend Elgo was there, fell down, and then I guess this is a magical trap that turns you into another person. Do you know that though? Because we swapped at the same time. Yeah, you're mud. No, I'm mud. Where am I? Where are you? <laughs> and, what are you doing in that hole? And mud's back. I mud's forgot back. that was the other thing we said. And I think also that is a curse and a hint. Yes. Okay. Uh, I 
Oh, oh God. God. Every, even though. I he... looked at you, 63. Yeah. And Barney can see again? Oh, yeah, you're no longer shrouded in darkness. What about clothes? Could you swap? No, because that's, that's not a curse. Oh, that's yeah. That's part of the dungeon. Hey, Blake, can you swap my. Yes. I'll go with that. Stop breakdancing. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and who does this affect? This affects. It's a one. one. Me. Barbara. Herb. I mean, me. I'm <clears throat> immune to curses. The concept of death is so unbearably sad, you burst into tears whenever it comes up. <laughs> 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 I, I'm in a pit. <laughs> I'm in a pit. People hey there, Bart, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just dying to get <laughs> you out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, this is. <laughs> this is a, like, an earlier one. There are, uh... <laughs> Bart! <laughs> just that... Just, 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 <laughs> Barbara's in a pit of her own despair. <laughs> You're killing me! <laughs> Stop! Oh, I'm dying! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, this, this pit trap is like the other ones. There are wooden spikes at the bottom that are covered in some kind of poison. Okay. But, Bart is not impaled by any of them because right, that's, a, that's the elder problem. He's just dancing on them. <laughs> yeah. So there's nothing else that I could notice about this pit. Make a perception check. Okay. Perception, Bart. Oh, is this my level five? Oh, wait, I got all of these. Oh, yeah. You? you know, Bart, before I became an adventurer, I was a murder for hire. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, what happened when you murdered someone? Oops. Did they die? Oh, they typically died. Okay. <laughs> so perception check. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Do a lovely roll there. Yeah. We're all level five. Uh, That's a good one. 18. Uh, no, you don't uh, detect anything out of the ordinary down okay. here. Okay. So just a normal trap. Hey, someone in chat, if there are any cleric spells that don't require material components, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'll tell, so, you what, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll be nice to Barney when we hit 2550. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, oh. since we leveled up, mm -hmm. that's like a reset of the system. We'll give Barney his, uh, his clothes back. Oh, goody. Yeah, his clothes <laughs> and his you. stuff come back. Uh, since, it, since the level up from a metagame perspective is almost like a character reset. Which might, if we get to the end, it'll make more sense. Yeah, that's how it works. In yeah. Pokemon, when you level up, you get all your HP back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's still thinking about it. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you hear voices? Oh, it's probably. <laughs> Are you having a stream? Up? stream. Uh, it was us. Playing. Uh -huh. Do you hear voices? <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> it's, you know, it would track that. It would be live on stream. One of us would have our breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> Eight hours. A lot could happen. Uh, 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 w w did we resolve this? Do you want to help you out? Bart? Yeah. Bart's in the hole. Okay. Bart! Hey, I'm gonna help you out there. It's your old friend Chip Haney. Hey, uh, can you like pass down your tail or something like that? You know, I never tried that, but I, you know, I, I've been dying to try. <laughs> God, <what are> you... <laughs> oh God! I squat down. And I lend you my tail. Good joke, love That's all I have. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris over here chuckling as he dresses his doll. <laughs> Gus, would you like for me to do any strength checks to get? Uh, Bart yeah, out make of a, a strength hole? check to see if you're able to pull a little Bart out. Okay, that's a 17 plus one, 18. Oh, nice, killer. Killing it. <laughs> I'm killing it. Uh, yeah, you're able to pull Bart up uh, <laughs> and uh, out of the trap. You're, uh, you all are back in the corridor. Okay, uh, and then Chip is gonna hop over that. Okay. Trap. So you really did use Ilga to just trigger that trap. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, no. Kyborg did. Chip did. Chip did. Chip did. No, oh, oh right, right, right. Good dude there. Uh, <clears throat> and then what's what's ahead of me? Is there another, it's another door? Another door. Door. Okay. I'm gonna perceive what's what's up with this door. Make a perception check. That's a eleven minus one ten. Normal door. Looks identical to the one you just went through. All right. You know what? I feel this sudden sensation that I want to kick this door open, and I do. You kick it open. Why is Gus drawing skulls? <laughs> now their hallway. If this just connects to the other urn place, it just is a big circle. It's, it's another 10 by 5 room with a door at the end of it, identical to the one you just came through. Okay. Hey, Bert! Uh, I found another room. Looks suspiciously Ow. like the one where we just fell into. Pin yourself. Also, yeah. Barney sounds like he's hurting himself. <laughs> he's really got me on pins and needles. I pinned myself. <laughs> trying to get 
Yeah. Uh, because you ended up in the last hole, do you, would you like me to just kind of... Let's, let's just check. I'm going to check. I'm going to see if there's any traps in this room. Make That's a perception check. <laughs> Three. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Totally fine. No, no traps. Uh, no look, traps. Look, 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 see? Yeah, if you want. I'll hop over. I'm That's pretty fine. sure there's yeah. nothing in here, Bart. Uh, perception, you said? Yeah. Nine. No, no traps. Okay. We both have killer instincts. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite curse so far. Uh, I walk over to the other door. Yep. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, there it is. Can I borrow your marker again? Yeah. That is a... Traps and traps and God, traps and traps two and traps. plus five, seven. Uh, yeah. You fall into a pit trap, taking... Ooh, 16 up. points of damage from the spikes. Okay. And then and then make a con a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. That would be 12. Oof. Yep, that doesn't sound like good for me. You take 20 points of poison oh damage. Oh my god. Are you <laughs> still alive? 20, 36 points. 36 points. Yeah. Uh, Could Barney two, carry the one mind himself a pie? I'm dead. <laughs> oh. uh, I was a snake as Kyborg, I think. You want a different one? Was I a snake as Kyborg? Yeah. Yeah. You kept making this snake. jokes. Oh. Um. Choose your fighter. Ooh. You shiny little bug. Ooh. <laughs> it's a blue beetle. I'm a water bug. That's cool. We. Hey. Okay. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Could uh, if we hit. Uh, oh wait, hold on. I'm waiting on a message from Ben. Sorry, go ahead, uh, Chris. Could Barney make his way down, down, down. to no, to the the corner of the archer <laughs> where, that, uh, the where the uh, that skeleton is that's pointing, and yeah. cast speak with dead. So back in the room. Yeah, because Barney was here. Barney he never left the room. No, because no. he was he was staying back because of back dark. Yeah. the and darkness. So, and then I just got dressed. <laughs> and he doesn't know where anyone is. All he sees is that skeleton in the corner. He goes, mm -hmm. well, hello, Mr. Skeleton. So if we hit 2750 on the subs, uh, we'll do another uh, level up. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, sorry, 2514 currently. It's going to go fast. Um, all right, yeah, so you do speak with dead? Yeah, let me see how that spell works. Okay, while well, you load that, does anybody else want to do something? I want to turn into a spider. Okay. <clears throat> you didn't die, though. I want to turn into a giant spider. Oh, okay. Did you die? No. This is a this is a, a on purpose. It's, what do you want to do with that? I'm just doing that because it makes me a little bit more safe. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it gives me yeah. HP, and also I'm really good at not falling. All right, are you staying right here? <laughs> yeah, I'm. A, uh, so there. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got you looked your stuff uh, right there, Chris. I can. Uh, I, until the spell ends, you can ask the corpse up to five questions. The corpse knows only what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you're hostile to it or recognize you as an enemy. The spell doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its animating spirit. Thus, the corpse can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that has happened since it died, and can't speculate about future events. Oh! So just past stuff. Yeah. yeah, stuff that it knew. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mr. Speak. Oh. Mr. Uh, this is one of the best scenes in the D&D movie, by the way. Oh, yeah, the questions. Do you know the puzzle of this room? <laughs> and Or what is, the what is the answer to the puzzles in this room? Death. <laughs> 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 Just a faint, a faint cry comes from down the hallway. Did you witness when you were alive anything other than death in this room? Yes. It's very basic answers, so you might have to be more leading. What? It's like they can only answer like basically one yeah, yeah, yeah. simple yeah. response. Yeah. Uh, what? 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 Ask the dead guy why he's pointing at the door. Why are you pointing at the door? I thought you were pointing at Blaine. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was. Why did I do this? Smack Blaine for me. <laughs> oh, hit me! Got it. Um, danger. Okay. Okay. That's good information. Which door is he pointing at again? The, 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 the orange or the got it. Oh, because yeah. the With orange mystical is yeah. bad. Got it. How how do you eliminate the danger? Last question. Impossible. Hmm. 
Is that it? Uh, I, get one I, get one I get one more. I get one more. Oh, got it. Uh, Ooh, pressure. Just leave him alive. Uh, yeah, if I, leave, if, if I don't ask the last one, does he... Eventually, the time on the oh, spell okay. ends. Oh. Uh, it's all you. Besides death <laughs> and danger, did you see anything else in the... Or what, what else did you see in this room besides death and danger <laughs> that could guide through the dungeon that's not death? Nailed it. <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure. Oh. Okay. And okay. He, and then he just He's, you know, farts and dies. Down. Okay. Well, that was. I guess I'm all alone now. <laughs> I'm here, but it's it's fine. Oh, um, you're, here's a spot. Mud's a spider. I don't know. If Barney's spider. used to that. I guess I'll. There's those urns that we haven't investigated, but. Yeah. I, I'll, I think sorry. someone did. Uh, I did this one. Yeah. And I'll go to the other one. Oh, okay. Did y'all find anything? I saw that? in no. chat someone said, "Ask the dead man how he could become a first member." <laughs> <laughs> stinky dragon pod oh, no, no. slash fur. There's a bonus when he wakes back up. <laughs> More stinky dragon pod. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> dot com slash store to gift. Uh, you can gift and you can you give your gifted code in the Discord. Yeah. Oh, um, speaking of, I'm gonna give a few away in the Discord right now. Oh yeah, Ooh. do that right now. You're in the Discord. Gus is about to drop okay. some treasure. Um, while Gus is dropping treasure, I think. I'm good with this room as far as I'm concerned, and I'd like to come and help figure out the end of this hallway. Mm. Um, could, what would happen if Mud, I know you're double tasking right now. I'm, I'm listening. Were to crawl along the walls instead of the floors and open the door. You can give it a shot. I'd like to do that. So you're going for this one over here? Yes. Is that a door that, that's at the end? Yes. Another door. Okay. And while you're, can Barney start making his way to down that way? Yeah, just move yourself to where you would like to be. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. avoid that. Uh, he just walks across the, <laughs> the place where he's <laughs> Struck by lightning. Yeah. All right, let's spider see. Spider mud, spider mud. He crawls the walls, it's spider mud. You know, for an expo marker map, this is a very good map. You've, done a, you've done a good job. I'm not going to lie. I spent a lot of time looking at this map, trying to figure out where everything would have to go. Yeah. Like, I, this is my first time actually writing it on the map. Wow. But, like, making notes of how many squares down everything needs to be so that it all fits appropriately. And it was a I'm surprised you guys didn't work. do, like, a, like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like a grid. Oh. Numbers mm. and letters to, like. Yeah. Um, well, I guess that would have been a lot. Once, of the thing is, once you start, everything, sh if you start in the correct place, which is why I was very careful here. Mm-hmm. Everything Still else fine. should line up. Okay. Gotcha. The one problem, which we may encounter soon, is that this map is not wide enough. Oh. This blank area is, has to be two squares. Okay. Oh. Spoiler for uh, gotcha. what you may be encountering. But we'll deal with that when we get there. It's just In fact, we're actually going to get there right now. Hey! Oh. Check out the cool stinky dragon dice tray. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Stop, stop pushing It's actually hearts. Bart's bed. Ah, seeping. Okay. It is a, a hallway that then turns to the north. It's Chip's cat box. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mud will proceed through the door okay. along the wall. Okay. You know what? Along the ceiling. Ooh. Let's let's spider let's, on the ceiling. <laughs> you know, if there's like darts that are gonna come out of the wall, maybe I'll avoid those. Just like as you're on a, a ceiling panel, it just opens up and darts just <laughs> yeah yeah right I'm, in your torso. I'm basically, on the ceiling, I can I can avoid like three things. Uh -huh. You know, I, I don't want to move you without your permission here, but you're on the ceiling. Go to the corner here. Yeah. And I have you upside down, not because you're dead, but because you're on the ceiling. <laughs> He's Dancing crawling. On the ceiling. I have to be careful walking around here because my mic uh, cord keeps getting hot. Yeah. Do you want to pop it in your pocket? Would that help you? It's pr probably not a bad idea. I'll do that in a second. Mm. The map. <laughs> we did not beat Gus yet, no. Yet. Yet. He has not been defeated. Dang, this is quite meandering. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, you're huge. Oh my goodness. How are you going to fit through that hallway? It's a long corridor. Good lord. <laughs> that ends wow. in a door. Whoa, okay. There's a door? Yeah, there's a door there. Okay. I. Make me a perception check. Uh, Make a perception check. Mud. 
That's a good one. Uh, 26. Wow. Which is. Damn, often what's your modifier? Not plus seven. That's good. Mud was always good on perception checks. Yeah. You speak of him in the past tense as if he's dead. <laughs> I haven't played in a while. Did you say uh, 26? Uh, Vansis. And yeah, as a reminder, this is a non canonical yeah. uh, event. This is a one shot. You think you hear um, music and revelry in the distance. Oh, lovely. Bart. Um, <laughs> if I were to proceed on the ceiling uh, and just go all the way down to the end. Uh, let's do that. Uh, can, can I can I hitch a ride on the spider? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're also you're a water bug. You can do that. You can go upside down too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. Why don't best you friend? move you all uh, down to the to all the way to the end to the door? Yeah. Hey there, it's me, Chapin. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. You try to shake yeah. with your little bug arms. <laughs> oh, hey there. There's a locked oaken door at the end here, and the thick wooden door ahead of you is heavily bound with iron bands. There are several locks keeping it shut. What is the distance? I don't have the spider uh, things on me right now, but I... abilities? Are you dead or are you a spider? No, I'm, I'm a giant oh, spider. Sorry, spider. I'm a giant spider. Sorry, the confusion. I just thought it was cute to use a spider. Um, shooting a web. I don't know what the range of that is, but I would want to shoot a web back at the other side of the hallway to create almost like a, like a ropes course line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I counted 17, which would be 85 feet. It's pretty long. You could, do, you, you could go back and do several ropes. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I a couple webs. Situation. And so now I've kind of helped those who are uh, vertically challenged make it across this in case any more. What are you trying to say? I meant more so people who can't climb on the ceilings. Oh, okay. Oh, not, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Short, right? not short. Not short. <laughs> no. I'd never make fun of my friend, Bert. But what about me? I've not met you very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, listening in on the door, do I hear the revelry louder? Make a perception check. I'd love to. That's a lower one, 12. Yeah, it sounds like, uh, like a bustling tavern. Is it bussin'? Bussin', bussin', bussin'. <laughs> uh, it's like mu music uh, and uh, people, you know, clinking um, glassware together and I, just having a good time. Did you guys mention music? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bart, you're, you're more than uh, interrupting any time. Could I go over to where they are, too, and join them? Yes. Uh, just for clarity, your web comes all the way back to the corner, yes. right? Okay. So I, I would still have to go get through that door? Yeah. Okay. Could the I door opens. It's well, that we haven't checked anything beyond that door for traps on the ground, because I walked along the ceiling. Also, I don't know how involved you want the spiders to be, but like if I could fit in through one of the locks, I could scout ahead. But again, it's, yeah, that, I, I don't know how much you want a that, dead that, player. That's up to you. Oh, I'll what? wait there. You'll wait? Yeah. Okay, in that case, uh, well, let me ask Barney. Is there anything Barney wants to do? So, so uh, I guess you're from that From you're that waiting. door, from that door on, we have not checked anything about the floor. But, but once you get to that corner, the there's a tether line to help you along okay. the rest uh, of the way. I guess I'll go to the end and say, what do you see? You go to here? Yeah. Make me a dexterity yeah, saving throw. I said we hadn't checked I the floor. I thought you said you checked the floor. No, no I said from the door to the floor. corner, oh. we haven't checked the floor. Okay. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Give me <laughs> you old fart. Ooh. 16. Oh, nice. Plus. Should be on your Should be in the page. front page. Yeah. 18. He actually makes it. Good. He doesn't fall in the pit. Okay. Oh. You, uh, you, you like teeter a bit, but you're on this side, and there's a, an open pit trap in front of you. Mm. Uh, I want to cast. He's little Yoda grunts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, could Barney cross that pit? Boop. Just and jump across? Oh, is, oh, is it, yeah, I guess I have to jump. He's yeah. a spry old man. It's only five yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll jump across and then cast... Uh, um, where'd it go? Uh, look for traps or whatever. Yeah. Hey, the human guy. Thanks. He's, uh, the human guy's been watching for four hours straight. Thank you oh, so wow. much. Thank oh, you. Awesome. Catch the rest of the chat up on what's going on. You make me believe <laughs> you're not a human guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll cast... Um, the trap. The check for trap. Traps. What? Check, check for traps. There's a trap. Find traps. That's what it is. Oh trap my music? god. What is he doing? What's going on? Find traps. <laughs> You've been stumbling on words this entire stream. Well, I was not. <laughs> I talk good. I talk real good. Stream. Second level. <laughs> oh. Find traps. Oom um, bop. So what is he doing to get bop. find traps? 
He's, ca <laughs> he's casting she flying traps. Is yeah. that a spell? 120 feet. Nice. Hey. <laughs> just everything goes off. He's like, ah! Presence of any <laughs> trap within range is within line of sight. So that would get me, I guess, to the end of the hallway. The hallway. There's a trap there, there's a trap there, and there's a trap there. That's it. There you go. I it's found them all. Hey, <laughs> line of sight. So you're not. I know, but there's a rope there. Correct. So I'll go the rest of the way, and, and then I guess. Should I come? I mean, you do you, my mate. Are you going to come, Elga? But you're Bart. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know we're both short, apparently. Uh, <laughs> we're very different. Do you want to go? Uh, I don't know. I, I think they got it covered. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen down a lot. Of traps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want you to die. You stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bart's gonna stay there, actually. Crying. Yeah. Well, no, no one's mentioned death. Yeah. I just did. Did you? I don't want you to die. Oh, okay. I missed it too. Marty. <laughs> Go on without me, Marty. <laughs> I'll uh, stay here. Can Marty rope across? Yeah, uh, make a, um, let's just call it a, is athletics a strength-based yeah. skill? Yes. Athletics or? Yeah. Yeah, do an athletics check. Acrobatics is the dance Acrobatics. Yeah. Athletics. Athletics. Huh. Strong man. Strong That's man 13. rolls. 13 plus. Nice. Right 14. 14. Acrobatics? Yeah. I mean, uh, or yeah, uh, athletics. Athletics? Strong old man. Yeah, you're able to easily uh, do the rope course. Yeah. To get It'll be like this. <laughs> With the pole, <laughs> too. Yep. Yeah. You and vaulted. It, and then he ends by squishing <laughs> him. <Yeah. laughs> All right, so 75% of the party's up at the door listening to the uh, cheerful sounds from the other side. And uh, Bart is contemplating. Uh, Bart, get your quarterly butt over here. We need to proceed. Okay. <laughs> Bart jumps over, uh -huh. uh, opens the door, I guess, and mm -hmm. jumps over that one, and then goes to the web. Make an athletics check just to. Okay. To Bart, athletics. strong. Athletics. Athletics. Bart. 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 That's the Bart. beginning of your Bart. song. Bart. Bart. 15? Yeah, easy. Bart's strong, too, I forget. We. But then, 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 then. Okay, so we're all stacked up here. Uh, Nothing could possibly go wrong. Uh, Chip, Chip Bug can, can scoot inside one of the locks and see what's on the other side for the Do party. It. Is the door locked? Yeah, it's there closed. are multiple locks. Multiple locks. Yeah. Are you low on health? Nope. Okay. We, all, we all leveled. We're full. Okay, yeah, just making Yeah, all of us. You're, all of us are full. You're goner. <laughs> You're either full or empty. Mm. There, is, there is no in between. No in between. Uh, I'm going to reread the description of the, the door just okay. to be safe. I think the we've thick... passed the longest any of us have done D&D &D with these productions thus far because we were doing streams for a while, so I know yeah. for a fact that we've gone for almost past four hours. Any observations? Any, any thoughts while we've been doing this? This is fun. Yeah, yeah I'm having is. a good time. We, we need to poop do... real bad, but other than that, I'm having a good time. Only when we get to 2,700 subs, you could poop. <laughs> the thick, <laughs> the thick wooden door part. ahead of you is heavily bound with iron bands, and there are several locks keeping it shut. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, chat cryptic collection. I'm in AP Gov right now, but <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that's hey, so good. what is what is D D but math and improv? improv so, yeah. you know, math and improv, yeah. Which is a lot to do with government. Yeah. How many uh, representatives are in the United States House of Representatives? Let us know in chat. There you go. Um, yeah. You. Um, so, I'm trying to think. Two hundred. It's like four hundred and no. Is it 200 and something? The oh. House of Representatives? The Canadian. The House is, yes. Oh. No, because they needed, I don't know. It's, well, it's based on the number of districts in your state, right? I knew it was 400 something, because I think right now it's like at 220. And oh, I wasn't too far off. Was is it 435? I thought it was 438, I thought. Oh, it looks 436. like. 436. Senators? Lost, Barney yeah. lost a bar to his state. walker during the, uh, the sewer. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's had a, a little rough go of it. Jumping down the sewer a couple times. Wait, what happened? His walker? His walker bars are missing. Oh, I, we still have it. We can just hot glue it back. That was actually something your mom asked about. I was just like, did, did Barney's walker make it? Yeah. <laughs> are you looking up how many people are? Uh, so, no, what, what, what I was looking <laughs> up Googling. is he's learning about government. specificities about the locks on this door. Okay. The bulk of the locks on this door are like padlocks. Oh, uh, cool. keeping it closed. Okay. However, there is one like keyhole lock that you would be able to sneak through and look into. I, I'm gonna do that, and then instead of having you go through the process of like trying to 
tell me what's on the other side. As a bug, can I uh, try to unlock any of these things from the other side? Well, you can try. The problem is that there are padlocks on the outside. Padlock, where, got it. Got right, it. Where, where your party is. But there's is. a keyhole you could go through. And okay, well then I'll, I'll go through the keyhole and I'm going to see what's on the other side. Um, you see the hallway continues for a way. Okay. It is too bad you're not chip because you could, you're a good lock picker. Oh, you're right. A live chip, rather. Yeah. Not bug chip. I'm also, while you're doing this, Gus, I'm curious um, to ask everyone watching the stream right now if you guys are familiar with both campaigns. Who in the chat has only seen the Infinite campaign? Who has only watched Groteth? Is there people in the chat who've seen both campaigns or are all caught up? Let us know where yeah, you I've, are. I've been surprised how many people have seen only Groteth. I, I know. imagine a lot of people would have gone back to the beginning stuff, but I like, I, I think that's fun that we have like people who experience Groteth first and then do the. Meanwhile, there's some people that are like, no gum gum, no view. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Where's gum gum? Like gum gum's here go. somewhere. I come from comic book reading, so I'm, I jump around in stories all the time, so mm. it's not that big of a deal for me. We so, have just started campaign two. Love both, both chosen ones. Also a good oh, campaign. I've seen all the episodes. Thank you. I want somebody who just listened to the chosen ones and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the only. <laughs> God, it a They're banger. like, where's youth of Janai? It was so good. I love the chosen ones. It's fun. That was a good campaign. That was a mini five series, five episode campaign. Um, Waterbug Chip. Yeah. You see the hallway continues, and yeah. you continue to hear noises and sounds coming from the north and you see a faint glow like a small flame shining in the distance okay this passage is smooth white alabaster and the floor is highly polished smoky gray marble okay i can't help but uh like move one of my little water bug feet to the beat of the music you said there was music right mm -hmm. okay um i go back through the lock and i communicate you know what i saw it's like a little stone Good hallway, smooth alley bastard. Uh, you know, pretty decent interior design. I'd give it an eight out of ten. That's a good score. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. You want to like do anything? There's like a fire at the end of the hall. You want to? You want to go get that? You want to go touch it? As a bug, I'm naturally drawn to it. <laughs> do these seem like normal padlocks on this door that he's through? As opposed to what? Like, there, there doesn't Magic seem to be... Padlocks. Like, they're padlocks that would take a key, not, like, a different shape that would fit Correct. inside it. Correct. Like yeah. okay. You know, as a rogue, I have some proficiency with padlocks and locks. I could offer some insight, perhaps. If, if we hit uh, 25.50, we'll bring uh, Chip back. Yeah, We're 25.18 right now. Could, uh, I quite like and being what a bug. If, uh, what if I tried to pick the lock and you just guided me? Yeah, you know, that doesn't sound, that's a pretty good idea there, Bert. <laughs> Let's go for it, eh? Is that doable? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I, I don't even. I, I don't. Can know I help? It's like have. it's like a little Jiminy Cricket. I want to help. <laughs> how would you like cast? I can help by <laughs> casting. Uh, I have a spell. Keep guidance. Continue. No. Your guidance. I gotta find it. I do. Cast guidance. That'd be, oh, that'd be real. Okay, Miss Spider, don't do magic this way. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> guidance will really help out in a yeah. time like this. Let me tell you. <laughs> What is Chris looking up? I'm looking up a spell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, borrowed knowledge. Borrowed knowledge. You draw on knowledge. Isn't all knowledge borrowed at the end of the day? You know, oh. if you think <laughs> yeah, about it's only it. on self. Mm. Oh. I, oh, I can do enhanced ability. Uh, you touch enhanced a creature ability. and bestow upon it a magical oh. enhancement. Choose one of the fault. Bestow. Uh, one of the, following <laughs> the target gains the effects until the spells end. It's um, just Chris verbally shoving into reverse and going uh, back. <laughs> yeah, you can enhance yeah, like certain uh, certain kind of checks. checks. You can do dex. Yeah. Target has advantage on dexterity checks. It also doesn't take damage from falling 20 feet or less. Slide of hand. We need a it is, slide of hand to hand there, Barney. Well, Which is a dexterity based yeah, check, right? So if yeah. it's dexterity checks, would that, that would inf is that, impact. Well, that's a dexterity check, not yeah. a. Yeah, not a. Hmm. Let's see how the Bart and uh, Bug how many, combo can work. How many padlocks were there? It's just Gus rustling around with papers and a laptop and a hundred pound dice. There are 13 locks on the door that you oh, can see. Oh, good lord. Hey, it's no big deal. Uh, we got it. We got get it. started. Uh, if only there was a really strong little lady here with a big axe that could just go. Oh, I'll go take care of that in a jiffy. 
But we got this. Let me help you. All right, you let's out. try one and see what happens. Yeah, what the heck? What's going on? Let's do it. I'll try one of the padlocks. Do I do I make yeah. any rolls to help? Make a check. Uh, let, uh, you can make a roll to assist. Okay. Okay. So it's you said let's it's roll, a sleight of hand. Roll the d twenty. Yeah, sleight of hand for you. Twenty-one. I rolled a ninety. No, sixteen. Okay. <laughs> That's not a 91. And what was that, a 21? 21. Okay, so the way we're going to work it, I should have clarified, is if you roll 11 through 20, you, you grant Bart a plus 2 on the check. Okay. If you roll a 1 through a 10, you grant Bart a minus 2 on the check. Oh. Bad So advice. I'll wait until you so roll. 23. Um, right? Yeah, you're able to get uh, your lock picks in there, and uh, you spring one of the locks open. Let's roll. Gee whiz, yeah. Bart, that's a heck of a job. Good start. Are we going to do this for all 13? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bart, you're killing it. Okay, here we you're go. You're killing it, Bart. Bart, Whoa. you're killing it. Get it into the thing. Killing it, killing destroying it. it. You're that's decimating these Dying locks. You. You're killing it. It's on a seven. They're dead. You're killing them. Which uh. I assume is a fail. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing it, Bart. Oh, all right. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, your little, your little bug voice was so quiet. I didn't hear what it said. Yeah. Ben, I got your message. <laughs> we're, we're not doing a 60 second dungeon at two. We'll do it at three. At three. Great. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> Twist my arm. Uh, yeah, that's a failure. Fail. Uh, what was your roll? It was a seven. Yeah, a failed. Oh, uh, although I don't think a plus two or minus two would change that, right? What if I roll a nat 20? And then for, for reference in the future, you should roll it before I say success or fail. You should just roll like, based on her roll. Oh. You're just helping. Right. Sure thing. Okie dokie. Okay. It, it wouldn't have mattered for Garth. Oh, I rolled a yeah. one. Ooh, not 20. Uh, plus four, so 24. Yep, that one pops open. Okay. Rapid roll. Ooh, uh, nine. And I can't roll. You can, but I, you, have, you have to roll before I say if, it was, if hers was a success or failure. Four. So seven. Ah, seven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, 13. Oh, he'll keep that one. You're right? That could be a pass. That feels like a pass. Yeah, I'm not gonna roll. Failure. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, notice. Uh, how many have we gotten through now? Five. Five. Uh, only two have succeeded. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. seven. Uh, oh, sorry, eight, eight. 17. It's still gonna be failure. Yeah, Ten failure. Ten. Well, we don't know the different kind of locks, you know? Uh, six. Uh, I'm not even gonna roll on that one. All right. Next failure. Uh, 17. You can keep that as is. Pops open. Wow. Nice. Uh, 18. No, sorry, 19. Keep that as is. Pops open. <laughs> you bet you're at like a, at a blackjack table. <laughs> Sounds good. Double down. Uh, 14. Mm, let's see if I can lend a hand on that one. That's an 11. That's a, that's a plus. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a plus. Yeah. So that would be a, a 16. 16? That, that works. Okay. Go team. How many more we got left? You've gotten five open. You got three more locks to check. Uh, no, you got uh, eight more locks to check. Oh, you've been counting the no's as just they just, just keep trying. Moving on. No. How does she, she failed that? Did They've I done 10 rolls. Yeah. And there's 13 total? Did I say 13? I thought I said 18. 13, 13. locks. Oh, okay. I had an extra row of five here. Okay. <laughs> that, 13 that locks. It. So yeah, three yeah. more locks to go. <laughs> to try. Ooh, 10. I'm gonna roll that one. 12. 12. Failure. So that's good. He's a yeah. failure. He's a failure. Oh gosh. Uh, 10. Again. I could just go ahead and roll. 4. 8. That's Eight. a failure. Eight. Last chance. Uh, 21. Two. 11. 23. You. my hand. <laughs> All right, so you opened uh, five, six, six of them. Uh, so so there seven are locks seven left. Seven still locked. You know, Bart? All right. That ain't bad. My hand, it really hurts. But you that did was a great a lot. job. Uh, Let me massage it for you. And I squeezed with my bug <laughs> things <laughs> through the key, keyhole. Okay. Real shame so, I can't come back to life yet. 25.50. Oh, almost there. And we'll get chipped back. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Uh, do we want to, can we continue to try and pick locks? Or what's it? Mm, Y'all tell me. Barty, Bart, do you want to? Do you, want, do you need a break? Why is chat blowing up about Sawyer right now? <laughs> Sawyer the lawyer. I think, yeah, people were talking about the Chosen Ones campaign. Uh, oh. Great character. He's dead. Um, should we, yeah, should someone else try the locks? I, Barney, I, could, I found the spell. I'll do borrowed knowledge. And I'll get proficiency in the Chosen skill, and I'll choose, uh, I guess, sleight of hand or whatever skill I need sure. for. Yeah, sleight of hand. Okay, sleight of hand. So I'm proficient in that. So what does that mean? 
you can try to pick the lock. Well, but like you get an extra, you get a proficiency bonus. So yeah, what is that? Three. What is your proficiency, your proficiency bonus? bonus is, uh, should be on here. Two. Three. Three. Okay. Plus three. So, so now I have try a... for seven locks. Peter Barton, let me help you out, huh? Let me okay. l old, old Linda hand if we think we need it. I'll tell you what. If um, what are we at? Twenty-five eighteen. If we get to twenty-five twenty-three, uh, we'll put a coffee order in. Oh! oh. Five, oh, subs, five, five subs. subs. Five subs. Five subs. Please for the uh, love just of give God. Them. Uh, just give them. Just give someone by a year. It's cheaper than buying month to month. Six. You rolled a one. A no, year a sub counts oh. for twelve. Six plus uh, two. Five. Five. So eleven. Eleven. Okay, Louis. Four. And that's nine. nine. Failed. Okay, fail on that one. Shucks. Uh, 19 plus 6, so 25. You got that one. It pops open. Knocked okay. it out of the yes. park there, Barn. Uh, 15 plus 5. Keeping uh, it 20. as is. All right. Let it ride. Uh, is that a 17? Shake it a little. That's no, a 7. It's a 7. Uh, 7 plus 5, that's 12. Hold on. Oh, that's ten. actually a 10. Sorry. No. Uh, 18. That's great. 20. The uh, 15 plus 5. Okay. That works. Okay, magnifique. Or 25, 30. 17 plus 5, so that's 22. Okay. We got two locks left. Oh. 25, oh, it jumped up. Yes! Coffee! 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 You all, uh, Thank you. Tell Ben what you want. Ben, are you over there? Yeah. Can yeah. We, we just message you what we want? Just slack Ben. <laughs> I'll take an Americano. Cold brew with whole milk. Where are we getting it from? <laughs> I think the Starbucks. Matcha latte. Okay. okay. Uh, can I get a... a... Without milk. Caramel I'm latte. Queer. Caramel latte. Uh, hot. I'll do a tall, hot Americano. Um, oh, Kara Riddle said they found this podcast through Black Box Down. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. That's, a, that's an interesting uh, route. That's very cool. It's another fantasy podcast. Yeah. Well, I, I sent Chris a video last night of a 787 yeah, landing with the rat out. <laughs> Be cool yeah. if it was Hanks. No pressure. And though. someone also, uh, there, did you see that article about the person who was on their way to Austin got kicked off for farting? Oh, yeah, yeah, I did see that. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Uh, oh, secretly, did you get that last one? secretly a ditto, yeah, uh, said uh, you didn't get dirt in your coffee, John. It's a matcha latte. I don't need dirt uh, in matcha. Uh, uh. It's dirt already. What is that? <laughs> you, you, you're, done, you're done rolling. You want to roll It's a 10. Oh, we got them open? No. Nope, two. Two, two left. Two left. So now it's my turn. Here comes... Uh, Cold brew with whole milk? We're ordering our coffee. We're, doing. We're trying to keep going for another three hours. <laughs> Belevolent said, I already have a tall, hot Americano. I sure do. His name's Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Uh, caramel, you mean my fiance? Gra grande caramel latte. Uh, that's a small. If you, go you guys are, he I feel like people uh, hearing hot. our coffee orders is very intimate. It is a little bit. Yes. Grande Americano. Found us through wet, Red Web. Speaking of Trevor. Oh, red, yeah. Red Web. Yeah, check out Red Web. It's a, a true crime podcast. It's fantastic. Mysteries. Oh. Yes. Uh, and we're almost at 2550, and 13 more, that's when Chip pops back. Oh, I made no. that uh, a cold matcha latte. Make it so you don't ask. Thank you, thank you. All right, now, Mud, we're going to get these locks open in a jiffy. Let me help you out there. <laughs> um, me, Chip Bug. Okay. Make me a wisdom check, uh, Chip. Well, that's a one. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know, I just had a thought. I no, no, did it. I did it. Forget it. Okay. My little bug brain can't handle it. Let's roll some dice and see if we can't break two locks. Um, I'd like to turn back into a human. Okay. I'd like uh, for a ball. Oh, that's right. Thank you so much. What's so what's a human? Um, filthy creatures. Um, hey, I'm a human. <laughs> you're not a human. Oh, no, wait, I'm a half-human. You're a human. Yeah, you're good. Um, Thank you. Not a lot of humans in our camp. And I'll cast <laughs> guidance to do okay. these, which is an extra D4. Okay. It's a D6? Uh, D4, I thought. It's a four. I'm pretty sure it's a D4. Oh, I'm thinking of the Baldur's Gate, my bad. Okay. You gonna slap your own butt? I did. <laughs> what does that sound like? There it is. <laughs> Pick that up in Barb's microphone. All right, let's roll. Uh, it's nine. Where's a D4? Plus. Right Plus three, it, that's 12. Plus it, one, that's 13. <laughs> Chip, you're alive. Chip's you get, alive. You get forcefully spit out of the lock back onto the side with all your party members. Oh, eater. Oh, that was something else. I'm a, I was a bug. Yeah, we know. Do you, 13. <laughs> 13. Fail. 
I, I need, I need you help. Die. Hey, you know what? He can't help. He's not a bug anymore. Hey, let me help you out. I thought he was helping with his knowledge of Locke. Well, he was helping you, as a bug on the inside. Are you on the other side of the door No, now? he's on this side oh, okay. with you guys. Hey, guys, oh. hey, 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 Mud, you know, I don't want to, like, uh, take up your spotlight, but I'm not too bad at the old side of hand checks if you want me to take over from here. I slap him across the face. Is that a... Is that a it's guidance. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was like, what attack shall I hit mud with? Uh, okay, so then. Take it away. I'm going to roll. Weird purple man. Slide a hand. Also, thank you to everyone that's, watching yeah. and, and subscribing and buying stuff in that, our store. That's really like the, the whole thing we're driving for is for, for your support to help us continue making the show. So thank you so much. Uh, you, again, you can go to stinkydragonpod.com slash first to sign up for yourself or stinkydragonpod.com slash store to uh, either gift or find some of our merch, like the merch we're wearing, the dice tray, the posters Soon. that have fallen. Um, um, or we also, you can also get custom uh, video messages or audio messages. So if you have a friend or yeah. someone who's like, you want to give a surprise, or yourself, uh, and you want to get, you know, do that, uh, we'll be doing And there, oh, and all the posters, we have signed, we have limited signed posters. Yes. yes. That come with a first membership as well. I got an 11 plus 8, 19 plus 3. 22. That's a that's pretty good. Works. One Joe more. And, Joe in chat asks, is this like Yu-Gi-Oh or something? Damn, I blue eyes. Chill out with the Sawyer RT chatter. He's dead. Oh no. Is that a one? Or is he? That's a that's a one, but it's plus eight, plus four. It's the last one. Can wow. I roll that again? Yeah, I, can I like cover Wait, that so up? I haven't left? tried this lock. Yeah, there's one left. All right. Hey, I've got this, and since it's a cantrip, I slap my butt. Oh, hey, the real hero of the story here. See you, human guy. Wow, oh, hey. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm a tiefling. Oh, 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 got it. That's, uh, I need, I think, a perfect roll on this d4. No. Oh, got it. I got a one. Can we have I? one lock that we've all tried. I, I, you want me to step back? Oh. 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 79. I forgot, we get a curse. Yep. I'll step back up and give it a try if you guys want me to. I don't think that's how it works. I mean, it could. It could. You know what? I'm being a naysayer. Four. Four. Okay, Bart. Go. Oh, chip. 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 <laughs> I'm a lucky, by the way. Nope. I don't think your hands. <laughs> your hands have become replaced with giant scissors. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot hold anything. But can make unarmed attacks that add one d6 slashing damage. Okay, here, here, here. You, here, here, here. Looky here. there. I cast heat metal on the final padlock. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> Do you think you could you could pick the lock using your hands? It's now Maybe. it's made fragile because I'm putting all of my fear ball energy into it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What you gonna do here, Guess? Let me roll. What, what are you trying to do? You're trying to attack. I heat the, lock? the final padlock, and he's gonna he's gonna scissor it. Yeah, attack it. <laughs> scissor me, Chambers. Here we go. Shoot, that's a four plus eight, twelve plus. But but with the heating. It's heated. Two fourteen. Why do you have that? Uh, how are you rolling that? Because that... he gave me guidance. Oh right. Slap me. Right right. I would do it again. Yeah. So is that six? That's fourteen. Is that fourteen? Is that what that is? Yeah, yes. but I can roll lucky. It's fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. I'll, I'll roll. Uh, I love you. What? You, you can you can you can declare lucky after I say it, right? Can't you? I think. Yeah. So. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. We'll say you're able to hit it. Yay! Oh, okay. Hey. But are you able to? Does he need to roll for damage? Roll some damage. Okay. Yeah. Roll for damage. Um, what? Because you, you, you are attacking attack the lock. The lock. To try oh. To... Oh. Do I roll a? What do I even roll? D six was it? Well, you add D six. Yeah. Do D six slash. Hey guys, you know what we should do? We should start calling him Edward. <laughs> I don't get it. Four. All right. Yeah. You uh, uh, strike at the lock and break it, and it falls to the ground. That's Hooray! 13 locks. Master Thief, look at me. We all helped. We all did it. Everyone, everyone Hands in the middle, him. gang. <laughs> and I cut someone's hands. <laughs> and oh, break. And uh, Bart's no longer crying at the mention of death. Hashtag the, uh, oh, oh, ring oh, Sawyer oh, back to life. <laughs> get that But trendy. is Barbara crying at the mention of death? <laughs> that I have no control of. All right. Um... With the door open, do we see anything down, or we see just what you were describing? There's a light at the end of the hallway. The door doesn't open. Your butt doesn't open. Wait, did we really just? Spend... Wait. Hold on, like. The... So it's uh, like trying the door knob, nothing happens. It's probably because it's the keyhole stuck. is locked. Uh, I would assume that's one of the ones that you you went through. It's 13 locks all told. So the well, door. I thought one was like an actual key. We'll say that's one of the ones okay. that you. Can I try kicking it? 
Yeah, give it a kick. Okay. Uh, Barney backs away. Give it a roll. Um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll say you hit it. Just roll like uh, some damage for it. Like a, what was that? Like a roll a d6. D6. Three. Okay, yeah. You kick the door and it shudders in its frame. What does that mean? Like I, I scared it. Oh. Um, could I? Hmm. Well, this is, why door? Why door? Uh, why door? Hey, Bert and Mud, you guys, uh, you know, our party, we typically have problems with doors. What are your thoughts on doors? Can, so, I'm I, not a super fan. So. Yeah, we don't like doors. Can I try to cast Thunder Wave at the door? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, you guys might want to back up a little bit here. We back up. Via the spider web. Spider web. But didn't you? Don't you have? Didn't you have like fine traps? Yeah, but I cast it here, and I couldn't see. It's only within sight. Oh, it doesn't like last for a period of time. Oh, let me check. Let's try to give you some, uh, some, uh, you know, a little extra something, something. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. We're we're looking something up over here too, anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting my. Uh... I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can do. There's actually a lot of stuff I feel like Matid might be able to help with at this point, but ain't no Matid. You know, D20 is a classic, but like, I love the look of a D4. It's so clever. D4s it's are pretty instantaneous. Cool. That's so, the casting time, right? Or is there is there a duration? Duration on it? is instantaneous. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so you wouldn't have seen it. Just okay. do it again. Yeah. Burn a slot. You're gonna die. Do it. We're all gonna. Uh, all we're right. all gonna die. Burn. Well, I'm gonna wait for this. It's up to you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till the thunder wave, but I'll just like go back. back up. Okay. Yeah, back up via the yeah. spider web. So I cast thunder wave. I'm trying to find it. I don't usually use D and D Beyond on my phone. I can help you. Let me get to your spells. Whoop. I I just searched like uh, ah. cleric spells, and there was a list that is by level that I'm just yeah. like clicking in. Okay, wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 50 foot cube originating from you must make a Constitution saving throw. Mm. So we need to get back. A bit. 15. 25 feet from you? Well, in, in front of you. That's a cube. Around you. From out of Does it originate yeah. from the center or oh, from? We had this. Yes, this that's what I'm saying. Yeah, center. it's in front. Okay, yeah. so we're good. It's in front? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that makes sense. It's a weight that goes out. We, 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 we went back and forth. I think ultimately we found a, a ruling by the head of D&D who like okay. does all the rules. Mr. D&D. Yeah, and he said that it was a cube in the front. Mr. D&D. Okay, but uh, could the door make a constitution saving throw? Uh, yeah, I, actually, yeah, there are rules for that. Cool. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. It's a living door. Okay. Oh, we need a hit. Oh. 10d8. Uh, my damage is 10d8 on it. Good. Yeah, good roll. Wait, actually, Because you're casting at probably your highest level. You, you need some more d8s? No, this is at first level. There's no way first level Thunder Wave is 10 D8. That would just murder every yeah. creature that came across. <laughs> first. Oh, I mean, I could be wrong. I'm actually, okay, I don't know, but I, I feel too. Sorry. Under, 2 D8. 2 D8. There we go. Um, sometimes locks can be, sometimes doors can be locked from both sides. Shoot. I was a bug on so the other side. That's why I had you make the wisdom check to see if you remembered or to see if you thought mm. about looking for locks. Uh, uh, so there's a five plus. <laughs> so I tried. Yeah, okay, you I did. gave you, you the did. chance. You did. It's a nine points. Nine points. Nine, nine points. points. Uh, yeah, the door continues to shutter um, and uh, you know, it seems to splinter off a little bit, but um, it's still standing there. Hey, uh, m yo, Mud, what if you uh, changed into a small bug and went on the other side through the keyhole and then opened it from the other side? Sure. I turned into a swarm of spiders. Ooh. Which we've used to get me through mm -hmm. doors. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to... Whippy. I guess I'd have to do another, like, uh, sleight of hand to unlock it. Yeah. Okay. You know, before that, though, I just want to step back and just admire the fine craftsmanship of this here door. I mean, this thing, real sturdy. Looky there. You knock it and it just opens. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing there, Gus? Did you go to the other side? He's doing a killing. I did. There are 14 locks on this side. Yeah. Oh, my oh my god! god. Oh my god! No, are we just not supposed to go through this door? I I bet it's gonna be nothing at the end. You know what? No, there's a party at the end. Well, we know. Maybe just go to the fire instead. Why does it? Yeah. Why doesn't Mud just like look around in the room? Yeah. Well, we are on the other side of the door. What's inside this? Oh. Um. Yes. I want to look up something really yeah, quick. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, Should we uh, give a shout out to Misty Mountain Gaming for yeah. some of the dice we're using today? The dice yeah, I've been so... admiring these all day. They're nice. They're, we, got some good weight to them. We have the uh, the Gentleman Troll uh, commercial for them, right? Do, that was yeah. one of the right. We did a sponsored ones. video for them. We may or may not have another one coming out. Who knows? That'd be good. And then uh, these are 
more Elga style dice. Also, if you're in chat and you work for like a D&D centric brand, uh, you know, like hit us up. Hit us up. Let us know. We need or more money. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe not like give hymns. us a first membership. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a D&D inspired brand? Uh, okay. Wait, I gave the hint. Did I do the curse? Okay. You yeah, didn't yeah, do the hint. hint yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, the hint he was the lock hands. and he has scissor hands. Yeah. Okay. Um, could I... Is Wild Shape a uh, concentration? No, I don't think Wild Shape is concentration. I do not believe so. Okay. I um, think normally it is, but Wild Shape allows you, or you have an ability. Or combat be, Wild Shape. Yeah, combat um, Wild Shape. That's right. Okay, I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. Oh, are you? And I'm going to... How wide is this room? Uh, this hallway five you're in is five feet wide. If we... Oh, man, I was going to... I wanted to cast to Conjure an Oryx. Oh, that t how wide is an oryx? You could probably conjure an aura. But Can I wanted to be next aura? to it as well as another oryx. Oh, no, you but can't. But could do I that. maybe then help from behind that oryx? Wait, could you have an oryx on each side? I could. Would that be helpful? Well, well one charge and the other charge. No, then, then they that wouldn't. <laughs> they just cancel yeah. each other out. Well, like at different times. Oh, now we got two dead orcs. Shoot. <laughs> um, if I were to help dies. push an oryx, <laughs> could I help with the attack against that door? If a charging oryx. Where to attack this door? Yeah, sure. Why not? I like a sure. Why not? V2 Dungeon Mister. Chat says Wild Shape is in the spell and doesn't require concentration of any kind. Oh. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna really weaken this door. This <laughs> is worth my scissors. <laughs> your scissors are probably doing more yeah. damage than your hands would. Roll a couple d6s. Three. One. Four yeah, you're, you're helping. <laughs> Chip's helping. It's just slowly. You know, in Boulder's Gate, when you hit a door, it just takes just forever. Like, <laughs> um, and Oryx also have an ability called Charge. If you move at least 20 feet straight forward, um, and then hits a, uh, toward a target, and then hits it with a Gore attack on the same turn, the target takes an extra uh, 2d8 piercing damage. So you would move about 20 feet down, and then charge the Oryx. Closer to the door, and then you assisting, like pushing it from behind. Yeah. Let me get a it's, figure it's a, for the Oryx. It's an Oryx like a, a conga line. Should we uh, move? <laughs> 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 Actually, you guys don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Can no I look idea. through a pinhole? <laughs> so there's That's this a weird sexy looking beast in there. <laughs> figure. I don't know what it is. I'm going to use it as the Oryx. Yeah, it's it a looks, weird like rock with legs. It looks like a brain. A chicken nugget with legs. So, uh, do I hear uh, Orox? <laughs> oh, I think it's, it's someone in disguise or in a bush. It's oh, like that is like armor coming out of a bush. It's funny. No, it's a brain. You're right. <laughs> it's a brain with legs. Uh, as, you, as you begin making your way oh, no. down that hallway, uh, you hear the sounds of confusion and distress coming from the north. Uh, a faint glow like that of a small flame shines in the distance. Oh, because I've gone far, far enough away, I'm getting new information. Right. Thank you. I'm going to deal with the door. Okay. If that's okay. Um, as you, you know, go out there with the Aurochs trying to uh, get in position and figure out all of this, uh, I need you and the Aurochs to both make me dexterity saving throws. I didn't think about that, that there, we're in Trap Central again. Trap City. Yikes. That one's only a uh, five. That was four. You were the Aurochs. Let's say for the Aurochs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to protect? He's only Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Not much better. Seven. Mm. Woo. You, as you get out there and you're getting in position, you realize that the entire floor is cantilevered and is slowly beginning to dip down and create a slide. Uh-oh. What's that do? You are now, like, the, door, the, the floor where the door was that you came through where your party is is going up in the air, and the floor where you are is going down. So it's, it's like, like a seesaw. So oh. try going back towards the door. Or like That's what I want to do. Staying in the middle of the room. Yeah, but it's, it's a very slick floor, and it's very difficult to get your footing. Uh, you, can try to, you, you can make another dexterity saving throw to try to continue to make your way back up. Nine. That's <laughs> why you need traction on your was shoes. Was that for the aurochs, or was that for... Let's say for the aurochs. Well, the aurochs is hooves, so they're just... Seventeen. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. But you're spiders. Grip I'm an aurochs. He, he became an aurochs. Oh, well. you're both an aurochs. Yeah. He's hot. Oh. Uh, yeah, the oh, aurochs no, is, is losing its footing, continuing to fall. As, but I push it forward. As the... Uh, don't push your luck. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, the cantilever continues tilting more and more, you can now see that at the 
base that the, the cantilever floor is leading you to is a giant magma pit. <gasps> oh! Magma. And that Oryx is... The Oryx is sliding backwards into it. Uh, you and the Oryx get one more uh, dexterity saving throw each. Even though I succeed on mine? Yeah, because you still, you're still trying to scramble your way back up. I have a feeling. That's Mud 20. Okay. okay. Oh! That's 8. Okay. Uh, Mud, you're able to scramble your way back far enough to get a grip on the end of the, the floor, but the Orox continues to slide. I see. No! It smells like burning meat in there! <laughs> and you're cooking, you're barbecuing? Okay. Uh, all the way down into the magma. Uh, and then was... the floor kind of resets itself back to level. Barney wants to, I want to see if I can hear what's happening and get real close. Um, you still hear revelry and music. Oh. oh. I attack the door with gore. <laughs> okay. Um, with a... Al Gore? Get, what is he doing there? Do my Oryx. What is he doing there? <laughs> Uh, 17 oh. is the attack. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Give me, give me money. Um, and then I do, let's do a bunch of D8, which is the diamonds, and I need to roll the proper dice. Okay. Bunch of D8's about to happen for what I get to do damage-wise. Four. Nice. Seven. It's 11. Five. 16. Six. 22. Uh, plus five. 27. 27. Yeah, you're just pounding on the door, um, you know, splintering it up and breaking it. It's still, it's still standing. Let's say I do the attack again. Yeah. Like, uh, just do another one. Maybe Barney steps away now. <laughs> it's just a thud as it hits it. Uh, that's a 17. Yeah, hits. And then... I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Eight. Go for it. Sorry. Eight. 16. Two. 18. Two. Uh, 20. Plus five, 25. 25. Yeah, you keep battering on the door and eventually it begins splintering enough to the point where you can see the rest of your party through on the other side. Do you do one more? One more attack will probably okay. get all the way through. Either it's me, Chip Haney. What's going on in there? 22. Why does it oh, smell yeah. like barbecue? You having a cookout? Five. Why was I invited? Three. Stop eight, hitting the door, five, guys. Dang it. 13. Six. Trying to talk to you. 19. Uh, 24. <laughs> the door breaks open. That was so hard. <laughs> uh, the door breaks open off its hinges, and uh, you see uh, the rest of the party standing there. <laughs> oh, and I charge through and hit them all. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a big, beautiful ox? It's just, it's just mud panting. That was so flipping hard. <laughs> I don't Who like made it. these bloody doors? <laughs> uh, so what's the deal with this room? Oh, I don't even know. Some voice told me things, but I completely forgot it. Maybe that voice could say it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had doors on the mind. Ah. Uh, when, you when you cross through to the other side of the door, mm -hmm. um, you hear the sounds of confusion and distress coming from the north. A faint glow like that of a small flame shines in the distance. The walls of this passage ahead of you are smooth white alabaster, and the floor is highly polished smoke gray marble. And a, I don't know if you want to add your experience to that. What was my experience? He, with the, the Oroch and... Oh, uh, he was, uh, nothing else happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Nothing else, huh? <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, no, something does happen. <laughs> there is important information to share. I thought you meant to share, like... I thought you were being... No, no. My thought was... <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just... He's just gonna let him die. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. being a Matisse. <laughs> She <laughs> got your Mateen in my mud. What happened? We were like uh, catching up with what was happening on the other side, and he failed to mention the Oryx dying in the lava pit. And wow. like, is there anything else you want to say? And he's like, no, that's it. Well, that's what I was saying. He's like, I don't even tell him the, the, the my conjure animals died, but I forgot how it died. <laughs> it's kind of important. It's kind of important. <laughs> so, oh, the fact that there's lava? So, um... This room seems to be a bit of an inception room where it's, uh, if you stand on one side uh, at the end, it taters up and you're going to fall down into a pit of magma. Ah. Don't worry, I'm fire resistant. All right, volunteer <laughs> firefighter here. We're gonna be all right, we're gonna get through this. You're, you're, fire, re <laughs> you're fire resistant. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that means you're immune to lava. No, 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 no. I got this covered. We're all gonna be real safe, okay? Barney, you know the drill. Oh yeah, what's the drill? All right, we're gonna play real safe. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> let's try this. Uh, I think that because I'm a very large creature, if I were to stay on one side of the room, it might help keep the teetering, uh, not tottering. Okay. Hey, see that again? <laughs> teetering. <laughs> so, and then in that case, if you need more weight, then we'll send over like Bart, because Bart's a little uh, lighter weight too. 
Well, is he... Actually... Why, uh, why don't we also uh, 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 each hold a, a rope, you know, on each and go in pairs of two, so if, if we end up tilting it too far, we can, you know, just pull up or climb up on the rope to adjust. Chris loves rope. You love rope, yeah. don't you, pal? <laughs> well, that makes sense. What's the size above large beast? Uh, I think it's like gargantuan or something. That's what is it not Oryx giant? can count as. Really? Well, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm, I, was, I could totally try to bluff here. Um, but it says... Huge. Thank huge. you. Huge. Uh, they have a ability huge. called Powerful Build. Specifically... It's like me. <laughs> the Oryx counts as being one size larger when determining a weight it can push, pull, and carry. Oh. Uh, so that's more for, like, strength as opposed okay. to... Okay, like, not my weight right. that I push down. Okay, I was just trying to see if that yeah. might do. Shyborg in chat said there's a D&D &D cookbook that oh. we should check out. Oh. Thank you for the... That reminds me, if no one's watching it, Delicious in Dungeons on Netflix, and that's, like, Delicious. a D&D &D cooking show. Ooh. I watched one episode of that. I forgot to keep watching it's, it. It's really, really good. It, 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 it's, it's only, like, 30-minute episodes, and it comes out every, thir like, weekly. It's bizarre. That's it's, the best it kind is, of content. It is bizarre how good it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's very good, yeah. but, it, but the concept is bizarre. Yeah. Um, I, I was watching watching it last night and my wife turns to me and goes, what is this Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll stay on this side and let you guys go one at a time, I think would be the best. Did we get I'm the going door? to stay on this side. Let's do one at a time going that direction. Did we get the door open? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Eventually Sorry. the door was I broken down. Peaky. Okay, cool. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm heavier than I look. Me and Mud are probably the same weight. Well, I'm an Oryx right now. Me and Oryx are probably the no, same weight. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I? I'll go across. Yeah, first. why don't you go first? Bart will go across. Uh, oh, check for traps! I check for traps. Uh, Isn't this one giant trap, though? That but yeah, I think it's like. A I only went 20 feet. So, okay. so then it would stand to reason that the, the is it the crux, the, the, the middle part? Like the fulcrum? The fulcrum. Yeah, oh, is it? Middle? It's in the middle, or it's, is it just one down? It is not in the middle. Oh, no. I, I thought it was just like a thing that went like this. It does, but if you think about it, like imagine this is, this is the floor. The fulcrum's not in the middle. Like, oh. Uh, Mud, make me a wisdom check. Wisdom That's a really good question. Wisdom. Yeah. But, um, we'll take 22. The fulcrum is very close to the door. That's what I thought. We only moved 20 feet and it, oh. and it yeah. rocked it. So, oh, dear. Uh, okay. So, I will stay here, though. Mm -hmm. Hold and on to this rope. Here, what? Why don't you guys all stay here him, and I'll him, go ahead? Him. Okay, okay, but you take the rope and give it to the Oryx okay, to hold. Barney, you're scaring away our new friends because you hold keep on talking the... about the rope. I'll hold on to Barney's rope. I do. I once knew of a of, of a rope doctor. <laughs> it sounds like you're about doing a limerick. I yeah. once heard. So there once was a rope doctor. Can, can, can I get some clarity on where everyone's standing here? So Bart, you're gonna go down. Well, I'm just gonna move you over here yeah. for now. The three of you who are staying back, where are you all going to be? I sh you guys should probably stay right by, like, the edge of the Yeah, door. depending on the, the, the door's weight needs and stuff like that, uh, Chip will hang between the door frame. Mm -hmm. So if he needs to put a foot down, then he will. If he needs to step away, he has the ability to do that quickly. And right now, all three of us are there, and so we're countering the weight of this, this half, yeah. this yeah. quarterling. Yeah. Um, yes. Also, I made a stack of dice. No one's impressed. That's but very impressive. Thank you. Thank you, oh, Barbara. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah, this is Missy Mountain sturdier. Gaming Dice. Yeah, really In the sturdy. middle, it's sturdy. This keeps teetering. Hey, it's how's good. your hand feel? <laughs> oh, oh. See, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> um, may, you, you were checking for traps, right? Yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Perception check. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Gosh. It's an eight. Wee. Play. Open up. Ah, oh. <laughs> no traps. No traps. Okay, Bart walks across. Yeah, you begin making your way out there, making your way down, and um, even with the weight of the three people by the door, you can sense that the the floor begins shifting a little bit under you. It's not as fast, not as dramatic as it did okay. when um, Mud was in there earlier. Not that Should you. Should I know start that. running to get to the other edge of the wall? Yeah, I would say that since you're anticipating it, I won't even let you. You need to have to make a check. Okay. Bold. Okay. Uh, when check. you say the other edge, I should clarify. Which edge are you talking about? Um, where we hear, I guess, the people? So going further? Yeah, further okay. out. What were you going to say? I was laughing. Oh. Chat said the fulcrum of the table was clearly in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Today I learned what fulcrum means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you continue running and the floor is, you know, slowly starting to dip down. So the end you're in is like dipping down. Yeah. And the end where the rest of your party is is going up in the air. Okay. Um, uh, and is then, there like a ledge or anything I could get to? You get to the edge and you see that this walkway just ends and then there is, it leads straight into a pit of magma. And oh. there, there's nothing to grab onto on the wall. So it's it perfectly smooth. A door. What was that thing that the hint he had earlier with like not all 
uh, dead ends or, or, or dead ends. not all doors or doors. I don't what did you, you say? It was like not all traps are bad. It was in that. Not all dead ends are. No, it was in the poem trap. he sent us. That too. Not all who wander are lost. Yeah. <laughs> Tolkien. Let me There's look lots at of stuff. it. Not Let's all see. guys. Let's see. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> not all men. Jeez. That was what it was. So it said. Do, 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 do. Ryan okay. Hurley, Hurley, he broke the code and equalized the force on each side, giving the weight of the person plus the weight that they are carrying times the distance to the center of rotation. Chris is having one of those strokes again. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So check the wall. Oh. Check the walls. Check the walls. Is there anything on the walls I could grab onto? Make a perception check. Okay. Good job. Let me call back. Was that the right? Is that Bart dice? Bart dice. Okay, thank God. 17 plus 4, 21. It's because you rolled the bar day. Yeah, of course. Fire. Uh, no, the the walls are just perfectly smooth. Nothing out And there's no, about. like, imagery or anything like no. that? Uh, well, I believe I said it was white alabaster. White alabaster. Smooth did, white alabaster. Does, does uh, any of these have smooth white alabaster as the... Man, if only you could remember. If only you were looking at them. What does that oh. mean? This means, like, there's no way you would remember that. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. Could I run back to them? Yeah. Yeah, let's say you're able to make your, you're able so, to dash. Come here, big guy, I got you. So what? Bart jumps into the arms of Chip. <laughs> Chip! Bart! So, where Bart is. Which now is with Bart, you guys. Yeah, Bart is now back with you. Well, where yeah. Bart was. Yes. It was, it seemed to be going like this. There was a smooth wall in front of, no door or anything, Not a right? smooth wall in front of you. Like, smooth walls to the side. In front of you, it just opened up. There was like a ledge that went down into that pit of magma. And across the ledge? Yeah, uh, just like uh, like stone or dirt, like you know, like in the side of a mountain or a hill. Stone? Huh. Oh, as in like we've made our way. Okay. Is it uh. something that you could potentially run and jump onto? <sighs> Did you just send us down a trap-filled hallway and and make us break 27 locks Here's the for thing. a dead end? The treasure's right here. This is the end of the game. Now Gus is panicking and he's making us go all these other places. Cause I don't <laughs> think so. I'm kidding. I think this is genuinely something you would put in our path. Did you put pudding? What does it say? Magma. Magma. Waste our time. So there's there's nothing that someone could conceivably run through, jump onto. I mean, you, there's like unfinished rock and dirt there. You could try to like if you were, jump onto that. Was there anything above it or below it? It's just like a big open cavern, and then below it I is think the we're at a dead end. I think we're at a dead end. Do you think we should probably not go this way? May maybe, but before we do, question, uh, if we can safely do this where, okay, so say <laughs> the fulcrum is like right here, the whole team puts their weight on this part of it, and then sees if there's like anything under the threshold of the door. We just kind of push down just to check and see if there's anything like there. Like going under the elevators in Elden Ring. Oh, like Yeah, so like if, if it's like doing like this when Bart's running down to the end, we all put our weight down on this side to flip it up and then to see if see there's if anything. There's a little. Or alternatively, is there anything up up in the air up here? Doorways or anything up on high on the roof? It's all smooth. Anything in the yeah, roof? It's, it's all smooth. Okay. Smooth. Is, there, is there a secret passage under the doorway that we just entered through? Make a perception check. Ten minus one, line. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, lucky. Nothing there. Lucky. Okay. Um, eight. Lucky. One. <laughs> That's it. I'm no more luckies. I cho of, of those, uh, I choose the one. Okay. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like Gus said, not all dead ends are dead ends at one but point. We also, to be clear, have not figured out if the gargoyle did anything. We also have not figured out the urns. The one. Uh, door, the, that, mm -hmm. that alcove. Mm -hmm. um, Which one? I'm sorry? The alcove at the end of the hallway with all the orbs. Oh, oh, right. That I couldn't figure out what the combination or anything to do for that stuff. But you said but, maybe not all. Barney did go through there, right? Barney came uh, yeah, out and he came out naked, naked over there. Yeah. And no one's gone through the but, orange vapor that has been sounding jump dangerous. Jump orange water. Water. Do you want me to read this poem to us again? Let's. Case? I have an idea. Go ahead, go ahead. Do it, do it, do it. Because a lot of people in chat probably haven't heard this part. at the beginning of the stream. This is a. This is a. Work on lava. Yeah. Listen to Barb first, and then we'll we'll deal with that. Yeah. So I'm gonna read what we the poem we received at the beginning of the dungeon, I guess. Okay. Pestoso congratulates you on your powers of observation. So make of this whatever you wish, for you will be mine in the end, no matter what. Go back to the tormentor or through the arch. 
And the second great haul you'll discover. Shun green if you can, but night's good color is for those of great valor. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal. Your well along your march. Two pits along the way will be found to lead a fortuitous fall, so check the wall. These keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will maul. If you find the false, you find the true. And into the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. Iron men of visage grim do more than meets the viewer's eye. You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your souls will die. All righty, gang. Qu question. A ah. lot of things in there. I think I got something. Remind me what happened when uh, Mati checked in the black circle. Which? In the, the hallway, the great hall. Hand? The black circle, I kicked in, put my head in. That was, I believe, the one that went, that you eventually entered and came around this way. Yeah, you okay, went through. So that led us to this, this, yeah. this uh, temple. Two, two things. Can, can I, before you go? Sure. Rereading re that and re-listening to the hint. Now, this is a free hint I'm going to give you. Thank you. Where do you think you are in that? It said go back to the second great hall. That would be... They, they said the loop of metal. We did that. We did that. There, there? No, in or the there. temple. Sorry, yeah, the, we did the loop of metal already. Because the, the ring. Yeah. Right. And then what happens? What's that? It said shades of, of red something something. Orange is a shade of red. I don't know. Yeah, so it says if shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice, aught but a loop of magical metal, you're well along your march. So that means we're going the right direction. Right? Well, loop of metal. Well, did we check? So we, they. I, we never went into here or yeah, checked. If, if it's explaining that the loop of magic metal mm -hmm. is well like, along our well march. Gang, we have learned that death does not actually mean death in here. So he, I want to jump into the lava. Check the wall. I'm going to let him do that. And I also, I have a, I have a idea of what I want to try. Okay. Uh, hold, on to the, hold on to the rope. No, I'm jumping. On the, One of those pits might be good. That's what I want to check. Yeah, jump in. I jump into the lava. Whee! Use your water bug. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just die? Go back over here with the party. <laughs> Shoot. All right, chip dead. My okay. logic was that uh, they were saying something about illusions and, and f pits or something like that. It said work. two pits along the way will be fortuitous. Right. So I was like, oh, that's a pit. It's fortuitous. I I think we're he I think oh. we're here in the poem, and so I think I'd like to come back here carefully down check, that hallway. Check the wall. Actually, I'd like to go. Uh, did, did how did uh. How did uh, Bart... we did the spider? I, I I I turn around. And I do. I search search for tra uh, look for traps along this big long hallway. Using your spell? Yes. And what's the range on it? 120 feet. Oh up. yeah. So you look in both directions then. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that shines out to you is the cantilevered floor up here. Okay. If That's we go it? back. Yeah. If we go back here, can Mud do some perception checks yeah. on the wall? Yeah. Where? Like right there? Yeah. Yeah, make a perception check. If you want, I can go down further into the holes and check for you. <laughs> I can scout you. I ain't got Bunch nothing else going on. Get rid of it. What is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bart, you want to be with the rest of them? Yeah. Yes, please. That's a... Uh... Hold on, wait. Before you do it, could I cast Bardic Inspiration? Oh. On, on uh, mud? Yeah, what's that give me? Inspiration or a plus a D10? It mud gives D10. you... Uh, you get an inspiration die, a D8. Okay. So for 10 minutes, the creature can add it to one of your ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws. This could be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. So you basically get a D8 added to whatever roll you'd like. Gus, I, I do want to point something out too. Chat just made me realize, uh, you know, I jumped in the lava. Chip is fire resistant. <laughs> yeah, but you're not magma so, resistant. So, so, so what happened is, you died slowly. Yeah. Resistant. <laughs> it was, it was more painful. painful. Getting, this not doesn't feel too good. <laughs> I'm not feeling too hot, and by that I mean I am very warm. <laughs> um, I rolled uh, a, uh, let me add a d8 to that, um, 15 and that's perception. Checking the wall in this direction to the south? If I can only check one wall at a time, sure. Or, or you're checking like the south and the north, just like in the yeah, general yeah, area yeah. up here? Yeah. yeah, you take a look around and nothing stands out. What about the pit? Did someone fall in that pit? Um, I think it was Bart did. Bart? Well, I think uh, uh, Barney walked through it, but then didn't fall into it. So that, Bart, that is that is the pit that Barney triggered, but he made his dexterity check and did not fall. But Bart into. was in one of those pits when they swapped from Elga. It was this one, I believe. Yeah, that one. Okay, I want to check the pit. I take it back. I think Bart was in this one. You want to check this pit? Yeah. 
I'm going to put you right there. So you're going to go into the pit. I'm going to look down into it, you scary man. Hey, hey, hey we're 38 away from our next goal. Is that equal, like, maybe chip, you know, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. 2,600? Uh, 20. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. There's a secret door down there. Oh! oh! <laughs> hey, that's... <laughs> you know, Mom, I'm starting to learn a pressure to listen to you. <laughs> so there's a secret door. Mud, what'd you find? I found a secret door. Okay. How many locks are on it? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't so care at this, this point. So this also means, because Bart was down in that middle pit, so that means yeah. the one before it might also have something down there, yeah. too. Could Let's Barney, check. Could Barney jump over and check the next one? Yeah, make a perception the, check. The sooner one? Like the, the one closest, closest to, to Barbara. 12 plus, I believe, one. Calm down there. Oh, wait, no, no, no. 12 plus 4, so no, 16. No, no, no. Mm. Why are the glasses on again? You know, I feel like it, Barb. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you don't understand him. Let Chris be Chris. No, nothing Chris stands Chris. out to you there. Nothing? Then can I go to the next one and search? I think that's... Th that Bart was in that one, but you're more than welcome to search again if you want. I think Barty might have done a perception check now. I think Bart did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I didn't find anything. Okay. Uh, well, we found one secret door. The secret door... Yeah, that when you look down there, you see that on the south wall of the pit is a wooden door that's painted to look like stone. Mm. It's not very well done. It's, uh, now that you're looking at it, it's very obvious to you. Yes. Um, uh, yep. I open it. Yeah, so you crawl down there. Yeah. And open it. Uh, yeah. And beyond the painted door is a narrow passage that emerges at the top of a short flight of stairs leading down. And I'll draw that in for you. All right. We're progressing! Woo! All right, no casualties along the way! <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's asking when the next 60 second dungeon is. We're to do it at three at three the top of the hour. How many yeah. do we have booted up? Three? Two? I think we have three. Ben's not there right now. One. I see one thing. Okay. Oh. One upcoming. No. I believe in them. They can get us. Eight. They can get That's us. That's how many we've done so oh, far, okay. and then upcoming is one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, Blaine, eight dungeons. All right, I need you to clear this out here for me a little bit. Yeah, let's make some room for him to continue while, drawing. While you're doing that, I'm going to just take a look over there, see if yeah. I can get prepped for something. Oh, why? Oh, why? So this is like like little stairs going down. Man, I'm trying to stay hydrated in this stream. It's just making me have to pee all the time. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm I'm quite parched from all the talking. Oh yeah. I'm trying not to drink any more caffeine. Although I've got co matcha coming. Oh, when's that match? When's the coffee oh, run right. coming? Oh, maybe that's what Ben went to go get. Ooh, that's got me excited now. Anytime you can remember that you're getting some free uh, beverage or food, it's the best. I'm going to run to the back. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Catch everybody up in stream. We're making our way through a dungeon. Walking fast. Moving fast. The reason fast. why we got different party members is people are magically being swapped out because of the magic of subs. We have found our way to a secret door at the bottom of a pit. We have a somewhat of a poem that's helping us guide our way, which we should keep track of where we are in that poem now. Somewhat, yep. And we found, and now we're heading upstairs, downstairs. This is going down. So you go into the pit, and then this passageway continues down. Uh, I wasn't sure that y'all would find this. It's the jib above it. See, there's two cameras, one on top of the other. He wanted okay. to do that one though. Uh, uh, <laughs> there are. I wasn't sure y'all would find this secret door. Really? Yeah. This is like. I'm it's at the bottom of a pit. There's all these other ones. I'm wondering yeah. if that's a clue within a clue, as in this isn't ultimately... I think that's just Gus saying, I don't know if they would get past this Well, point. I mean, the poem did say there's two pits that are actually fortuitous. So... Read that line again. Hold on. Let me get to it. Because that means we got uh, <sighs> several pits. It wrong. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. Hmm. So another pit somewhere could be... Fortuitous fall, though. Good fall. Uh, this went down, so it's a fall. Can, can I... Can, and it can, says check the wall. Which I did and found the stone door. Can Chip Bug, while the party progresses here, can Chip Bug go and do some reconnaissance on the old other pits? Chip Bug, Chip Bug. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Chip, I checked this one. Chip, Anything there? Bug. Yeah, make a perception check. We, 15. <laughs> yeah, we've already been there. Yeah, uh, yeah. you don't have to detect anything. Don't need to check and these we already two? checked that. Okay, I'm going all the way back here. Oh, wow. How, does that How do you get there? I go this way, and then I go this way, 
and then I go. You can't. Oh my god, there's a teleportation thing, was there not? There is. Uh, it's. Do I tell him? Let's see if he remembers okay. first. If he okay. asks for help, oh, you it, was, it was here, and it went to there. Nope. In the lever room. No. Nope. Or was it? I think. If you need help, you can ask us. I'm just curious to see if you remember on your own. Uh, you might not have even been here on that. Thing. Yeah. I think was it that one? I think that's we got a, teleported. That's a dead end. This that... teleported us to one of these. To the gar gargoyle. Gargoyle. Room. Gargoyle. But Barney got transported back there. So go, go to Lever the, room. Go to the tip. Go in, all right. Just. Or do, that, you remember, that, do you remember what happened to Barney when he got that, teleported that way? That is the room that teleported. You'd be fine. The glass bubble or he loses clothes? He lost everything. Lost everything. Well, I got nothing to lose. If he's a bug. I'm a bug. How's that? Oh, work? Hey, look, it's Ben. <gasps> oh, ben! he's a lovely, lovely man. And Cameron, thank you. Is this mine? Is this mine? Thank Bart. you so much, Ben. <laughs> Oh, everyone give a big thank you to Ben. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> oh, shit. It's just DM on it. Look at this. Thanks. Get a shot of that. Shout out to Ben, channel manager of Stinky <laughs> Dragon. Ben uh, is one of the people behind the scenes who has done so much work to get so this stream much. organized. So thank you so and much, Ben. All and all of Stinkyary. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's been, it's been great. I uh, just want to play D&D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, as well as Kai helped organize a lot of things on the yes. production side, and uh, we've got a bunch of crew who I will continue to shout out. Great Some guy named David. Great crew. Who knows who he is? Thank you, David. As well, I David think he's in the control there? room right now. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Amazing crew that is making this all happen. Okay. Uh, so, so I go to the, but he loses everything. But I don't. I'm a bug, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try it out. Do it. Okay. Ben and is very back to the entrance, entrance. And you're entrance, naked. Entrance. Okay. All right. Well, I'm a bug. A naked bug. A naked bug. Okay. I'm this is a family show. I'm going to oh, look down here. Everybody hide your shame. Make a perception check. Oh, are you just going to go check all the one? Things? Nothing. I'm gonna check yeah, over here. Good. Yeah. Make a perception check. I'm pretty sure I checked one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Nothing. Okay. Do you not have any? I <laughs> guess you don't have any additions, right? Because you're not. No. I'm going to no. check that one. Six. Nothing. Check that one. Eleven. Nothing. <laughs> you I haven't had check that one. Eight. Nothing. <laughs> and if I wanted to like go back, do I get like lucky points as a bug back or anything? No. Like that? When you come back, get 25 more subs. Uh, when Chip comes back, you'll uh, you'll get him. Can I take a, like a quick nap, a short rest? Maybe. Get you are, you are dead. Gus yeah. is being nice. <laughs> you are dead yeah, right you're now. You're not gonna really get anything. Is he able to just keep checking him again? Over again? I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave. <laughs> what, what happens then? Yeah, you go back out. The uh, the sun is still high. The fresh air ah! fills. Oh, yeah, bugs don't have lungs. The fresh air. Uh, how long has it been? Goes through into your blood system? Question mark. I don't know how bugs work. I uh, looking at the sun like this makes me think of my wife Carol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm just a lowly bug. Um, Do you think she'll still love you if you're a bug? This is for me for fun. <laughs> um, oh. Okay. I was going to do something mean, but I decided. Aww. Okay, um, could I go through the door and uh, down the stairs? Generous God. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to progress a little bit. Uh, can Barney follow? Yeah, I'm going to move you because I know you said you can't really reach out here very well. Yeah, so uh, it's if like you a, could bring me to as well. A so. Corridor and then boom. Chip's done Barney. with his pity party. Can he rejoin the party? Yes. Let's uh, see here. Sure, you don't want to check those. Uh, yeah, you would come through here. You teleport to the teleport, gargoyle. Go to the gargoyle. Yep. <laughs> come out. Go all the way Great down. hall. Hey, is there any, you see anything down here that's cool? I don't think there were. We haven't really looked Make at. A perception check. I don't think there were any traps that's that we three. found. You're <laughs> sure Why are you, you have the worst perception. I don't want to talk about you it. You are terrible. Lane's it looks not like a thing. Well Must be nothing. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go through No this wonder side. you lost your wife. I'm going to go through here. <laughs> wow. I'm going to go to the wow. skeleton and say, hey, me, me too, man. I'm pretty lonely. <laughs> I'm going to turn back around. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to be with the guys. Hey, gang. Uh, hey, look! It's uh, it's chip bug. It's chip bug. Chip bug. Oh. All right, we're making our way through this this new uh, new hallway. All right, now I gotta load a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. You got <laughs> Gus has a loading screen icon over him right yeah. now. Yeah, we got the hourglass. Up while Gus is loading, um, we're doing this stream for Stinkyuary to raise uh, support for Stinky Dragon to keep the show going. And Our to... Patreon is called yeah. First Members, and we need first members. And you can sign. What you get if you're a first member is you get an ad-free experience. Uh, you get it loaded in whatever you listen to the podcast. You can do it on Spotify or Apple. We have, you just go to stickydragonpod.com slash RSS to, to get that set up. What does that stand for? Uh, really? Re Simple. S S 
subscription. No, something. <laughs> really simple something. What's what? What do uh? What do the Christians call bad things? S syntax. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> really simple Satan. That's you bad. had the right prefix. You got my clue. And Sin then what happens if you have a hundred episodes of a show? Uh, Tree. Then Century. <laughs> then, then, uh, so you can do that. You get ad free experience. You also get a. Uh, you can use a discount on merch. You get exclusive merch. You get access to our uh, uh, special <laughs> stuff in our <laughs> Discord. And um, what else? Oh, good. Our TV show's got 100 episodes. Now we yeah. can get it. And syndication. There you go. Really uh, simple syndication. syndication. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and then also you get access to our exclusive shows like Show Me the Magic, the Making a Stinky Dragon Adventures. And you get and Chris's also Undying Admiration. Second Wind, which is our, our, our <laughs> bonus show for Chris Stinky Dragon. <laughs> and so you can sign up at uh, stinkydragonpod.com slash first or, or uh, if you want to... Uh, uh, Gift memberships or get some of our exclusive merch like signed posters or video shout outs. You can do so at uh, stinkydragonpod.com slash store. All those purchases and signing up to support us, they all contribute to the sub count. So if you buy merch, it's been weighted so that the yeah. the more you buy, the more subs it counts. A bunch of nerd stuff. Yeah. I want to shout out too. I see Sleepy Shaman in Rooster Teeth uh, chat. That's a very active member of our community. It's the best and unpaid intern we have. I think he's done some like covers of our songs and stuff like that. So shout out to you, Sleepy nice. Shaman. Thank yeah. you for your support. We got chat going on uh, roosterteeth.com and also YouTube. on our YouTube channel. YouTube. We're looking at both. And uh, upcoming stuff too. We got an exclusive Discord event in February. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a Discord event in February. I'm excited to do. Which is just available to our first members. Discord or live stream in March. We got a live stream in March that's just for first members. And some cool upcoming miniseries. And, we, and, and with CQR being successful, we want to do some miniseries stuff as well. Basically, uh, like, yeah. to answer someone else's thing in chat, like, you know, we're doing this because this is literally how we pay for the show. We, the, the majority of how we actually keep this show going is through our Patreon. Um, and which is our first members and so that's why we're doing this it's um there's uh, to be honest there's other ways that shows make money and we try those ways as well but because of just the way that like shows and and the entertainment industry is right now this is the way for us to keep it doing yep. so we appreciate you so much because we love doing this and yep. i want to keep doing the show it is so fun to do i have a great time every day doing and I this i think if we get to 2600 we swap characters again maybe yeah i think there's a character swap and blaine will come back to life <gasps> I had a moment at the beginning of the stream where I was like, wow, we have eight hours of Dungeons and Dragons. And then I used to remember back to when I worked like at a luggage store and I was like, man, eight hour shift. <laughs> yeah. How tough. This is going to be rough. And then I got here and I was like, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this has been great. We've been going for almost six hours now. Yeah. And this is all of the map that we found. And yes, yeah, Stinky Dragon is supported by viewers like you. Yes. A hundred percent. Oh, yeah, Trevor sure. says, I first remember. That's nice, Trevor. Travel! <laughs> Uh, so, I are our first. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to everyone who signed up. And uh, if you are a first member already and you want to know how to support, you can uh, we, at the store buy one and gift it to a friend. StinkyDragonPod.com slash store. Cool. Gift it or just on chat, you can share it. <laughs> Enough ad. Let's play. Yes, yes. please. <laughs> so you descend down the, the passageway and down these stairs. Okay. Um, I'm going to address Mud because he's leading the way here. Uh, and you reach the landing at the top of another stairway. The stairs descend to the west, and the corridor that extends past the bottom of the steps is slightly cloudy. Oh. So it's cloudy in this direction over here oh. as you go down. Like it's cloudy. Bad. It's not vapor, is it? Like the vapor no. that, from the doorway? It, it does not look like that oh, same kind okay. of vapor. Hmm. I blow on it. Like from the top of the landing, you blow down? Yeah. What kind of super lungs does mud have? I'm a big boy. Uh, yes. Yeah, you blow in that direction, and uh, I mean, nothing really seems to happen too much. Oh, right. Uh, what? Olivia May. Thank you, Olivia. Coffee for mud. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Heck yeah, I'll take coffee. Um, this matcha is actually very good. Um, I I want to do a check before I walk forward. Okay. So I'm gonna look at. God, can I see anything through this mist? It's pretty thick, but you can, take, you can give it a shot. I'm pretty thick. Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, that's a really good roll. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. You can I'm very see, perceptive. You can see that down at the end of the hallway, going to the south, there appears to be a door. Oh. Right. Okay. Um, well, no pay, place better than going forward. Oh! 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 
2,600 so, Chip, you're back alive. Yeah. Uh, Barney, you're gum gum. <laughs> Bar Barney, you're Elga. All right, Elga. Oh, Hello. we're swapping. I'm alive. I am returned. Quick, gang, what's the fastest way I can die? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, do you want to swap your little figures? Uh, we're also three away from another 60-second dungeon. Oh, oh, we're three no. subs away from three. dungeon. You want to swap me up? Ain't that oh. something? Oh, you got it. Yeah, Thank you. you How do you access look. Discord? At stinkydragonpod.com slash Discord. Yeah. Woo! Luckily, Mud, wow. who is in the lead and is taking a look down here, did not swap. Thank you. So Mud is still here. That is actually, I'm yeah, still in charge that. here. Whoa, Sage Whoa, Davis. Wow. Sage, Sage Davis. Davis. My goodness. Woo! 69. Thank you. Made work oh, go wow. by so quickly. Thank no, you write your so name much. Sage right Davis. here. Wow, thank you. And a great number. Sage Davis. Okay, hey, this is great because this way we know there's not crap over here. <laughs> <laughs> or is it a misdirect? Yeah. Oh. oh. You just draw through it they're like part, a madman. They're part of the dungeon. Hey, walk forward. Okay. Uh, so you begin walking down the steps. Does, yes. anyone, does anyone else follow or is it just. Hey, follow! Gum gum, move gum gum back behind there. Uh, hey, 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 Alga, it's been so long. You know, I've been dead, you've been gone. Chip, 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 chip. Have we seen each other yet today? <laughs> you know, I don't know, Elga. How, how you been? Oh, you know, not bad. What's new? Your axe looks super shiny. Oh, it is. Over. That's I'm great. Fresh. Cool, cool, cool. Well, <laughs> nothing uh, has happened to me today. Hey, uh, do me a favor. If you see that gum gum guy, you just you keep a little bit of a distance. He's. He's not all there. I like gum gum. What are you talking about right here? Oh, hey, uh, I'm all here. We're not talking about nothing. All right, let's get going. Gum? I'm uh, right here. <laughs> Mud and gum gum, since you're both in the lead right there, both of you make me constitution saving throws. All right. Uh -oh. oh. The diarrhea pangs have, have struck your stomach. And this is in the cloudiness, right? Correct. That's a 12. Okay. I think you nailed it. Six plus, wait, <laughs> plus three. Nine. Wait, I'll use my inspiration dice. Okay. <laughs> Chris is getting the caffeine is starting to course through Chris's veins. Uh, 14, uh, 17. Not bad. Okay. Um, Mud, you feel very unsafe here. Action, sir. Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. 60 second dungeon. I feel God. unsafe every time I hear Blood I, talk. I got it right. And you feel like you need to get as far away as possible from this area. So you turn around and you begin hoofing it all the way back out over here. Here. Mud. Mud, where are you going there, pal? Mud. I don't know, but I'm so scared. Can I go, can I go hug Mud? Yeah, move yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what happens? You feel, you feel I, fine, I Gum feel Gum. okay. Yeah. Uh, can Gum Gum continue? Yeah. Mud, don't be scared. Move yourself. And then Gum Gum continues down, looking for traps. Make a perception check. Ha! I bounced. That's not a good roll. That was not good. That was not good. Three. <laughs> it's because you didn't keep it in the, I know. the safety yeah, of the, the dice tray. He's nice. He uh, track dice tray. Yeah. That would be six. We, uh, no, you don't notice All anything. All right, cool. But you do see um, this doorway that Mud had pointed out. Mm -hmm. So there's a doorway here. Now, is there a door there or is it just a way? There is a door. Sorry. How uh, many locks are we talking here? <laughs> um, can I check it, see if it's locked or if there's any... Traps or anything. Well, what are you doing? Those are different things. I want to see. I want to check it for a trap before I check it, for, see if it's locked. Make a perception check. I bounce it. See, it, it, it's <laughs> a bad roll. Ele Eleven plus three, so fourteen. That's not bad. Yeah, no traps. Okay. Now I check and see if it's. I can open. No. no. <laughs> it takes practice to get to get that delivery. Uh, you, you check like you just like wiggle the doorknob. Yeah, and I listen through it and I. Wiggle. You listen to it. Wiggle, yeah. wiggle. Like put my head in. Like. Da, 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 that was Barney. Da, da. Almost time. Um. Uh, you don't hear anything, uh, but you jiggle the doorknob and it appears to be unlocked. Shh, thank okay. you. Shh. Meanwhile, Chip is comforting Mud. Hey, it's gonna be all right, pal. I'm a volunteer firefighter. I'll bring you back to normal. Just go through some breathing exercises you, with me, shall we? You're not sure if it's because of Chip or what, but breathe you, in. you feel better, Mud. I'll oh, breathe out. How are you feeling there, Mud? That was very helpful. Do I appreciate me, that. Do you want me to take care of him for you? No, it was, it was very nice of him to do that. Chip, you know, you can't just touch people without their consent. You know, honestly, the you're majority right. of people that I, 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 I travel with, they really don't, like, uh, try to calm anybody down. They usually just cause chaos all the time. Yeah. 
I wonder Strange. what that's like. It's like uh, it's like there's a presence in your life, perhaps slightly green, a missing arm that is just really bothering you. It's it's it might might be I don't know. Interesting. You know, is he like an elf? Say. It's you hard know? to say. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. Uh, so the the door appears to be unlocked. Okay, guys, there's some scary st clouds. Hold your breath. Okay. And then there's a door. I'm gonna open it. Okay. And Gum Gum opens it. <laughs> can we roll to see if Chris can whisper? <laughs> I'm yelling through that <laughs> across the hallway. Yeah, I, Chip Chip is now going to rejoin uh, Elga okay. up yeah. there. Sorry, I'm just organizing some paper. But you want to join us? Is Mike coming with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not fearing you, anymore. You open up that door? Yeah. Yeah, you open the door, and as you do so, the gas or the cloudiness seems to dissipate and disappear Ooh. all in this area. This might be a okay. good, you could cut off point here. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, you, well, you guys can vamp for a you get, uh, you setting up for that. Okay, seconds. so sure. can we join Gum Gum then? Yeah. Yeah. All of us. Look how, look how far down the map we are now. I know. Yeah. Beyond the door, a stairway. The map sends us all the way back to here. Oh, Beyond the door, a stairway leads down. The way is blocked by thick webbing that fills the area from steps to ceiling. And I will draw that for thick you. Thick webbing. Thick steps webbing. Steps to ceiling. Yeah. Does it seem like spider webbing? Yeah, kind of like that. Okay. Hmm. Ma, do you, did you do this? By hey, this chance? is not me. Okay, this is not. Doesn't have your brand. I on. clean up my web after I'm done with it. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Smash cut to the all the webbing yeah, left up over there. I've never looked back at any mess I've made. Oh, thank you, Sharon Davis. Yeah, Sharon Davis. Uh, thank you. Blaine, Sharon Davis says, "Chip, you still owe me a mailbox from episode two. I don't know what that's referring Episode to. Episode two is calling back to something that we don't remember. So uh, let us know what you were give talking us about. Give context, <laughs> and we'll yeah. make sure Blaine does it. How many we got? Just one over there. Two, I believe. Two. I'm gonna go Ooh, pee. Oh yeah. Second yeah. dungeon. Yeah. Let's let's cut to. Hello there, and welcome to the 62nd dungeon. Today I'm joined by Joe. Yay. Hello. You've been here before, haven't you? Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay. You enter a dark room with black walls, and there's a table in front of you with a red tablecloth. And across from you sits a handsome wizard. He seems a little troubled, though. Yeah. What do you do? Seems a little disturbed. Yeah. Um, I ask him how he's doing and what he's doing in this dark, lonely room by himself. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, he just responds, uh, I'm just kind of just, just chilling. I'm feeling a little down these days. Don't have much companionship in my life. Oh, okay. We well, uh, I'm here to offer you companionship. Oh, if yeah? you'd like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll for uh, charisma. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a four. I'm uh, very charis charismatic. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can, you know, fulfill uh, the emptiness in my life. I mean, uh, I am looking for a, a long-term friend. Is that something you're willing to do? I'll cherish you for as long as I live. Wow. Weird wizard. Okay. Uh, is that something you, you is sincere? Uh, very sincere. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, roll for persuasion. Okay. All right. There we go. Four. You know, the, the the wizard he thinks for a second and he's like, you know, I just don't know if I can if I can really trust you. Maybe if we had some sort of like a physical contact, you know? Yeah, would you hold my hand? The wizard reaches out and asks. You playing me, wizard? Of course not. You playing me? Roll for, uh, roll for, you know, I don't know, investigation. Okay. Insight. Roll for insight. Six. He's, oh, he, he seems to be very t telling the truth. All right, come here. Yeah. Okay. And then just gonna. There's that. Hey. And then, here, hold on. And then. Hey, let's go. And then there's no. There's that. I don't want to be here anymore. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. No, let me. The wizard's very happy. He no. says, "You and me, we're gonna be best friends for life." Uh, Come on over here and join me on this side. Uh, uh, Thanks for joining me for this 60-second 60, 60 dungeon. <laughs> Next person. <laughs> You're sticking around. You're sticking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm, yep. I'm just sitting here with my back turned towards In D&D &D at work, what's what it doing, complain about? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 60 Second Dungeon. Today I'm joined by J Jack. Hello. Hey there. I'm Jack. Sorry, I get distracted by uh, Joe, who's being Mike Wazowski by the frame. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It's actually, it's Ilga. He's my long-term friend now. Just ignore him. Okay, I'll ignore him. Okay, you enter a dark and dingy cave. Mm -hmm. You're an adventurer, and up ahead, you see some sort of a light. What do you do? I run the opposite direction. Oh, okay. Uh, roll for athletics. Okay. That's a 14. 14. That's not bad. Okay, you jump over a pit. You're doing great, okay? But you seem to have lost your way uh, to the entrance. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I slowly climb down into the pit. Slowly climb. Okay, so you go back. I go and, back towards and, the pit. Climb back to the pit. Get okay. Into the pit. All right. Now, as you approach, you see two uh, magical gems. Okay. Uh, there's one yellow one, and then there's one green one. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, what do you do? I grab the green one and I smash it. You smash the green yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just throw it on the ground. Roll uh, strength. Strength. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen. Wow. Bam! Wow, wow, wee, wow. That green one shattered. Uh, green clouds kind of go around, and you know, there's just uh, grocks everywhere. Uh, now the yellow one remains. Now what do you do? I, I try to eat it. Okay, uh, roll for constitution saving throw. That's an 11. An 11, okay. Well, uh, this was uranium. Oh! Yeah, and the other one that you smashed, that was plutonium. Oh! Yeah. So I live long and happy? No, you die. You uh. die right there on that spot. Okay, well, thank you for joining us for the 60 Second Dungeon. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jack. Jack. Rest in peace, Jack. Good job. Thank you, Joe and Jack. Can we keep Joe on set, cuffed to Blaine the whole time? <laughs> Is that something we could? <laughs> thank you, guys. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for getting us some 60 Second Dungeons. Which happen every 60 second. 62. This it's was a really here. funny idea on paper when we were planning it, but then it became, then when it was like, oh, this is actually really confusing. I know. Yeah. Every 60 second first sub triggers 60 a 60 second. second dungeon. Which I saw a lot of people talking about how we should do 60 second dungeon as YouTube shorts. We actually, <laughs> 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 we used to do those uh, as shorts. That's actually how that series started. So maybe we'll bring a, maybe we'll bring them back. We, we, we really want to like, you know, we want to do. That's that's the the theme of this whole thing is we want to do even more hey, stuff I'm with you guys. Gum gum, they have friendship bracelets on. Oh my goodness! Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Yes. What's the first high roll. Yeah, they're best yeah. friends. I'll let you go. Can I have it? No. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Can I have uh, the, it? The throne is actually very comfortable. I'm glad I'm in this chair. Oh, thank you, Alex. Thank you, thank Alex. You, Alex. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Joe. And Sharon and Sage. Uh, Did Sharon tell us what was the thing about the mailbox? I didn't see it. Oh, dang it! I really want to know. Do you know what, what they're Thank talking you, about? Thank you, Alex. Uh, Joe voices. Joe play in Stinky Dragon Adventures. Uh, oh, uh, K plays. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Gandroid. 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 And then in, in uh, the other one, he was in the Sunam province. He was uh, one of the Shadrau. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, God, that's forever yeah. ago. What's yeah. His name? I just remember it so specifically because I thought. What the name is. Yeah, the I thought that arc was so. Kick butt that I, I, I loved your, your part. Yeah. Oh, Sharon, episode two, explain how they all got to Atro City. Chuck oh. was doing a training montage, tried to jump the neighbor's mailbox. He named See, the neighbor I, Sharon. Yeah, that's right. That, it, oh, that's and right. He, broke, he broke the mailbox. That's I think right. I came up with that name. Typically, we have them like yeah. in store, but yeah. That's Sharon, right. oh, gee whiz. Oh, yeah, the mailbox. Gosh. Gee whiz. I've been away from home for a bit. You, yeah. you just Water my plants, Sharon. Sharon, <laughs> uh, just check in on us. Skipper there, would you? Your bird is dead. <laughs> no. No. Uh, Joe uh, is like that, like, a, it's like an assassin character or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Bo Link. Bo Link. Bo right. Link, yes, in uh, the Infinite campaign. Uh, who is this? Is Gum Gum? Did I yeah. die? And Jack, of course, no. oh, oh, oh. Uh, has many voices in oh, Dragon. Sort of. Sort of. Big one for him. Oh, yeah. I loved getting Jack. Sort of. Uh, Mud, I'm not sure where you want to be. Um, I'll come, I'll bring up the rear with uh, Chip. Since right. he was so nice to break the fear. Uh, all right, so yeah, there's a um, um, Gum Gum has opened this door, which has kind of dissipated the cloudiness that was down Lovely. here. And now there is what appear to be steps going down to the south, descending further. Uh, but this whole passageway is filled with webs. Oh, okay. Web. Oh yeah, the webs. Oh, it's you like? You, is there a floor, or is it just like? Is there a floor? Like what? the pathway? You like say it's, it's just filled with floor to ceiling webs. Just, yeah. Okay. All the way. You know this. Could uh, could Elga go forward and with her axe and just try to chop through the webs? Yeah. Smart. An attack roll. Attack roll. Okay. Yeah. You're trying to attack it, right? That won't alert a predator. What do I? I don't know. Do you, you like know a, how could, webs work? Could, yeah. Could, it's almost like predators use webs <laughs> to uh, <laughs> as a as a form of communication. Could That'd be a 15. 
Uh, yeah, you're able to hit it uh, and strike at it, but uh, it doesn't seem to do much. Your axe gets really embedded in the web. Oh, no. And it's very difficult to pull out. Uh, mucky axe. Could I, like, un... Yeah, you're able to pull it, but okay. it's uh, it's very difficult. What were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, could Gum Gum help oh. go with the attack, but I guess it didn't go well. Sounds yeah. like it's a different type of web. I want to be Matid. A web. <laughs> right? Oh, here. Oh, dang it. He's not here. Who? I was going to do something for Kyborg. Um, Cowboy's not here right now. I know that. Leave a message. <laughs> Beep! Is there any way through the web, or is it like, like, like it's pretty completely dense? Completely dense. Or is it like, you know, you could like army, you know. It's completely dense. Based on how Elga's axe got stuck, you feel like you would get stuck pretty quickly. I, too. I, I, I'm gonna I have something here. Uh, yeah, unless, I mean, you know, I could do something. I have an idea. I will let you try something. Okay, okay. But then I have a backup. I'm gonna go in there, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna hurt myself on the spider web. That was not what I was thinking you were gonna. No, 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 no. Just play along. Okay. Uh, I, I karate chopped the spider web, and I intentionally hurt myself somehow. Like, what do you try? How are you trying to hurt yourself? Uh, okay, you know what? I try to eat some of the spider web, and it. Oh, what does that do to me? <laughs> you just, are you trying to speed run dying over oh, and over again? No, 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 uh, no, no. no. Uh, it gets all sticky in your mouth, and you bite your tongue. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> do I take any damage? Yeah, let's take one point of bite damage. Okay. All right. Let me write that down. We're pretending to be. Hackish rebuke! I point my finger oh. and a big old <laughs> thing web. of fire oh. comes shooting out. Uh, wait, do I have Hackish rebuke? Oh no. <laughs> oh, at you level should. Five. <laughs> at level five? At level five, you should have it. We can. are level five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can cast Hell Sh Heckish rebuke once per long rest. I don't know what the roll is for Heckish rebuke. I guess that's not listed. It's here. just like a, a damage roll, like it just comes out. Okay. But it, yeah, it, I point my finger at the, the thing that damaged me and just fire. Yeah. Just. That's... Ooh, maybe a fire would actually like melt the. Web. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That was better than mine. You know, you know, you some know, people think I'm not that smart. I think my idea was pretty <laughs> fine. Who's ever said you're not smart? I think you're smart. Oh, gosh, I can name them all. <laughs> so it's a dexterity saving throw and then takes 2d10 fire damage on a fail save, half as much on a successful one. Okay, so roll for dex? Uh, no, it, it would roll. So you roll the 2d10 fire damage. Okay, I roll a 2d10. That is. Which one is the 2d10? 2d. Is this one, two, three, four, five? This seems like this is it. Okay, here we go. What? That's an eight and a what? Seven. Uh, Fifteen. Yeah. yeah, the webs all illumine, uh, you know, catch fire, and the fire very quickly spreads, uh, eliminating all of the webs, obscuring the way. Don't worry, gang. Volunteer firefighter and a fire resistant. You caused the fire. Yeah, well, you know, but it clears the It's starting to spread web. and burn out of control. The oh. steps are on fire. Oh, good lord! Oh, no! no I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Well, Let's head down the stairs then. Uh, I, can I perceive if there's any traps along the way? Make a perception check. <laughs> this is gonna go well. Y'all are starting to play old school D and D here, yeah. looking for traps everywhere. Cause oh, I feel like we've done fifty of them so far. I feel like we never typically look for traps when we play. That's a six. I yeah. check for traps. No traps. I roll a twenty-five. Yeah, no wow. traps. Wow. Oh, great. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna go to the end. Weep. Gum gum follows. Uh, so does Elga. Okay. And mud. Mood. Down at the bottom is a 10 foot by 10 foot room. I, I apologize. This is what I talked yeah, about we're earlier. Yeah, no, no, you're you're good. This is a 10 foot by 10 foot room, despite how it looks. Okay. Um, this is the only part of the map that should have to be drawn in the uh, in the border like that. Okay. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Lying on the floor at the bottom of the stairs is an iron mace inlaid with silver. South of this location is a modest sized room. What you can see of it is filled with rotting and decayed furnishings. You know, there was a zombie portrait. You oh, know, with you all entered the room, right? Rotting flesh and such yeah. earlier. There's a solid gold couch along the back wall. A skeletal oh. figure wearing a crown on its head slowly rises from the couch. Oh, God. I grab the silver mace. What oh, it begins uh, glowing a bright golden light. What kind of creature is it? It looks to be a skeletal figure. Okay. A booming voice seeming to emanate from the whole of the chamber demands, Who dares disturb the rest of Pestoso? I am Gum Gum. Is it your death for which you have found? It is your death which you have found. What? Roll, roll initiative. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay. Um, That's a... Why are my rolls bad? Because you're bad. Nine. Six. Six. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> I couldn't It was like a reflex. It just came out. <laughs> it just came out of his mouth. <laughs> uh, Fifteen for Elga. Eight. I think I'm, I'm going to ask you all those again here in a moment. I okay. apologize. Do I have an advantage on... 
Um, I really thought you were going to say, who dares disturb my slumber? Yeah. <laughs> it is I, Aladdin. Uh, what was yours again uh, there? 15 for Elga. And yours, uh, John? He got six. I was listening to Be Prepared from the Lion King soundtrack. Such a good song. I was, I told Chris and I was like, I, we need to watch Lion King stat. Yeah. That movie's so good and I, so many bangers. Lion songs. King and Beauty and the Beast, I think, are some of the best music of all the Disney movies. It's like a golden era for Disney. Uh, so good. 100%. I have five. That's my initiative. Five. And you are gum -gum. Gum -gum. I don't know. I'm from Mulan, too. Oh, Mulan is great as well. Yeah. Man. And what was yours? Uh, um, who are you? Chip? Eight, Eric. Nine. Eight. You, had, you have advantage on, eight, on, on, I gave it to you way back when. On initiative? Yeah. Hey! He did cast that. I do remember that. <laughs> All right. Then that. <laughs> well, watch out, Mr. Skellington, because I just rolled. No. Uh, 21. Oh. Yes. It paid off. <laughs> we did it, Barmud Gum Gum. Which <laughs> is Barney who did it. Barmud Gum Gum. I still high five Gum Gum, and I'm like, yeah. we did it. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? All righty. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you see this skeletal creature on the couch rising. Uh, Chip is acting first. Mud has the mace in his hand, which is now glowing. Uh, Chip, you're up first. I'm gonna try to riz the skeleton. It's like, Skellington. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hold on. We're not trying to disturb nothing. You're there chillaxing on the couch. We didn't come to bother you. We just kind of poofed in here, got trapped, and trying to figure our way out, and, you know, just screw around with all of our buds. Did he say he was pestoso? Yo, I'll reread it. Who disturbs yeah. this pesto? He Ugh. said, Who he said dares to disturb the rest of Pestoso? It is your death which you have found. Oh, I thought I he said, said he is. I thought he said he was asbestos. The rest I was really of worried. Asbestos pesto. also causes death. Well, if he was resting, then <laughs> yeah, it could, that would it, make could, him it, could it could be. Pestoso. Which means stinky, right? Correct. Yeah. Stinky. stinky. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm like, hey, uh, take a load off, sit on the couch. We didn't mean to bother you. Don't get up. It's okay. Arr. Not gonna let me roll. Nothing, no, no charisma checks. Yeah, make a persuasion check. <laughs> Beware, I have a plus six. 16, 22. Mm. Mm. How would he react? Mm. Pretty good roll. You can do it, Chip. He uh, looks at uh, the rotting couch that he was uh, resting on and looks back at you. Then his eyes catch the mace in Mud's hand, and he kind of like backs away, like staggers a little bit. Oh no no! Don't don't be afraid, Mud over there. He's a kind fella. I I make a move. I move over to the couch, and I sit down, and I, I pat the spot next to me, and be like, just take a load off there, Pestoso. It's okay. We're friends here. Uh, Pestoso. Okay, it's not his turn, but okay. Thank you, Mark Powell. Does he sit next to me? No, it's not his turn. Okay, can I? Uh, I don't Mark. know how much of that you want to use as action or bonus action. Let's, I'll just say that's role playing. That's free. Free. Action. Okay. Yeah. So then I'm going to ready some sort of a reaction in the event that he decides to attack me. Okay. Really using that first initiative spot well, huh? He did. He got me. He got a good charisma in there. <laughs> Risen it up. We're just saying. We're just hanging out with this best oso. Okay. Do you think these have to do with the trembling hands bit in the? Poem? What did that poem part say? It said something about beware of trembling hands. It says. These keys Arkin's and those hands. trembling. Beware of trembling hands and what will maul? M A U L. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Charlie thought it, in chat thought that we were gonna be swapping like I'd be playing mud or Elliot. Oh, oh, okay. You don't want to see. We've that. done that. We did that for extra life. It's, 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 it's not no pretty. Boy, no. <laughs> uh, I, I assume that's it for you, Chip. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ready attack in case he decides. Uh, to... All right, Elga, you're up after Elga is mud, then Gum Gum. Okay, um, how far am I away from him right now? It's not a very big room. At most, you're 10 feet away. Okay. It's a small room. Yeah, it's 10 feet by 10 feet. Okay. Well, nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to full blast it right in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going <I> wish... <laughs> to... I'm going to run in and uh, try to slash at him with my... Elka just watches this exchange and goes, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not take death! I hear that's a very sensitive song. For some people. <laughs> I'm gonna use my great axe, um, which is a plus seven to hit. Um, That's a good one. So it's 26. That hits. Okay. Doing oh d12. Oh gosh. Let's just leave d12 again. 
Is it this one? Yeah. No. No. That's 10. This one's 12, right? Yeah. Okay. D12 plus 4. Good roll. So 15 total. Ugh. Are you, okay. Did you, are you raging? I did. I forgot to rage. You have a bonus action. Yeah. As my bonus, I'm going to rage. You got it. So I'm raging. Barbarians stick together. <laughs> Thank you, Gum Gum. <laughs> Barbarianing. I'm a little less angry that you since you are here with me. Okay. Is that and it? then I think we're level. Do I have two attacks on level five? Level five, I believe you should. I think I do. That's okay, so I'm gonna thing. attack him again. All right. Okay. Eighteen plus. Uh, twenty-five. That hits. Okay, doing. Ooh, another fifteen points of damage. Ugh. And. Am I allowed to rage in between my two attacks? Yeah, it's a bonus action. So, like, would that do an extra yeah. two points? So, 17 points of damage on that. Yeah. Um, and then, right before I end my turn, I go, and don't you touch us, or my friend there with that mace is going to come closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I point to Mud. Oh, I'm your friend. And that's my turn. Uh, Mud, you are up after Mud is Gum Gum. Um, could I take a, like a, let's take a, a step forward and see if uh, Epistoso does anything? Yeah, he seems to like, he can't, it's not his turn, so he can't like take a full move, but he's like trying to like put his hands up and shield his eyes and his, his body from you. I put it right up at his eyes. Ah. Oh, be nice to Epistoso, he's so nice. I put it right be up nice. at you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, oh. Does the Epistoso like uh, sit back down? Maybe no, he's still standing. But the couch is is there. Yeah, and I believe Chip is sitting on it. Yeah, Chip said he sat down on yeah, it. Yeah, try to welcome him back. We're trying to be friends with Pestoso, Elga. Uh, no. The base <laughs> is glowing. Yes, it was silver on the ground, and now it's glowing gold. I smash the couch. Okay, make a <laughs> an attack roll. <laughs> With the mace that you're using? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 18 plus. That hits. You don't have a negative on it, so. I yeah. don't. What am I? Maybe a great club attack? Uh, is there a, there isn't a mace. Let me look. You looking up? Looking it up? He's doing it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm wondering if it's just going to be this, though. If so, um, I have my, my damage. Okay. Well, actually, maybe the mace is more powerful. Where? Oh, 1d8 bludgeoning. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, six. Six points of damage on the couch. What? He attacked the couch. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I was looking at chat, and I'm like, what's happening? Yeah, the, the couch, uh, you know, starts to break apart. It is fairly decaying and rotted. It looks like it's been under here for a long time. It doesn't totally fall apart. Like, it's still supporting Chip's weight, but, you know, you swing your mace down, and it punches a hole right through it. Oh. What the heck, mud? Would some, <laughs> would some consider this a throne? That's or, open or, to interpretation. That, I, I described mm -hmm. it as a couch, so I'm going to say no. This okay. is more for like reclining like as opposed to sitting or up. Or a chaise? Yeah, yeah, chaise. very similar to a chaise. Okay. Um, chaise lounge. Chaise lounge. Mm. Ooh la la. Um, yeah, I'm going to then just use my bonus action to turn into... I think around this time I could turn into like a... I think I could turn into like a polar bear? I think so. Oh, gee golly, Pestoso. I'm so sorry about my gang here. So I'll turn into a polar bear holding the mace in my mouth. Nice. Mace, mace, mace. And that's my turn. All right. That is it for Mud. Gum Gum, you're up. And after Gum Gum is Pestoso. OK. Gum Gum is feeling chip and what? also wants to ready uh, in a, an action if 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 uh, uh, Pestoso makes any, like, aggressive Hostile movements? Yeah, yeah. This side of the table's vibing with Pestoso. It's just a fun name, have you said, Pestoso? <laughs> so, so far, you know, Pestoso just wants to sit. This guy says he wants to kill us, right? Well, he says, like, death is bad. But that's just, you know. He is uh, a skeleton. That's true. So, to, to him, death might not be bad. Yeah. We, we don't know Pestoso. He's afraid of light. Look at how scary he is of that silver lance. Mace. Mace. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Mud has the mace, not him. So it's Pestoso's turn. Right? Yeah. Whoa! Hundred dollars. Whoa! Arcuvin. Ar Arcuvin and on YouTube. Thank you. They say love, love the podcast. Always helps me work faster. I also enjoy Chris's jokes when he's playing Barney. Thank you so much. Barney, Barney. You Thank see you that? For, for the support. Barney's got a whole crew. The Barney yeah. crew represent. <laughs> Word up for your homies. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Pestoso's angry. Bless you. Bless you. And just based off of that, here's what. Pestoso is going to do. Yeah, uh, just because of that uh, hundred dollars, Pestoso is going to. Uh, he doesn't like chips sitting on his couch. He's going to take a, <laughs> a swing. With Money his, well spent. Yeah, very well spent. And uh, attack Chip. Pestoso hitting AC nineteen. Oh, Pestoso! Pestoso. No. You want me to send you the poem? Yeah. That is a. Yeah, did he just send it to Gotta you? Gotta be a hit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, send it, it to me. It is a hit, but. Hold on, I got a couple of things on me yeah, that I might like, throw at them. Put a d6 over under your foot. Uh, roll a, roll a, uh, roll a lucky. I didn't like that hit. All right. Uh, oh, pesto, so calm down. Oh, calm down. That's a crit. Okay, roll another one. That's another lucky. He already wrote it. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 14. You wrote it again. Oh, gee whiz! I, I don't got much two. of a. Uh, uh, my AC is real bad. Uh, ma, ma, yeah. My legs are getting a you little. You know, pesto. So run, roll. Let's roll one more. One more. All right. Rawr. Sixteen. Okay, we'll go with the fourteen. All right. And I'm all out of luck. That still hits. Yeah, it does. No. All right. Uh, Pistoso slams his fist into you, doing. Oof. Ten points of bludgeoning he, damage. I told you he was not friendly. That's because you get but triggered him. It's best out so we, we could have vibed. I don't think I triggered him. I think that was all. <laughs> you said ten points of damage? Ten points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I'm going to use uncanny dodge when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack. You can use your action to have the attack's damage against you. All right. So I'm going to take five. He also does seven points of necrotic damage. Twenty-eight... So that's 17, so you would have that. That's uh, 8. Okay, so 32 minus 8 is 24. You got it. Nice. Okay, well, I had my attack stored up, and Rawr! he sl swipes at you again. If only we could get two more subs. Oh, that's a, that's a crit. <gasps> what? He swiped no. again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you out of lucky? Um, that was the most genuine whatever from Blaine. Y yes, yes, I am. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. You do? No, I'm out of oh, lucky. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. No, you're good. You can hit. Go ahead. In that case, oh, and I rolled a six. Um, that's 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and I'm all out of reaction. I just want to say this yeah. is not my fault. Plus. <laughs> oh, plus. Great. Okay, cool. Seven points of necrotic. Great. Continue. 16 plus 7. That's 23. Three. 23. Oh, good lord. I am at one. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Pestoso! <laughs> Pestoso! Pestoso! No. Pestoso, why? Uh, I'm going to use my reaction, I guess. Well, you already, you already used your reaction. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, your action that you had stored up? Correct. Correct. All right, yeah, yes. go for it. Uh, now I will do... A, um, is anybody else within five feet? This is a small room. It's a small, everyone within five feet. I think we're all feet. within Okay, feet. then I'll use the arm blade of Blurbling. Or do I have the arm blade of Blurbling at this point? I think at level five you did. I don't know if, if it's not on the sheet. We don't have all our like, yeah, items. Us. It's not on the sheet. I don't remember. You have what, it. Go for it. Okay, I can't remember what the attack is for that thing, so. I know I get additional acid damage with it, though. Loading. Oh, I guess I could pull it up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Being lazy. Being a lazy bones. Just like Pestoso here, Pestoso. sitting on his lounge. He's Pestoso, got, why? He's got just a, a chip of health left. Hey. <laughs> this Another is, inspiration die for mud. It's my fault. Destroy his couch, Pestoso. <laughs> Clearly, he's going to be ticked. Okay, the arm blade. it was my fault, then it's, it's Mud's it's fault. Arm blade of blur bling. I got it pulled up. It does uh, okay. 1d4 acid damage and 1d8 plus 2 piercing. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my 1d8. I like that uh, Gus never really gets a chance to kill us in our normal campaign. <laughs> He's just, just loving being able to kill us. Talking about it. He again. killed our grotesque people. That's Constantly. a. Sure, that's true. 2 plus 1d4. Wait, did you roll? Did you hit him? Did you oh, make oh, an attack oh, roll? Shoot, I guess I should check that. That's that a is of, a... I like my mm. It's a... 
That's a four. Plus, yeah. plus something, I imagine, right? Plus, plus... Plus, well, I gotta go straight to damage. I'll hit the <laughs> Plus three. Seven. No. Bestoso's got no armor! Ha 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 ha. Oh, Bestoso, please! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Chip's opinion of it, Bestoso, has changed a little bit. Do you have anything else? Uh, can I, do I have a bonus, bonus action? Yeah, you would. You didn't use it. Yeah, you would. Okay, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> in, the, in the ten foot by ten the, foot the, the room, the crumbling couch, Pestoso's former. <laughs> he just I does like that. I like to think he's under it, and then your mace just comes yeah. through, like <laughs> slams on the ground right next to him. <laughs> Should I roll for stealth? Uh, sure. Why not? I'll make a note of it. That's a nat twenty. Nice. <laughs> Plus one. Oh, stealth, five, 25. 25, 25, stealth. All right, uh, if that's it for you, I think uh, Gum Gum had also waited. Gum Gum's going to rage. Okay. I'm going to roll my wild magic. That's an eight. Gave him a chance, Pesto. A bolt of light shoots from your chest. Another creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage and be blinded until the start of your next turn. Oh. Who are you going to choose? I'm going to choose Mr. Pistoso. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pistoso, you are mean. What kind of save was that? Uh, constitution saving throw. What ability is that? Uh, this is wild magic. Wild magic. magic. Um, What's the DC on it? Uh, I rolled a 14. Must constitution saving throw. Um, it should say in the... It didn't say exactly. So I think it's whatever my... Um, there, eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your constitution modifier. Constitution my modifiers plus three plus my proficiency bonus is plus three. So that's going to be... 14. 14. That's what I rolled. So, so I made it. So you made Ah! Oh! Uh, Radiant damage probably would have been good. Anyway, yeah, that would have been good. Uh, then I have a question. Can I go? <laughs> Ooh! Yay! 2663. Thank you so much. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna, can I, can I the get? Curse hint? In my Cur turn, can I go and get the, the mace from Mud? Like, without, or would I cross Postoso or? Uh, I would. You didn't approach him, so I'd say you you wouldn't provoke. No, like attack of opportunity. Okay, yeah. yeah can but I, I mean, it's up to him. If yeah, gives could it I? To could you. I give, give the mace? Can I borrow? Can I borrow the mace? Why do you need the mace? Because I think he doesn't like the mace. Wouldn't you be like, because <laughs> you're a polar bear? We've allowed me talk oh, yeah. and, that's and wild shape. That's the, that's our little homebrew. Uh, sure, whatever. Okay, can I take the mace and then uh, yeah. uh, recklessly attack Peloso? Peloso. Per, 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 what was his name? Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Pestoso. Pestoso. Make me a constitution check. Constitution. That's uh, 16 plus 3, so 19. The mace is covered in polar bear saliva. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. It's, all it's in your hands not now. that bad. Uh, yeah, you can attack. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just my stupid aside. Um, Are you attacking with the mace? Yeah, recklessly. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh... Yeah, so how, how, what do I... How to do make I, your attack roll? Yeah, just roll, roll your d20 and then add your... Oh, nat 20! E. That's a crit, and as a barbarian... And with the mace. You score a critical hit, roll one of the weapon's dice one additional time, and add it to extra damage. They, so you roll it twice, and then... Sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> 26, 66, thank you so much. Yes! 60 uh, second dungeon! So that's a... Start. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, roll, roll the, so it's a D8 damage, so roll two D8s, and then because it's a crit, we'll add an additional D8, on right. we'll add an additional eight on top of that. Two, this is a D8, all right. What is that, six? So eight, and then the other eight is 16. You already rolled, you rolled twice. No, he's you? done. Yeah. yeah. No, no, but not, but because of, it's a crit. He's that, that's yeah, what he's, You rolled he's the added. two, and then I added the eight automatically. Oh, you added eight, oh, yeah. okay. 16, what's your strength uh, modifier? Uh, my strength modifier is four. That's twenty. Uh, yeah, because because cause I'm raging. So then, twenty-two. Uh, the plus rage. two melee damage with strength weapons. Okay. Yeah, uh, Pistoso like uh, he's like staggers back a little bit from the impact of the of the the mace. Oh, you know, like that? Okay, I'll do it again. And then he, no. he attacks recklessly again. Chip kind of scoots out of the way as Pistoso's <laughs> stepping back. He's like, I'm hiding here. That's a five, but it's reckless. So. Pistoso's got stinky feet. And the other one was an 11 plus uh, probably four. 15's what you need, so yeah. that would be perfect. I think that, yeah, I believe that's... 
So much. I'm not used to these papers. I have a book over here. <laughs> Buried in paper. Um, yeah, I think I think is it. What do I see? Is so it's it's eleven plus your uh, proficiency bonus plus your strength modifier. And I think your proficiency bonus was three. Oh, oh it's plus seven. So yeah. yeah, that would hit. So that'd be eighteen. Yeah, so it does hit. So then roll a d8 and add your strength modifier. Uh, three plus that's seven plus two, so that's nine. Three plus seven plus two? That's from raging. That's twelve. Three, seven, two. Three plus seven. Twelve. Plus two. Ten plus two. Yes, it's twelve. <laughs> What'd I say? You said nine. nine. I don't know, Gus. I don't know, Gus. Improv seven in math. The Look, my, in my the... intelligence is not great. Oh, uh, he like doubles over. Arrgh. It looks like he's, uh, he's really staggered and weak. Uh, then I, I guess I, uh, uh, I guess I'll hold out the, the mace in case anyone else wants it. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. I mean, he's scared of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that it for, for your turn, Gum Gum? Uh, yeah. All right, it goes all the way back to the top, which is Chip. He's, well, I gotta pull up his poem again. Because it's talking about trembling hands. The key and those... These keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will maul. So should we be, like, not using this mace? Trembling hands and maul. I mean, a maul, a mace is going to maul someone. Thank you, Luna, Starlight, Wolf, Goddess, and Rodrigo. Is that our... Is that uh? What's our Rodrigo's last name? I think name? that is our Rodrigo. Oh, Thank thanks, you. Rodrigo. <laughs> That's very nice of Rodrigo, you. Rodrigo, save your money. <laughs> do malls... Do maces maul? Do maces mall? Or are we talking about like like you know, Barton Creek Square Mall? M A U L. Oh mm -hmm. oh oh. Okay, Darth Mall. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what you gonna do? Uh, it's my turn. Uh, I uh, I scoot out of hiding. And uh, is there any way that I can? Hey there, coward Chapaney. <laughs> I'm not a coward. It was gonna sneak attack. Uh, Thank you, Rodrigo. You, I'm gonna attack him with my. Gus arm. just has a little thing back here that's just, that's just called Blaine's button. Blaine's just gets to push them all. <laughs> <laughs> Which one will I pull out of the Rolodex? La <laughs> la la. <laughs> la la. The arm blade of Blurbling. And a blurble gerbil to you. And a blurble gerbil to the roll that you just did, which is a really good. It looks like it's a one. It's a one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So known as a critical that, uh, fail. Has everybody gotten a inspiration die at some point? I don't think so. Uh, I have, and I used it. I had one, and I used it. Yeah, John, you have one, and I That's used cool. it. That's <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Roll me a d20. I'm just Blaine anywhere else. Seven. <laughs> you didn't find an inspiration die under the couch. He <laughs> 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 got you. Uh, I'm just going to stay hidden. Like, I'm just going to try like, I like swipe with the arm. <laughs> it's like a cat, and I miss a cat it, under the couch. And then I just go back into the hiding. Just the paw comes it's out. It's just the paw out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. And then it goes back in, and nothing else. <laughs> Gum Gum looks around and is like, Chip, where'd you go? Um, mm. um, okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm not crying. I'm going to the bathroom. Elga, you're up after Elga is mud. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, could I grab the mace from Gum Gum if you're close enough? Sure. Yeah, the room's tiny. It, there's, yeah. Okay, Gum Gum, let me give it a swing. There you go. Uh, and could I swing the mace at, uh, what's his name again? Pestoso. Pestoso. Yeah, make a, roll a d20. So you should make an attack roll. It's your d20 plus your proficiency bonus, plus your proficiency modifier, plus your strength bonus, or strength modifier. So my strength <laughs> modifier. <laughs> um, my brain is fucking fried. <laughs> that was the most stumbling way. My strength I'm is plus four. Chris. Yeah. Okay. What's my proficiency bonus? It should be kind of in the center middle. Oh, plus three. Top. So it'd be plus, plus seven. seven. So roll a d20 and add seven. Okay. 14 total. Ooh, that's just shy. You need a 15. I'll try it again. My second attack. Can you reckless? Oh, right, you're Elga. I thought you were Bart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you reckless? I think I... Well, yeah, it's already... too late now. Yeah, yeah, it's too late. It's the first attack. Uh, that would be a 26. That does hit, though. Okay. And how much damage would that... It's do? a D8 plus your strength modifier, which I think you said it was 4. Plus 4, yeah. D8. Diamond. Diamond. Ba-ba-ba. Mm. 
one plus four. So five? Five. One plus, you have a plus four for. But then plus another two. For rate. So six. Seven. Nope. Seven. Five, five plus, plus two is seven. seven? Right, five plus Burger seven. Burger found us from the YouTube logo. Hi! Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, YouTube featured us on their little thing today, but featuring uh, tabletop stuff. Welcome. There's a really cool video that if you guys go to click on that little thing and watch the video, Bart's in it. Bart's yeah. in a video. They, they, they put Bart in it. This little guy, this little fella. Welcome, Bert. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a, a minute or two. We'll wait for, uh, for Blaine to come back here. Okay. Because this is a... Uh, this is a big moment. It's story time. Okay. Oh. Ooh. And people in chat, tell Burger what, what we do. <laughs> yeah. Let them know. Tell YouTube? Yeah. Mr. YouTube? No, no, no burger. burgers uh, no, found us. For, is, oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. We'd uh, we're, we're at 2667. Once we hit 2750, we'll do another level up. Uh, we only got a. Uh, we are winning right now. I thought. Yeah, you're you're pretty close to done. Pistoso has uh, taken many hits from this uh, mace. Yeah, I'm sure this will wrap up early. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it usually works out with us when we record. Has that um, ever happened? I don't think no, it's ever happened. No! I think we probably When we first started the show, we were like, okay, we're going to bulk shoot the show. We will get an episode done every hour. Huh. And we can record two episodes in a two hour session. <laughs> we have since then well, recorded, we, on well, average, one episode every two hour session. And more often than not, had to go over the two hours to make up for time. Well, it's because at first I think we were thinking. The podcast was going to be like under an hour. In yeah, yeah, run yeah. Time. No, no. I, I'm not. I'm not like knocking what it's turned into, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, we. Uh, that's just how it's turned out. We we like we were a little uh, naive that we thought we could do that, but I, I think it's worked out well. Where the show is as it is is good. Yeah. I think our water dinosaur moment is the closest we've ever been to like. Oh no, we just scramble to make sure we're going to fill. Water dinosaur. Yeah. yeah. Pineapple eats pancakes. I'm reading your message right now. What they and, say? Oh yes, we are reading. Hello. If anyone is new, and isn't uh, familiar with the show? Yeah, it's D and D podcast, but we also do a, a bunch of other stuff like uh, puppet videos and, and animations. There, there is a ton. Um, Best podcast out there, baby. I wonder if. Uh, is he Blaine's pooping? Blaine's gonna take a little while. Yeah. Is Blaine doing a do? do he said earlier that he needed. To. <laughs> Blaine, so, if you're listening, we know you're pooping. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he he might be on the he might be listening from uh, from the toilet. Wherever he is. I, so we, I don't think we're sending the the the, the audio into the no, bathroom. No, but when I went pee, I, I was listening. Oh, you're you get yeah, the on yeah. your phone, phone, that kind of thing. Uh, All right, well, let's go ahead and, uh, and proceed. Then we'll catch him up when he gets there. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Elga, you strike him with uh, the the mace. I sure do. And his body begins to wither and disappears in. Is that Blaine? A, dis, no. Blaine? Disappears into a puff of dust, and the mace shatters in your hand. Oh gosh. Uh, the room begins shaking and stones begin coming down from the ceiling. Uh, the, r the rumbling and tremors just slowly begin increasing in intensity until you hear a grinding noise with falling hunks of the ceiling uh, dropping all around you. Do we have to make any Ten. sort of like... Oh, shoot. Nine. Uh, is uh, there any sort of like exit eight, around these? Like on the wall? Seven. Uh, we, we run. We run. Six. Out. Let's go out. Let's go out. Run, run, run. Run the way we came. Four. Yeah. Out the way we came. All of Three. Us. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're hopping these. Hopping, hopping, we're hopping. We're back in the hall. All of this. <laughs> oh, then we swapped out. Oh, did we? Did I we did. Mud oh. is Mateen. Mateen Kyborg. Kyborg. is Kyborg. Which is fitting because Blaine doesn't know what's happening right now. Hey, gang, what's up? Uh, so they Elga just hit the. Uh, Pestoso. Pe Pestoso. Pestoso. And it made like. Him, him crumble, and then the wall started crumbling, and the ceiling and crumbled, it, and then we started hearing a countdown. Yeah, all of this, all of this, collapsed, and is uh, is now just a, a bunch of rubble. Okay. But just there. Yeah. Congratulations, y'all. Uh, Chip, Chip sees the dead Pistoso on the ground. Says, "We took well, all four of you guys to." You're a Kyborg now. Fight us. Your Kyborg sees the dead Pistoso. Something. Hold on. This is that, that what, you guys struggling against skeletons? No, you, don't, you don't see the, the dead one. All of this collapsed and it's just like rubble. Okay. Hey. Hi, I'm Kyborg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kyborg, I'm Kyborg. Oh, gum. it's that gate. Oh, it's not okay. that. I'm French now. So if you find the false, you find the true, and into the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne that's keyed and keyed. So the next thing we have to find is probably the columned throne room. Right? I don't know. Maybe. 
Guess it's all being all coy. I know. <laughs> all what? Coy. Oh, and that, oh, do we have like a, a curse and a, a hint? Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Oh, oh, he's oh. sauce. <laughs> See, they kept asking, are you sure you want a D100? I said, yes. Now over and over, and now, you understand, now, now it makes sense. 20? 20. Yeah, as to why I insisted that, um, that we get that heavy D100. Uh, and then roll your, you want me to just do it for you? Yeah, D4, please. Three. Chris! Chris. <laughs> I feel like Chris keeps getting hit with them. It's yeah. fine. He's fine. It's Chris. He's fine. A thunderous voice narrates everything Gum Gum does, says, or thinks. So who does, who does the, the wow, do I do the thunderous voice? Either you can do it or I can do it. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, let's listen in to, to Gum Gum's thoughts. There's nothing. I wonder, There's nothing. I wonder what we're having for dinner. <laughs> Where's dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I do not like the fact that I've come back at this point. <laughs> My butt is itchy. <laughs> I should scratch it. <laughs> Gum Gum scratches his butt. Um... Team Good I. idea. <laughs> should we? Mm -hmm. um, perhaps we should go back to uh, the temple and figure out maybe there is more to do there. The temple is scary. I agree. <laughs> How long is this it's first going to be? Uh, oh, oh, and a hint, um, a hint as well, right? Oh, that yes. we. This yeah, is a very good time yeah. for a hint. Yeah. Um, Please help. Uh, let me. Uh, let me look at the opening poem I read to you when you all followed the mosaic, and that might give me an idea of what to tell you. Oh, I guess it was a poem. Um, Lovey poem. Here it is. There it is. Rest in peace. Your power is, go, back, sh go back to the tormentor through the arts and great holy discovery from green hand that is very red for blood. Hi, Kyborg. Hi, Kyborg! <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go? Matthias, I really missed you. <laughs> I'm scared of these guys. Um, How do we get out of here? This oh, is, this is oh the bird is back. Hello, bird. Oh, the bird is back. Hello, bird. I, I joined the other two, the Grotesque crew, and I say, hey, guys, like, t death is temporary here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to just, like, kill a <laughs> I'm not even kidding right now. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I feel, again, the, this curse is mostly for us. The yeah, path, we're cursed. Yeah. The path forward is undiscovered. We have to find some way to get out of this. Uh, God, I get Scottish in there. It's hard. Um, Bonjour. Okay. Let's talk about what we haven't fully... The path forward is undiscovered. So that means we the, have not yet uncovered. There might be more in the temple. We never quite figured out if the altar did anything, if the dais did anything. Well, the altar did something. The altar did something. Did we Killed you. explore all the possible ways of getting out of that we gem room? Still, I believe uh, what happened at that time was Gum Gum cast Detect Magic, and I that's how you story. found the illusion. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, uh, but we never tried. We did try to go out you, that door. The alcove, we have not the, figured out the puzzle, if there is a puzzle to be figured out. Correct. Barney went through there, lost his clothes. You opened one of those doors, and I mean, Kyborg was struck with a spear. The other door was unopened. There's also the gargoyle. Right. That other door has been unopened still. Could. Matid, what's go back that? and just just to knock something out really quickly. Check that other door. Give me Matid. Wait, which door? The, there the was a second, second door, door in that gem room. That the first one yeah. shot a spear. This one shot a spear out. Oh. This one was never open. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh door. my gosh. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to check. I'm just gonna to check. check it. You open it up. I, I check really it. Hope, I really hope. Are we all there? Die. Oh yeah, make a perception no, check. check. Oh, it's, it's, it's up to you if you want to be there. Gum gum goes. Gum gum goes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16 plus 4, 20. This door's totally trapped. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not going to pull this, this door. Don't come, come to open it. I'm, I'm, what, is that it? What? Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Kidding. Joking. Um, let's, what, let's throw our, all our heads, our collective heads together, and then we will go to this alcove, and maybe we can figure out if this is a puzzle. Because in the temple, it was, uh, there was an orange uh, mist, and it was uh, the dead person said, do not go there. Don't, don't know if Matisse was there at this point, but we're just going to roll with it. I think it was Mud who was, no, 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 you, all, you were down over there. It was there. Mud, yeah, I was yeah, a spider. Yeah. Anyways, John's saying this then. Um, so this is still a white mist. We haven't figured that out yet, and there might be stuff we could try with the gargoyle still. Yeah. We gargoyle had like three things that he was looking for. It, I assume we have to find these things and put it in their hand. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 
And then also, just to be clear, the only thing we ever got from the green maw was uh, a loss of an arm, but that might be a, a trap anyways, because I think there was something in the poem saying stay away from green. Yes, green is death, essentially. And then shades bad. of red were something as well. Shades of red are blood. Yeah. Um, blood is we, gross. We, and we know that is bad. <laughs> We think that's bad based off of that, that guy's thing. There's yeah. probably, a, honestly, there's probably another pit. There's probably another pit we have to oh, point. Oh, he did terrible perception checks. We should go and check those again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> who's, got, who's got probably the best perception of the group? I have plus four. I have plus four as well. Um, I now. also have plus now. four. Oh, now, now it's yeah, Piper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait. Piper. I'm looking at the wrong character. Elga? I have only plus two. I'm okay perception. My perception, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's send, let's send Matid over to check. Uh, I could do that via. How are you going back? Can I pass through any walls? No, for some reason that just doesn't seem to be working. Doesn't work today. I got no, I got no shame. I go through. Uh, my weapons are my feet. Uh, oh, that's true. I go through the thing and come out the, at the entrance. At the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You, Stark bird. You go through and you teleport. Uh, all of your. Um, Clothing and your equipment is gone. You are oh, right. naked as a jaybird. Hey, <laughs> birds are always naked. Camera's not even on you as you try to <laughs> punch my that's, arm. That's for us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I will do. Let's just do a round of checks for those five pits. I know I checked one at one point. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure you checked that one. No, he checked down here. Well, I'm saying that one we fell into, and I don't know if. So we, but, for, for the record, how are you checking? Are you going down into the pit, or are you looking from the top? Could you hover down? Yeah, I'll hover down. So you go down and look, and then come back out. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. 20, 23. Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh. Okay. Uh, 19. No. Uh, that one's a seven. No, Do you nothing have inspiration there. Down? I don't. Oh. And I think this is the one he checked. I think I already. checked that one. So okay. go to the next one. But you one. could check it again. Next one? I had a good check, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, let's do it. Yeah. Just to do it. That's a, that's a six, so it doesn't matter. Nothing there. Yeah. And then the last one. Eight plus four, twelve. No. Totally clean. This okay. One's still so a question mark. Those two didn't have high checks. Twelve is a, maybe who knows what Gus is gonna let us get away with. So um, do you want Kyborg to come? Because I got decent stuff, and I also have Lucky, so I can pr pretty Yeah, much... you're just gonna be naked at this point. You're not gonna have anything. <laughs> Wait, can you? It's Kyborg. Wait, you think he cares? Because I. What well, about his bow? How did we get? Oh, I remember now. Never mind. Never mind. I Never do mind. like that bow. Oh, I leave my bow with. Uh, is it Elga's here? Elga. Elga's here. Elga doesn't think she should go back there because it might be weird. That's fine. Valid. <laughs> 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 uh, hey. Smart. Uh, uh, Elga, uh, why don't you hold on to some of my things? Uh, I got a spare, spare thing of pants. Okay. My bow, my weapons, all that stuff. You have spare pants? Y you know. Uh, he does not have spare pants. <laughs> I'm a traveler. Of course, no. I have like a pack filled with things. Show me on your sheet. Wow. No, he does not have spare pants. Is it pantry? I don't even he have pants. It's, it's right I, there. All you took was my apron yeah. and my shawl. Yeah. So. Well, I'll leave some length of cloth so I can at least make a loincloth. Okay. Uh, and maybe my armor. Uh, if you attack me on the way, I swear. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna leave all that stuff with Elga, and then I'm gonna run back naked. Wink. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a perception check. Was it here? Yeah. Okay. That will be a <laughs> the camera's 17 on plus <laughs> 4, 21. Yeah, nothing there. And then I'll go. A puppet. And you're, you're like Matid, you're going down sure. into the bottom and looking in these pits, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm going down because Matid... Uh, how, about I, how about I help him down? Okay. Yeah, 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 I'll hold on. Okay. All right, and then this is the other one. <laughs> That's a one, so I'm going to lucky on that one. Unless you want to give me inspiration. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one, I'm going to lucky on that one. Unless so, you give me inspiration. Now. Deadly Skeleton asks a really good question. What's Does that? his arm disappear? Oh, oh. It his, it's his belongings, huh? I took it off. I gave it to Elga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so one-armed Kyborg is uh, is going down and looking. Okay, so I lucky it again. That's an 11 uh, plus, plus 4. Plus 4, 15. Yeah, nothing down there. Okay. Good, good, good. So did, what did you get on that first one? Just like a 21 or something. Okay. Have we, have we looked at all the traps that we've found so far in the floor? We've looked at all the pits. The pits? Yes, you have looked in all of the pits. Yes. And, um, and what was the exact 
wording of the, the exact the, wording of it was two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall. So check the wall. Maybe there's. But that's our perception check was checking the wall. Are they talking about inside the pit at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about armpits. Mm -hmm. Well, have we checked the walls (laughs) down by the fire pit? I think. Yeah. uh, Uh, Bart. I want to say Bart was down there and did check the walls. Didn't see down below it. Yeah. Bart did. Yeah. And then Chip threw himself into the lava. Okay. I remember that. Even though he's fire resistant and that was total blow. This magma, not fire. Magma. If we go through that door, that brings us to gargoyle. Correct. The 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 misty door. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing is like gargoyle still doesn't have hands filled and the arm thing. The other thing that we're missing too is there was that one hole that uh, Chip stuck his hand into and it made his hand disappear. Oh yeah. So that's an open-ended question. Yeah, but I, it could be still something. It's just could, I thought that might have been the part of the poem that said like green's bad. Yeah. Um, green is bad. Could could. I know there's that door that was trapped. Can Gungum try and disarm it? The door that was trapped? What are you talking about? That one right here. Wrong. What is no, that door wasn't trapped. Both the door said, doors were trapped. The door. I thought you said that, Mud checked it and it was trapped. Oh, yes. that's that door over there. Yeah. Yeah. Both of those are confirmed traps. Yeah. Have we opened them? Yes. So the one to the north was open. The one to the south was not opened. Um, Mati checked it for a trap and detected a trap at that door. Can Gungum try and disarm that trap? Yeah. Is that you right there? Yeah. Yeah. Go up there and... Uh, Disarm me. Yeah, make a sleight of hand check. Which one was it again? The, the one to the south. Uh, the, the door. The door. Yeah, south, south, south. That there one. There you go. Oh, 19 plus 120. Yeah. Yay! Uh, strangely, Gum Gum is able to work the mechanism and uh, disable it. And Kay. so when he pulls the door, what happens? You open the door? I open the door. Gum Gum opens the door. There's a spear trap behind it, identical to the one just to the north. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> he just slowly <laughs> closes is that, is the door. Is there anything else in the room? No, it's not, there's not a room at oh, all. No. It's just a door with yes. a trap immediately you behind it. You all uh, over the place. My sippy that, cup. Give me that green, blue, blue marker. Yeah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Any, anybody got uh, eyes on a uh, paper, paper towel? towel? I got some right here. I got oh, some right there we go. Oh, thank you. Barbara Messi. Could Gum Gum go to the... I guess we haven't been to this room in a while. We well, we haven't gone through because this is orange mist through this archway, and that guy said that that's Thank death. You. And I still also don't think that these urns, these urns are. Well, we have. You all check they're, the urns. Like definitively. Mm, that's up to you guys. I'm, I'm just like, saying the check has been made. We, it has, but it wasn't like I don't think very successful in my opinion. Well, yeah. you didn't find the treasure in it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna link back up with Gum Gum. Via the gargoyle by, room. Yeah, by going into here, which leads me to here, yes. and then over here, and then okay. I say, oh, hey, 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 Why are you naked? Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back over <laughs> to here, and then I'm going to go down there in here, and then I'm going to go here, and then Gum-gum I say, at, at this point, I say, uh, Hey, Elga, throw clothes around the corner. Do not look behind the corner. Okay. Okay. Uh, may, I think I need to keep my eyes open while I cross these traps, though. Fair. Okay. Just throw it around the corner and then leave. Elga tosses it. Okay. And then turns around. And then turns okay. around and then I go and I get my clothes, my arm. Yeah. And all that stuff. And then voila. And then all right. So now we're in here. Can we can check the the bottles? Urns. 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 Yeah. Which one do you want to check? Check the one that uh, right next to Kyborg. Yeah. Make a perception check. Uh, yeah, perception. Yeah. I'm gonna also roll for perception. Yeah, go for it. Fifteen plus three. That's eighteen. I also got an eighteen. Where is that? Mm. That was earlier. <laughs> That's over here. And hey, for anyone who's uh, joined, uh, we are uh, raising money to uh, keep our show, pay for our show, so we can oh. keep making it. You can do it by, by oh, yeah, that's great, by directly supporting uh, on YouTube. Uh, oh, and oh, that's a first just sub. Give yeah. a sub. That's a code. Oh, thank you, Cameron. Cameron. Thank you so Cameron. Hey, Cameron. those are several codes that are all put together and move the spaces that. between them. Um, but yeah, uh, and if you're, there you, you can do that. You can sign up at uh, stinkydragonpod.com oh, slash codes. first. Yeah. It put them all together. Stinkydragonpod.com slash store if you want to gift subs like that. And we also have a bunch of uh, Thank exclusive you, Cameron. merch. And it gives, uh, it helps support our show. You get a bunch of exclusive content. Ad free experience, all the good stuff. You can check it out at stinkydragonpod.com. Yeah. Um, yeah, you check that uh, urn, and there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. It's just a large white pottery urn stoppered with a brass and wood plug. Does this include opening it up? Yeah, you open it up, and it's just like ash inside of it. Let me go ahead and stick my hand in around the ash. What is it? What's in here? 
Um, yeah, you stick your hand around, and uh, that's, I, I would consider that part of your perception check. Okay. Uh, uh, there's nothing. nothing. What did you get on your perception? I got an 18. Okay, so we both... Let's, yeah. let's go to this other urn. We're going to check this out thoroughly, too. I'll roll for perception on that. Yep. Me too. That's a uh, 14. Three. Uh, so that'd be a five. This, Together. This appears to be identical to the other one. It's also filled with a very similar ash and the same kind of uh, same kind of urn. Mm -hmm. Ash. I'm gonna throw a handful of ash into the archway What's at that? the orange mist. Yeah. You throw it in and it illuminates uh, the ash illuminates within the archway and then disappears. Okay. The archway have any of that the same symbols? What was that? What no, was that riddle? Doesn't. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some fun. You know that skeleton, the skeleton that we talked to earlier. I'm gonna just throw his body into the orange <laughs> mist. I'm just, I'm just gonna grab him by the back of the armor and just chuck him in. All right. Yeah, it disappears. It's like, like, or like teleports. You can't tell because it's so there's so much vapor and um, mist in there. Cowabunga, dude. Do you think we should try? Going I'm gonna go in? through it. I'm yeah. gonna go through it. You know what, Chip? <laughs> Why don't I go through? Yes. Let maybe let me go through. Okay. Hold on to my Elga is so brave. All right, all right. I almost did it. Came to the precipice. I step back, and then Elga. Elga goes through the orange mist. And then I salute Elga. Can I give Elga a rope? No. I'm sure he already went through. <laughs> uh, okay. With that bins. <laughs> you pass through the portal. What happens, bro? You enter a Perhaps. ten foot by ten foot room. Oh. Could okay. I could I come back out and say, okay, you can come inside. You start <laughs> falling apart. You come. You re-enter this room and come back, and Elga is now a little boy. Uh, oh. Bart. Hello, no. little boy. Hello. What? <laughs> uh, also, what is your alignment? What is Elga's alignment? Um, gosh. it would be like near the back. Yeah, I don't even it's think it's probably we have like that chaotic listing. good or something. I think it's chaotic good. Yeah, you're now lawful evil. Oh, well, at least you're lawful. Is it bit? Huh? Is it bit? No, it's uh, it's Boyelga. Boygle. Boyga. Boygle. Hello? Hello? Uh, guys, it's, I think it's me, Elga. <laughs> That's, wait, what is <laughs> I don't know. Why don't my accent changed? <laughs> 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 What's up, little dude? How you going? I, I go in for a, like a like a cool like thing. Kyborg does, yeah. but remains same. I'm okay though. It's, yeah, it's all good. Totally the same. Okay. I mean, this is glitch. This place is glitchy. It's, it's glitchy. It's really I, I'm weird. Gum gum. Kyborg goes in. Huh? You enter a ten foot by ten foot room. Okay. I need to leave. Yeah. What do I well, see? Well, um, it's it's four o'clock. It's actually time for a oh, some sixty second dungeon. Oh, God. So why don't you get set up? We can you can do your I thing. Say, I say goodbye. So, yeah, Barbara. So I, I unfortunately have to leave the stream early. Um, I had a flight scheduled today for a long time that happened to fall at our stream day. So I have to leave the stream. Um, well, we got someone we're have coming a special in. Guest but we have a Phyllis. very special very special guest in. taking my place and coming in to to finish up this dungeon with this team. So don't thank worry. you guys so much for a wonderful stream. Yay. Thank you, crew. I'm so sorry. I'll be tuning in on chat on my drive to the airport. Yeah. I'm, I'm not driving, so don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'll All be right. tuning in. But thank you guys. Bye, baby. Bye, bye. Thank you guys. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Keep watching. Yeah, so we're, now we're, we're, still, we're still going. We still have another hour. Okay. Get out of here. Go that way. Have good travels. Thank you. So, um, like, so the oh, he's in the room. Well, they're there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just trying to make sure I I know where everything is when we come back. What is our, what is our next thing to getting a hint? Because I feel like we need a hint soon. <laughs> well, the hint I gave really hasn't been actual. Maybe I should elaborate more. Would I say the way forward hasn't been found? Um, maybe I guess the next one will be more specific. We might need something direct. I, I'm I'm genuinely getting like. I don't know. I'm getting anxious too because I know we have an hour, so I'm like, I want to, I want to finish it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys take care of my guys. All right, we will. We will. It's good boys and girls. Well, <laughs> well, one of them's chaotic evil. Uh, uh, lawful. All right, <laughs> let's go evil. check in with the wizard and see how 60 Second Dungeon's going. Welcome back to the 60 Second Dungeon. Today I'm joined by Armando. Ah, hello. Hello. I was at home right before this. You enter a great castle with uh -huh. a giant vaulted ceiling, guards lining the halls, and you approach the throne. Uh, at it, a giant man sits in his throne. He looks down upon you through his nose, and he says, Who dares enter the chamber of King Dyson? Hey, has, oh, sorry, continue. Are you done? 
Who, 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 who was... dares enter the chamber of King Dyson? Hi, I'm Armando Torres, and I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh, okay. Roll for uh, uh, charisma. <laughs> Seven, you're off to a bad start. Yeah. My car's extended warranty. What, what sort of foreign tongue is this that you use talking about cars and warranty extensions? Spanish. <laughs> si no hablo. Um, uh, Lord Black, Lord Decker, sees this man. Oh. Two uh, large guards approach Larger you. Larger than me. Yeah, about the same size. Okay, okay. Uh, now what do you do? Uh, woof, man, I'm doing one of the, like, action movies, like, ha, 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 wah! Wicked, cool. All right, roll two attack rolls. All right, not. That's, that's a five. And that's an 11. Okay, well. Uh, I learned from the first one. You know, King Dyson says, uh, you have failed. Now you will perish in the kingdom of Vakum. Okay. I think it's. Thank you for joining us at the 60 Second Dungeon! I think Armando just got their soul stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody! Say hello to Hannah McCarthy! Hannah is the voice of Paralyte yes. in uh, uh, Tales from the Stinky Dragon. That's right. So, uh, as a result, we have her here playing Paralyte. There's a glitch in the system. The system has glitched. Boy Elga has disappeared. <gasps> and in uh, his place, which was very weird to say, um, <laughs> uh, Paralyte has appeared. Oh, no! Paralyte! Run! <laughs> Why are you running from this very nice-looking lady? What's happening? Where... We'll say this is Paralyte. I Where... actually want to ask if you have followed anything of the stream. I have been in and okay. out of the stream, so I vaguely know what's happening, but I actually am like, I'm going, I'm, as Paralyte, I'm like, I don't, okay. what's ha why am I here? I, I, well, I don't first, know. First of all, I love your glitch. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know who, yeah. what is. Hey, Attention again, interns, reinforcements have been sent. <laughs> Stop. Paralyte will aid. Will Stop. I? Oh. <laughs> We got a good okay. Paralyte. Question mark. I um, thought we stop. hated Paralyte. <laughs> I, I also thought I was <laughs> Simulation is weird. Okay. Stop. Mm -hmm. I'll, I, I can, what's the, what am I trying, where are we? What's I going on? No. Am uh, I trying to help you? Yeah, no. Do we need to kill somebody? What's going on? That okay. perhaps. We, that's a possibility. We ended up here, all right, and uh, there's this big castle with lots of traps, a lot of topsy-turvy twists and turns. Okay. It's a fun house. Take out the fun. Okay. So I see some people in chat are asking uh, about uh, Paralyte being a paladin. Pa Paralyte is an Oathbreaker paladin slash rogue is the uh, mm. the class. Which I just now learned. I thought that, that was really cool. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oathbreaker's neat. Uh, anywho, uh, oh. Pestos? Pestoso. Kyborg is now... Uh, Wait, did you did you come back out? Yeah, that's what we were Well, I was going to... I, I stepped into oh. this thing. Well, to catch to catch Paralyte up, though, uh -huh. uh, we, we just ended up here. We don't know how. Every uh -huh. time we die, uh, we turn into a bug. Sometimes, randomly, we get transferred out and teleported, and then somebody else comes in and subs in for us. There's, from what we understand, two parties of four people, and just keeps getting mixed and matched. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And you're um, here to find Pestoso and vanquish him, but... You all fought him. We are we are a bit, at a bit of a um, d dead end. I'm uh, sorry. Who are you? Oh, I'm, I I'm my uh, bonjour. Uh, <laughs> oh, bonjour. Je m'appelle Mati Confucius. I thought you were saying your name was Bonjour. Uh, was no, it? no, no. That's the way I say hello in my <laughs> native oh, tongue okay. from Paris. Run! <laughs> I'm here to help you, I guess. <laughs> Why are you so scared of this lady? It's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Go Not to, 80 episodes <laughs> worth. Go listen to. <laughs> 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 okay, so he, uh, bar no, Elga entered this room and then came back and then Thank you, Ryan. was now you, Paralyte. I, I went into this room. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot room. Yeah. What do I see? Do we need to it's just very see? nondescript, very non empty. Yeah. Kyborg, no, there's nothing in here. Okay, I step back out. You step back out and Kyborg is now uh, uh, um, a woman. Oh, apparently, apparently we found a, a door that thinks that gender is binary <laughs> and is abiding by that completely. Mm. It's just, it's just, a, <laughs> it's 
it's a 40 it's a 45 year old module. I know, I know, I know. I, know. I had to make the joke though because it's dating this module. Uh, trust a lot. me, I saw it. I was like, mm. that's why I also tried to dissuade with the skeleton. Like, don't go in there. Don't Maybe that's there. not let's not open. Yeah, need. let's not open that can of worms. Sup? Also, <laughs> You're, um, I'm Kyberina. <laughs> your uh, alignment also switches. Oh. Oh. Kyborgny. What am I even? I think you're chaotic good, if I had to guess. Mercenary veteran. Oh, that they're probably lawful evil then. Hmm. Okay. Well. Where did you put Kyborg? Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna What's happening? I'm gonna go back Where's into the Bart? room. I'm gonna go back into the room. You go back into the room. And then I'm gonna step back out. You come back out. Uh oh. Oh no. I thought it was just a. Yeah, that was an off and on. Yeah, off and yeah. on switch. Yeah, we'll apparently see. We'll not. See. Your alignment is back. You're okay. chaotic good again. Okay. Uh, however, you are not. You're still not your original Kyborg. Hmm. Still Lady Kyberina. Yeah. And you uh, going through this this second time has. <laughs> It's really messing with your head because this isn't something you've dealt with before. You take nine points of psychic damage. <gasps> nine points of psychic damage. Oh, at least you have your, your brain back to where it's supposed to be. How are you guys looking? Like, also, what kind of skill level are we at? Like, how long have you been in here? We're, we're level five. We were level three. Well, why don't you five. tell them where you're at? When no. do we get, how do we get to level six? I'm, I'm, I'm just... Good gonna, lord! Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> what level are you? I might be a level 18. <laughs> oh, my God! We decided... The, the system glitched and brought a uh, super over powered someone, character in. Someone you know, plugged a game shark into yeah. the uh, uh, game genie. Well, you know, the, uh, I just feel like you guys have, I, I'm getting the sense you've been in here a while. Okay. So, so I think you need some help. We had, we had an int that was uh, uh, something about that the path forward has not been found yet. Um, okay. Thus far, we have been trying to figure out anything in this temple. I think the temple has nothing hit, else to give. If we hit 2750, we'll go ahead and level everyone up again. Not you, Paralyzed. Like, You've gone too much. <laughs> I have enough. Level damage? 19. How much oh psychic? Nine psychic. Nine psychic nine. damage. How are you feeling? with that nine psychic damage. Feel like a babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the confidence of Kyborg. Okay, there you go. Um, what we, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. what we have thus far not been able to exhaust in ways that we've been able to, to, to determine is there's a room down there mm -hmm. with the dot that yep. has a stone gargoyle okay. with three hands one, the ha four hands and one of our arms, and one of the arms is broken off. Uh huh. Um, but the three arms that are still on there have like indentations where like gems could go in. We haven't found a gem. We haven't found anything to put in it. We tried to stick that arm back on. It did nothing. The other arm that to stick back on also does doesn't have a depression. Also, I missed this part. We had a little boss fight over here. Uh huh. And then that all crumbled. So it's just I'd say gone. Just this part down here is yeah. crumbled. Huh. And we kind of were back to square one. The other thing is, is that there's an alcove right here with a archway that is covered with white mist. And a couple of uh, or three colored like gems around it or, or whatever beacons. Mm -hmm. And previously we had one of those right here, and a correct pushing of the buttons unlocked it. Mm. I thought I tried every. Yeah, Gus said I tried every orientation yes. of the buttons, and it didn't unlock. If you go through that door, you will appear back at the beginning naked. Naked. Do you? Do you? I'm not. I'm not doing. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have we tried pushing more than one button at a time? No. Gum gum run! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Which, oh God! To be clear, to oh get God. back there, Gum has to go through the little tunnels. Okay, so we can all make it. Yeah. Let's put everybody back in the Great Hall. Well, I, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on each of the pews. <laughs> do anything? Huh? Are you gonna make me roll? There's, this is a temple, checks. and these are pews. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and have you killed a lot of stuff? Did was there really uh, one thing? Okay, okay. Killed some spider webs. Right, well, no, well, technically we've killed ourselves a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. In fact, well, in fact, I think Blaine is in the lead. Okay. Well, for dying. <laughs> yep. Is yeah. That, yeah. Is that something we want? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really mm -hmm. hurt us. Though. It's more like a, a reset. Um, okay. Whenever we die, or uh, one of us expires, we they become kind bugs. of they become bugs. A smile, and a smile came across. Eventually, come back. Which pew do you sit on? <gasps> Ooh. Let's start with this one. Hey, now. Make a perception check. You a rock star? No, he's an outside. Uh, nine. Yeah. Okay, th this one. Make a perception check. Actually, do you... Do you okay. Eleven. Yeah. Never forget. That's just a pew. Uh, should I do, like, a broad perception check on all of them, or... You, I like what, what we're doing. doing. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, next one. Oh, no. Thank you, Brinkleton. Seventeen. Brinkleton. 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 Oh my gosh, a hero, uh, a true hero among us. There are hinges on this pew. Okay. Oh. <gasps> uh, I 
Kyberina uh, moves them around. Yeah, the uh, seat can be lifted up. <gasps> okay, I lift it with my great strength. There are um, there is a cache of coins <gasps> hidden beneath this pew. How does that help us? Well, if you ever make it out, you'll have some money. Yeah. Also, yeah. the last. What did time the skeleton we... say was in this room? <gasps> Treasure. Great treasure. I wasn't here for that. What, 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 there's what? A, there, there was a skeleton before uh -huh, Kyborg uh -huh. threw it into a room. Yeah. Oh, what um, happened to the skeleton? Well, now it's a lady skeleton. Oh, it's just gone. It's just gone. Um, <laughs> and then so Barney talked to it with, like, talk to the dead, asked a few questions. We learned there's death and stuff in here and treasure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, like, poke at the treasure with an arrow, kind of, like, keeping a distance. Or, actually, before I do that, I'm going to perceive if yeah, there's anything up with the... <laughs> I, I ran into treasure earlier. It killed me. Oh, that... <gasps> that's Why a 18. I just... It is. Okay. That's fine. Sounds, sounds that's good, Chris. Ben. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That just seems it like is. a pile of I just of, didn't know uh, that was part points. of the, the dungeon nope, or something. Nope. Just Chris. Okay. Just Chris. Uh, I, I, I gather the coins. Yeah. It's 3,000 3, electrum pieces. 3,000... That's... <laughs> 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 it's a simulation. He doesn't get to keep it. Um, uh, is, is it worth checking the other pews? You tell me. Okay, I yes, I go, to the, I go to the next one. Do perception. Check. Do perception. That's a 22. Gun gun There's run. hinges on this one, too. I gun get, gun runs back. I open it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you yeah. Hey, Chris, Chris, let's put the handcuffs yeah, away for audio really experience. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, there's a pile of coins in here. Okay. okay I gather those up. It's 4,000 silver pieces. 4,000 silver. Wow, I am rich. 4,000. Or, I don't think this is going to do anything for us. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Perception check. That's a 16. There's hinges on this one, and it's larger than the other ones you've seen. Okay, move Ooh. it. Move it. You open it up. Hold on. So I'm, I'm kind of like breaking my brain here with how I'm looking at this. I apologize. <laughs> uh, gas begins seeping out from the <laughs> pew. Make oh. a constitution saving throw. Okay. That's a... That's a one. <laughs> uh, I, I have lucky. I'm gonna re-roll. Do you still have lucky? Here? You want to give me an inspiration? Oh. Uh, sure, we'll give you an inspiration dog. Why not? He hasn't gotten one yet. Twelve plus constitution. Seven hours of playing, no, no inspiration dice. I have to beg. I have to beg. Usually that. you're Mr. Inspiration. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, rough. Sixteen. <laughs> Sixteen. That's rough. Oh, that's good. Uh, your lungs fill with a poisonous gas, but instinctively you very quickly exhale it. Uh, the entire room is very quickly filling up with poisonous gas now, though. Uh, I'm resistance to farts uh, or poison. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run, grab. Which uh, one's paralyzed? Is that paralyzed? Yeah, that's paralyzed. Okay. Baby, get it with that. Come, come on. <laughs> what? Come, come run. Come, come run. What did you do? We left you alone for one minute. I, okay, I got rich, and then I gassed the whole place. Out. <laughs> okay. All right. I can tell why you guys have been in here for hours. <laughs> There's been yeah. a lot of running in circles. Yeah. Ow. Okay. 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 Um, Should we attack the door? Archway. Yes. Let's okay. try to exhaust it. I would, we, I would push b multiple buttons at once. Yeah, put, so, yeah. What, 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 are you coming back and rejoining yes. them? Okay. What's the code? What was the... the it was. Rhyme. Okay, so... Uh, now, now like don't be alarmed. There's a giant naked bird person coming to join us, okay? What? It's totally normal. Why? Yeah, it's just fine. Don't worry about it. Is it bonjour? I am an Eric No? I am an Eric Is it bonjour? Is it bonjour? That's the new name for me. Um, okay, so there's an archway. On the top of the archway is a, well, I'm calling it gems. Is that? Mm, so it's just glowing stone. Glowing stone. Well, you're laying there called mm. gems. Russet mm. is the top one. Yeah, potato. Is the color. Okay. The, the, there's one on the left that is olive. Yes. And there's one on the right that is citron. Great. Uh, okay. Russet, dark brown, olive, yellowish green, mm -hmm. citron, yellowish orange. Okay. And, and it's transmutation magic, I remember. Transmutation magic. Got it. So those might not be the right colors then? Or well, what's transmutation? We try, I tried... Uh, a one, two, three combination of every way possible. Okay. That did nothing as far as changing how the door works. Gum Gum suggested hitting them all at the same time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's going to hit which one? Uh, I'll touch Olive. I'll, I'll Citron? Was that what you touch said? Russet. I'll do that one. All right, there you go. Citron. Olive. Russet. With our powers combined, we do nothing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you all count down and coordinate it, and you all push the stones at the same time. Uh, and nothing appears to happen. Cool. They continue to glow in their, in their hues. Normal way. Uh, their normal way, mm. yeah. Do it, Ty! <laughs> can we, what? Can what? I release the brown? Yeah, here we go. That sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> 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 Wait, I'm sorry. Like a twosies. Yeah. Um, what happens, just out of curiosity, if I just hit 
the olive a bunch of times in a row. Hmm. Yeah, it's like mashing on it. Yeah. Yeah, it just, it like, bing, bing, bing. like, it's not making a sound, but it like flashes every time you touch it. It's but like dancing. Yeah, it's it's Did you, should I intimidate them into doing I something? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, that's... Did someone share the riddle again? I don't... Okay. Well, but I, Barb just sent it to me, so I will, I, will, I will bring it up. How about that? There was a riddle they found early. Uh, that was a message from. The, I feel like I remember hearing the, that. Yeah. I was I was in and out of the stream as best I could be. Okay. Um, but shun green if you can. But knight's good color is for those of great valor. I think that's knight's good color would be black. Yes. And we found a black hole or that led us blue. that led us to nothing. Well, yeah. stuff, but now it's yeah. nothing anymore. If shades of red stand for blood, the wise will not need sacrifice. Aught but a loop of magical metal. I think that has to do with in here that we didn't have to sacrifice anything. We just had to put a ring in that little slot. Right. But Mud that... went ahead and sacrificed himself. Yeah, and I did that, and it, it, I died. Hmm. Um, you're well along your march. Mm -hmm. Two pits along the way will be found to lead to a fortuitous fall, so check the wall. We found a pit that did have a secret door. We haven't found a second and pit. And it said along the way from that, if we're well, following... If we're going based off of this thing chronologically falling us, but who knows at this point. Um, so we haven't found another pit with a okay. fortuitous fall. We checked every trap, every pit so far we found, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um, haven't figured it out yet. Uh, going off of just kind of the size of this map and how much we're kind of drifting in this area, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we did do that lever room a while ago, and that was a pit. Did we thoroughly explore that? Uh, Gum Gum looked down it and dropped a torch, I believe. To try to see. Too. Yeah, it was a hundred foot drop, and it was nothing down there. Are you Matid right now? I am. I think it might be worth you flying down there and just seeing if. Let's just there. say that mm -hmm. Matid does that and flies let, down, and does a perception check. Let me step in and give a hint. I would love a hint. Oh, you don't have to do that. Please do it. <laughs> <laughs> The way forward is beyond the fortuitous fall. The way forward? Beyond. Okay, this was the fortuitous fall. Uh huh. And so that all crumbled. So if Matid goes back to there. This crumbled. Okay. So oh, I thought you pointed at that entire no, pathway. That's, that's, it's okay. just this part down here. I gas this chamber out. There. <laughs> I don't breathe. I made stinky. You don't, I don't breathe. breathe. What? You're a bird. Uh, no, Generally? I am, I, am oh. I am dead. Action oh. surge. I am a ghost. I'm out of ideas oh. for 60 seconds. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> we have 40. Yeah, you have 40 no. minutes to think of one. If 40 minutes, and then, yeah, so let's try and get to 3,000. That'd be awesome. Yeah, if we hit 3,000, <gasps> that would be. That would be dope. Plus, we'll do a backflip. Um, if. <laughs> Matid no, goes back uh -huh. and makes their way through the temple. So you could hold your, if, if someone who breathes could hold their breath, but yeah, go ahead. But I have superpowers. Yeah, same for them. Um, oh. And I go back to here. Mm -hmm. Can I do some, you guys can all follow me because he was just nice. Yeah, uh, holding my breath. And if I, I, I don't even know if I'm real at this point, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to follow you guys. Um, I, I guess I'm helping. Caroline just starts like poking yeah, she, people. It's like, she's just, testing. Yeah, like, no like shade. You're in a and you, like, yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. Shade, no hate, but if like you disappeared, what would you turn into? Who would you turn into? <laughs> a like, bug. A bug, I guess. Um, well, like, we, we don't like know. An alternate? Maybe we'll get there. I don't Maybe know. Maybe we will. Interesting. Here okay. comes Entropa. Are you going like, to um, shove her into something? <laughs> to find I want to get into. <laughs> okay, I want to get into here. Mm -hmm. Did we do. There was that. There was that. There was fog in that hallway. Correct. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to that hallway and do a check. A perception. Where? Which hallway are you talking about? The foggy right, hallway. Here? Let's try that first. Yeah. Um, you 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 can. Just as a reminder, I believe Gum Gum did also check there uh, when you got feared and ran away. But please go ahead and check. Did Gum Gum get a good check? Gum Gum doesn't remember. <laughs> That's a nat twenty. <gasps> so tell me. I'm gonna put you there. Nat twenty Hell plus yeah. four, twenty four. Um, if he says like there's nothing, there's nothing, I'd be like then. Then we, <laughs> but he's still helping. He's held help. Yeah, I helped you a bit. Uh, no, you don't detect anything out of the ordinary. Oh, what then, about in this hallway? I, I have one last question, and then you you do that. Um, the collapsed area is that fully collapses and impassable now. Correct. Okay, so it's like it's 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 blocked up. Okay, I just want to know if it was like it collapsed and oh a door appeared no, and no, you guys no, ran no. away. No. Okay. I then, so this hallway seems to maybe have promise. Okay, I'll do a perception check in this hallway then. Make a How's yeah, your perception. perception? It's not good. Oh okay. dang it! I, I thought you were high. Yeah. I was 18. like, dang. Okay. Rolled eighteen. That's going to be a ten. I got a great sleight of hand though. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me to good tinker with no. stuff, no, yeah. stealing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
I'm like, I'm helping, I'm helping. Ah! Oh, There's my... a secret door right there that was under. A secret door? Before. Buy a secret door? You turd What's biscuit. What's wrong with you? There is an area you haven't found that is secret doors all the way <gasps> down. Like, it is. This, this place is a nightmare. Okay. okay. In our party, it's a sign of great respect for uh, our team leader to open the door. So, Paralyte, go ahead and open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I just got... I'm, not, I'm the team leader? I don't even know... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You this. got this. You got this. Okay. I think what, that they are uh, a simple party. I, listen, I don't... Uh, yeah. No, we mean pair like we go way back. We're to best of buds. Do we go way back? Mrs. Kyborg. Oh, yes, very but confused. also. It, that's Ms. Kyborg. Please. Ms. Kyborg. Um, okay, so I'm just, you want me to go in here? Door. Okay, let's up. Uh, let me, uh, is the, does the door have a lock on it or anything? No, it is all flush. It is a hidden mechanism. Oh, okay. Um, so it has a hidden mechanism. Can I try to discern if yeah. there is a. Smart. smart place for me to I'll, I'll say that you know based on the check to find it you can make like a sleight of hand check to try to uh, open it up that's what I'm good at okay um eight plus 17 <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did you look like that <laughs> Whoa. the roll is like the modifier <laughs> yeah, it really is. not the modifier 17. yeah I'm quite I'm quite Slight, we, slightly how, of hand. At what level did we leave our players at the end of the the end? Well, they were never 17 18. or whatever. 17? Yeah, 17. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're able to pop it open. Okay. So is this, you guys been having trouble with all this stuff? <laughs> yeah, on occasion. Gonna, we are itty bitty. She's going to pop we, that door open. We've been here for like uh, three minutes, four minutes. <laughs> okay. you ju we just got you here just, before you. Okay, you, okay, you the, just got help? here. Okay. I'm going to race a little bit here. Apologies. You're wiping your nose. Sage Davis. Bye, Sage. Forever in our hearts, but not on our battle mat anymore. <laughs> Sorry, we got we to gotta keep drawing. I intentionally actually wrote it here, because and then you pointed it out, there would probably be nothing here. I intentionally wrote it here to mislead you, to think <laughs> that there would not be anything oh, on knew, this side. I knew that. I had no idea it was going this direction. He's mm -hmm. making this up as he's going along. Uh, it goes out, and then the passageway turns a little bit and goes down to the south. Oh. Okay. Uh, Matita's getting impatient and just walks forward. Oh, damn, okay. Gum Gum follows. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so not... Bonjour is the lead now, the yeah, 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 team? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's John, fine. I, 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 what was it? My name is actually Matid. I like Bonjour, but oh, you know, we, I'll, I'll call you Matid. Funny Mat enough, Mat none of them have asked my name yet. Oh. Wait, I thought you were the <laughs> They didn't even ask? Nope. Oh, my First God. thing you did when you came here, well, even though you misunderstood. <laughs> I did, under, you know, I'm trying my best. I don't know how, where I was right before I got here. Um, is this real life? Who knows? Yeah, I don't, honestly. Is it just fantasy? Couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> Okay, so Matid is going down the yeah. hallway. What do I see? What are we encountering? Dungeon Mister with a million pages. A million pages. Oh my God. He's so good. Steps. He is, there, that's so good. a lot. There yeah. is a door. Oh. Another right one. This is not a secret door, though. It is a regular door. Okay. That means that there's some other secret door <laughs> hidden here that we need to find. Yeah, you did. You just found it. <laughs> I'm going to open it for I'm going to perceive if there's any traps up ahead okay. for that secret door. Yeah, roll your perception check. Get a good one. One. <laughs> Come on! No. I also look. Matine, we're good. Go. Nope. I do not trust this man. Katarina uh, here. Ten. Lady. Lady. <laughs> no. Totally clear. Let's oh. go. Okay. Gum Gum goes forward and, and I guess tries. Is it just a door? Yeah. Okay. Is yeah. it? Can it? Is it locked? Is there a trap? Uh, we're gonna find out. Roll? <laughs> I'll roll. Yeah, Gum Gum gets questions like I'm gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, it. Gum Gum. Yeah. That's a. 18 is oh. if, if, plus, uh, if we're doing perception, it's 21. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be trapped. Open gum gum opens. There's Open. a non zero chance that while Kyberina is following uh, Paralyte, he has his bow drawn directly at <laughs> <laughs> the base of her skull. She's like, I feel like you've got a weapon. <laughs> and I don't really Just feel like, like that's needed. Unfazed. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she has spells right now that could end you in yeah. one stroke. <laughs> Ab absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Her, her player sheet is just a thick book. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hefty. Uh-oh. Is it a hall with columns? No. Dang it! That's in the poem. Okay, a hall. It, th that's right. That's I right. didn't get to the end of the, of the uh, poem. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Okay, so if we're following the poem, two pits along the way will be found to lead to Fortuitous Fall, so check the wall. And he said the fortuit it was after the Fortuitous Fall. Yeah, and it says, these keys and those are most important of all, and beware of trembling hands and what will malt. I think that might be the gargoyle. Trembling, trembling hands. hands. 
Mm -hmm. I don't what know. What they maul. It's a theory. Unless there's like something that requires Could be. steady hands. We might find yeah. trembly hands in here. Chronologically, yeah. this would be the place um, that we might run into it. Also still only found one uh, secret. Is there columns? In a... No, I'll explain it okay. in a second. Sorry. I'm, I'll, I'll tell why. Uh, is it a basketball it's... court? What is that? If you find the false, you find the true. Into the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. The Iron Man of Visage, Grim, do more than meets the viewer's eye. <coughs> You've left and left and found my tomb, and now your souls will die. I think we might be... I'm sorry, was that last part? Souls will die? I'm hey! sorry, I just left that out. That's it's... what? Uh, yeah. This is uh, an incredibly cluttered room. It is just jam-packed with items. Oh, it's Gum Gum's inventory. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All the walls are lined with shelves, uh, and upon these are just old jars filled with various... Well, who knows? The jars of clay? No, there are not. There's a large desk and stool, uh, two workbenches, and two long tables. Clay pots and urns on these tables and the floor, con who knows what they contain. And there's linen wrappings and rolls strewn about. There's dried herbs of unidentifiable nature, bones, skulls, and the like littering the workbenches. Uh, In eight. the southern part of the room oh. are three vats of about seven feet in diameter and four feet in depth. They contain murky liquids. Ooh. Gum Gum pulls out his wand and goes, mm, Show me the magic. <laughs> oh, interesting. <gasps> your, your sleep's slipping off there. Oh, thank you. Uh, we have 30 more minutes. Uh, we're, Not to be confused with 30 more minutes. Uh, we have 30 minutes. We're uh, doing the stream to raise money to uh, make this show. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so if you want to support us, you can do that at... StickyDragonPod.com slash first or StickyDragonPod.com slash store. Uh, at first, you can sign up and you get ad free experience, uh, exclusive shows like Show Me the Magic and uh, Second Wind and so, so much more. discounts on merch. That's a lot of stuff. Also, at the store, you can gift sub. So if you're already supporting us, you can gift to people. There are also exclusive stuff like signed posters. Uh, custom custom yeah, voice, messages voice messages and videos and all everything. <laughs> Chris vibrates. And there's actual Chris merch. vibrates at a different frequency when he's doing the sales pitch. <laughs> he moves around wow. a lot. And he's just talking about everything that's going yeah, on. The spirit of Rooster Teeth. Yeah. Wow. He's, wow. It's, his it's, it's his brain is trying to think of all the things to say. I am a vessel for capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So you do detect some magic. All right, Ooh. magic. You feel like there's something magical inside of um, that vest. The center one? And oh. what kind of magic? Mm -hmm. uh, what would it be? It would be... What are the schools of magic? It would probably be... Cool magic? If I had to take a stab at it, I would cool. say... Just make something up. No, I'm just trying to think what makes the most... Maybe conjuration. Mm. Conjuration. Okay. Conjuration. Hmm. Conjuration. Does Gum Gum it want to look in there? Yes. Yeah, let's dip your head in there. <laughs> uh, okay. so, so, so it's just a vat of viscous liquid. What colors are these liquids? Um. <laughs> Ooh. Is that's that, is that a curse. That, that is a curse. curse slash hint. Curse and a hint. Okay, no wonder no one else reacted ah. as strongly as I did. That's the quickest. That's the quickest it's settled. You rolled it and it was just basically like. Oh, did we already do 79? I think we did. No, we did 76. Let's see. We did 76, you're right. Trust me. Well, I made a reference to Music Man. I'm acoustic. I got this. Now, the 79 was the scissor one. We did it. Okay, that's what I thought. What? Oh. All right. 87? Uh, 67? 67. Okay. Verse those six. Okay. Um, this affects... <laughs> Two, this affects... Uh, My first curse. Mateed. It's your first curse. Oh. You violently repel any metal within 15 feet of you. No, it's not my first curse. My first curse was the bush. Oh, or you had to... Does that mean, like, on What did you say? I'm sorry. Or just... You violently repel any metal within 15 feet of you. Oh, I'm opposite of what yeah, Gum Gum like anti-magnetism. Yes. Hey, bird, high five! <laughs> <laughs> and it just, and it and it just hits you in the face. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, and you were asking about the liquid in there, weren't you? Yes. Why not? Oh, we get a hint at some point. Oh. Um, Maybe a really good one. You're, I mean, 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. You're, making, you're actually finally making some really good progress here. Oh. Um, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a knock on us or a knock no. on Barb? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's, magic, a, it's a pro to apparently. Yeah. The magic item is necessary, but acquisition is dangerous. The magic item is, is necessary, necessary, but acquisition, acquisition is, okay. is dangerous. So that would be this yes. thing. That's, okay, so it's 
Uh, and what? So it's a uh, viscous liquid. Is there anything like lying around? Like you, you said there were like uh, materials and tools. Like, are there any like what? What's kind of lying around? I was gonna say if we wanted to be like, you there's know, like a economic. Plank. Is there anything I could like dip in it just to? Yeah, test make an investigation happens? check if, to if, see okay. what you dig up. Right, and I didn't say it was viscous. I said murky. Oh, just murky. Like, murky. And what color was it? Like yeah, that's a six. It's just cloudy. Would we maybe want to like your garbage? Can I pick up a piece of garbage and like dip it in just to? Yeah, which one? The middle one. The middle one. It begins sizzling okay. and oh. disintegrates. Okay, mm. so maybe don't put your face in it. I was gonna say, if we want to divide and conquer, we get into four quadrants, and then we just kind of inspect quadrants. our quadrants. Quadrants. <laughs> inspect, uh, inspect our respective areas. I, I have a uh, loud elf. What if you put your. Uh, <laughs> Kyrena. <laughs> what if I don't. I'm never gonna remember. I'm a pretty cat. lady. Uh, put. I don't well, see gender. Um, put your arm into. Uh, what if we use your, your metal arm and see if, like, maybe a finger? Maybe oh. a finger. Oh, that's great. What if we put your face in there? <laughs> 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 gum gum thinks a lot. Oh, we're getting I don't loopy. Know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got to figure out. There's probably something in there where we need to get out. I, there's still a passageway yeah. here, yeah. but yeah. we've got to figure out how to get it out of there. And and can it, can gum gum just peek around there and see what he sees? Yeah, just in case. Mm -hmm. Do you see what gum gum sees? To more the south. Okay. So you can't see around the corner. Did, did we want to do our respective perception checks to see if there's anything sure. in our areas? Uh, so is this you know, where you, were you interested in that? Dare I say quadrant? Were you interested in that? Well, yeah, I don't know. Gus is the guy. You know? Yeah, I mean, you guys tell me. I just hear, I'm the facilitator. 20. 24. 8. Or, sorry, 10. She's just here to yeah. open doors. 22. Um, all of the items seem to be incredibly mundane and in disrepair. Everything's falling apart. And most of the things you touch begin to disintegrate. Wow. Mm. Okay. The. the uh, I'm sorry, what word did you describe the things that are in the middle? Were they vats or vats, cauldrons? Yeah. Vats. Yeah. Vats. Um, underneath the vat, is there fire or anything? No. These vats are attached to the ground. Conjuration magic. Uh, Conjuration. So, what happens if. <laughs> that's, uh, you know what? I'm going to roll with it. And in fact, the direction of this is great. Can I just kick the vat? <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> and and I, uh, I, I realize now I, I misspoke earlier. You actually detect two pieces of conjuration magic. In the center vat and in the eastern vat. Oh, 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 oh. wait. <laughs> Are you sure you're kicking it right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you kick this center vat in which direction? Wait, who do you think? Where do you think he's kicking it? <laughs> oh, no. Thank you, Broth and Crackers. Yeah, thank you. Thanks oh, dang, so thank you. Pounds. I didn't know we could do that. That's cool. Euros. Broth, broth and Crackers. Pounds. Whatever. <laughs> That's your, isn't it Euro? It is a oh, Euro. <laughs> Listen, Darn money. Which, Brexit which, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Which direction do you kick it? Towards Kyboy, of course. Wait, Kyberina. That that one or that one? He said the center one? Center. Say the center. center. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's necessary. Make it it a, might not do anything. Make, it, yeah. it, these are probably like. You, oh, very you kick it, but it is like firmly attached to the ground. It okay. does not move. Like, it doesn't even <laughs> shift a little bit. Does it hurt, <laughs> <laughs> does it hurt <laughs> Matit's foot? I think it would hurt a normal person's foot, but the monk training allows oh. Matit's foot to yeah. uh, uh, take the blow. I, I kick this one and say, Who, who, who am I? Who am I? Look, look. <laughs> uh, it just goes on me. <laughs> it wobbles forward and just goes back. <laughs> Horribly disfigured forever. Right, and they appear the same. Yeah, they're both just murky liquid. Murky. It's hard to it's hard to see. Can't, can't and oh hmm. wait wait wait. Uh, the one that's not magical. The this one over here. Yeah. If 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 uh <laughs> yeah okay. if Matid looks in there because no one's looked in that one yet. Correct. What does Matid see? It's a cloudy liquid. Uh, Matid. Go ahead. Uh, could I drop like a muffin? Mm hmm. You have a muffin? Where'd the muffin come from? I don't know. Yeah. It's oh, okay. part of Bonjour's lore. Oh, okay. okay. You okay. drop the muffin in, and it kind of slowly floats. Then, as it gains water and uh, you know becomes water logged, it doesn't it begins... sizzle and burn. No, gum it just slowly goes after sinks, it. sinks to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you reach in. Which with what? Yeah, describe that. Uh, with his hand. No. You reach in and uh, grab the muffin before it fully sinks. And is it? Gum gum eats it. Make a Constitution saving throw. Right. Uh, if you're, he has a, a, a plus three on saving throws if he's within ten feet of me. Oh, why? <laughs> or of protection. He is not. Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, I'm uh, sorry. Constitution. Uh, yeah, you got an eleven. In, you got an infinity. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> oh, that's an that's an uh, it doesn't taste so is good. It Maybe it's the the gross water, and you let up a, like a vomit burp. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to help. Yeah. 
He, has, just, he just had a vomit burp. They but his know. arms, oh, okay, his arms and skates. Does, yeah, does anybody fine. here, you know, Perlin, have shape you, water or anything what, mage hand gosh. that we can like? I, he was safe. Water. Like I'd say, I want to. I empty think it. let's empty it. Spells. I, I, uh, Mateed goes full arm in and checks the bottom. Where? Oh, this you want a metal here? arm too? Cool. Into the the one that that the muffin went in. Yeah, that's the one on the far. Yeah. Uh, west. Yeah, you reach in and just no, most of my stuff is like nothing. very mm -hmm. attacking. Uh, is like, there anything yeah. on the walls? Like pretty, mean. Pretty aggressive. Just like yeah, shelves yeah. filled <laughs> like, with yeah. but no, nothing written or anything. Mm -hmm. It's more violent based more violent, magic. Yeah, more more uh, <laughs> damage based spells. What's up? Crosstalk. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Everyone's uh, excited. Everyone's having fun. I just want to make sure everybody at home yes. gets to hear what's so, going on. So there's three bats. One of them's fine, seemingly harmless. The other two are... Have we put... Can, one can in the Gungo middle put something in on the far side one? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to put? Uh, put yeah, it. The, the one in the middle is uh, the, the piece of the muffin. Uh, he took a bite of... Well, I guess he ate the whole muffin. <laughs> Get another muffin. <laughs> <laughs> you have inventory. But I don't... I toss Gum Gum an arrow. <laughs> gum Gum puts the arrow in. To the far one, to the closest far one. to yeah, Paralyte and Mateen. Yeah. yeah, you drop it and it just seems to, it doesn't sink. It just kind of like sits on top. This one you can tell when you drop the arrow onto it, it's a very thick liquid unlike mm. the other ones. Huh, so it didn't burn. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Uh, and it begins crawling out of the vat. Crawling? Oh, oh. Crawling? crawling? Yeah. Crawling? It's a... Uh, thank you, it's, Tenacious Ramen, if nobody said it. Thank you, oh, Tenacious thank you. Ramen. Yeah. Oh my it's gosh, a, amazing. Uh, like a, like a, I hate ramen that gives up. <laughs> we love tenacious ramen. From um, it's an it's like an ooze type monster. Oh. And uh, it pulls itself out of the vat and takes a swipe at you, uh, Gum Gum. Okay. With its pseudopod lashes out, hitting AC ten, which I assume is a miss. Admit it. Uh, I guess we're fighting this thing, huh? Yeah. Gum Gum rages. What do you want? To, and you want to attack it? Action surge. Yeah. Uh, but rolls is D eight. That's a six second dungeon. It Five. Is. Which is on the wild magic table. Whenever a creature hits you with an attack, roll before your rage ends. The creature takes 1d6 force damage and mashes out magically in retribution. Okay. okay. Gum Gum recklessly attacks it with his axe, I guess. Also, yes, RTTV chat. When we react to that kind of stuff, we're looking at a YouTube chat, but mm -hmm. we're still watching. We're watching you. both. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Very grateful for both, both groups of people watching. Yeah. Indeed. For everybody watching. Uh, so that was a 2 and a 13 plus. Seven, so twenty. For a, like a anthropomorphized arrow? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. that hits. No, a sli I think the I think the slime of the. Oh, yeah. I out. thought it was an arrow. No, I thought so too, and then you described it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this seems like overkill. Yeah. For that. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, four plus. Uh, four plus four, so that's eight plus two, so that's ten. Slashing. At the at the slimy. Yeah, you like slash at it. And it splits apart, but then just kind of rejoins itself. Uh oh. Yeah, we oh, gotta do some bludge. Um, gum gum headbutts it. Okay. It's <laughs> good. It's good. Use yeah. the hardest thing you have. Make yeah. a, uh, an attack roll. Okay. No. Oh, that's a six plus seven, so that's 13. That hits. Yes. Yeah, usually slimy stuff doesn't um, have high AC. It's not very high AC. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what bludgeoning. Uh, like an unarmed strike? Yeah, yeah. roll a d6 and add your strength modifier. Okay. Six. Six is the square. Five plus uh, strength modifier. That's nine plus my rage, so that's Six, 11. 16. Wait, no, five plus four. Sorry, did I say nine? You said five plus four. Five plus four, that's nine. Yep. Plus he meant my to say rage. Five plus four. I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay. uh, is 11. Gotcha. Okay, 11 points of damage. Uh, yeah, you headbutt the jelly up against the side of the vat, uh, and it's, it makes a disgusting splat noise and stops moving. Is it dead? Uh, was it ever alive? I don't know. Is there? <laughs> uh, there's a sign. Is there um, any? Is, is it inert? Yes, it is not moving. Maybe okay. we should take this opportunity to put some of that sludge into, into this other the thing. Yeah. It's like a little chemistry. Kyberina here, master can chemist. We, can we look for a bottle or something to kind of like? Um... Let's do what he, what Kyberina wanted to suggest. That's first. what I'm saying. Yeah, no, he's oh, easy. I thought, I thought, okay, I thought you were gonna like yeah, pocket it. Getting finding a no, vessel sorry, so like to. Yeah, there's a bunch of like vials and stuff you could try to fill it up. And then what are you doing with it? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna mix it in with the middle thing. Yeah, it, you when you drop it in there, it begins sizzling uh, and dissolving. Okay. Well, you cleaned up. Can I go this way? In the vat. <laughs> anything in there? Uh, make a perception. That was the. Oh. That's the one. The goose came nine. The, the, the ooze you don't need a very high roll. Yeah, there's something at the bottom. Uh, what is it? 
It looks like it's half of a broken key. <gasps> I've got half, half of... a broken key. Okay. Okay, I grab it. Is there anything? Do I see anything in the bottom of this guy? I checked that with my hand. That no, was we the looked one. That one. That's the water. It was murky. One. You murky check it. Uh, make a perception. <gasps> no, I, I did. I did the water well, one already. How's, oh yeah, yeah. How's right. your arm Thank feeling you, after Joe. dipping it in there? It was fine. J. Okay. O. E. Joe. Twenty dollars. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Uh, Kyborg's gonna jump into that vat full body the, and just fish around because it's the, the, the inner, far west one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the middle one. Don't kill me. Not the acid. Yeah. Yeah. You jump around and you're looking. Feeling. I think. Muff oh no, there's no muffin bits. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Okay. I, I think whatever is the second half of this key is in that middle one. Well, yeah. when Kyber, Kyberina comes out, the hair. Thank you, Cameron. Beautiful. Gaming. Like the Thank hair does the full it's... beautiful arch splash. Thing. Yeah, because I'm like a hot elf babe now. So, it's, it's my turn. True. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty anteater, I refuse to mention you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and Jay Raptor also was. Looking for acknowledgement. We're saying hi. Hello, Hello everybody. Everybody. And thank you, every. Oh my gosh, look at all thank this. You, so much thank happening. You. Thank you, Ariel. Okay, so, we need okay. problem solving for middle vat. We need to displace a lot of liquid mm -hmm. in a safe way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have, what if we put, we've put in the ooze? We've put in some various trash, trash garbage. garbage. Yeah. We haven't done anything organic, unless the ooze is organic. I feel like I'd that's, see the that's ooze organic. would be. Okay. Yeah, we I, haven't tried anything metal, as was proposed, but we can try something else. <laughs> gum gum. No, no, no. Do it. Okay. Wait, do it. I that dare seems you. like a bad idea. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, you stick Lucas your pinky in? I'll stick the pinky of my arm in. Seems to have no effect. <gasps> I always wait. <laughs> always wait all along. All right. I start fishing around. You fish around, and down on the bottom, you find uh, a piece of metal. <gasps> okay. Oh, my Gotta goodness. keep fishing around. <laughs> <laughs> I pull it out. You pull it out, and it's uh, another half of a key. And then I and then I say, Fri friends, friends, <laughs> combine keys, friends. We oui. okay. All right, all right, so we put the, they like clink and join and fuse together. Okay, great. Uh, do we have any doors that need unlocking? 100%, Joe. Oh, Ashley, stop Ashley, being so nice. Joe, thank you for the kind. We know about Ashley. Like, uh, we know Ashley. Ashley's sitting Ashley's there. in the room oh with us. Wait, she's you right freak. there. <laughs> yeah, jump scare. I to remember the gum 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 wake by lyrics. Do, do uh, <laughs> okay, okay so key. Kyborg moves down to this hallway. What's down here? Some stairs heading down. So we're so close. We're 15 minutes away. In the in the, sorry, I was say, RT chat. Someone said they want to support, but they don't have money. There's lots of other ways you can support. Watch without. Yeah, just watch the content, share it, encourage others to tune in and watch. If you have a cat, just like loop the YouTube or Rooster yeah. Teeth channel. Yeah. Just, just like let it run. On. You know? Cats love it. Post post uh, the like our our social shorts mm -hmm. uh, on share social stuff. media. Whoosh. Comment on things. Any kind of sharing and commenting always helps as well. Yeah, we have lots of pet friendly content for your pets to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it, let it. Love run. it. Convince that one weird uncle you have to listen to it. Well, Just not like, that one, but the other one. Maybe the other we'll one. take the listen. Yeah. We'll take. You know what? We <laughs> listens will. or listens. We'll take it. The stair, there are stairs going down, and the passage turns heads to the east. Do I perceive Wee. anything down this way? Gum gum falls. Uh, make a perception check. Gum gum. Eleven. Who has the key? Did uh, you give it bird. to? Yeah. Okay, Matita. Uh, I also <laughs> rolled a twenty-two on perception check as well. Wow. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm following them. Yes, I'm okay. following you all. Yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Continue down. Sorry, Kyber. Come, come. What's Kyber? This Kyber entire stream. Gus has been doing the look over his yeah. glasses <laughs> thing, and it's the funniest thing in the world to me. His eyes should it. be worked out because they're like no, constantly changing he's like, focal length. He's trying to go so close because he's trying to keep the papers close so no one sees yeah. it. Yeah. And, and so it's messing with his distance. I see some X's. That's probably a good sign. <laughs> oh. That's a very long That's, walkway. That, that might be one of the longest hallways. It's very know. long. That one's the longest one. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And the X's are traps we found? You turn the corner here, and there's a 10 foot deep empty pit completely filling the passageway and extends so far as to make jumping across it impossible. Huh. Bird! That's what <laughs> it says right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a character oh, swap. That could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been so bad if the bird had gone. Oh. Uh, so, uh, so much, it's just Barney. Uh, Barney. Much is soon. <laughs> I... Oh, mud can fly too. Oh my god. Oh, that's true. Mud yeah, can yeah. fly. I so, forget. Barbara. Oh, uh, little contribution from Barbara for Barbara, hands. Barbara, that's so sweet. Okay, what's going on? Oh, uh, who's that? Where, <laughs> where did that? There's an old man here. 
Again, 37. Landed perfectly. I'm sorry, is is that a walker? What is this? <laughs> Barney Farney. It's it's better than a walker. What is that? It's it's a walker with a weapon. Well, there's a name for it. Right? I'm what? He's handy, capable, and can fight. I am amazed. This affects Are you wearing Barney. slippers? <laughs> yeah. They're very comfy. Barney's They're low guy. Do they have traction? Can yeah. you get around? You think this is... I can get around very well. Oh Thank you very God. much. Oh, okay. You, you, you're actually really sad now, Barney. <gasps> oh, why? Why? Curse, curse, curse. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you lost your, your most precious item of all, your loot. My... Loot? Yeah, you know, your loot. I forgot have. my loot. Like, I have to go look for it. You have to it. search every room you come into, <gasps> Gosh, top to it. bottom. Like treasure or like money? L-U-T-E. L-U-T-E. Oh, right. I also was saying L-O-O-T. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. either. I forgot all about my loot, and it's my favorite oh. thing in the world. Hey, to make uh, Barney feel better, I give him like a thousand electrum and say, hey, you're going <laughs> to get the nicest loot as soon as you get out of here, Barney. Yeah, but it won't be the same. I, I, you're the worst. What am I without <laughs> my loot? <laughs> I, fly, I fly across the, the, this, this. And uh, let's say at the very least halfway across, I do a perception check just for funsies. Like right there? Yeah, yeah. make one. That's a 24. 22? I think that passes. You were yeah. so close. Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, and we're. Did we? We're. Twenty eight hundred. Are we at twenty eight hundred right now? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, guys. We've got like eight hundred of those. That's yeah, eight, that's yeah. eight hundred this stream basically. That's amazing. Almost like a third of our stuff we got today. Yeah, that's great. That's incredible, you find guys. A secret door. Secret door. Uh, I oh. go. I open the secret door. Thank you, Riot. How, how should we get us across? Would you mind ferrying us over the pit? I was going to check the door first. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, just for the sake of time. Or just lava just spews out. And we're <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's the other option. Oh, goodness. Ah, the broom closet. Dang it. There's a door there on the northern end. Oh, okay. Um, can I, what if I hover down to the point where a plane of walking would be? What happens if I do that? Like on the floor here? Like, like you said, that you said it's a big old pit. It's the... just right here. It's this. It's this. Part. Oh, oh. Then get across there, you. Well, it's, they said it was it, like it's, an it's, insurmountable it's, distance. It's, yeah, it's, it's too far to jump. Then you could crawl down if you want and, and go I, through. I'll, it, or I'll ferry you to make it for the, the time. Okay. Oh, can we can we look in there though? That pit. You, Barney, you want to get down there and take a look? I want to look for my loot. Jesus. Yeah. Jeez, it's, oh my. Put Barney down there. Barney crawls down there. Yeah, and looks for his loot. <laughs> Barney, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is he in a pit? Yeah, he crawled into the pit. Oh god. That's uh, okay. a well. Despair. Are we responsible for him? Is we, yeah. I, I take no responsibility. Uh, yeah. that Do one. we? If something no. happens, if you perception? would like to adopt yeah. him. I'm sure. No. That's a no. If he throws a hip out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you don't find anything. However, as you're walking around down there, you accidentally trigger a pressure plate, and <gasps> all the spikes at the bottom shoot up. Uh. Hitting AC 27. How's it Start going, Barney? AC 27? That's a hit. That's a hit. Doing... Oh, thank, thank you, you Average John. 12 points of piercing damage. Ouchies. Uh, oh. They come up... Pesos. Okay. Yeah. No? No, stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> they come up from the ground, impale you for 11 points of damage, and then retract back into the ground. I did not find my loot. Ooh, Chelsea Did just I dropped just... a, a first code in the chat. Oh, thank you. RTT in RTT oh my gosh, chat. amazing. In the RTT chat. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, did we see that happen? Is he so far he, down we you can't, can't see? see? You hear ow. the... You hear oh, the, oh, God. The, 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 <laughs> like the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounded bad. And then, ah! <laughs> that sounded really bad. That sounded not good. Uh, Barney crawls back out and then... I didn't find my you, you, you got a guy here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, the oh. big guy's really... <laughs> Come sorry, sorry. Hey, Barney! <laughs> door? Yeah, it's a door. Locked. No, it's unlocked. Open door. If you open up the door... And the... Apparently, you can go... You can, you can, you can, you can, you can catch up to me, Barney. The room... Let me draw it. This is a... Get rid of some of these. 15 by 15 room. Oh, yeah, yeah. At least the K. Okay. Uh huh. Mm, there's a door here. Ah. Who wants to speed run now? And uh. there, hold on. There's like tapestries on the wall. Oh. Okay. Uh, this room appears to be filled with funerary offerings and furniture. There are four rotting sofas, a couple of throne-like chairs, 
and a jumble of stands, small tables, and vases and urns that are dented, chipped, and broken. Only the rather plain tapestries hanging on the east and west walls appear to have been spared a rough looting. Amid the general havoc are scattered several trunks and a large number of coffers. Uh, what is, is there anything on the tapestries? I, if you find the false, you find the true, and into the calm hall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. You said there's thrones in here? Thrones? Yeah, but we're not in the calmed room. Correct. But we did find key and keyed. But said, if you, uh, uh, the columned hall you'll come, and there the throne that's key and keyed. I'd like to check behind this tapestry. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I think he asked what was on them, on and the I'll, 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 I'll get to that. Uh, they depict weed-grown rocks and green and golden tan scenes of undersea life. <laughs> Both of them do? He yeah. admires that, and then he just goes... <laughs> 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 uh, you pull uh, the tapestry down... <laughs> he looks like Make a, crazy a perception person. check. Perception. <laughs> he just got pages. To, like so many. He's got pages miles. everywhere. Just Not twenty. <gasps> There's a secret door behind it. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I run over to this one. and I do the same. Uh, yeah. I'll a wall perception. of lava fills the room. Sixteen. There's nothing there. Okay. Uh, and secret the, door. And, and the other door is it locked or anything? Mm -hmm. No, I checked it. Do you want to do something? I will check the door. Yeah, I'll see if it's. Is there anything on the door that prevents us from opening it? No, I am Barney Farney. I, you just. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Did you get? Are you bleeding? Yes. Okay. Anyway, and she's gonna try opening the. She's gonna try opening the yeah, door. Yeah, the door's unlocked. You open it up, okay. and a spear shoots out at you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I asked if you wanted to do ah, it. On deck saves, I get to do something, I think. Um, that's not bad, but uh, plus. Uh, plus my deck save. Where's my save? Um, I have a plus eight and. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Chris. Sorry. <laughs> Tw 21. Um, so it's a 21. Yeah, you definitely well, dodge out of the way okay, of the spear. And I would have gotten to... Wait, wait. I have evasion. Wait. <laughs> no, that's right. Then yeah. it goes straight through and hits a... <laughs> back. That's right. It's Kyberlina, please. No! Please make me a big no! <laughs> He got the spear last time, too, oh, because no. of someone else's choice. Uh, Dex oh, that's right. I mean him, but... He save that... Oh, you get plus three for me, because aura of protection, even oh, yeah, though I'm... 15 plus three, 21. You make it. You're good. Ooh, okay. okay. <laughs> 15 plus 3 is not 21. She's like, oh, sorry 18. about 15 that. 15 plus 3, 18. <laughs> but yeah, I think that good. still works. Yeah. Okay. I, think I also have some other dexterity okay. thing. Uh, okay, well, then I'm going to check my door. Uh, yeah, you open it up. Okay, what's inside? A passageway. <gasps> A passageway. My ear is ringing now because Chris yelled direct. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. He was. Boy, howdy. I'll keep revealing. I'm just going to keep following you. Let's go. Let's yeah, go yeah, Google yeah. Maps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Stairs that go down. Okay. Mm. Oh, I, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Barney, how are you feeling? Are you okay? I'm. I'm okay. Aid's fine. Do you need some help? No, I'm okay. Oh. I please, need a please lot. draw columns. <laughs> please draw columns. No. Oh come Fork on! In the road. Really? At a time like this? Yeah, it's a fork in the road. Okay, all right. I go left. That was part of it, right? Uh, oh, wait, wait. So about left, left, and left. Could, left and can left. Can I cast look for traps? Oh, before you do that, huh. Kyborg, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy, it's okay. Plus three. It's fine. It's fine. Um, do I have luckies? I have luckies, right? <laughs> Thank you, Julia. I, I've been tracking you. I have a lucky. Uh, fifteen. Plus three, 18, plus three, 21. Can I do that blue one? You can just keep doing purple, my dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, you, you were about a step, but you, at the last second, you realize there's a trap door right there. Oh. Okay. Uh, I hop over that and then go left. Yep. This isn't, I'm, I'm like, this is tense. Okay. <laughs> I examine the left side of this wall to see if there's any. Actually, I just perceive if there's anything yeah. in the hallway. Yeah, make perception check. Three. I'm gonna roll a lucky. Six. This is my last lucky. Eighteen. Uh, plus three. Four. Twenty-two. I'm all out of lux. Um, no, you don't find anything in the hall. But I just realized I forgot to draw. There is a door at the end of the Ooh. hall. Ooh. That's what your perception revealed. Gus's mistake. Yep. Okay. 
Gang, you're gonna keep going? Just, yeah, you, let's keep going. Right, we're keep going. Light the fire. All right, all right. Let's go. I open the door. You open the door, and there's nothing behind it. Oh. Just a wall. Oh. Huh. Uh, Anything right. special about can, it? Can, can I go to this crossroads and cast? No, well, Paralite's now in the rear. Roll a 60 okay. plus 4. I'm gonna jump over the, the, about the trap. Wall? Or the, the wall? Actually, I'll just, can I just. Anything special about it? Do the trap. Do the perception. It's a pit, I think, or a trap. That's what all the traps have been, is just pits. Oh, pits. What's it's a secret door. It's a secret oh, door! Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, but false is, uh, there was a thing in the... In What's the... false is true? Yeah, oh, but false okay, is true. You. I go through, oh, I go false through. Okay. And into the Colin Hall you'll come! Mm, it's, you're almost there. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> come on! It says it there! We're almost there. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, if there was like stuff for me to kill, I feel like I'd be really. Well, I think yeah. once we get to maybe the room, we're you gonna know. just push you the, in there and have you fight the boss. <laughs> the, the passive yeah. dexterity buff is nice. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm, any any saves you have to make, you get a plus three from me, as long as you're it's near good. me, you know. Mm -mm -mm. But there haven't been like a lot of like fiends or undead stuff around, have there? No, they fought mm -hmm. one undead thing earlier. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we did fight. Cool. Uh, on something that called itself Pistoso. Uh, Pistoso, Pistoso, who is the, the big baddie of this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he might not have been. Pistoso. More free codes in the first chat. Yeah, in RTT. Yeah. Oh, it's 459. Uh, I think we're going to have to probably call it there. No! What? Yeah. No! The, the, the simulation was a failure. <gasps> what? Yeah. You're going to end it like that. You, gonna, well, you know what? I think we're going to do this again. <gasps> what? And I think we're going to pick it up right here. Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, you all got a lot of the way through it, but there is still a lot of, uh, wow. ahead of you. Oh, man. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, thank you so much for all of the support. Uh, I think that we should try to find a time. Well, this wasn't planned to do another one again, but we should find time to, to schedule another stream and finish this out. I think this, photo. this would be a lot of fun. Yeah, we got to remember. This is very doable for us to do another live stream again, and that's mostly because you guys all subscribed to FIRST today. We're at 2864 right now. We appreciate you guys so much. This was the whole point of it. So now that you guys are subscribed or you are following <laughs> us or anything like that, stay tuned. We will do another live stream for everyone to watch, and we'll, we'll conclude this. Yeah. So we'll have, and, uh, uh, hopefully, Barbara here for the conclusion. Yeah, and if well. you're watching this... Uh, after the fact, on like, uh, mm, but like on a, a VOD or something, yeah. uh, you can we could still uh, contribute still at stickydragonpod.com/first or at stickydragonpod.com/store. Mm -hmm. uh, that all helps us. And if you signed up on anything on YouTube on Rooster Teeth, thank you so much. We love you. D20 roll up. See who won the stream. <laughs> you too, Gus. I credit. Not me. That was five. Twelve. Oh, that was good. Nineteen. <laughs> you That's win. Good. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Roll to one. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 Oh, my gosh.